The first thing I do when I am reborn. Just go and kill a 100 meter long big snake. Classmates all say that I am a pervert. But they don't know. After tonight, the world will be digitized. Animals undergo mutations. The era has evolved into a hellhound. Kohen Gu evolves into the immortal fire phoenix. The entire blue star transforms into a playground for the gods. In the previous life, this bamboo leaf green also evolved into the heavenly divine dragon by devouring the divine level talent stone. The destruction of the entire city. At this moment, I looked at the floating divine level talent stone ahead, my expression complex. In the previous life, my good brother died trying to save me from the mouth of a wild beast. The childhood friend's younger sister, for my sake, was trained into an unconscious slave by someone. I survived for 10 years in the apocalypse. Finally, unwillingly, closed his, her eyes. Woke up again and unexpectedly found myself back to 10 hours before the transformation. At this moment, a piece of information emerged in my mind. Discovering the absorption of divine level talent stone. Player data panel not detected. Automatic body datization will be activated. A wave of heat flows through the body. This is also the reason why Qin Ming dares to directly absorb the talent stone. Although the will of the gods has not yet truly transformed the blue star into a playground. But if we could obtain these divine objects, we'll also start its own datization process ahead of time. This is much easier than killing monsters to accumulate experience. The familiar panel quickly appeared in front of Qin Ming. Congratulations player, awaken the divine level talent, plunder, triggering double awakening. Awakening divine level talent, luck, dual god level talent. What the hell is this luck? The quality of talent has six levels, ranging from ordinary to divine. Obtaining a divine level talent is already enough to become a figure who can leave a mark in history. As for the term god level, in the previous life, the total number of people on the entire blue star did not exceed 100. The dual divine level talent is unheard of. Qin Ming excitedly looks at the talent introduction. God level talent plunder, killing enemies can obtain random attribute values. The upper limit increases with the advancement of the profession level. There is no upper limit to the amount of points that can be obtained after reaching the ninth level profession. The current upper limit is 10 points. God level talent, luck. Initial luck value is zero and can be released actively. The cooling time decreases as the luck value increases. After using it actively, you can obtain the following two states. 1. The personal luck value will reach its maximum, lasting for one minute, cooldown time of one day. 2. Specify that a probabilistic event is guaranteed to trigger, with a cooldown time of one day. Fuck me. See two gifted attributes. Xin Ming couldn't help but exclaim in excitement. Let's not talk about lucky talents for now. Just the talent for plundering alone is enough to create an unparalleled powerhouse. Don't be fooled by the current increase limit of only 10 points. This is because he has not changed jobs yet. Can't even be considered as level 0 in terms of professional rank. It can increase by 10 points just like this. The attributes of Zusu are twice as much as an ordinary person. And lucky this talent can only be said to be equally abnormal. Although the initial luck is 0, can reach maximum luck after being released proactively? There are just too many things that can be done. For example, the last moment of killing the boss. For example, the moment of unboxing. Many things are influenced by luck values. Full value lucky value. Enough to make his gains far surpass others. The probabilistic event of the second clause is certain to be triggered. It is equivalent to directly changing the essence of probability and turning it into a certain event. Speaking of an instant death attribute. Certain to trigger instant death. Enough to let him kill any boss with a single sword. Watched it over and over again. Qin Ming finally suppressed the excitement in his heart. Opened its own attribute bar. Name, Qin Ming, level, locked, occupation, locked. Attributes, constitution, 1, strength, 1, agility, 1, intelligence, 2, spirit power, 5. Not much different from his past life. Many people can't even reach the minimum attribute value of 1. 1 point is just the minimum value that the system panel can display. If the attribute reaches 2 points, that means you will far surpass ordinary people in some aspect. Qin Ming is exactly like this. Previous life innate intelligence attribute of 2 points. Let him choose the path of a mage. The result, however, failed to capture the early growth phase. Ultimately, it can only be forgotten by everyone. The spiritual attributes of 5 o'clock. The most suitable besides milk is the summoner. The biggest problem for summoners. Learning summoning spells requires a high level of spiritual power. This makes the other attributes of the summoner not high, resulting in its own weakness and lack of aggression. But Qin Ming is different, has the talent for plundering, can definitely become a hexagon warrior, and summoners also have an advantage. That is as long as the attributes meet the standard. You can learn most of the spell skills, 
mage, priest, warlock, really able to fight, able to heal, able to engage in group battles, determined in one's heart. Qin Ming stood up, prepared to go kill a few weak insects again, transfer the plunder talent to be fully stacked. I glanced at the motionless snake corpse on the ground, deeply regretful in my heart. The game has not yet arrived. This big green snake will not have any drops. Otherwise, such a boss definitely can bring him considerable gains. Fortune and misfortune are intertwined. If the game really arrives officially, this big green snake won't just have these few attributes. It's hard to say who died back then. Qin Ming shrugged with a smile. Pick up the steel pipe from the ground again. Walk towards the foot of the mountain. Killed a few insects along the way. Qin Ming's attributes have undergone earth-shattering changes. The overall attribute has reached 17 points. Even the world's strongest sports champion cannot possess his current attributes. The omen of the mutation appeared three days ago. Many large animals have started to go mad and attack humans. The official authorities of Huaxia have already carried out centralized resettlement of citizens. Qin Ming was walking and thinking about his next plan. Return to the city. It is already past 8 o'clock in the evening. Qin Ming returned directly to the previous campsite. Has not yet entered the camp. I saw my homeroom teacher, Qin Yuro, arguing with someone. Qin Ming's gaze slightly narrowed. That man, he has some impression. The man who caused Qin Yuro's death in her previous life. Is the school's guidance director, Director Feng. I think I have made myself very clear. I am not interested in you. The sound of Qin Yuro's refusal came through the evening breeze. Qin Ming's footsteps paused slightly. Hidden behind the broken wall. The angry and embarrassed headmaster immediately slapped down. Give face, don't be shameless. The truth is, the end is coming. And I, Feng Hai, am the one who obtained the extraordinary object. In the future, humans will definitely surpass themselves. Ordinary women like you. I am not qualified even if you kneel down and beg me. Director Feng said with a fierce expression. Raise your hand and you're about to tear Qin Yuro's clothes. Suddenly, there was a muffled sound. Feng Hai's body stiffened, slowly falling to the side. The body twitched slightly and quickly became still. Qin Yuro looked up. I saw a familiar figure standing in front of her, still weighing a brick in hand. Qin Yuro exclaimed in surprise. I didn't expect my student to kill Feng Hai like this. Qin Ming's expression is indifferent. This kind of thing was nothing but common in the previous life. As long as tonight is over. Who still has the time to care about other people's life and death? But Qin Yuro's actions were somewhat unexpected to him. You should leave here quickly. I will say that I killed him when the time comes. Anyway, he attempted to do something inappropriate to me. I consider it as self-defense. Qin Yuro has become somewhat incoherent in her speech. Continuously pushing and rubbing to make Qin Ming leave. Teacher, it's nothing. The corpse placed here will be eaten by strange beasts before dawn. No one will notice. However, it is not suitable to continue staying at this campsite. Tidy up your things later. I called Shui Hongbao and Xiao Yunming. Take you to another place. Qin Ming said, then he grabbed Qin Yuro's hand and walked towards the camp. And Yun Meng, who had not yet rested, immediately noticed Qin Ming. Suddenly got up and ran over. Threw herself into his arms. The people my younger cousin knows are basically already dead for a long time. Qin Ming is her only reliance in this city. The little girl trembled and cried. Qin Ming's heart trembled. There have been too many deaths recently. No wonder she would feel this way. The fat person in the distance also noticed the commotion over here. He immediately stood up with a delighted expression and walked over. How are you? Is your body feeling better now? Qin Ming let go of an Yun Meng and asked the fat guy. That is necessary. The fat person patted his chest with an excited expression. You don't know. A mutated rat emerged from the campsite in the afternoon. Straight toward Xiao Yun Meng, it pounced. We too killed this big rat. The people in the camp were all shocked. Qin Ming, who heard these words, was suddenly stunned, as if he had thought of something. Looking towards the two people with a smile on the face. Do you want to go hunting with me again and kill a few mutated wild beasts? Both of them were delighted when they heard what he said. Mingu, tell me the truth. Is there any benefit to killing this mutant beast? You must have killed a lot today. The fat person immediately came over. Whispered softly by Qin Ming's side. What's the rush? You will know by midnight. Now come with me to find some monsters to kill. Qin Ming smiled. Let's go now. And Yun Meng appeared very excited. It seems that the mutated rat killed in the afternoon. Ignited the passion in her heart. At this moment, I just want to kill more mutated creatures. Take revenge on my own parents. After leaving the camp, the four of them aimlessly searched for wild beasts. Qin Ming keeps calculating. Until each person had killed three or four mutant wild beasts, they finally stopped. Afterwards, they found an empty room and rested with everyone. Twelve o'clock strikes. 
A glimmer of gold flashes through the pitch black night sky. A majestic voice resounds in everyone's mind. The Ansa Blue Star. I will give all beings a chance to change their destiny. Can you change your fate and ascend to the realm of gods? It depends on everyone's destiny. Then came the familiar system notification sound for Qin Ming. Blue Star digitization begins, Blue Star transformation in progress. Newbie secret realm generating. Announce to all beings of Blue Star, the gods have descended. All creatures can obtain player status. Please explore the specific methods on your own. The Nava secret realm has been successfully generated. In cities with a population of up to 100,000 people, new beginners secret realm entrances will appear. All players who have obtained player status can enter. The novice paradise will last for one month. Introduction very short. Not even repeated playback. Many people may not even have heard the content clearly. Still in a state of confusion. And at this moment, a new voice echoed in Qin Ming's mind. Detected that the target has accumulated enough experience points within the specified time. Successfully obtain player identity. Please choose your profession, player. The panel appeared as soon as the words fell. A large number of basic professions are densely listed above. Qin Ming did not rush to make a choice, but instead, he looked up at the crowd. Have all players already obtained their identities? Everyone nodded blankly. At this moment, they finally knew. The meaning of Qin Ming dragging them around to kill monsters. Then choose a profession. According to one's own attributes and inner career inclination. Qin Ming suddenly paused while speaking. Forget it, you guys probably don't have any talent. Let's go according to attributes and preferences. However, according to the team configuration, it is best to have meat, milk, and output. However, as soon as his words fell, and Yun Meng weakly said, I seem to have a talent, without waiting for Qin Ming to speak. The fat person next to me also spoke up. It seems like I also have talent. Qin Ming's gaze shifted to Qin Euro, looking at her expressionlessly. You don't have it, do you? Um, is the talent you're talking about the one in the talent column? Qin Euro is a bit confused. I do indeed have a talent called the healing heart. Display is everything. Able to increase the healing effect by 10%. Qin Ming no longer knows what to say. The entire county has only over 1,000 individuals with special abilities. Three appeared around me. In addition to En Yun Meng. They both died in their previous lives even before they had the chance to become players. Can be imagined. How many gifted individuals like them were there in the past? Not knowing one's own talent, one has already died a tragic death. My talent shows as a masterpiece. The ability to increase the recovery speed of health by 100% and return 10% of the damage to the attacker when being attacked. Shui Hongbao said with a proud expression. What's so proud about a mere masterpiece? I am indeed a divine gift. And Yun Meng proudly tilted her head back. My talent is called the Phoenix Body, currently at level 0, and I gain 5 points of intelligence attribute each time I level up. In addition, it can increase fire resistance by 100% and fire elemental affinity by 100. Each upgrade also increases spell power by 1. Both Ponzi and Qin Ming took a sharp breath of cold air. As long as I can change my job to a fire mage, that became a solid presence like a fortress. Not to mention that each upgrade can gain 5 points of intelligence attribute. To know that ordinary people only have 1 point of intelligence. Not even her leftovers are worth it. So next, choose your profession based on your own talents. Taking a deep breath, Qin Ming looked at everyone and said, An Yun Meng should be a mage. The fat person is a warrior. Teacher Qin is a therapist. Just happened to form the traditional warrior-mage-priest combination. After speaking, he once again turned his gaze back to, On your own career choice panel. No lingering attachment. Directly chose the summoner profession. Three cards then appeared in front of him. Qin Ming did not rush to open it. But instead, he unleashed his own talent, luck. Suddenly felt a mysterious force enveloping the whole body. Everything around seems to have become cheerful. The next second, three cards slowly flip over. The divine golden light shines in his eyes. Godly artifact core? It turns out there are three. Qin Ming's heart raced as he looked towards the first core. Elemental summon. All elemental summon creatures have their attributes increased by 100%. Increase your own elemental damage by 10% for each summoned elemental creature. For every one point of mental power, there is a one point increase in spell power. The intellectual requirements when learning skills are transformed into spiritual requirements. Looking at the first professional core, Qin Ming couldn't help but take a deep breath of cold air. With this core, he can completely transform into a spell turret like an Yun Meng. Master the power to destroy the world. Unfortunately, this talent does not align with the goals of the Hexagon Warrior, can only be used as an alternative. Qin Ming did not waste time. The gaze continues to look towards the second professional core. Multiple summons. When using summoning spells, 
The number of summoned creatures is increased by 1. Inherit 10% of all summoned creatures' attributes. The large army pressing into the territory is not bad. Unfortunately, this inherited attribute cannot be used for learning skills. Without skills, even with high personal attributes, there is not much combat power. Not as useful as the previous elements summoning. Xin Ning quickly dismissed this core. The gaze continues to look towards the third one. Fate summons. Each level grants the ability to summon fate once. Summon a heroic spirit from the river of destiny to become your partner. The spirits exist eternally and cannot be changed. Wearable devices. Can grow with the player's level. Can inherit an additional 50% of its own attributes. A skill that allows oneself to obtain heroic spirits. This is it. Qin Ming did not hesitate at all. Immediately chose this professional core. With a talent for plundering, he is simply not lacking in attributes. And once the heroic spirit inherits his attributes, also has unlimited potential for growth. Not to mention that he can also master the skills of heroic spirits. The red core of the profession slowly merges into his body. Qin Ming glanced at the duration of the lucky blessing. Only a few seconds left. Immediately and without hesitation, launched the newly acquired fate summoning. In an instant, a pitch black spatial rift appeared in front of him. Xin Ming seemed to see a long river of destiny flowing in front of him. Dazzling golden light shines. The sound of murmurs from all beings resounds in my ears. The pitch black space crack is gradually covered by a golden light. The first thing that catches the eye is a pair of long and shapely legs. Golden strands of hair flutter. The pure white feathers dance in the air. A delicate face that could overturn the world appeared in front of Qin Ming and the others. Archangel Gabriel. Seen the adult. Seeing Qin Ming summon an angel, the three people looked over one after another, feeling the gaze of three people. Gabriel frowned slightly but didn't say anything. But instead, she continued to size up the person in front of her who had summoned her from the river of destiny. Hurry up and choose your core profession. We also need to go to the beginner's paradise. Qin Ming cleared his throat and said. This then shifted the focus onto Gabriel. Servant attributes. Name, Gabriel, level 1. Race, Seraph Angel. Health points, 480. Mana points, 270. Attack power, 44. Skills, Sword of Holy Flame, Eye of Divine Punishment, Light of Healing. Qin Ming swallowed his saliva. The attributes and skills of the Holy Wing Angel are truly magnificent. Not only has therapeutic skills, and the damage is still holy damage. Ignore all kinds of resistance and defense. Directly cause the expected amount of damage. At this stage, it is enough to kill all enemies in seconds. Summoned creatures have self-awareness, not to mention powerful beings like the holy winged angels. Therefore, Qin Ming didn't know how to greet for a moment. Hello, master. Gabriel will serve at your side. It seems that Qin Ming's embarrassment was noticed. Gabriel smiled charmingly. Suddenly, it gives people a feeling of warmth and blossoming flowers. Nice to meet you. However, this time you are really dazzling. Can you please go to the summoning space first and wait there for a while? Qin Ming said with an embarrassed expression. Of course, it is possible. Gabriel obeys your will. Then, a golden light flashed on the body. Disappeared in front of everyone. What the fuck? Ming Gu. What level of professional core have you actually obtained? Even angels have been summoned. The fat guy excitedly asked Qin Ming. Don't ask about the level of core. Don't easily tell others about your talents. This is the biggest secret of every player. I don't know how many people there were in the previous life. Told my friends about my personal information. The result turned around and was sold by someone. Know your talents and professional core. It is very easy for others to find ways to target. He just doesn't trust people like the fat guy. But afraid that someone might accidentally reveal something they shouldn't say. At this time, and Yun Meng and Qin Yuro have also chosen their own core professions. After hearing Qin Ming's words, everyone responded one after another. Now this series of changes has made them realize that the world has truly changed. Let's go. The beginner's secret realm has already opened. We don't have much time to waste. Currently, there are definitely many people searching for ways to obtain player identities. The method of obtaining through killing monsters is only effective within one hour of the game's arrival. Think about getting it later. You must obtain class scrolls dropped by killing monsters. Killing monsters is as difficult as reaching the sky for ordinary people. Not to mention the drop rate of professional scrolls. Most people end up having to buy from players. The price is not affordable for ordinary people. Several people nodded in agreement. The entrance to the secret realm is located at the central square. We are going now. Everyone happens to be familiarizing themselves with their own attributes on the way. After the preparations were done, everyone walked out of the room. With the choice of profession, Qin Ming's looting talent has also been enhanced. Now it is possible to obtain 200 random talents. After some thought, 
Skills ultimately chose the eye of God's punishment of Gabriel, although he was envious of the powerful killing power of the angel's sword. Auxiliary skills are equally important. The eye of divine punishment can see through all falsehoods, can protect him from sneak attacks by monsters or players. Things that are difficult for ordinary people to notice can be discovered. Its function is to far surpass the sword of the angels. Stop. It is currently unclear what is behind this door. Do not enter hastily. A few people have just arrived outside the entrance to the secret realm. I saw many police officers blocking people from entering the secret realm. Find a chance later to rush in directly. Then take advantage of the current low number of people. See if you can pick up any tasks. We will meet at the village entrance later. Qin Ming spoke to the three people. In my heart, I couldn't help but feel fortunate that I arrived early. The entrance to the secret realm of the previous life was quickly sealed off by the police. Couldn't suppress it even after delaying for a whole day. Have to completely open up the new recruits paradise. Fortunately, they arrived early at this time. The police personnel have not yet fully gathered together. Unable to completely guard this huge gate to the secret realm. Many people have already forcefully broken in from various gaps. I have a player identity. This beginner's paradise is open for us. Why don't you let me in? A big man in the distance roared angrily. We go. Everyone's attention was drawn to the big man. Qin Ming didn't say a word and led the people towards the entrance of the secret realm. Police officers spotted them and wanted to come over to stop them. But it's already too late. Four people rushed into the entrance of the secret realm. Disappeared in front of everyone. The line of sight changes. When the eyes regain their brightness. Qin Ming has already established himself in a peaceful village. The sunshine is bright in the sky. Like a secluded paradise. But if you look out towards the village, you will find that there are many large black rabbits, launching an attack towards the village. Some players are fighting against these rabbits. Ming Gu. Xin Ming turned his head to look. I saw a fat man standing outside the tavern, waving continuously towards him. On the other side, and Yun Meng and Xin Yuro also heard Fatty's shout. The group will soon reunite. Qin Ming led them towards the blacksmith shop in the village. Want to go out and kill monsters? Get some weapons first and then we'll talk. The sound of steel hitting resonates in the ears of the crowd. Several people curiously looked around. The gaze swept over each weapon. At this time, there is no one at the counter. There is a huge forge directly connected behind. A man with explosive muscles on his upper body. Continuously pounding in front of the forging furnace. From a distance, you can still see the rudimentary form of a long sword. You can look around. As long as you have money, you can buy any weapon in the store. The Han man glanced at the crowd in the shop. It seems that their arrival is not surprising. Xin Ming lowered his head and looked. They are all blank weapons without any attributes. Pick up the long sword on the table. The corresponding attributes suddenly come into view. Roughly made long sword, ordinary quality. Attack power plus 10. Durability 10 points. Price, 2 silver coins. After the game arrives, the currencies of various countries are no longer of any use. Gold, silver, and copper have become the mainstream in trading. At this moment, players do not have any available currency in their hands. I can't afford these weapons in the store either. Boss, I want four long swords and a shield. This transaction can be used. Qin Ming took out a gold bar from the package and placed it on the counter. This is what he obtained from robbing a jewelry store on the road. A total of more than 20 gold bars and a pile of gold and silver jewelry were found. At this moment, everything is lying in his bag. The boss smiled broadly upon seeing the gold bars. Please wait, I will go and get the goods for you. Although the currency has lost its value, but gold bars, as a form of hard currency, are universally accepted. You are my first customer here. Give you an extra long sword. The blacksmith shop owner chuckled. Qin Ming also didn't stand on ceremony and took it with a smile. Distribute three long swords among several people. Whether it's a warrior, a mage, or even a priest. No skills in the early stage. Can only go up and hack with a long sword? This is also the reason why it is difficult for professionals in the French legal system to get started. Shortly after, several people arrived at the village entrance. Received a beginner's task in the hands of the guard. Task, guard the morning light village, kill 20 black magic beasts to ensure the tranquility of the village. Task reward, guardian token asterisk 1, experience points asterisk 100, silver coins asterisk 2. There is currently no team. So the task requires each of us to kill at least 20. While there are not many people around at the moment, let's complete this task as soon as possible. Just then, a black rabbit came running towards the village. A player launched an attack towards it. However, the black demon avoided the sudden attack. He fiercely carried it towards him. The tall man of one, eight meters was unexpectedly carried several meters away. Lying on the ground, unable to get up for a long time, 
The fat person took a deep breath of cool air, a look of fear on the face. Mingu, do I really have to go up? Remember to hold tightly onto the shield in your hand. Defensive capable. Qin Ming reached out and pushed the fat guy. What the heck? The fat guy exclaimed. Can see the black magic rabbit right in front of you. I had to muster up the courage and charge forward. The shield and the black magic collided together. The fat person took several steps back but surprisingly did not fall. This scene made him unable to help but pause for a moment. Stop daydreaming, attack quickly. Xin Ming and the other two have already rushed up. The long sword in hand stabbed randomly towards the black magic rabbit. The black evil rabbit that was attacked appears increasingly violent. Turning over is just kicking with both legs. At this moment, the fat guy finally regained consciousness. He brandished his long sword and charged forward again. Block the attacks from the black mage. Under the four-person brawl, the black mage finally fell to the ground. Qin Ming picked up the fallen black magic rabbit emblem. Next, I will help you complete this task. And then I won't be with you anymore. You three should quickly level up as a team. Qin Ming just didn't summon the archangel. Just want to see if the fat guy can withstand the damage from the black magic immunity. Since there is no problem. A few people can level up here. As soon as I heard that Qin Ming wanted to go solo, the fat person asked in confusion. Ming Gu, can you handle this strong black mage? Qin Ming smiled at the three people. Summon Gabriel from the summoning space. Now the conditions are simple. I can only give you this long sword. Qin Ming handed over the ordinary quality long sword in his hand. You're welcome, having one sword is already enough. Gabriel took the long sword and thrust it towards the charging black demon rabbit. Sword piercing the body. The scorching holy flame directly incinerated this black demon rabbit into ashes. The three of them looked at Gabriel in shock. The surrounding players were equally amazed. Originally, I was wondering where this beautiful angel came from. The result was that she instantly killed the black demon with one sword. Xin Ming smiled. Then he looked at the three people with a serious expression. You have also seen that Gabriel's strength is too strong. With her, you won't gain any experience points at all. It will slow down the progress for all of us. I will help you collect all the badges of the black magic exemption. After you complete the mission, you will be able to level up to level 1. Dealing with these monsters can also be much easier. The most important thing is for you to try to coordinate and adapt to the battle. The monsters behind are becoming more and more dangerous. You need to adapt to the battle and the new world as soon as possible. Survival lies in the future. Due to no players stealing monsters, Qin Ming quickly gathered 20 badges. The level has also increased by one level. Let Gabriel continue to help the three people kill monsters here. He then took the emblem back and submitted the task. Qin Ming returned to the village of Chen Guan with the guardian token given to him for the mission. Walking towards a thatched cottage. This thatched hut appears particularly inconspicuous. But this is not some artificially created game. Everything exists as long as it exists. There must be a reason for its existence. Even if it's just inconspicuous weeds. It is also an indispensable part of maintaining the entire ecological environment of the secret realm. Hello? The guard over there said that this can be used to learn skills. Qin Ming walked into the house. Put the guardian certificate on the table. This is the greatest use of the guardian token. Give it to the bookstore owner. To be able to obtain books of professional skills. And the most basic techniques of exploration and collection. The old man looked at him deeply. The guards won't tell you these. But what you said is correct. This thing can indeed help me learn some basic skills. You are the first player to come to me with a guardian certificate. I can give you a choice. Upgrade this ordinary skill book to silver level. Qin Ming's heart suddenly stirred upon hearing these words. Four zero level professionals. Self silver level skills and equipment are already considered the ceiling. Qin Ming's mouth carried a hint of playful smile. Is this your limit? The old man was slightly stunned. It seems that Qin Ming unexpectedly looks down on even the silver level skills. Stared at him quietly for a while. The task of the silver level skill is for you to complete it within three days. Hunt and kill the level seven boss, jungle giant ape, outside the village. If I remember correctly, it should be a bronze level boss. Qin Ming had a relaxed expression on his face. There aren't many bosses in the beginner village. The jungle giant ape is considered to be of average level among bronze tier bosses. However, with one's own talent for plundering. Three days later, Gabriel's attributes are still unknown as to what terrifying extent they will reach. In just a short while, he has already accumulated over 30 attribute points. The personal strength has also shown a rapid and significant growth. The old man's words were momentarily interrupted. I didn't expect the other party to be so ignorant of life and death. In the depths of the jungle, there is a silver-ranked magical spirit leopard. If you can bring back its body within one day, I will just raise your reward to the gold level. Deal. 
Qin Ming quickly accepted. The silver rank is already considered the ceiling for novice players. The golden level is definitely an extraordinary reward, it can't get any higher. Qin Ming's taskbar also hung a bright red task. It also signifies the difficulty represented by this task. Mission, hunt down the demonic spirit leopard located in the dark and dense forest. Task reward. Experience points 10,000, one gold level skill for this profession. Qin Ming left the bookstore with a cheerful mood. Go to the village entrance and meet with Fatty and the others. The accumulated impressions of seeing people are almost enough. Brushed again for a while. He finally stopped after plundering nearly a hundred attributes. After taking three people to the bookstore to learn skills. Return to the only tavern in the village of Chen Wang. Extravagant spending of 40 silver opened two rooms, and then went to sleep. Although the sky is clear in the secret realm. But it's already 3 or 4 in the morning. Time will have to wait until the next day to synchronize with Blue Star. And after resting at the tavern. You will also gain the benefits of increased energy. The next morning. Qin Ming carries a 20% experience bonus. Walking towards the dense forest in the distance. He did not rush to complete the task. Although Gabriel is powerful. But his own strength is still too weak. Boss casually using a skill could potentially instantly kill him. And the cooldown time for the lucky talent hasn't expired yet. Cannot maximize profits. Qin Ming will not engage in a loss-making business. Although Gabriel is only at level 2. All attributes have reached a maximum of 60 points. Plus the attribute bonus that Qin Ming gave her. Monsters within level 5 can basically be killed instantly. Such a powerful thug. Killing monsters one by one is really time-consuming. While thinking, Qin Ming walked towards the depths of the jungle. Just at this moment, a huge strange giant bird flew towards Qin Ming. But it was struck down by Gabriel's sword beside it. This is a level 3 dark crow. It is a creature that resides on the outskirts of a dark forest. Qin Ming ignored the body on the ground. Continue to go deeper with Gabriel. He remembers that deep in this forest there are groups of monkey-like creatures. In the previous life, it can be said to be the nightmare of countless players. No one knows how many monkeys are on the big tree above their heads. The most important thing is, this group of monkeys has long-range throwing skills. Not only is the damage extremely high, still has a certain probability of dizziness. Once being controlled by dizziness, no matter how strong the player is, they can only surrender. Not yet truly entered Monkey Mountain. Qin Ming had already heard the cries of those monkeys. Those monkeys are usually on the trees. Be careful. Don't get surrounded. Qin Ming turned to the Gabriel beside him and reminded him. Gabriel can fly, and he has the eye of divine punishment. These monkeys hiding in the trees are completely exposed. Gabriel nodded, suddenly his face changed. Fly towards the branches above. There is a monkey monster hiding there. The long sword swept across, and the monkey monster's body instantly separated. I actually gained 120 experience points. It seems that there is double reward for killing monsters of higher level. Qin Ming murmured. Leveling up by killing higher level monsters is accompanied by an increase in experience points. Level 3 and above can receive a 100% experience bonus. Not only that, the drop rate of monster kills will also be increased. I hope this monkey mountain can give me some good stuff. Qin Ming felt a slight anticipation. The two of them continue moving forward. There were many monkeys encountered next. Everyone was given a sword by Gabriel to solve everything with just one strike. Under the blessing of experience gain and monster killing at a higher level. Qin Ming quickly rose to level 3. Gabriel's attribute skyrocketed again. Attack power has reached a terrifying 170 plus. Suddenly, there was a figure flashing ahead. He let out an angry roar towards Qin Ming. Look up. It turned out to be a monkey as huge as a gorilla. Qin Ming was taken aback. This is a level 7 bronze boss, jungle giant ape. The surrounding area is filled with the sound of monkeys calling out one after another. This made his face slightly darken. A solitary jungle giant ape, he is not afraid. There are too many monkey monsters around. It is very easy for a few monkey monsters to quickly kill him. Use the sword of the angel directly. Qin Ming said solemnly to Gabriel. Take advantage of these monkey monsters before they have a chance to attack. It's best to finish them all in one go. Hearing Qin Ming's words, Gabriel is also not to be underestimated. The sacred power within me begins to surge. A huge golden giant sword emerges in the sky. Gabriel is bathed in divine light from head to toe. The cold gaze swept over the bodies of these monkey-like creatures beside me. The jungle giant ape let out a roar and swiftly pounced towards her. Just trying out my current abilities. Qin Ming glanced at Gabriel who was still casting a spell. He lifted the long sword in his hand and charged towards the monkey king. Has the talent for plundering. His attribute values may not be as good as Gabriel's. It can also far exceed the majority of ordinary players. 
The power attribute of 38 points makes him completely fearless of the Monkey King. The moment of collision with the Monkey King, Xin Ming's arm went numb, and the long sword almost slipped out of his hand. In the previous life, he was just a lousy wizard. I have never learned how to use a sword. Can only hold the sword and slash towards the Monkey King. Fortunately, his own attributes are sufficient, totaling 48 points of attack. Almost cut off the arm of the jungle giant ape. The pain in his hand made the jungle giant ape roar in anger. It further ignited the bloodthirstiness in its heart. Attention has been completely captivated by Qin Ming. Swinging both arms, wanting to rush towards Qin Ming again. However, I saw the corners of the other person's mouth curl up. Angel sword, slash. As the majestic voice of Bagaliwi resounds. Dazzling light shines throughout Monkey Mountain. In the distant village of Morning Light, many NPCs raised their heads and looked towards the depths of the dark forest. The dazzling golden light on the horizon was so dazzling in their eyes. Could it be that he can really complete the task? The bookstore owner paused for a moment, looking towards the direction of the dark forest and murmured softly. As the golden light disperses, Qin Ming's gaze was fixed on several glowing clusters on the ground. Excitedly ran to the body of the jungle giant ape, picked up the only three dropped items. However, when I saw the only drop item of bronze level among them, the whole person couldn't help but be stunned. It turned out to be a summoning skill book for jungle giant apes. Wow, this is like, if you can't beat them, join them. Compared to this skill book, the remaining two items are somewhat ordinary. A wand with an attached magical orb. A bag with eight compartments. Throw the long sword in hand into the backpack. Take this brand new wand. Finally, there is a bit of a professional look in the legal field. Monkey monster's staff, ordinary item. Additional skill, release a wooden energy ball. Cause 10 points of base value and 30% spell power damage to the target. Charging time, 10 seconds. Qin Ning couldn't help but laugh when he looked at the attributes of the staff. 10 seconds, 1 energy ball with a base value of 10 points. There is not much difference between hitting and scratching an itch, but it can allow novice mages to master their first spell. This gives this wand a very significant meaning. Estimated to sell for a good price. After learning the skill, Qin Ming summoned the giant ape. A slightly smaller gorilla appeared beside him. Summoned beast, jungle giant ape. Health, 1200. Attack power, 110. Qin Ming nodded in satisfaction. This attribute can already completely dominate the monkey monsters here. When night fell, Qin Ming's level finally reached level 6. The talent for plundering has already reached its maximum. At this moment, he is leaning against a tree, looking at his own attribute panel. Name, Qin Ming. Level, 6. Physical condition, 56. Strength, 60. Agile, 44. Intelligence, 57. Mental power, 69. Life value, 350. Mana value, 415. Attack power, 60. Spell intensity, 114. The attributes provided by the talent have all been fully upgraded. To continue improving further, you can only wait until after advancing. And Qin Ming has no equipment yet. After he changes into a set of top-notch equipment, no one will be able to rival the entire novice realm. Next, let's see the magic spirit leopard. I hope to give me something good. Killing is not difficult, the key is how to find the demon spirit leopard. Qin Ming silently calculated the time. Wait until 12 o'clock for the lucky skill to refresh. This time is indeed a bit tense. The two walked deep into the dark forest. Gabriel suddenly flew towards a big tree ahead. She didn't wait for her to approach. I saw a deep blue figure emerge from the treetops. A cold light flashed by. This demonic spirit leopard didn't even have time to scream in pain before it was already dismembered. Your sword is getting faster and faster. Qin Ming sighed. Thank you for your appreciation. Gabriel also smiled and replied. However, soon the expressions on their faces changed slightly. Qin Ming has even started casting spells. Summoned the jungle giant ape. Only a faint green light and shadow emerged in the surrounding darkness. Accompanying it is the low roar of wild beasts. The sound of wolf howling rang out, and huge figures leaped out from the darkness, rushing towards Qin Ming. Forest Wolf, the most dangerous creature in the depths of the dark forest. Even more terrifying than the elusive spirit leopard and the powerful silver moon tiger. Because this is a group of gregarious creatures similar to monkeys. Once there is a population of at least hundreds, protect the master. Gabriel shouted towards the giant ape in the nearby jungle. Afterwards, he picked up his sword and fought alongside this group of wolves. Qin Ming held a magic staff in one hand and a long sword in the other. They started fighting with the timber wolves. His attack power is far inferior to Gabriel and the jungle ape, but unable to withstand his high basic attribute values. One sword strike cannot kill the forest wolf, but it can also send it flying. Not only that, 
He is also constantly honing his combat skills by observing Gabriel's moves. Battle skills cannot be compared by mere abilities. A flexible assassin can even operate without using any skills, manipulating another advanced player in the palm of one's hand. Compared to Qin Ming and Gabriel, the jungle giant ape is about to be simple and rough. Any forest wolf that pounces on Qin Ming is slapped to the ground by it, briefly fought down. More than a dozen timber wolves have been killed. At this moment, a loud howl of wolves resounded in the forest again. The wolf pack temporarily paused. Qin Ming looked in the direction of the sound. A larger sized timber wolf slowly emerges from the forest, towards Qin Ming, grinning and baring teeth. Qin Ming smiled lightly at Gabriel. The jungle giant ape will protect me, you can use the sword of the angel directly. In the face of a pack of wolves, once Gabriel is held back, even he will be in danger. The best strategy is to deal with the wolf king as soon as possible. The wolf king did not give them much time for communication. After a brief pause, he rushed towards Gabriel. Wolf packs are intelligent. Among the three, Gabriel's threat is undoubtedly the greatest. Only by holding her down can the other two be dealt with. Qin Ming frowned slightly. Let the jungle giant ape intercept the wolf king. I fought against the oncoming timber wolf myself. The sword of the angel Gabriel requires a brief casting time. Cannot be interrupted by the wolf king at a time like this. Fortunately, the casting time of the angel's sword is not long. The dark sky was covered by a holy light in the next instant. A huge sword aura splits down from the sky. The holy light disperses. The entire dark forest has regained its tranquility. Qin Ming and Gabriel's side. There is no living creature other than the jungle giant ape. The angel's sword is indeed the best skill for monster farming. Qin Ming couldn't help but sigh as he looked at the experience points he had gained. The drop rate of the forest wolf king is slightly better than that of the jungle giant ape. A total of two bronze level items were released. Wolf king ring. Rank, bronze level. Attributes, attack power plus 15, strength plus 5. Special effect, bleeding. There is a 20% chance of causing a bleeding effect with the attack. Causes 30% damage of attack power per second. Skill book, charge. Rank, bronze level. Warrior profession. Rush towards the goal. Cause damage equal to the sum of constitution, strength, and agility. Dizzy the target for one second. Qin Ming thought for a moment and handed the ring to Gabriel. She is the main force in the battle. I'm just a bystander. Gabriel's face turned slightly red when he saw the ring handed over. In the darkness, Qin Ming couldn't see Gabriel's expression clearly. Little did they know, for these types of western races, the ring has a special meaning. Even if Qin Ming didn't mean it, it does not hinder Gabriel from associating in this direction. Pack everything up. Qin Ming continued to walk deeper into the forest with Gabriel. The two of them walked in the forest for a long time. All that was seen were demonic leopards. The silver moon tiger is only encountered occasionally. Compared to the timber wolves and the magic leopard, the silver moon tiger is the true ruler of the shadowy forest. The powerful attributes are even comparable to some bronze level mini bosses. The master has found it. Gabriel suddenly stopped in his tracks, staring at a tall tree in the distance. The two slowly retreated towards the back, hidden in a relatively safe location. Once this demonic spirit leopard runs away, God knows how long it will take them to find it. The two of them quietly waited under the tree like this. It is already after 11 o'clock at night. The coldness of lucky talent is almost here. But not long after, the magic spirit leopard unexpectedly moved, walked deeper into the jungle. This sudden change made the two people look at each other in surprise, but also had to get up and catch up, watching it capture a dark crow. Qin Ming speechless pouted. In my heart, I secretly thought, eat up. I'll send you off after you finish eating. Just at this moment, a breath that made Qin Ming feel palpitations came from deep within the forest. The demon leopard that was eating also stopped. A low growl came from deep within the forest. A silver tiger with a body length of nearly 5 meters slowly walked out. The terrifying aura made Qin Ming feel scared. It turned out to be the only golden level boss in the dark forest, the silver moon tiger king. The demon spirit leopard is clearly not its match. As the silver moon tiger king approaches, slowly backing away with its own food, the silver moon tiger king obviously took a liking to the food mentioned by the other party. How is it possible to easily let it take it away? A low growl emanated from the mouth. Qin Ming's heart trembled when he saw this scene, bumped shoulders with the person next to Gabriel. Can you handle a situation where you have to take on two opponents and ensure that their time of death does not exceed one minute? It's a bit difficult but you can give it a try. The distant magic spirit leopard seems to be struggling a bit. Put down the food in your mouth and slowly start to step back. Suddenly, a giant ape roared as it charged out of the forest. Both the magic spirit leopard and the silver moon tiger were stunned. The demon spirit leopard turned its head to look. 
I saw a huge jungle giant ape running towards it. The demon spirit leopard shuddered all over. What is this? How did this guy come out? The demon spirit leopard was about to dodge but was scooped up by the giant ape into its arms. Throw towards the silver moon tiger ahead. The roar echoed throughout the entire jungle. Whether it is the silver moon tiger or the demon spirit leopard, both roar in anger. They didn't expect a wild beast of bronze level to dare to attack them. The silver moon tiger slapped the demon spirit leopard to the ground with one paw. The gaze towards the giant jungle ape is filled with anger. Unfortunately, at this moment, the giant ape from the jungle unexpectedly charged towards it without any regard for its own life. Stop in front of it while shouting loudly, the entire yellow river flows with Bluetooth. While gesturing various mocking poses towards it, the silver moon tiger king is extremely angry. I didn't expect a mere bronze level beast to dare to offend the majesty of the king of the jungle. The strong wind howled, and even from a distant distance, Xin Ming could still feel the roaring in his mind. The silver moon tiger king in front of me has already pounced towards the jungle giant ape, but it was able to avoid it at the first opportunity, as it had been prepared in advance. The demon spirit leopard lying on the ground has suffered, just stood up and didn't have time to run away. Received the impact of the silver moon tiger king, it heavily collided with a large tree in the distance. The tremendous force caused this towering tree to collapse with a loud crash. The severely injured demon leopard angrily climbed up, and let out a threatening roar towards the silver moon tiger, continuously under attack, let it accumulate a lot of anger in its heart, the tiger king also roared in anger, it saw the agile jungle giant ape climb up the tree, continuously shuttling through the jungle, the silver moon tiger king is not good at fighting in trees, could only vent my anger on the demon leopard, the demon spirit leopard is clearly not as powerful as the silver moon tiger, but its movements are clearly more agile, occasionally launched sneak attacks around the silver moon tiger, but it also left many scars on its body. If the silver moon tiger king is only a silver level boss, maybe it really has a chance. The strength of tiger king is obviously becoming too powerful. It sneakily attacked several times but couldn't inflict a significant fatal injury on the tiger king, can only whittle away the opponent's health little by little. Tiger king's casual strike. It is possible to make it lie on the ground for a long time without being able to get up. The jungle giant ape hidden in the treetops reappears. Unexpectedly, he hugged a thick and sturdy wooden stake and smashed it towards the silver moon tiger king. The silver moon tiger king, who was about to chase after the demon spirit leopard, was suddenly hit by a wooden stake. The heavy wooden stake knocked it over on the ground. The pursued magic spirit leopard managed to escape. It turned around and looked at the fallen tiger king. I looked again at the jungle giant ape jumping in the tree. Charged towards the tiger king once again. The Silver Moon Tiger King, who was under attack, was extremely angry, immediately engaged in a fierce battle with the demonic spirit leopard. But this time, there is the intervention of the jungle giant ape. Let its repeated attacks be in vain. The demon spirit leopard succeeded in several sneak attacks, left many wounds on the Silver Moon Tiger King's body. Time is up, it's your turn now. Gabriel nodded. Slowly, the long sword rises into the sky. The holy light appears again in the sky. Roar the Silver Moon Tiger King and the Demon Spirit Leopard King both stopped, their gazes staring warily at this newly appeared figure. They felt a great threat from Gabriel's body. However, the preparation time for the Angel's Sword didn't take long, and right in the middle of the hesitation of the one tiger and the other leopard, Gabriel's spell casting had already been completed. The huge holy sword descended from the sky, and the Demon Spirit Leopard King, who was already in a state of serious injury, fell on the spot. Although the Silver Moon Tiger King didn't die, he also let out a pained roar, and a huge wound surfaced on his back, on which there was still a holy fire that was still extinguished. Go pick up the equipment first, just look for those gold level ones, maybe there's one you can use, take it and go kill the Tiger King. Xin Ming said quickly. Before the words fell, Gabriel had already rushed towards the ground full of big explosions. The level 6 Gabriel had a whopping 170 odd points of intelligence and nearly 350 points of spell strength, and the angel sword was able to deal nearly 10,000 points of damage. However, the Silver Moon Tiger King was, after all, a gold level boss, and its blood quantity was even more terrifyingly high. After being attacked by this sword, he was still able to have one third of his blood remaining, which was something Qin Ming hadn't expected. Roar the Silver Moon Tiger King roared out, slowly rising from the ground, wanting to charge towards Gabriel. However, at this moment, Gabriel had already fished out a long sword next to the Demon Spirit Leopard King's corpse and rushed directly in front of it. Qin Ming could clearly see the golden light emanating from that longsword even from a far distance. Holy flame! In just an instant, the longsword in his hand was already covered by the sacred flame, and he stabbed the sword into the Tiger King's wound. Roar! Painful cries came out from the Tiger King's mouth, and he raised his claws towards Gabriel, but he easily dodged them. The Tiger King, who was already in a state of serious injury, 
panicked and attacked without any pattern to speak of, as long as Gabriel was not in a hurry, it was not that easy to be hit by it. Not only that, the jungle giant ape on the tree really jumped down this time, and the huge wood in its hand smashed towards it head on. Boom! Surprisingly, he luckily triggered the stun effect of the heavy attack, and the jungle tiger king immediately flopped to the ground. Gabriel naturally would not let go of such an opportunity, his long sword stabbed out, straight into the tiger's abdomen and pulled out a huge wound. The internal organs in the abdomen flowed out, and the tiger king was immediately plunged into a bleeding state with serious injuries, even if it didn't need to follow up with an attack, it wasn't destined to live for long. There are still thirties left. Qin Ming looked at the remaining time of his own lucky buff. The Silver Moon Tiger King had already detached itself from the stun state, and the resistance of the gold level boss was extremely high, the stun effect of the twos of the heavy strike only lasted for a split second. But it was already difficult for it to launch an effective attack, and the wound on its abdomen was a wound that could not be healed. Lying on the ground and not moving may still be able to rely on its own powerful attributes to slowly recover, but the more big movements in the battle instead of letting their blood flow faster and faster. Kill. Gabriel droned out, lifting his long sword to kill it again. In fact, with the Tiger King's current situation, as long as it was delayed for a bit of time, it could naturally wait for it to die. But Gabrielle knew very well that Qin Ming's lucky time was going to be running out, and they didn't have the time to drag it out. Boom! The result of the eager attack was that Gabrielle had to endure the Tiger King's attacks. Every claw that slapped on her body took away hundreds of points of her blood. Qin Ming watched in secret anxiety, although Gabrielle had thousands of life points, she wasn't a boss after all there was naturally no comparison to a gold boss like the Silver Moon Tiger King. The good thing was that the remaining blood of the Tiger King was not much, and Gabriel was not that easy to hit. Roar with a heaven-shaking beast roar, the Silver Moon Tiger King finally slowly collapsed. This was considered to be its last skill, Tiger Roar. It was able to inflict a wide range of sonic damage on surrounding units and stun them for two seconds. Unfortunately, the Silver Moon Tiger King's own injuries were too severe, so even if it killed the jungle ape and controlled Gabriel in seconds, it was still difficult to create an effective counterattack. In the end, he could only wait until Gabriel woke up and subsequently killed him with a sword. It's done! Qin Ming shouted lowly in excitement, the light that filled the ground was enough to make any player feel crazy. Successfully decapitated the final boss of the novice secret realm, Silver Moon Tiger King, gained 1000 experience points, rewarded with the title A Bully of the Novice Village. The system beat that sounded in his head made him freeze, not realizing that there was a title reward for killing the Silver Moon Tiger King? This was something he didn't know. After all, there were only a handful of players who were able to level up to level 9 before the closure of the novice mystic realm, let alone having to kill this final boss. Xin Ming excitedly opened the attribute bar and scanned it, this title only had two effects, the prestige of the novice village plus 1, and the luck value plus 2. Novice village prestige isn't much use, but lucky value is too useful. Finally, my luck isn't zero. Qin Ming was thrilled in his heart. Taking a look at the cooldown time of the lucky talent, get this, no change at all. Forget about it, let's just go check out the drops of the two bosses. Before he even approached, Qin Ming's eyes were attracted by the dazzling white light in the pile of rays. White mortal, silver equipment, and platinum equipment, although they all shone with a white light, they were still very different and could even be recognized at a glance. Where the mortal goods had a dull glow, the silver equipment's white light was grayish, and only the platinum equipment's glow was that dazzling and eye-catching. Harry! I didn't expect a gold-level boss to give out platinum-level equipment. Qin Ming excitedly rubbed his hands together and took the lead in picking up this platinum-grade item. Platinum ring, platinum grade. Description, a ring made of pure platinum, definitely worthy of its name. Effect 1, luck plus 3. Effect 2, contains 200 compartments of storage space, similar items can be stacked. Effect 3, can automatically pick up items dropped within 10 meters around you. Effect 4, does not occupy the character's jewelry and equipment bar, never wear and tear, cannot be looted. Effect 5, Platinum Guardian, creates an energy shield with 10,000 plus level asterisk 100 to protect against all damage, shield value takes 24 hours to recharge. Crap! Coward! Qin Ming couldn't help but exclaim in shock, although this was only an auxiliary class equipment, its value was undoubtedly huge. Adding luck, being able to store items, having a guardian skill, and also being able to automatically pick it up, such a ring would not be too much of a stretch to be called a divine weapon at this stage. The automatic pickup function alone is enough to make countless players go crazy. Moreover, this ring does not occupy the equipment bar, which is equivalent to letting Qin Ming have an extra piece of equipment out of thin air, a 200 space storage bag, and a guardian skill with a 24-hour cooldown. The value of such equipment would be incalculable even if it was placed in the great late stage. Open door ah! Bring it on bring it on! Qin Ming immediately put it on his hand. This type of auxiliary equipment generally had no usage requirements, 
and the non-lootable attribute also allowed him to not worry about the ring being stolen. This was the real world, and all things naturally fell off when you died, so this type of attribute of non-droppable didn't make sense. But unlootable was different, as the thief's steel type skills were just as unable to steal it. After changing into the ring of platinum, Xin Ming moved everything into the ring, as well as the items that were all over the ground waiting to be picked up. Mama no longer has to worry about my item bar being insufficient. Collecting everything into the ring of platinum in a single swoop, Xin Ming then took a closer look at the drops from this trip. In addition to a platinum grade ring, the Silver Moon Tiger King also dropped two gold grade items. Necklace, Jungle Guardian, Gold Grade. Requirements for use, rank 0 professional. Spiritual strength plus 30, intelligence plus 20, life value plus 500. Attached skill, jungle guardian, increase your evasion by 30%, double the effect when you are in the jungle, lasts for 15ths, recharge time 1 hour. Durability, 30 thirtieths. Skill book, roar of war, gold level. Learning requirements, warrior class, physique 30, strength 30. Skill effect, let out a heavenly roar causing the surrounding enemies to fall into a dazed state for twos, and inflicting, strength plus physique, asterisk 300% damage on them, while boosting the attack power of the surrounding friendly units by 5% for 180 s. Skill range, base range 10 meters, every 10 points of physique boosts range by 1 meter. Mana consumption, 100 points, cooldown time 10 minutes. Bullish. Xin Ming couldn't help but blurt out, he damn well didn't even have a single piece of bronze equipment, he didn't expect to be able to directly replace it with gold level equipment. Looking at his own attributes, with the looting talent in place, there was no possibility of his attributes not being up to par, and immediately put it on his neck, and his blood volume immediately soared. The blood quantity bonus from a single necklace was already higher than his own total blood quantity. Master, this long sword was also just a drop. At this moment, Gabriel, who had taken a short break, flew over and handed the long sword he was holding in his hand to Qin Ming. It was only then that he reacted to the fact that the demon spirit leopard king had also dropped a gold ranked item the very same longsword that had been picked up by Gabriel earlier. Longsword Illuminated Boldness, Gold Grade. Requirements for use, Rank 0 Professional, Strength 50. Attack Power plus 200. Bludgeon Rate plus 5%. Bludgeon Damage plus 20%. Special Effect, Boldness, plus 50% in Power Sparring, Special Effect, Boldness, plus 50% in Power Sparring, Special Effect, Boldness, plus 50% in Power Sparring. Durability, 100 slash 100. Ooh. They say that a bear's heart is like a leopard's guts, but I didn't expect to explode the leopard's guts of this demon spirit leopard king, huh? Xin Ming said jokingly. However, there was no doubt that this long sword was extremely powerful and very much in line with its gold grade weapon's attributes. With 200 points of attack power, this was a height that most players would not be able to reach at rank 0. Not to mention the 50 points of base strength required to use it, which was also impossible for most warrior players to reach. Although gold level equipment was strong, it wasn't something that everyone could use. It's better for you to take this sword and use it, I said before that I would give you a good sword, and this illuminating gall is just right. After reading the attributes of the illuminator, Xin Ming once again handed it back to Gabriel. If he held this sword in his hand, he could only take it up and slash it hard, far less useful than holding it in Gabriel's hand. Moreover, for a summoner, Gabriel was the main combatant, and he was just a soy sauce player who could save his life. Thank you master. Gabrielle said thanks, being able to have a good weapon was a huge boost to her battle power. You're welcome, you'll be able to protect me better when you're strong. Qin Ming laughed. In addition to the jungle guardian and shining guts, the last gold level item was the warrior's skill book, but unfortunately, he was a summoner and couldn't learn this skill, so he could only leave it to fatty. Damn, I don't even have a gold level skill yet, it's really cheap for him. Qin Ming's tone was full of grudges but with 30 points of physique and strength attributes, I don't know when this guy will be able to use them? Whatever. You can't blame me for your own waste. After looking at the gold level items, the next thing was the silver level items popped out by the Silver Moon Tiger King and the Demon Spirit Leopard King, there were quite a few of them, but most of them were popped out by the Silver Moon Tiger King. Helmet, shoulder armor, armor, wrist guards, leg armor, shoes, cloak. But why is it a warrior set? Xin Ming had a feeling of wanting to cry as he looked at the full set of armor in front of him. A full set of silver set, with attributes comparable to gold level equipment, but it was used by warrior class professions, and he, a summoner, wanted cloth armor ah, tiger king set, silver set, physique plus 100, strength plus 100, agility plus 50, mental strength plus 50, life value plus 500, defense plus 100, spell defense plus 50, attack power plus 50, movement speed plus 5, physical damage reduction 10%, set attributes, 6 pieces full attributes plus 50, life value plus 1000, physical damage reduction plus 10%, 
Set skill, 6 pieces tiger's whistle, inflicts strength asterisk 500% damage to enemies within 10 meters around and stuns them for 2s, cooldown 10 minutes. Gabriel, this set of silver battle armor also belongs to you. Qin Ming tearfully gave it away, and Gabriel received it with gratitude. However, when this silver armor was actually worn on Gabriel's body, Qin Ming's eyes suddenly lit up. This battle armor, it's not bad. The long golden hair hung behind her head, gleaming under the refraction of the silver armor. Her pretty face was hidden in the helmet, revealing a bit of her white jaw and delicate collarbone, which was heartwarming. The close-fitting silver armor perfectly set off her tall and chiseled figure, whether it was the plumpness of her chest that called out to her or the mysterious place that loomed under her battle skirt, it was full of temptation. Compared to the previous three-pointed style, the Gabrielle at this time was even more beautiful and touching, and more capable of arousing the male's desire to conquer. It's true, true sexiness isn't revealing, it's not revealing at all, yet it can make one's blood boil. Xin Ming couldn't help but sigh in his heart and hurriedly averted his gaze, Gabriel's beauty had already made it a little difficult for him to look directly at her. Pictures are all from the internet, for reference only. Of course, compared to her heroic appearance in battle armor, Gabriel's attributes were even more terrifying at this time. The total blood directly soared to 7,990 points, and the attack power even reached 900 points, in addition, the defense of more than 400 points was even more despairing, enough to let her run rampant in the novice village, no more enemies. It's really uncultured, besides crouching I actually don't know how to describe it? Qin Ming sighed, Gabriel's attributes had been powerful to the extent of foul play, and now she could even consider going to finish abusing the Silver Moon Tiger King. In comparison, Qin Ming's attributes were much more crotch-pulling, except for the jungle guardian that he had just put on, his whole body was almost a blank slate, and his attributes were so crotch-pulling that he couldn't do anything about it. Of course, this attribute is about the equipment attributes, with the looting talent, his basic attributes have far exceeded those of the ordinary players who wore the equipment. Fully armed is not as good as labor's bare hands? Qin Ming shrugged helplessly. Apart from the complete set of Tiger King sets that the Silver Moon Tiger King had popped out, there weren't many equipments among the remaining silver ranked items, and Qin Ming had only managed to find out two of them and put them on his body. In addition to that, there were also two special scrolls that dropped, and even though they were only silver grade, their value exceeded even gold grade equipment. Profession Scroll Archer. Grade, Silver Grade. Occupation Core, 60% below extreme, 39% absolute, 1% above heavily. Group Scroll, Grade, Silver, Grade, Silver. Maximum Team Size, 10, Maximum Team Size, 10, Maximum Team Size, 10, Maximum Team Size, 10. Team Up Bonus. For each additional person near the captain, the experience value of the whole team is increased by 1%, team up bonus, for each additional person near the captain, the experience value of the whole team is increased by 1%, group range, 10 kilometers, group range, 10 kilometers, tisk, occupation scrolls, teaming scrolls, now they're all complete, looking at the two scrolls in his hands, Xin Ming was thrilled in his heart, career scrolls were the only way for ordinary people to become players afterward, and the highest grade was only gold. The probability of any of the occupation cores above the saint grade appearing in them was 1%, but the probability below the saint grade was different. Bronze grade, silver grade, and gold grade career scrolls corresponded to the very best, superb, and best of the best among the career cores, respectively. Among them, the silver grade career scroll had a 39% probability of extracting a career core that was above the super grade, while the bronze grade had a 39% probability of extracting a career core that was above the super grade. As for the gold grade career scroll, it had a 39% probability of extracting an absolute grade career core, which was also considered to be the ceiling of career cores, such as silver level career scroll, or the popular archer career, in the latter days it's beyond the price of top tier platinum equipment ah. Qin Ming sighed in his heart, his eyes looking towards the teaming scroll next to him. This was a must have item for teaming up, otherwise it would only be like Fatty and the others right now, distributing the experience value based on the damage each of them had inflicted. This was extremely unfair to many professions, especially professions such as priests, and the overall leveling efficiency was also very low. However, with the team scroll, it was different, not only would the experience value received be divided equally, but there was also an additional teaming bonus. In addition, the captain could additionally make experience value distribution transfers, allowing some slightly lower level teammates to share more experience value. Originally, I thought it would be fine to have a teaming scroll, but I didn't expect that I would be given a silver grade one. It's considered an unexpected blessing. Qin Ming lamented and used it up on the spot. Immediately opening his personal panel, a teaming option immediately appeared behind him, and when he clicked in, he could see his name hanging alone in it. On top of that, there were quite a few setting functions, such as inviting and kicking out teammates, distribution of drops, distribution of experience values, and so on. 
Of course, the most important thing was to come up with a nice name for this squad. Born from the Morning Glory Village, how about calling it the Morning Glory Squad? No, no, make it sound like a stationary seller. Why don't we just call the Morning Glory? Squad the Morning Glory Squad. Qin Ming murmured, and as a naming waste, he directly pulled over the name of the novice village and pressed it. Instantly, the empty squad name on the squad panel finally had a name. The next step is to go back and turn in the quest, then pull Fatty and the others into the squad. Qin Ming nodded and closed the squad panel, getting up to put away the two boss corpses. The main things had been sorted out, the rest of those ordinary items could be looked at on the way, and now that there wasn't much time left for the quest, it was better to go back to the village and turn the quest in before he could feel at ease. At this time has been late at night, is still outside practicing not many people, Qin Ming all the way back, spent nearly an hour to finally see the village, at this time has been late at night more than 1 o'clock. Not daring to delay much, he ran all the way towards the bookstore. Eh? Arriving outside the bookstore, Qin Ming was slightly stunned, all the way here, except for the liquor store other stores have basically closed, did not expect that the bookstore is still flooded with fate lights. Couldn't be waiting for me? Thinking suspiciously in his heart, Qin Ming slowly pushed open the door of the bookstore. The small courtyard was empty, not a single person was there, but the light was still on in the house. It's cold and dewy, better come in. An old voice resounded in the house. Qin Ming slightly froze, then smiled, it seems that his guess was right, the old man was really waiting for himself. Then without doing much thinking, he stepped into the hut. The bookstore was a lot brighter and bigger than expected. Rows and rows of bookshelves were displayed, filled with all kinds of books. A few tables and chairs were placed by the windows, and the old man was sitting at a long table, brewing tea, and sipping it bit by bit. Don't look at it, with the rules limiting it, you won't be able to understand what's on it. Come and sit down. Seemingly sensing Qin Ming's curiosity about the bookshelf, the old man's voice slowly sounded. Qin Ming nodded his head, but did not dwell on it, and walked straight to sit down opposite the old man. I didn't expect that you would actually be able to accomplish this task, the younger generation is fearful. The old man quietly looked at Qin Ming, his tone filled with sighs. So, you already know that I completed the mission? Qin Ming asked curiously. The old man shook his head. Guess what, the forest has shone twice with divine light, that's not something a creature in the dark forest can use, and the fact that you've come here now is already enough to explain everything. I told you. Qin Ming muttered with a nod. It was said to be a game, but everything had to follow the rules, and the old man, even if he was an NPC, couldn't possibly know that he had already finished off the demon spirit leopard king before he did. But reasonable speculation is possible, the strong holy light, and his return at this time. You are much stronger than I thought. The old man said as he looked at Qin Ming. Nah. You should say that I'm stronger than you can imagine. Qin Ming laughed indifferently as he raised his hand and took out the Silver Moon Tiger King's corpse. The huge corpse filled the entire aisle, and even the bookcase next to it was squeezed and pushed as a result. A thick smell of blood filled the room. With a shocked look on his face, the old man stood up trembling and looked at the corpse in front of him with a surprised expression. You're right, you're powerful, it's really a bit beyond my imagination. It's hard to imagine that someone could kill this Tiger King on the first day. The pale hands gently stroked over the corpse, not caring at all about the rich blood aura it emitted. A hint of contemplation appeared in Qin Ming's gaze, it seemed that this old man wasn't an ordinary person either. Whose bookstore old man could still be so calm and relaxed under the pressure of a gold level boss? Even if this was just a corpse. Alright, put it away, this is your loot. It was only after a while that the old man turned back and resumed his seat by the desk. The shock on his face was obviously not because of the Tiger King's powerful aura, but rather, he was shocked that Qin Ming was able to decimate this Tiger King at this stage. Qin Ming nodded and retrieved the corpse of the Jungle Tiger King into his ring, he was still waiting to learn the gathering technique to break down the materials. The old man's name is Li, everyone in the village calls me Master Li. Only when Qin Ming sat down again did the old man slowly sit down. Chinese surname? Qin Ming slightly raised his eyebrows, such an obvious Chinese surname was not common in foreign countries. Li Fu Zi nodded and slowly said. We, all of us, are the dead souls of the ancient past, and it was only by the mercy of the gods that we were able to remain in the world for a short time, sealed in this side of the secret realm. Qin Ming was shocked in his heart. This kind of thing was not clear to him in his previous life, it seemed to be news that only a few powerful people could know. Then which dynasty and generation are you from? Qin Ming asked curiously, yet the old man shook his head. Other than knowing that I am from China, I can't remember what dynasty or generation I came from, and I don't even have very clear memories of my life. Qin Ming frowned slightly, and wanted to ask something else, but the old man had already taken out three books and placed them in front of him, and the system beep sounded at the right time. Congratulations on completing the quest hunting the demon spirit leopard, gaining 10,000 experience points, and obtaining the skill books summoning firebird, advanced gathering technique, and insight technique. 
A warm current rose from his body, his experience value was full, and his level was raised to level 7. There shouldn't be any more suitable places for you to upgrade in the village, young people with impulsiveness can consider going over the top of the mountain to see the outside world. I believe this summoned beast, can give you some help. Li Fu Zi pointed at the summoning firebird placed at the top and said, while his empty left hand pointed towards the top. Remember, not to be trusted. Xin Ming, who was originally quite excited, suddenly condensed his gaze slightly and quietly looked at husband Man Su for a while before silently nodding and giving the three skill books into his storage space. It's late at night, go back to rest and relax, it's time for the old immortal to go to sleep. Seeing that Qin Ming had already understood, husband Man Li had no intention of continuing to keep his guest and got up to walk towards the inner room. Qin Ming stood up, glanced at the old man's hunched back and silently walked out of the study, carefully closing the door of the room behind him. Walking on the quiet village road, his heart was never able to calm down. Looking up at the sky, the stars in the sky looked so unreal. The gods can't be trusted. Qin Ming murmured in his heart, which was exactly what Li Fu Zi hadn't finished saying. But the entire game was created by the will of the gods, so if the gods are not to be trusted, then what should be trusted? Perhaps, one should go outside the village and take a look? Qin Ming said softly, his gaze sweeping from the distant dark forest, but eventually returned and stopped at the mountains that surrounded the village. The entire Morning Glory village was located in a depression, with only one gap leading to the dark forest, and it could be said that the entire novice secret realm consisted of these two maps. But tonight, Li Fu Zi's words were already very obvious, asking him to go over the surrounding mountains and take a look at the outside world, so what would be outside? This was something that no one had ever done before in their previous lives, the cliffs that towered like clouds were not something that their group of newbie players could climb over. Even the best rock climbers couldn't go over it. So, that's the purpose of giving me this summoning firebird? Xin Ming thought in his mind and gave the skill book out of his ring. Summoning, firebird, gold level. Learning requirement, spiritual strength 40. Summon a firebird to fight, possesses skills, flame spit, fire rain, level 3, fiery body, level 5. Summon beast qualification, life qualification, 6, attack qualification, 1, legal qualification, 7, defense qualification, 1, legal defense qualification, 2, speed qualification, 3. Summoned beast growth, 30. Cooldown time, 20 minutes. Summoning consumption, 150 points of mana, 50 points of mana per minute thereafter, casting time 5 seconds. Summoning consumption, 150 points of mana, 50 points of mana per minute thereafter, casting time 5 seconds. Strong. Xin Ming nodded his head, the gold level summoned beast is far from the jungle giant ape kind of bronze level can be compared to, just look at this qualification, I'm afraid that after really summoned out of its damage is not even inferior to Gabriel. However, Xin Ming did not feel any joy this time, and only felt as if there was a black hand behind the scenes controlling everything. What does he want? And what was his purpose? Hu Qin Ming took a deep breath why think so much? As long as I'm strong enough, I'll be able to stop the soldiers and cover up the earth with water. Thinking of this, he didn't hesitate to learn the skill, and at the same time took out the other two skill books given to him by Li Fu Zi. Insight Technique, Gold Level. Perception plus 5. Can detect enemies up to two ranks above himself? Detecting sneaking skills up to gold level. Advanced gathering technique, gold level. Gathering of fine materials up to two ranks. Scrying and gathering are both generalized skills with no learning requirements, but they are required for all players. The former can assist players in checking the attributes of their targets and related information, while the latter is the main source of players' income. After all, the drop is not reliable, but the collection is bound to have a harvest, and there is no collection technique, such as the Silver Moon Tiger King, this all the best materials, can only bear the pain to give up. But also because of this, ordinary mortal skill is good to get, high grade is as difficult as heaven. Two gold level general skills, its value is even comparable to the sparkling diamond level vocational skills, how many five or six orders of the latter days of the big brother can only use the most common gathering and probing techniques, visible in the two basic skills of the difficulty of obtaining high to unimaginable. Without wanting to think about those messy things, just looking at this quest's earnings alone, it's beyond imagination. Qin Ming laughed lightly and learned the two skills in turn. At once, he felt that his five senses had been enhanced by quite a bit, and everything around him seemed to have become clearer which was a manifestation of enhanced perception. However, this feeling didn't last long before Qin Ming suddenly felt his eyes burning with pain, as if millions of needles were sticking into them. Ah! Qin Ming cried out in pain as he covered his eyes, and his entire body sat down on his knees. There were quite a few resting police officers nearby, some of them cursing after waking up from their sleep, while others were looking towards him with worried gazes. Hello? Are you alright? A middle-aged police officer came to his side and asked with concern. However, Qin Ming ignored him and covered his eyes and growled lowly for a while before gradually recovering. Slowly lowering his hands, 
he saw the tense police officer beside him at a glance, sharply gazing at this people's police officer with the illusion of being seen through at a glance. This kind of feeling makes him feel very strange, usually this kind of gaze is not when he looks at criminals will have. However, Qin Ming had already lowered his eyebrows and slowly sat up, smiling towards him. Thanks. I'm fine. Just had a nightmare. There were quite a few people around who slept in the open air like him, so saying so wouldn't arouse suspicion. That's good. The constable nodded and pointed to the corner not far from the side, where a few of his teammates were still. We'll rest over there, if you're in trouble just yell for us. Okay. Thanks. Qin Ming nodded his thanks. The police officer went back and said a few words to his companions around him before lying down to rest again. However, at this moment, Qin Ming's heart was in a state of shock, his eyes staring deathly at his skill bar, his ears still echoing with the system prompts that rang out just now. Detected that you have learned the skill Eye of Divine Punishment and are in the process of fusing it with the skill Insight Technique. Fusion successful, congratulations on successfully obtaining the brand new skill Eye of True Premonition, please check the effect of the skill yourself. The introduction of the Eye of True Premonition appeared in Qin Ming's line of sight. When he saw the grade of the skill, his entire body shuddered. Eye of True Premonition, Heavenly Grade. Perception plus 20. Can detect targets no higher than within the 8th rank? Possesses the ability to see through all illusions, and can detect sneak type skills within the Heaven Grade. Can cause oppression to surrounding enemies, reducing all attributes of enemies of the same rank by 10%. Can choose to simulate one of the target skills within Heavenly Grade after active triggering, lasts for 24 hours, 30% probability to learn the skill directly after the duration ends, cooldown time 1 month. His strong. Too strong. Qin Ming murmured out, I'm afraid that no one would have thought that he had already mastered a heavenly skill that could be considered to be of a heavenly level when he was at rank 0, right? Perception plus 20, sneaking within the Heavenly Grade is ineffective. But just these two effects are already enough for me to ignore all sneak type professions and never have to worry that I'll suffer a sneak attack again. And with the ability to probe targets within the 8th rank, the entire world will no longer have secrets for me to speak of. The power of the eye of true premonition was really a bit beyond Qin Ming's imagination. Moreover, this process could not be replicated, after all, Gabriel's eye of divine punishment was not an ability that could be grasped by an ordinary person. Not only did it retain the effect of the eye of divine punishment, making it even more powerful, but it also gives you the opportunity to learn the skill once a month. Even if there's only a 30% probability, that's almost 3 months to learn a skill, if you find a boss and learn a crushing skill or two. Qin Ming thought excitedly in his heart, not to mention other things, Silver Moon Tiger King's Tiger's Whistle Power is comparable to a gold level skill, the good things on the boss can be much more than the player. Moreover, in the latter days, every player always had one or two tricks that evolved from their core skills. When the time came, he only needed to learn these people's core skills, then wouldn't he be full of masterpieces? It's really something to look forward to when you think about it. Qin Ming couldn't help but sigh with emotion. Compared to the eye of true premonition after the fusion, the advanced gathering technique wouldn't have changed much. However, a gold level advanced gathering technique was already an extremely heaven-defying existence amongst the gathering techniques themselves, or at least there were only a handful of players who could have a gold level gathering technique in their previous lives. Qin Ming closed his attribute panel with satisfaction, and then went to the blacksmith store and tailor store to take a stroll. With the advanced gathering technique, the corpses of the Silver Moon Tiger King and the Demon Spirit Leopard King had already been disassembled by him, obtaining a bunch of high-level materials. After handing them over to the bosses of the tailor store and blacksmith store for processing, he was able to obtain a few more pieces of silver and gold-level equipment. It's a pity that weapon casting still requires ores, it seems like we still need to make a trip to the mines tomorrow. After returning to the liquor store, Qin Ming thought helplessly in his heart. Finding the shopkeeper, he handed over the remaining beast meat to him and asked him chef to prepare tomorrow's breakfast for him. Of course, the huge processing fee was not waived. A round of shopping down, let the currency on his body consumed empty, the next still have to think of ways to make money to do so. After all this, it was already 2 or 3 o'clock in the night, Qin Ming was not polite, and directly went to Fatty's room and fell asleep. Just as Qin Ming and the others were peacefully sleeping, the entrance and exit of the secret realm was erupting in a fierce conflict, a large number of players gathered outside the entrance of the secret realm, demanding that the police open the secret realm so that everyone could go in. What gives you the right to guard the entrance and exit of the secret realm? This is a newcomer's secret realm for everyone, and you police have no right to restrict our entry. Right. Hurry up and let us in, the mutated animals outside the city are getting more and more powerful, if we don't hurry up and level up, we won't be able to beat those animals at all, and we'll all die. That's right, you police are holding the entrance to the secret realm, but you police are going in one batch at a time, what benefits are there inside for fear of being gotten by us ordinary people, right? Crowd you a word and I a word, so that the station police feel a great pressure, during the daytime can still fire warning shots, 
will be this group of people to scare back, but at night, it was obvious that they were getting more and more organized, and many of them were gathering in waves, obviously belonging to different forces. On the contrary, it was impossible for them to actually shoot to kill, they were the people's police, and it was impossible for them to swing the butcher's knife at the people they were protecting. Everyone listen to me, what is the situation inside the secret realm? None of us know, our police officers are scouting inside, at most three days, we will definitely give everyone a reply. A police officer at the head shouted with a loudspeaker, trying his best to stop the rioting players, but at this time, the people, instigated by the people who had the intention to do so, had already lost their minds. You guys are farting, it's been a day. If there is danger, you guys would have come out earlier, but one day down, has one person come out? Did you see a single person get hurt? Everyone, don't listen to them, charge in together and shoot us all if you can. The angry crowd launched an onslaught towards the secret realm, just a dozen or so police officers couldn't withstand it at all, and were soon dispersed to the side as everyone scrambled towards the secret realm. Ha, hey, tens of thousands of players, do you really think that you can stop them by relying on these few police officers? Let's go, let's also go and see what this novice secret realm is really like. In the collapsed building next to him, a man in a suit stood on the not yet collapsed second floor quietly watching the scene. Upon seeing that the crowd had completely broken through the defense line, he got up and led the crowd around him in the direction of the secret realm. If Qin Ming was here, he would definitely be surprised that this group of people had hardened to level 1 without being able to enter the secret realm. Ha ha ha, this is an offense against the crowd. Let's go, let's check it out as well. In another building, there was a similarly stout man who laughed out loud. He was followed by a dozen or so people, all dressed in military uniforms with serious faces, but with their ranks similarly raised to level 1. The man in the suit and the military man were all fine here, somewhere in an underground warehouse, there was a man with a thin figure and a gloomy face eating exquisite western food. His side was filled with corpses and blood, some women were naked and shivering in the corner with terrified faces, and even those juniors who were able to move normally had the same nervous and curt faces. Old. Boss, the entrance to the secret realm has been breached, should we go over and take a look? A junior brother asked warily. However, he saw the man raise his head, his bloodthirsty gaze sweeping over his body. Go! The cold and hoarse voice came out, and he saw that he had already stood up and coldly swept a glance at those women in the underground warehouse, kill them all. A similar scene was staged in various parts of Xian Jiang County, learning that the entrance to the secret realm had been opened, all forces had moved to enter. Qin Ming, who had already fallen back to sleep, had no way of knowing about all this, but having witnessed it in his last life, he could roughly understand some of the process. Woke up the next day, already heard the sound of boiling outside, pushed open the window to look, outside has reached the degree of crowded people, obviously the entrance to the secret realm completely open. What's the situation? Why is it so noisy? The fat man who lived in the same room with Qin Ming was woken up by the noise, Qin Ming did not reopen the room last night, the rent is expensive can squeeze or squeeze it. The obese body rubbed his eyes and came to the window, and was stunned this? This? So many people? Didn't you say a little online game that flavor? The opening of the new area is not so? Qin Ming smiled and teased. Generally playing games, the opening of a new area is only a few thousand people, but this is a serious tens of thousands of players ah, a breath of air into such a small village, cannot be crowded? Not to mention the village, not surprisingly, the black demon rabbit's leveling point has been overcrowded, and even the outskirts of the forest, it is estimated that it is not much better. This was also the reason why Qin Ming had to take the materials to the blacksmith store and tailor store overnight last night, starting today, if he wanted to level as peacefully as he did yesterday, I'm afraid it would be impossible. Alright, get up. I've prepared a big meal for you guys, it's going to be delivered in a while, I'm going to call out to teacher Qin and Yun Meng. Qin Ming said, getting up and heading out of the room. The two girls who woke up were also shocked by the sound of people outside the window, lying on the window and curiously surveying the crowd outside while the store assistant had already sent over the processed ingredients. The pungent aroma immediately attracted the attention of the crowd, and Fatty looked at the table full of dishes with a surprised face. Brother Ming, so meaty in the morning? Would it be a little too oily? This is all food made from gold-level ingredients, if you don't eat it you can watch from the side. Xin Ming glanced at him and said, already serving himself a bowl of tiger whip soup and drinking it. This was a real tonic, if you dare to eat this on the blue planet, just wait for the bottom of the jail and the chef's craftsmanship was very good, the fishy flavor was perfectly removed, and all that was left was the freshness of the tiger meat. Crap! What are you talking about? Fat master I'm the kind of person who wastes food? I'll take care of all these things. Fatty exclaimed out in shock, taking a piece of the charcoal grilled tiger rib steak and gnawing on it. And Yun Meng and Qin Yura were similarly glowing, the food in the novice secret realm tasted quite a bit better than on Blue Star, and most of it also had attributes or buff additions. At this moment, when they heard Qin Ming's words, they didn't care that the breakfast was too greasy, 
and they picked up their bowls and chopsticks to eat. The delicious tiger meat instantly brightened the eyes of the two women, elegantly eating but not much slower than Fatty and Chin Ning. This soup? It added three points to my physique? After eating for not even a moment, and Yun Meng suddenly exclaimed out in shock. Me? I also added, one point of life recovery? Fatty, who had just gnawed off a tiger rib steak, had the same shocked look on his face. All of you eat some of this tiger whip cooked earth soup, it adds life qualification. Qin Ming said with a calm face, and his gaze towards the fatty carried a hint of contempt. What kind of ribs are men gnawing on if they don't drink tiger whip soup first? Good things won't even be eaten. Really? Give me some. Fatty exclaimed out in shock and immediately took the bowl and served it. They didn't have Qin Ming's eyes of true forethought, and their ordinary probing techniques couldn't even tell that this was tiger whip soup, so when they heard Qin Ming's words, they instantly filled up a big bowl for themselves. This? Fatty you slow down, save some for me and Mr. Qin. And Yun Meng exclaimed out in shock, she couldn't care less about shouting something about Brother Bao, only to be greeted by the fat man, rushing to take a spoon and fill it up. Qin Ming? Where on earth did you find the ingredients for this? Qin Yuro asked curiously, but the movements in her hands were not slow at all. Qin Ming smiled as he watched the movements of the several people and took a big bite of what was in his bowl. It's all been said that the materials collected from the wild are just of a higher grade. Seeing this situation, Qin Yuro also stopped asking more questions, enjoying her food at ease. A table of rare dishes didn't even last 15 minutes before they were eaten up by the crowd. Xin Ming looked at it and saw that a full feast of tiger meat was still a great boost to his attributes. Physique and strength were both boosted by 10 points, life value by 100, and life recovery by 2 points. Most importantly, the life qualification was also raised by 0, 1 with 1 point of luck value. Hidden attributes and qualifications were extremely difficult to raise, even for gold level cooking, there was only a very small probability. Ah, yes. Fatty leaned back into his chair and shouted with an uninhibited expression. If I could eat such a great meal every day, wouldn't I be super powerful without practicing? And Yun Ming's face was flushed with satisfaction. It would be great if it were really like this. Once you've had a good meal, hurry up and practice leveling, don't forget that there's still a 6 hour experience bonus effect. Qin Ming looked at the several people and laughed. Other than those permanent boosting effects, there were quite a few temporary effects that existed with this banquet table, and the experience value bonus was just one of them. Right right right. Leveling up and practicing. Can't afford to waste time. Hearing Qin Ming's words, the three of them excitedly spoke out and immediately planned to go out and practice leveling. Wait, sign this. Stopping the several people who were about to go out, Qin Ming sent a team invitation towards them. Team up function? The three froze and chose to accept without hesitation. Well, I played a team formation scroll yesterday, but remember that you can only do experience value sharing within line of sight, but communication is possible within a hundred kilometers. Qin Ming explained with a nod. Forming a team naturally wouldn't be an unlimited range, the higher the level of the teaming scroll, the wider the range of communication available in the teaming channel, but the experience sharing had to be within line of sight for it to work. Of course, this within line of sight didn't mean that one had to be able to see it, but rather, the calculation was based on an unobstructed situation, roughly 1 or 2 kilometers in range. Awesome. There's actually an experience bonus? If we were to form a group of 10 people, wouldn't we have a 10% experience bonus? Fatty said excitedly. They had been practicing leveling for the past 2 days but it was a headache. They had to make sure that everyone dealt about the same amount of damage or else the experience value that each person received would be more or less. But with the team scroll it would be different, he could pull monsters with peace of mind, Xin Yuro could return blood with peace of mind, and an Yun Meng could output with her eyes closed, efficiency and safety would be greatly improved. The matter of the teaming scroll, you three just know about it, don't spread it out yet, let alone tell others. With the current disaster coming, people's hearts can't be trusted, only absolutely trustworthy people can be pulled into the team, otherwise waiting until later is a disaster. You guys should also pay some attention when practicing outside, don't trust others easily. Qin Ming spoke out and urged, once people knew that they had a teaming scroll, I'm afraid that many people would request for a team. At that time, there would inevitably be times when they would get in the way, he was fine with it, but Fatty, Teacher Qin and the others would have a hard time. Don't worry. No matter who comes, we won't say anything. Qin Yu Yu said softly. Although she was reminding them, Qin Ming's words revealed his trust in the three of them. This made Qin Yuro a little terrified, in her opinion this was a student's trust in their teacher and she silently resolved that she must be able to afford this trust before she could do so. Don't worry brother Qin Ming, I have the tightest of mouths. And Yun Meng said, lifting her hand over her lips as if zipping it up. Even if Fu Tone comes, I won't say anything. Fatty similarly patted his chest and assured. The two of them didn't think as much as Qin Yuro generally did, Qin Ming treated them well and trusted them, then they naturally trusted Qin Ming as well. 
That's fine. Qin Ming smiled and nodded. He dared to pull a few people into the team, so he naturally trusted them, and these words were just a worry that they would easily trust others outside. After all, in his previous life, this was how Qin Yuro's life fell. As for the class flower Fushitong that Fatty was talking about, it was no surprise that she should still be outside the secret realm, right? After all, player identities weren't that easy to obtain. In addition I got some equipment and skills yesterday, a few of you split a point, more later fatty you find a stall to sell it, remember to only take gold coins, I don't have much currency on me. Pouring a bunch of unused equipment from the ring onto the table, it simply shook the eyes of the three. Wow so many things. There are also skill books. And Yun Meng exclaimed out in surprise, instantly rummaging through the pile of stuff and pulling out a skill book she could use. She was a mage, and skills were vital to her, and currently, she had only gotten a book of energy orb from the bookstore owner, and the base damage was too low. However, as Qin Ming took the stuff out, she found a fire-type small fireball spell, a spell that could do much more damage than energy ball. I also have a copy of it, it's charge. Green skill ah. Brother Ming is bullish. Fatty shouted excitedly, almost as if he was hugging Qin Ming and kissing him. What are you excited about? I still have a gold level warrior skill book here, it depends on when your attributes reach the standard? Qin Ming said and took out the book, Roar of War, which instantly made Fatty's eyes go straight. Dad, give it to me. I want it. Fatty immediately knelt down by Qin Ming's legs, devoid of any modesty. Roll roll roll, wait until your attributes reach the standard, put it there in case you hang up, won't it be a capital enemy? Qin Ming pushed him away with a disgusted face. Eh? What you said seems to make sense, but I feel that my young heart has been hurt. Fatty covered his heart and collapsed to the ground, and the two women laughed out loud as they looked at the living treasure like Fatty. Remember don't forget to sell the extra stuff, otherwise we'll have to sleep on the streets by the time the night comes. After dividing up all the stuff, Qin Ming once again urged towards Fatty, and then each of them stepped onto the path of practicing. Even though he had already been psychologically prepared, the moment he stepped out of the liquor store, the horrifying flow of people still made one's scalp feel numb. The densely packed crowd was simply difficult to walk around, and once you joined them, there was simply no way to do anything other than going with the flow. You ya. Yeah. Don't crowd. I'm going to the blacksmith store. Go away. Imbecile man, if you dare to touch my ass again, do you believe I'll call the police to arrest you? You bitch, you're 200 pounds of fat, see which blind man will touch you? One silver bell breastplate, one piece of hardware. Crap. Which idiot? Who's got a piece of hardware here? I don't even have five copper. The cacophony of voices made Qin Ming's head hurt from listening, but he had to admit that it did have that hint of an online game flavor in it. At the end of the day players were also just ordinary people who had mastered transcendent powers, and all of them had come from the peaceful era, and most of them hadn't really realized how difficult life would be in the future. After a lot of effort, Qin Ming finally made his way through the crowd and arrived near the mountain range to the south of Morning Glory Village, where there was the only mine in the entire newcomer's secret realm. He wanted to build a weapon, relying solely on the materials from the Silver Moon Tiger King and the Demon Spirit Leopard King was naturally not enough, he also needed to find some serious ores. There are rare cold iron or concentrates in the mine cave, either waste your strength to dig them out or go find the deepest miner's corpse king to burst them out, this blacksmith store owner really looks up to me. Walking into the deep mine cave, Qin Ning couldn't help but laugh lightly. This was an abandoned mine cave, which was very spacious, and many players wanted to come here to mine and earn the first bucket of gold in their lives. Unfortunately, there were quite a few monsters in here as well, even the lowest level black-eyed rats had a strength of level 2 or above. Therefore, many players only dare to surround the outside of the mine to watch, no one can really deep into it, and even in the periphery there is not a small amount of danger. Qin Ming summoned the jungle giant ape to follow him around and carefully walked towards the inside until he avoided the gazes of most of the players, and only then did he summon Gabriel out. This place has a very strong dark aura. Just after being summoned out, Gabriel frowned and said, Death mines, well, there are quite a few dark creatures in there, so of course the death aura is thick. Qin Ming laughed and walked with Gabriel towards the depths of the mine. The monsters at the periphery of the mine were dominated by level 2 black-eyed rats and level 5 shadow bats. However, once they entered the depths of the mine, the enemies they had to face were the dead miner zombies. These zombies generally have a level 6 or higher, and the defense is extremely high, the attack also has a corpse poison, ordinary players are extremely difficult to deal with. But the depths of the mine, there is a certain chance of digging out the cold iron, will be given to the boss of the blacksmith store, there is a chance to directly build a bronze level equipment. Therefore, in the later stages, the mines would be a favorite place for many high level players. Boom! After decapitating a mining cave zombie with a sword, Qin Ming joyfully picked up the dropped cold iron ore. With 6 points of luck value, he was finally no longer a zero drop nigger, at least catching up to the average level of the masses. And such a cold iron ore was worth 1 gold coin in the later stages. 
Master, the dark energy over there is very dense, if nothing else, the corpse king should be over there. Gabriel stopped at the fork in the road and said towards one of the passages. Well done. Xin Ming nodded in satisfaction and followed behind Gabriel as he continued to go deeper. The biggest headache of the mine was the dark environment and complicated passages inside, not to mention finding the boss, it would be good if you didn't get lost. However, with Gabriel's presence, with the holy light effect, not only can he illuminate the road, he can also sense the darkness and go straight to where the corpse king is. After walking for 10 minutes, Xin Ming and Gabriel were already standing in a huge basement, and the corpse king, who was close to 3 meters tall, was waking up from his slumber. Gabriel, it's up to you. Xin Ming released Gabriel without hesitation, while summoning the jungle giant ape to protect himself. The mining corpse king's attack power wasn't high, it wasn't even comparable to the wolf king, but its life value and defense were enough to make most DPSs at this stage to spare, and it also had its own rotting skin that reduced damage by 30%. Not only that, but his carrion poison was the most despairing of all. The toxin damage of 1% of its own maximum life value, with its tens of thousands of points of blood that was more than a hundred points of damage per second, and it was also able to stack. Basically, no melee professions other than warriors would be able to get close enough to get past it, and multiple healing professions would have to be equipped behind it. Yes, Gabriel didn't have too much nonsense, and after bowing slightly, he killed towards the corpse king. Gabriel held his sword and went up, the shining guts in his hand stabbed towards the corpse king's head. Roar! Right at this moment, the corpse king completely awakened, roaring out towards Qin Ming's side, and was directly stabbed through by Gabriel. Hiss this is too ruthless, right? Can you at least wait for people to finish their harsh words? This is poking at someone's mouth, how else can one speak? Hearing the corpse king's roar that came to an abrupt end, Qin Ming couldn't help but feel some toothache, if he was poked while he was talking, he was afraid that he would be suffocated to death, right? As expected, the corpse king that was attacked looked like it had some kind of unfinished business, its movements changed a lot, and it didn't take long for Gabriel to lock his throat with another sword. The foul-smelling green corpse liquid splashed out, and the corpse king's neck and mouth had been completely covered by it. Two consecutive strikes were stabbed at the corpse king's vitals, the huge vital attack from directly took away more than 2,000 points of his blood, while his corpse poison was difficult to have an effect on Gabriel. Gabriel's pre-existing defense growth value is truly enviable. Qin Ming sighed in admiration. A zero-stage warrior profession had a defense growth value of zero. Three, but Gabriel's defense growth at this point had reached one point, which was 70% higher. Because of this, with Gabriel's extremely high attribute value, the double defense was also extremely terrifying. Roar once again suffered several attacks, the corpse king finally slowed down, but the rapidly declining bloodline made it impossible for it to turn the tide. Even the strongest poison explosion skill was nothing more than that in front of Gabriel. After putting on the Tiger King suit, Gabriel's blood quantity had reached over 8,000 points, and his attack power was even closer to 1,000. Not to mention more than 400 double defense, standing there not moving Corpse King cannot break her defense, no pressure to speak of, at most wear down her a little bit of blood just. Not only that, Gabriel's Eye of Divine Punishment could also weaken its attributes by 10%. Without even lasting a minute, the mind boss that had tormented players for weeks in his previous life was decimated by Gabriel and turned into a field of equipment. Eh? This is? Waiting for the necrotic poison to dissipate, Xin Ming picked up the drops on the ground, and his gaze was first attracted by a black heart among them. Minor Corpse King's Heart, Special. The depths of the mine have a dense dark energy spreading, what does this dead Corpse King seem to be guarding? Perhaps for them, it is a glimmer of hope for life. An inexplicable special item made Xin Ming a bit puzzled, but at that moment, Gabriel had already come to his side once again. Master, the dark energy hasn't disappeared, it seems to be coming from deeper. Gabriel said with a frown as he stared into the depths of the passageway. Hearing this, Qin Ming suddenly remembered a legend about the mine cave from his previous life. It is said that deep within the mine cave, there exists a small secret realm that can be entered by holding the appropriate item, but there is only one chance to do so, either pass the secret realm or die in it. Qin Ming recalled, suddenly having a feeling that perhaps this corpse king's heart was the key to open the secret realm. Go! Let's continue to go deeper in and take a look. Qin Ming immediately led Gabriel towards the mine cave to continue going deeper in. In fact, the location where the corpse king was located was already infinitely close to the end of the depths of the mine, and the rest of the passageway wasn't very long. It didn't take long before Qin Ming and Gabriel stopped at the end of a dead end. Aside from the slightly larger space, this place was no different from the rest, but Qin Ming keenly realized that there was a nearly vanishing spell formation on the ground. Sure enough, a small secret realm that can only be entered once. Qin Ming nodded slightly. There were quite a few people who had come in here in their previous lives, but the spell formation had already been turned on, so no one had noticed the abnormality on the ground. 
The probability was that the player who had gone in in the first place had already died inside, so it was evident that the risks involved were extremely high. Xin Ming was also hesitant to go in now, but after careful thought decided to go steady. Currently the level isn't at the top, the equipment and skills aren't complete, it's too risky to venture in. I can totally develop for a few more days, it's unlikely that any players will arrive here in the short term anyway, and I can also go ask Li Fu Zi to see if he knows about the situation here. Thinking of this, Xin Ming slowly retreated with Gabriel, the only chance he had could not be wasted. Either he would achieve success or die, he hoped that he would be the former. After two hours of bending around in the underground mine, Xin Ming finally came out. At this time, it was already noon, he didn't go back to the village, and after simply eating some dry food, he found an unoccupied dense forest and summoned the firebird. Chirp a clear and loud cry sounded, and a huge firebird appeared in midair, its scorching breath causing the surrounding dense forest to take on a trace of scorching heat. This? Can you really sit on it? Xin Ming froze, looking at the flames burning on the firebird's body, he couldn't help but be a little worried about whether or not his little bird could withstand such high temperatures. Chirp as if sensing Qin Ming's thoughts, the firebird cried softly and slowly landed in front of him, the land under its claws was immediately burnt to a crisp. Qin Ming raised his hand and carefully touched some of the flames it emitted, realizing that there was no burning sensation other than warmth. Chirp the firebird tilted its head and gently rubbed against his palm. A body that seemed to be made entirely of flames was able to give him the feeling of touching a real body. Looks like you can really take me to the sky. Qin Ming laughed softly. Chirp the firebird cod, its wings made of flame slowly stretching as if in response to Qin Ming's words. Summoned beasts all had spirits, and although they didn't have real lives like imperial beast masters imperial beasts, they had the same self-consciousness. Then I'll trouble you. Qin Ming stroked its neck and rolled over to leap up. The firebird's size was so large that flying with him was not a problem at all, and its wings slowly flapped, spreading out to a width of nearly 10 meters. Chirp the biting wind blew the surrounding plants to the ground, and the firebird rose up into the air and flew towards the distant mountain peaks. All the players who were still in the village saw the flames rising up into the sky, and were instantly astonished. Crap! A phoenix has appeared! What? There's even a phoenix in this novice village? Could it be some hidden quest? Phoenix look at me! If you have any quests, just come at me and don't bother anyone else! Shit! Get lost, with your strength, can you do the quests you've been given? It's better to give it to me! What do you say? Such a big phoenix, if it's roasted and eaten? Wouldn't it taste great? Charcoal roasted phoenix? Are you sure you're not giving it a hot bath? Can't it be steamed or stewed? Chicken with mushrooms? Tisk that would require a larger pot, otherwise it wouldn't be able to be stewed in one pot. Makes sense. The people of the Big Eater Empire were still discussing whether to steam or stew, while Qin Ming was already riding on the back of the ingredient, Firebird, straight into the clouds. It had to be said that its flames were still very useful, at least Qin Ming didn't feel the slightest bit of strong wind, instead he felt wrapped in a blanket of warmth. But after all, there is no safety measures in the air, or let him feel very nervous and exciting, just afraid that he did not hold on to fall down. Fortunately, the flight of the firebird was quite smooth, and there was no such thing as rolling 360 degrees in the air or any other such tawdry maneuvers, and it brought Qin Ming towards the mountains surrounding Morning Glory Village as it rapidly approached. Eh? This is reaching the upper limit of the secret realm's altitude? Xin Ming said softly as he looked at the sky. The secret realm was like the universe said, it was wrapped in an egg-like spatial barrier. At this moment, Xin Ming could already see the stars above him, and there seemed to be endless darkness enveloping it, very different from the quiet and peacefulness of the village. This feeling was very strange, unlike on the blue planet, where there was a certain transition from the atmosphere to the infinite starry sky, it was as if this place was really a world that had been cut out, with obvious boundaries. Can I fly out directly? Qin Ming thought doubtfully in his heart, as the height rose, the air was slightly thinner, but not to the point of being unbearable. But if he really had to rush out, would he or she be directly burst by the internal pressure in the vacuum? Forget it, forget it, it's better not to die. Flying to dispel that dangerous thought in his own mind, he let the firebird fly towards the outside of the mountain range. Although the mountain peaks were high, they certainly didn't exceed the limit of the world barrier, and with the firebird in place, Qin Ming easily scaled the mountains and arrived at a completely new world. Here. Qin Ming's face changed slightly, from the moment he leapt over the cliff, the scenery before him had suddenly changed drastically. The lush forests, quiet villages, and the world of birds and flowers like a paradise had disappeared, and was replaced by a barren and dark world. The strong tearing sensation was extremely disconcerting, and the densely packed undead beings below that kept walking around also alarmed Qin Ming. Undead natural disaster? They came from here? Qin Ming exclaimed out in shock, causing the firebird to stop in midair, looking at all this in front of him with a shocked expression. After the end of the novice mystic realm, the entire mystic realm will be turned into a single divine power crystal, 
after which a large number of monsters will come to snatch this divine power crystal. The monsters encountered differ from city to city, and what Xian Jiang County has encountered is this endless group of undead natural disasters. But why? They would be outside the novice village, and what kind of connection is there between the two? Xin Ming's heart was filled with doubts, he originally thought that these monsters were directly refreshed around the city, but now it seemed that this was not the case. If they were originally in the secret realm, then what kind of relationship did they have with Morning Glory Village? Were they originally coveting Morning Glory Village's divine power? Or were they originally in league with Morning Glory Village? Gods, not to be trusted. Suddenly remembering Master Li's reminder, an aura flashed through Qin Ming's mind. True or not? False or not? After killing off all of you ghostly things, I'd like to see if there will still be an undead natural disaster coming. Returning to his senses, Qin Ming looked at the endless undead creatures in front of him and said in a deep voice. Only by experiencing the disaster in his previous life could he realize how many lives had been lost as a result of this undead natural disaster. If the undead plague could really be stopped here, it would undoubtedly save countless lives. Of course, Qin Ming didn't act rashly, but instead summoned Gabriel. Go try the strength of these undead creatures. Qin Ming said in a deep voice. It is incumbent upon me to purify the darkness. Gabriel said with a solemn expression, and immediately drew his shining guts and descended towards the bottom. As Gabriel appeared, the holy divine aura was as dazzling as the blazing sun in the darkness. All the undead creatures couldn't help but raise their heads and look towards Gabriel, who was rapidly descending in the sky. Ka ah! Roars, the crunching of skeleton bones, and the shrill whistling of banshees. Countless undead creatures converged towards Gabriel's direction, causing Qin Ming's heart to lift. He knew that Gabriel's strength was very powerful, but as many ants could bite an elephant, he was also worried that she would fall into a state of awe. However, as the two sides exchanged blows, he realized that he had overthought it, even when facing a group of first-rank monsters, Gabriel's strength was still strong. Holy light is above, please help me expel the darkness. Gabriel cleared his voice, a flash of holy flame surfaced on the long sword in his hand and slashed towards a white bone skeleton in front of him. Boom! The huge skeleton was instantly chopped to pieces, and the holy flame still continued to scorch the soul fire that had yet to be extinguished. Gabriel, who had the attribute of light, had an innate restraining effect on these undead creatures, and even if he couldn't do a second kill like before, his attack power was still terrifying. Kill. Gabriel didn't stop, shining his guts and sweeping out. A large number of skeletons around him shattered to the ground. Even if these skeletons reorganized rapidly and killed again, it was just for Gabriel to strike one more time. Level 10 to 12 white bone skeletons with thousands of blood points, coupled with level suppression, can't carry Gabriel's two swords, it's a bit weaker than I thought. Qin Ming thought thoughtfully. Between different ranks, there was a tribute suppression, and this suppression was terrifying, with the highest being able to reach about 10 times. However, in terms of Gabriel's current damage, although it was weakened, it was also very weak, far from reaching 10 times, not even double. Of course, on the one hand, it was the special nature of Order 0 to Order 1, and on the other hand, it was also due to the suppression effect of Gabriel's divine attribute on undead creatures. Rank 0 is not considered a complete profession level to be exact, and rank 1 is the beginning of all professions. That's why you can use profession scrolls to refresh your profession and profession core at rank 0, and the advancement quests aren't as difficult as going from rank 1 to rank 2. Similarly, the weakening of rank 1 creatures against rank 0 creatures isn't as pronounced anymore. Combining the relevant information he had learned in his previous life, Xin Ming had understood the situation at hand. To put it bluntly, these undead creatures, they were just of a higher rank and higher attributes, and the rank suppression that he was most worried about was instead not a problem. Holy light is above, darkness retreats. At this moment, Gabriel in the middle of the field once again rose into the air, summoning a huge angelic sword, the the undead creatures converging around her were growing in number, not only the melee skeleton warriors, there were also quite a few skeleton archers and skeleton mages surrounding them. She didn't want to get herself caught up in the surroundings, and even more so, she didn't want to engage those banshees coming from behind as a result, so naturally, the wide-range angelic sword couldn't be retained. Boom the power of holy light coalesced in the sky, and countless undead creatures below raised their heads and looked towards the light that caused them to feel disgust and fear. Gabriel was bathed in a piece of holiness, just like the sun in the darkness, illuminating the entire world. Chop! Gabriel shouted out harshly as the huge sacred sword chopped down, and countless undead creatures directly vaporized and dissipated. The massive amount of experience value allowed Qin Ming to upgrade once again, and even after ascending to level 8 his experience continued to soar, growing by a large margin visible to the naked eye. There was an experience value reward for killing at a higher level, and this reward was only richer for killing at a higher level, and the super large range of the angelic sword directly cleared away the dense concentration of undead creatures. Even if some of the higher leveled undead creatures with thicker blood quantities survived, 
they were similarly plunged into a state of serious injury. I didn't expect that this is a holy place to practice leveling, according to my progress, I'm afraid that I'll reach level 9 today, right? Xin Ming thought as he looked at his experience value. The experience value needed to level up from level 7 to level 8 was as high as 48,000 points, while the experience value needed to level up from level 8 to level 9 was even as high as 72,000 points, which could not be brushed up without a day or two in the dark forest. I didn't expect that just one round of angel sword here would directly send him up to level 8. Although there was experience from brushing in the mines, the upgrade speed could only be described as appalling. The strength of these undead creatures is probably understood, so next it's time to see just how many monsters are here. What about the strongest strength? Xin Ming thought in his heart. Recalling Gabriel back, he rode the firebird with her and rose into the air once again, patrolling this entire land of darkness. In order to avoid being sniped by long-range monsters, this time they flew very high, and had even hidden themselves in the clouds, only being able to vaguely see some of the scenery below. That's, the Black Tower? As he continued to go deeper and deeper, Xin Ming gradually discovered a building that stood amongst the undead, which were actually black towers that were tens of meters high. He wasn't sure of the purpose of these black towers for a while, but he soon realized that all of these undead creatures lived around the black towers, which were built around the mountains outside of Morning Glory Village. It seems that the number of undead creatures is not as large as imagined, and what stretches out is just less than 10 kilometers, what is truly shocking is the huge area that surrounds the entire Morning Glory Village. Qin Ming thought in his mind. Wanting to land near the Black Tower to take a look, he was stopped by Gabriel. There are quite a few powerful auras near the Black Tower, we can easily be besieged if we approach hastily, Gabriel said in a deep voice. Forget it then, just take a look from afar. Qin Ming nodded. Looking across the distance, these towers were all made of a black ore, with a ghostly blue light escaping from within. It seemed to be some sort of energy that was running under the control of some undead creatures. Eh? There? Qin Ming suddenly stopped, his eyes looking towards a towering black tower in front of him. Unlike ordinary black towers, this black tower appeared even taller and more majestic, and was even close to reaching the height of nearly half of the mountain range. Moreover, there were figures walking in the tower from time to time, and there were even flying banshees on the periphery. If he and Gabriel did not fly high enough and hide in the clouds, I am afraid that they would have already chased them over. Not daring to stay, the two of them flew away quickly, otherwise if they were chased by such a group of banshees, they would be afraid that they would have to shed their skin even if they didn't die. I remember that banshees are level 15 or above magic monsters, and have a void form that is immune to physical attacks. Qin Ming frowned slightly. In the undead plague of heaven in his previous life, these banshees only appeared at a later stage, causing great casualties to the players. Sure enough, the monsters of the undead catastrophe, they all went out from here, so is this black tower. Not a portal, responsible for sending these monsters to the blue planet? Qin Ming thought thoughtfully. Surrounding the entire Morning Glory village, a total of three such giant black towers were found, all of which had a powerful aura spreading from them, while the periphery was also surrounded by corresponding undead creatures. As for the ordinary black towers, there were 32 of them, the specific effects were unknown, but not surprisingly, they all had the existence of small bosses inside. The undead heavenly tribulation of the previous world? Just how many small bosses appeared? Some of them I can't remember. Qin Ming carefully recalled, but it was too far back in time, and he could only recall the despair and helplessness he felt at that time. Nope. I remember that there was a banshee king amongst the gold-ranked bosses. At that time, it directly caused the deaths of close to a third of the players. Suddenly, his gaze flickered, and the images in his memory flashed by, but it was a haunting scene of countless players dying horribly. It seems that these black towers are not unrelated to the undead plague. Xin Ming said in a deep voice if the three large black towers are manned by gold-ranked bosses, then in these smaller black towers, there should be silver-ranked bosses. 32 silver-ranked bosses, 3 gold-ranked bosses, plus an uncountable number of bronze-ranked bosses and endless undead creatures, this was the undead apocalypse that they would have to face after the end of the novice mystic realm. Not to mention such a small county as their Xian Jiang County, even those big cities, nearly half of them didn't hold their ground, and countless players and humans died tragically. Gabriel, send them another angelic sword and we should head back. Looking at the time, a stroll around had taken more than two hours, and wanting to clear them all out would undoubtedly still take a lot of time. However, the hourly rounds of angelic swords had caused his experience value to skyrocket, and as this last round of angelic swords fell, his level rose to level 9. However, just as he was about to go and check his attributes after upgrading, a rare system sound unexpectedly sounded in his head. Global announcement, Chinese player, Qin Ming has been upgraded to level 9, a blue star leveling event will be opened for a limited time of 1 week, limited to level 9 players only, experience values beyond the current level will be converted into experience points, and the top 10 players in terms of points at the end of the event will be rewarded.
Global announcement, Wasia player, Qin Ming has leveled up to level 9. Global announcement, Chinese player Qin Ming has been promoted to level 9. With the system announcement three times in a row, Qin Ming froze, not to mention the global players. Leveling up event? What the hell? There was this in the previous life? Go back to the village. Qin Ming immediately ordered, taking Gabriel back into the summoning space and riding the Firebird all the way back towards Morning Glory Village. On the way, he had already opened the leveling leaderboard in his personal panel, and his name was alone in the first place, with zero experience points behind it. Is it because I just rose to level 9 and haven't had time to fill up my experience points yet? Xin Ming thought in his mind as his eyes looked towards the rewards behind him, and he couldn't help but suck in a breath of cold air. Three points of divine power, a platinum grade skill book of the first rank of this profession, and a platinum grade weapon of the first rank of this profession. This is really going to drive people crazy. What was divine power? That was a power that could only be grasped by a god. And for a player, the biggest effect of divine power was to raise his qualifications. A little bit of divine power could raise any of his qualifications by one point, which had an extremely profound effect on any player. Not only that, if one wanted to create heavenly and holy grade weapons, they also had to have the assistance of divine power, which could be said to be something that even the gods were jealous of. The platinum level skill books and weapons in the back of the room that was even more needless to say, look at his summon firebird, look at the shining guts in Gabriel's hand, this was still only gold level skill books and weapons, but it was already enough to affect the balance. But, I haven't heard of any rankings in my previous life? Is it because the trigger conditions weren't met? Xin Ming thought in doubt in his mind, but he had already received a message from Fatty and the others in the group channel. Crap! Brother Ming! It's you, isn't it? The world's first level 9 player? Brother Ming is awesome. Fatty shouted in a broken voice. Brother Qin Ming. I saw it. You have level 9, ah. And Yun Meng's screams rang out in the same way, her voice carrying uncontrollable excitement. Qin Ming, good job. Qin Yuro exclaimed, but worried that she would slow down Qin Ming's pace you don't need to worry about us, grab your own upgrades and try to take the global number 1 spot. Right, right. Brother Qin Ming, go upgrade quickly, I saw that first place reward, it's so tempting. M.S. Qin is right, Brother Ming you hurry up and upgrade, you can take A. Hearing Qin Yuro's words, Fatty and In Yun Meng both came back to their senses and urged Qin Ming to hurry up and go upgrade to brush up his experience. Seeing the words of the several people, Qin Ming's heart was also warmed and he sent a message back to the several people. You guys hurry up and upgrade, I'll take you guys to brush up after level 5 and try to have a heck of a time. After sending the message, Xin Ming closed the chat channel, at this time, the Firebird had already returned to the Morning Glory Village and landed in the woods by the cliff. The players were all stunned by the system announcement that had just been made, and no one had noticed the difference over here, or even if they had, no one would have put their minds on the Firebird, and everyone was caught up in the heated discussion of the leveling charts. Crap! Who is Qin Ming? I'm only just level 2 when he's already level 9? This nigga is open for business, isn't he? I'm from the police, I came in on the first day, and I'm only level 3 until now. Shit. Police? You still have the nerve to say that, if it wasn't for you guys blocking the entrance to the secret realm, would I have to be level 1 by now? That's right. Fight for me. Qin Ming is awesome, he has brought honor to China. Brothers, let's go for it and slaughter this leveling chart. Wake up, only players above level 9 can be on the list, it's doubtful if you can reach level 9 in a week. Right, this is too awesome, right? How did he manage to rise to level 9 in 2 days? Maybe this game is run by his family? Walking on the roads of Morning Glory Village, Qin Ming's ears were filled with the chatter of players. The announcement this time was global in nature, even beyond the realm of China, and he didn't expect that he would make such a big commotion. He's not to mention Xin Zhang County, I'm afraid the whole world was discussing his name. Fortunately, the leaderboard only announced his name, the whole of Huaxia called Qin Ming by the thousands, as long as a low profile, but do not have to worry about will be recognized. Passing through the crowd, Qin Ming made his way to the middle of the bookstore. Thanks to the heat of the global announcement, there weren't too many players submitting quests in the bookstore, so he wasn't in a situation where he couldn't squeeze in. Come to the inner room. While he was thinking about how to speak with the Li Fu Zi in the courtyard, a familiar voice came to his ears. Qin Ming froze, directly crossed the crowd toward the inner room. The courtyard was overcrowded, but no one noticed him. Walking into the familiar study room, his ears suddenly cleared, a silhouette identical to that of Husband Minli outside slowly raised his head and looked at him with a smile on his face. Husband Minli? The one outside? Qin Ming froze. It's just a little spell, otherwise if I really wanted my old bones to go over there, I wouldn't be tossed to death? Husband Minli laughed lightly, looking at Qin Ming and nodding in satisfaction two days, and you've already reached level 9, not bad, not bad. You know about this leveling activity? Qin Ming was really surprised now. He didn't think that Li Fu Zi would even know about this. Ha ha, 
It's a global announcement. It doesn't say that it's limited to you players, but it's just that only you guys can participate. Li Fu Zi said with a smile. I see. This event can be opened as soon as a player reaches level 9? Xin Ming asked tentatively, after all, he hadn't heard of this in his previous life. That's not true. Li Fuzi shook his head, it requires a player to rise to level 9 within 3 days. I see. Qin Ming nodded his head. In that case, it would make sense why he hadn't heard of any leveling events in his previous life. It was because no one could level up to level 9 within 3 days. Thinking of this, Qin Ming's heart was suddenly startled. If there was this setting but no one was able to achieve it, did that mean that the strength of the blue star players was lower than the gods' expectations? After all, the fact that the gods will had such a setting meant that it could be attained. And if the Lord God's expectations weren't met, wouldn't that lead to some sort of bad consequences? It definitely will. Qin Ming thought firmly in his heart. The gods wouldn't be kind enough to offer charity, they were bound to have something to ask for. In this situation if the value displayed by the blue star humans did not reach the gods' expectations, then the resources invested by the gods would definitely be reduced or even abandoned. This is not bad, if there is more than one game world like blue star, then blue star players will also fall further and further behind. As his thoughts dispersed, Qin Ming's heart became more and more uneasy, and there were many things that could not be allowed to be thought about deeply. Little Qin Ah, don't put too much pressure on yourself, there is always a solution to everything. Seemingly seeing the uneasiness within Qin Ming's heart, Masterly spoke out to comfort him. Hearing these words, Qin Ming took a deep breath and snapped out of his inner shock. You are right. There is always a solution to anything. Qin Ming nodded and took a black, fishy-smelling heart from the package. This is? The Li Fu Zi, who had always been on cloud 9, suddenly shook, his gaze shocked as he looked at the heart, and a slight tremor appeared in his pale hands. This was obtained by a corpse king I hunted and killed in the mine, it seems to be able to open a small secret realm deep within the mine, but it can only be entered once, so I wanted to come and ask you if you know anything about this secret realm? It's also good to give me some help. Qin Ming explained, he could tell that Li Fu Zi should recognize this heart, and it was not likely that the corpse king was still an acquaintance of his. Sure enough, as Qin Ming's words fell, after a short silence Li Fu Zi sighed out. It was Blacksmith Wang who told you to go, right? This kid, has been unable to let go. This is the village miner, surnamed Zhang, usually digging for Wang Blacksmith, the two have always been on good terms. Later, said here, Li Fu Zi paused, helplessly shook his head. We are all a group of souls favored by the gods, and were able to be reborn in this small world, but for us this is a place to regain a new life, and a cage to imprison us. In the mine cave, Miner Zhang dug out a passageway to the outside world, thinking he could escape with everyone, but unfortunately, it didn't work? Qin Ming asked curiously. One could say it succeeded, but it's also considered a failure. Li Fu Zi sighed and shook his head. In his drop, besides this heart, there should be a diary, right? A diary? It seems like there is indeed one. Qin Ming froze and opened his ring space, taking out a decayed and blurred diary. There were quite a few things dropped by the corpse king, he had taken a general look at them and hadn't had time to organize them yet. The corpse king's heart and this diary were considered to be some of the more special items in there. Ah, minor Zhang. Su Fu Zi picked up the diary with a hint of remembrance and grief in his eyes. There was then a faint glow that lit up in his hands, and after a few seconds it slowly stopped and was placed back in front of Qin Ming. I've unlocked the seal on it, but you shouldn't open it in a hurry, otherwise it'll be prone to some attention, which isn't good for you. In that secret passageway, it's able to avoid those gazes, so open it when you're officially inside, anything you want to know will be inside. But that secret realm. Your current strength is still a bit worse, the danger in the passageway is not much worse than outside the village. Hearing these words, Qin Ming's heart was suddenly aghast, this was actually a secret realm of rank 1 or above, no wonder no player was able to pass through. I'm outside the village. Qin Ming wanted to tell the matter outside the village to Mr. Li, only just opened his mouth but was stopped by him raising his hand. Xiao Qin, there are some unspeakable things, but there is a saying in China, called one force breaks all laws, let in demons and monsters, I will cut them with one sword. After finishing his speech, Master Li pushed the diary on the table towards Qin Ming once again, then picked up the book he had not yet finished reading and read it once again. Thanks a lot. After sitting in silence for a moment, Qin Ming put the diary away and thanked towards husbandman Li. Coming out of the bookstore, the crowd outside was still having a heated discussion about the leveling event. Qin Ming, however, did not care to pay attention to it and walked towards the blacksmith store while pondering. Although Fuzi Li didn't say it explicitly, the meaning of it was already obvious. The undead creatures outside the village, no matter what kind of schemes they had, as long as they were all leveled. One power breaks all laws, any more plots and tricks are just clowns in front of absolute power, as long as all those black towers are pushed down, all the plots will be ineffective. As for the secret realm and the depths of the mines, 
perhaps we can only wait for the end of the leveling event, we should at least have the strength to push down the large black towers, Xin Ming thought in his heart. Listening to what Li Fu Zi meant, the strength of the monsters in the secret realm was no less than that outside the village, so a rank 1 or higher gold level boss was bound to exist, which was already about the same strength as a large black tower. A zero rank novice secret realm, yet all the monsters encountered are one rank monsters, no wonder I haven't heard of anyone clearing it? Qin Ming shook his head helplessly and had arrived outside the blacksmith store. Handing over both the cold iron ore and cold iron mineral essence to blacksmith Wang, he could clearly feel the trembling of the other party's hands. Li Fu Zi was right, he would enter the mine and would kill the corpse king. It was precisely Wang blacksmith's guidance. Come get your equipment after three days, I will definitely build you the strongest weapon. Wang blacksmith said in a hoarse but firm tone. Then I'll trouble you. Qin Ming nodded and did not say anything more, under the gaze of the gods, many words could not be said explicitly. Don't worry. And. Thanks. Taking the materials, blacksmith Wang turned around and went into the middle of the backyard. Coming out of the blacksmith store, Qin Ming sent a message to Fatty and the others before entering the dark forest once again. It was nighttime, and his lucky talent was about to be refreshed, and there were still some bosses in the dark forest that were just right for him to brush his equipment. Along the way, he also sorted through the Corpse King boss drops and put one of the bracelets on his hand. Spirit Evocation Bracelet, Silver Grade. Requirements for use, Intelligence 20, Mental Strength 10. Spell Strength plus 20. Spell Casting Speed increased by 10%, Spell Casting Speed increased by 10%, Spell Casting Speed increased by 10%. Summoned Beast Attribute plus 5. Attack Power of Summoned Beast plus 20. Durability 20 20ths. As I recall, the Wolf King of the Forest Wolves, it's only right that it's also a silver level boss. There's also the Black Water Python King, but this level is a bit low, so I guess the equipment that pops out isn't very good either. It's better to use the lucky talent on the Wolf King, as for the Python King directly kill it and take the materials to commission the process. Xin Ming thought in his mind and had quietly arranged these bosses in a clear manner. As for those bronze level bosses, the boost to him was too small, it was better to leave it to other players. If you eat meat yourself, you have to let others drink some soup, don't you? Roar moving along against the night, he soon arrived at the territory of the Black Water Python King. Its level was not high, and the Black Water Snake itself was only a level 5 or so monster, weaker than the Monkey King of Monkey Mountain. However, the strength of the Black Water Python King was not weak, it was a rare silver level boss, much stronger than the jungle giant ape. Not only that, the Black Water Python King was likewise a poisonous snake, the toxins between its teeth were even better than the Corpse King's carrion poison. Therefore, the Black Water Python King was discovered by the players early on, but it wasn't until the secret realm was about to close that it was decimated. One breath, finish it off, Qin Ming said. Summoning Gabriel, the Firebird, and the Jungle Giant Ape, he charged up with a single breath. Not to mention Gabriel and the Firebird, the Jungle Giant Ape with Qin Ming's attribute bonus had a strength comparable to that of a silver level summoned beast. Roar! The Black Water Python King roared out, lunging towards the jungle giant ape on the ground, only to be smashed down by its fist. Boom! After all, it was a silver level boss, the huge snake body was smashed over in the mud, but the snake's tail was rolled towards the giant ape. At this time, Gabriel in the sky had already rushed in with his sword, a cold aura flashed by, and the shining guts in his hand had already pierced into its seven inches. Roar roar came out, the thick snake tail slapped the earth violently, Qin Ming could feel the vibration coming from his feet even from a distance. Chirp the firebird swooped down, its claws burning with flames grabbed the arching snake tail and brought it up into the sky. After flying out tens of meters, it threw it towards the ground, and at the same time, it opened its mouth to spray a mouthful of flames. The black water python in the sky had no way to dodge, and Qin Ming even smelled the faint aroma of roasted meat. Chop! Without waiting for the python to land, Gabriel, who had chased after it, stabbed out with another sword, almost directly chopping it into two pieces. Boom! The giant python fell to the ground, some attacks down the blood quantity has been lost most of the time, and at this time the jungle giant ape once again rushed up, grabbed the snake tail as a burst of flinging. Boom! The snake's head smashed into the tree next to it, and the thick tree trunk was broken. The blackwater python also fainted under this violent impact. Without waiting for it to wake up, Gabriel and the firebird struck again, completely harvesting its remaining life. It was fine for a silver-ranked boss to be held down and rubbed on the ground by a bronze-ranked summoned beast like the jungle giant ape, but surprisingly, it didn't even really use a few of its skills until it died. TSK. I would call you the miserable silver boss, Xin Ming sighed, but his hand movements were not slow. Joyfully, he picked up its drop and threw a gathering spell over in the process. The Blackwater Python dropped one piece of silver level equipment, but it wasn't from the law system, but the leather armor of the agility profession, so it could only be kept in the bottom of the box. On the contrary, 
there were a few pieces of bronze level equipment that could be used. On top of that, there was also a bronze level profession scroll, but it was a life class casting profession. Boss, the sound is coming from this side, is someone going to trouble that python? Just as Qin Ming was organizing his harvest, there was suddenly a speaking voice in his ears. Turning his head to look, he saw that a line of people were leaping out of the woods, wearing bits and pieces of equipment that looked a bit unorthodox. Police? Nope. This is the military. Qin Ming's gaze slightly condensed, his eyes swept over the military uniforms that several people had yet to change out of, and he instantly understood the identities of these people. And when they saw Qin Ming, they were similarly stunned. Especially the ones looking at Gabriel and Firebird beside him were shocked, their powerful auras intimidating newborns. Who are you? Why are you here? What's wrong with them? A young man in leather armor asked loudly, life in the military had made them used to being loud and even looking a bit menacing. Qin Ming frowned slightly, not expecting to run into players here, knowing that the level of the monsters in this neighborhood was not low. However, seeing their level, and combining it with their identity, it wasn't surprising that they were able to come here. Is it related to you? Qin Ming said in a displeased tone, having to admit that the other party's bossy tone was indeed very irritating. What attitude do you have? Hearing this, the other party instantly spoke out in anger. With their rank, where wouldn't all the officials have to be courteous when they met them? However, without waiting for him to continue his attack, he was rebuked by the middle-aged uncle at the head. Little Zhang, what's with the fidgety behavior? People are not your subordinates. Change your temperament properly. Apologize to them. Leader, disobedience was written all over his face, but he didn't dare to retort when he saw his gaze, so he only glared at Qin Ming with an indignant face. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, he didn't mean any harm, you should be a summoner type of profession, right? Is this your summoned beast? The uncle asked in a kind tone, but it seemed that he had been in a high position for many years, so he naturally carried a hint of majesty that ordinary people did not have. However, Qin Ming did not answer his question, but instead looked at them in an affirmative tone and said, Xin Jiang County does not have a military department, you are a recent arrival with the rank of division commander Wang Wanju. Hearing this, a trace of surprise flashed across the faces of the people, not expecting that they and the others would be recognized so quickly? Who are you? A public official of Xin Jiang County? Wang Guizhu asked with a solemn expression. He could hear Qin Ming's tone, it was not a question, but an affirmation. However, Qin Ming still didn't answer positively, instead, he took out a few things from his ring and placed them on the ground in order. Is there any interest in making a deal? Equipment, skills, and profession scrolls. Of course. I only accept game currency. Leader. That's bronze level leather armor. And skill books. The young officer from before exclaimed in shock, looking at the equipment and skill books Qin Ming took out with excitement. The other adjutant next to him, however, was looking at the profession scrolls in it with a look of surprise on his face. Boss. It's a profession scroll. It can allow ordinary people to obtain professions. Although they were in the military department, not all of them had gained the status of a player, after all they could not gain experience value from the monsters they killed through their firearms. Therefore, a large number of their comrades were still just ordinary people, and the demand for profession scrolls could be said to be great. However, Wang Guizhu was looking at Qin Ming with a slightly condensed gaze, and the expression on his face grew more and more grave. Who exactly are you? Why do you know my name? And why would you know that we need these things? Facing Wang Guizhu's questioning, Qin Ming instead smiled with a relaxed expression. Who are you guys? Is that hard to guess? Xin Jiang County is just a small county, and for a battalion of you to be operating here, do you really think everyone is blind? As for these things, equipment, skills, profession scrolls, who doesn't want them? Who doesn't need them? It's just that my quantity is relatively large, ordinary people can't eat so many goods, but it's not just that you guys bumped into it? As for who I am? You should have already heard of me, my surname is Qin, and I have a single name, Yang. As the words fell, not to mention those young officers, even Wang Guizhu froze. You? What's your name? Disbelief was written all over everyone's faces. Unexpectedly, the name that they had just heard from the system announcement, it hadn't been long before they had already met the real person? Nima, should it be this ridiculous? The number one person on the global ranking list was actually in the same village as himself? What a surprise. After freezing for a while, Wang Guodong shook his head with a bitter smile. He had originally thought that Qin Ming had a certain force behind him, otherwise how could he possibly take out so many high-level equipment and skill books just by himself? However, if it was Qin Ming, who was number one on the ranking list, then it would be different, and it would have been beyond their comprehension. Because of this, he was somewhat convinced that Qin Ming was really planning to find him to trade with. After all, so many useless equipment and skill books, if they were sold one by one, how long would it take to sell them? Even if he really had the patience, it wasn't cost-effective to waste so much time, it was enough for him to level up several times, right? 
are you really that Qin Ming? How the hell did you upgrade? The young officer next to him asked with a shocked look on his face, which was what all of them had in mind. The game has descended, everyone has their own secrets, inquiring rashly is a very presumptuous behavior, and can even be recognized as provocation. Qin Ming's face sunk slightly, and he said in an icy tone. This was true, it was just that people today did not have the awareness in this regard. You, at least are mixed officialdom, the other party's words are said to this, even if the heart is not happy will not continue to pursue. Well well well, people are right, everyone has their own secrets, which have come up to ask this and that. Wang Guodong returned to his senses and sternly scolded towards the crowd around him. His name is Zhang Hongyu, he is a bit quick-tempered, but he doesn't have a bad heart, if you are in danger, he will definitely go out of his way to save your life. Wang Guodong defended his subordinate so that he would not leave a bad impression in Qin Ming's mind. After all, no matter what, Qin Ming's current strength level was here, and it was inevitable that there would be times in the future when he would ask for help from the other party. It has nothing to do with me. I'm just here to conduct a transaction. Qin Ming said formulaically, pointing at the things on the ground. White grade equipment uniformly 2 silver apiece, I have 33 pieces here. Bronze grade equipment 50 silver apiece, I have 4 pieces here. Also white product skill books 10 silver apiece there are 4, bronze level skill books just 1 apiece, 2 gold. If you want all of them, I can wipe out the change for you and take all of them for a total of 5 gold. As for the profession scrolls, this has to be calculated individually based on different professions, depending on which ones you guys need. Hearing Qin Ming's offer, the crowd that hadn't come back to their senses froze once again, it wasn't that they felt it was expensive, but it was cheap, too cheap. Although white product equipment was also 2 silver apiece in the blacksmith store, but that was the lowest price, expensive weapons were 3 to 5 silver. As for the white grade weapons in the player's hands, that was even more expensive, generally around 10 silver. As for the bronze level equipment that is even more needless to say, at present is basically in a situation where there is no market, the village occasionally appear one or two pieces, hanging 7 or 8 on the 10 gold have. Compared to these, Qin Ming's prices for these equipment and skill books were really about the same as cabbage prices. You this? Would it be a bit too cheap? Wang Guodong asked with a frown. Qin Ming who heard this was instantly happy, that's how people are, they can't believe in things that are too cheap instead. Interesting, it's really rare to see people who reverse the counteroffer. Some white clothes are just that, when the novice mystic realm ends, it's estimated that you won't even be able to ask for this price. As for now, even if it's really worth a sky-high price, do you guys think anyone can take it out? A few people looked at each other in dismay, and upon careful consideration, this was really the case. Currently, the currency in the hands of players was scarce, basically relying on the store to sell materials, not to mention 10 gold for a bronze suit, even one gold coin no one could take it out. Only their kind of group organizations or forces could come up with a few gold coins, and they had to save them. The little guy sees through it. Wang Guodong nodded appreciatively, but soon showed embarrassment. It's just that. My currency here is also limited. Compared to equipment and skill books, how would I like to trade some profession scrolls first? Profession scrolls were able to obtain player status, which was what was truly lacking amongst the major powers at the moment. If one could truly have a sufficient number of players, the equipment, skill books and even profession scrolls that could be obtained would increase geometrically. Unfortunately, when he heard his words, Qin Ming shook his head and looked at the several people with a look of contempt. Can you guys afford to buy a profession scroll? One sentence directly blocked everyone. Although there was no clear price, a lowest grade white profession scroll could currently sell for the sky high price of a sea view house, and they really couldn't necessarily afford it. The most crucial thing was that unlike equipment, this thing didn't have to worry about depreciation for at least a short period of time, so Qin Ming didn't need to rush to get rid of it. I have three white grade life profession scrolls and one white grade combat profession, so I can give them to you on credit in exchange for your entire battalion, striking out for me three times, how about it? Qin Ming looked at the other party and said, in his previous life, Wang Guodong was a famous man in Xian Jiang County. He relied on his one battalion's army strength to integrate the entire Xian Jiang County's large and small forces, and led the crowd to the nearest city of Gaoning after the end of the novice secret realm. It could be said that at this time, Wang Guodong was the biggest thigh in Xian Jiang County, which was also the reason why Qin Ming would take the initiative to come and make a deal with him or even send him a profession scroll. After all, by the time the secret realm ended all that had to be faced was the monster siege and the integration of forces, and even the subsequent population relocation, cooperation between the two sides could save a lot of things, while also reducing human casualties. It's said that free things are the most expensive, it seems that you're not small in this scheme. Wang Guodong said as he looked at Qin Ming, a hint of danger showing in his gaze. The game has descended, everyone is just trying to survive, take my advice, it's better to make plans early, no matter what the end result is. At least you can hold the initiative in your own hands. Gabriel slightly leaned forward, but Qin Ming looked at the other party and smiled. 
These words had no head or tail, but Wang Guodong understood what he meant, and there were quite a few people in Xianjiang County who had done the same. But after all, it was the old generation of revolutionaries who grew up under the glory of the motherland, how could they give up so easily? It's better to trade, I can agree to your request, but it must not violate moral justice and the motherland. Wang Guodong said in a deep voice. No problem. Xin Ming nodded his head and took out a brainful of things, then took the handed over gold coins from the hands of his adjutant. Entering five gold coins was a temporary relief to his shortage of funds, at least he didn't have to worry about sleeping on the streets. But thinking about where he was going next, it didn't seem like there was much chance of coming back. Happy cooperation, I'll look for you again when I have new goods, I'll withdraw first if there's nothing else. With the deal completed, Xin Ming had no intention of staying any longer and got up ready to leave, but was shouted at by Wang Guodong. Turning around, an old-fashioned big brother phone was handed over. Take this, our military's communicator, the secret realm and the county are sure to be able to contact me. Yo, good stuff ah, I'll be polite then. Xin Ming laughed and took the big brother over. With the blue star giganticized, the previous communication lines were basically useless, and the satellite phones didn't have the slightest signal, and only the small range of base station communication was somewhat useful. Right, let's send you one more piece of news. After the end of the novice mysteries, Xin Jiang County definitely can't stay, and the entire population of the county has to be transferred. Because the more populated the city is, the more opportunities the game will give, just as if the novice secret realm will only open in gathering places with more than 100,000 people. You guys are at least the official people, you still have a bit of prestige at the moment, so you can organize yourselves before it's too late, and the sooner you head to the city, the sooner you can settle down as well, and it's best if you can migrate to the provincial city. Qin Ming finished his speech without stopping, bringing Gabriel and other summons, disappearing into the dense forest. Boss, what does he mean? The adjutant next to him looked at Wang Wodong with a puzzled expression and asked. It means that Xin Zhang County is going to be abandoned like those small townships, and the only way to survive is to go to the big city? The young officer named Zhang Hongyu from before analyzed. How is that possible, Xin Zhang County has hundreds of thousands of people. For so many people to want to relocate, that's not a normal difficulty. Relying on our few hundred people alone? Someone said disapprovingly, city relocation is not a small matter, if there are widespread casualties, none of them will escape blame from above. I think it's better to find a way to get in touch with the higher-ups as soon as possible, as long as we can have reinforcements coming over to stop the people from building a defense line, we don't necessarily have to relocate, right? But so much time has passed, has contact been made? All satellite phones are out of order, it's hard to tell if Blue Star is still in the galaxy or not. That's right, and with the game descending on the whole world, there are still many cities like Xin Jiang County in the country, even if there are really reinforcements, how can it be the turn of this place? We can't do this and we can't do that, can't we really just wait here to die? Didn't you hear what he said? The more populated the city, the more opportunities the game will give, staying in Xin Jiang County, with just this several hundred thousand people may not be enough. Then isn't migration an imperative? What else is there to discuss? But who knows if what he said is true or not? While everyone was divided in their opinions, Wang Guodong froze out as he looked at Qin Ming's departing back. Only after a while did he turn around, his majestic gaze sweeping over the crowd. All right, you all heard the announcement when the novice mystic realm opened, this kind of thing shouldn't be fake. But the migration of the entire county is not a small matter, let the people outside who have not yet obtained player status make more preparations, walk around the county institutions more, and try to mobilize the people as much as possible. It's best to have a specific process and program, since we're going, just like Qin Ming said, the sooner the better, once the novice mystery realm is over, we'll move and depart. When Wang Guodong spoke, no one dared to refute again, the order and prohibition in the army was the first lesson they had to learn. And after saying that, Kingdom Dong once again glanced at Qin Ming's departing direction, pondering in his heart. Perhaps it was really like what the other party said, he should also make preparations early, at least to hold the initiative in their own hands. The deal with Wang Wodong was just a bit of a backhand that Qin Ming had left behind for himself. After all, if he really encountered a crisis, his side was the most reliable in the entire Xin Jiang County. Once again entering the depths of the dark forest, this time Qin Ming's goal was clear, it was the last silver level boss in the novice realm, the forest wolf boss. By finishing it off, all the silver ranked bosses in the novice realm would be swept away by him, leaving only a few bronze ranked bosses for the others. However, the forest wolf boss wasn't that easy to kill, even though it was only silver ranked, it was no less difficult than the gold ranked silver moon tiger king. This was because it was a pack type boss, and it could also summon minions. With a wolf pack numbering in the thousands, it shouldn't be too hard to find. Seeing that the time was approaching 12 o'clock, Qin Ming walked in the depths of the dark forest with a bitter expression on his face. He had already killed quite a few ordinary demon spirit leopards and silver moon tigers, 
and had even taken out a batch of forest wolves, but the forest wolves, which were the most massive in number, had never been seen. Master, those few forest wolves that were let go could really attract more forest wolves? Gabrielle asked curiously as she flew beside Qin Ming. She had let a few of the forest wolves she had encountered earlier go according to Qin Ming's wishes, saying that the escaped forest wolves would attract more forest wolves. Of course, wolves are a very vindictive animal, let's see if those few wolves can bring the biggest wolf pack to us? Qin Ming nodded, and this was where the forest wolves caused the most headache. If one didn't manage to kill all of the forest wolves that attacked them, they would have to exit the dark forest for the time being, or else they would easily encounter the wolves again. The higher ranked forest wolf boss would die in front of the blackwater python, and the same reason existed in this regard. When some bigwigs were besieged by the wolves, they naturally had to greet their men and come over to support them, and gradually the battle began to slowly escalate, and then it became a big battle between the players and the wolves. Ow. Suddenly, Qin Ming and Gabriel's footsteps slightly paused, and their faces revealed a look of delight. Looking towards the direction of the source of the sound, there was a large number of forest wolves approaching towards their side, and the rising and falling wolf howls resounded in the ears of the two. However, after listening carefully for some time, the joy on Qin Ming's face gradually faded. It's just another small branch of wolves, it's better to let a few of them go in the same way as before. Qin Ming said helplessly. The small branch of wolves numbered around a hundred, and the leader was only a bronze boss level wolf king, which didn't put too much pressure on Qin Ming. Even if Gabriel didn't need to do anything, he could have taken care of it by relying on the firebird and jungle giant ape alone. It seems that the few forest wolves that I let go last time, their connections aren't too good, they can only contact these small tribes, when do I have to wait to find their big tribes? Qin Ming sighed. Not waiting for these wolves to launch a surprise attack, the firebirds and jungle apes beside Qin Ming had already rushed out and fought with these wolves. Roar roared the jungle great ape that suddenly appeared, instantly attracting the attention of all the forest wolves. The firebirds in the sky, on the other hand, were continuously spitting out flames, directly igniting the nearby woods. I wonder, is there a saying here in Morning Glory Village about setting fire to the mountains and sitting in jail? Qin Ming thought as his thoughts drifted away. Luckily, the secret realm seemed to have special rules sheltering it, and it was difficult for the flames in the dark forest to actually spread out, and would usually only burn down the nearby trees and would be refreshed the next day. This was also the reason why Qin Ming dared to let the firebird rush out and wreak havoc with the flames. Animals have a natural fear of flames, these wolves didn't last long under the flames, and soon began to scatter and flee with the death of their leader. Qin Ming didn't chase after them, but just picked up the wolves' drops, and then continued walking towards the depths of the forest. Perhaps the previous fire had drawn the attention of the forest, or perhaps those forest wolves could really find the largest wolf pack. Half an hour later, Qin Ming, who was wandering around with Gabriel, was finally surrounded, and the densely packed wolves were looking extremely oozy as their green gazes shone in the darkness. Does it feel like they can count time as well? It's just after 12 o'clock and the skill cooldown is over. Qin Ming laughed towards Gabriel. However, at this moment, Gabriel was already standing in front of him with a sword, his face showing a grave expression. The wolves are extremely numerous, master please also be careful. Gabriel reminded in a deep voice. The number of hundreds and the number of thousands, that was completely different, just like the ancient war, the more the number of people, the more powerful the gathered momentum would be. Even the most powerful martial arts masters could not withstand thousands of troops and horses, just the momentum alone was enough to make one feel chilled. At this moment, Xin Ming had such a feeling, as the wolves around him gathered more and more, he couldn't help but feel a huge pressure, as in the daytime and the land of the dead that way. Hiding in the clouds, he didn't dare to show himself at all, otherwise, once he was discovered, it would be the end of countless undead creatures devouring him. How a loud and clear wolf howl sounded, and the entire wolf pack moved on the wind, pouncing towards Qin Ming's side. Chop! Gabriel stepped forward with his sword, and with a wave of his hand, he decapitated a forest wolf, but in just a split second, more forest wolves pounced on him. Roar the jungle giant ape roared out and swept the forest wolves around him away with a palm. As the level and attributes increased, the jungle great ape size also developed in the direction of getting bigger and bigger, the giant ape that was only 2 meters tall at the beginning already had about 3 meters at this time, and its thick arms were thicker than Qin Ming's. When he swung his palm down, it was less than 2 meters tall. With a palm swing, the less than 2 meter long forest wolf was directly slapped away. Ignoring the situation around him, Qin Ming continued to cast a spell and summon the firebird. Chirp as the scorching hot fire bird took off into the air, the wolves surrounding Qin Ming couldn't help but experience a momentary tremor, which was the animal's innate instinct to fear flames. But it was only for a moment, and any flames that couldn't cause them harm weren't enough to truly make them flinch. Go! Find the wolf king and finish it off! Qin Ming ordered. Chirp the fire bird rushed headlong into the dense forest, and the dense forest once again burst into flames. However, these forest wolves were powerless against the firebird flying in the air, 
allowing it to charge deep into their ranks towards their wolf king. How the wolf king roared out, originally hidden among the wolves it was forced to appear and fought with the firebird. However, the successive mouthfuls of flames spewed down, but it made this wolf king feel somewhat helpless. It is only a ground creature, it is difficult to attack the fire bird flying in the air, even if it has mastered the wind blade this kind of long range attack, it is also difficult to cause too much damage to the fire bird, can only let its mouthfuls of flames spewed on their own bodies, wasting their own vitality. This discovery made the wolf king furious, and began to weave in and out of the jungle, dodging the fire bird's attacks while also using the wind blades to counterattack. Both the wolf king and the fire bird had not low blood quantities, which made it difficult for the battle between them to end in a short period of time. At this time, Gabriel didn't dare to leave Qin Ming's side, the number of forest wolves around him was too high, relying on the jungle giant ape alone couldn't carry it, so he had to stay by his side and keep hacking away at the wolves around him. As for Qin Ming, he was constantly casting his gathering technique, collecting materials while avoiding the corpses of these forest wolves from blocking his vision and hindering his actions, and he had become a living gatherer. How oh, the forest wolf king in the distance was gradually outmatched, and in the face of the large number of casualties of the entire pack, it began to develop a sense of retreat. Its long-range attack ability was limited, and its own attributes weren't much stronger than the firebirds, and aside from having more blood, its attack power was even far worse. With most of its skills not being able to be used properly, it was simply no match for the firebird, and as time went on its body was already burnt to a crisp. We can't let it escape, Gabriel. Seeing the wolves around him start to retreat, Qin Ming shouted out. Hearing Qin Ming's words, Gabriel directly began to summon holy light, preparing to use the angelic sword. At the same time, the jungle giant ape gave up on protecting Qin Ming and roared as it charged in the direction of the wolf king. Roar! The firebird swooped down and blocked the wolf king's path of advancement, Facing the enemy that had been sent to his doorstep the wolf king didn't hesitate to pounce on it, taking a bite on the firebird's thigh. Chirp a painful hissing sound rang out, the fiery flames on the firebird's body surged, bringing a large amount of damage to the wolf king. The wolf king was in pain and had to let go of its beak, but it similarly tore off a piece of meat from the firebird's leg. But it was such a moment's delay that a sense of crisis suddenly enveloped its heart. The dark sky had been as bright as day at some point, and the dazzling light shrouded down, followed by endless eternal darkness. How the angel sword directly killed more than two-thirds of the wolves, and the remaining forest wolves that managed to survive lost their will to fight, and fled in all directions under the call of the only powerful forest wolves. The clamor of the forest soon returned to calm, with only the unextinguished embers still burning. Xin Ming came to the corpse of the forest wolf king and picked up the drops all over the ground while giving it a gathering spell. With the blessing of the lucky talent, this round of angelic sword could be said to be quite rewarding. Not only the forest wolf king, but also the hundreds of fallen forest wolves had similarly brought Qin Ming a huge explosion. Luckily with the platinum ring's automatic pickup, otherwise I'm afraid that this old waste of mine is going to break here. Looking at the ring of platinum that was almost full, Qin Ming couldn't help but sigh. Hundreds of forest wolves, not counting the collection have a full 2 to 3,000 drops, if not for the item bar has a folding storage of similar items, I'm afraid that a few more platinum rings are not enough to put. While heading back towards the direction of Morning Glory Village, Qin Ming sorted out the harvest of this trip. Under the blessing of the extreme luck talent, the harvest from this trip far exceeded the sum of the previous Tiger King and Leopard King drops. Of course, it referred to drops below the gold level, after all, the Forest Wolf King was just a silver level boss, and under normal circumstances, it would just drop silver level items. However, this time it still gave him a gold level equipment out, but unfortunately it wasn't suitable for him to use. Windchime Bracelet Gold Grade Requirements for use, Intelligence 50, Mental Strength 10. Intelligence plus 30, Mental Strength plus 20, Spell Strength plus 100. Spell Casting Speed increased by 10%. Incidental Special, Wind Chime, increases one's spell strength by 200 points, increases spell casting speed by 20%, doubles the chance of triggering the chime, lasts for 15s, recharges for 10 minutes. Durability 10 out of 10. Spell Strength, Release Acceleration, Mana Recovery, with Burst, it's really the ultimate equipment for mages. Taking it out is definitely worth more than shining guts, it's a pity. Qin Ming sighed and shook his head, the equipment was good, but it wasn't suitable for him to use. Instead, there were a few pieces of silver level equipment that he had put together piecemeal. Although it wasn't a complete set like the Tiger King's set, it still caused a skyrocketing change in all of his attributes. Name, Qin Ming. Level, 9. Basic Attributes. Physique, 82, Strength, 81, Agility, 82, Intelligence, 188, Mental Strength, 188, Detailed Attributes, Name, Qin Ming, Rank, 9, Detailed Attributes, Life, 1552, Mana, 1340, Attack Power, 96, Spell Strength, 466, Physical Defense, 43, 
4. Spell Defense, 37. 6. Toughness, 10. Physical Defense, 43. 4. Spell Defense, 37. 6. Toughness, 10. Bludgeon Rate, 0%. Bludgeon Damage, 50%. Bludgeon Rate, 0%. Bludgeon Damage, 50%. Attack Speed, 10. 2. Movement Speed, 13. 2. Dodge Chance, 15%. Spellcasting Speed, plus 10%. Experience value, 12280 slash 120000. Experience value, 12280 slash 120000. Equipped skills. Summon Cobalt, can summon a mortal Cobalt to assist in battle, lasts for 10 minutes, cooldown 10 minutes. Jungle Guardian, increases one's evasion by 30%, doubles the effect when located in the jungle, lasts for 15 recharge time 1 hour. PS, attributes of these, will try to post as little as possible, try to abbreviate or only partial. Apart from the gold-ranked jungle guardian and a bronze-ranked summoning spell ring for summoning kobolds, the rest had been replaced with a silver-ranked outfit. This equipment of his was the absolute pinnacle in terms of the entire novice village, and at most, he can only expect some more results from the blacksmith stores and tailor stores that had created it. Other than that, if this body of equipment can't pass off a mine copy, then there's no one else to blame for this difficulty. Qin Ming sighed in his heart. This body attributes, not to mention the new players, in the first rank players can also be considered T1 level, this if you cannot pass, basically can be said that there is no hope of passing. Ow the sound of a wolf howling came from underneath him, Qin Ming raised his head, but he was about to walk out of the dark forest and began to encounter other players practicing. This was his new summoned beast, the silver grade summon forest wolf king, and the single most useful item for him out of all the drops. Summoning, forest wolf king, silver grade. Learning Requirements, Summoner, Spirit Power 30, Summon a Forest Wolf King to Fight, Skills, Bite, Wolf Howl, Level 3, Summon Pack of Wolves, Level 5, Summon Beast Qualifications, Life, 6, Attack, 5, Magecraft, 0, Defense, 2, Magecraft, 1, Speed, 3, Summoned Beast Growth, 20, Cooldown Time, 20 Minutes, Summoning Consumption, 100 Points of Mana, 30 Points of Mana every minute thereafter, Casting Time 5 Seconds, Alright, Alright, don't be nervous, you're the Wolf King. Qin Ming stroked his neck soothingly. The three meter long Wolf King, at this moment, was pampering towards Qin Ming like a big dog, and Qin Ming had also given it a very apt name Wang Kai. Although rustic but widespread, and the implication is very good, thousands of years of enduring. Oh the Wolf King whimpered out, then led Qin Ming towards the direction of Morning Glory Village. Qin Ming felt the forest wind blowing around him, and was very satisfied with the attributes of the Wang Kai, especially its several skills, which made it far more valuable than the average silver level summoning beast. Wolf Howl and Summon Pack of Wolves, the former was a status type skill that could boost the attack power of the surrounding friendly troops by 20%. Summon Swarm of Wolves, on the other hand, could once again summon two normal forest wolves with 40% of their own attributes to aid in battle, with the number rising as the skill level increased. A full leveled Summon Pack Wolf can summon up to 12 ordinary forest wolves now, it really is an army of one. Qin Ming sighed in his heart. For any profession, skill leveling up had the effect of turning corruption into magic. Summoning skill leveling up could improve the qualifications of the summoned beast, master new skills, and even have the possibility of advancement. Just like the Firebird, after leveling up to level 3 it could master the group attack fire rain art, at which time the Firebird's group lethality would be drastically increased, and Qin Ming would no longer have to rely solely on the angelic sword to brush away the monsters. It's a pity that skill proficiency is too difficult to raise, summoning battles only gains skill proficiency once every one minute, and after two days of brushing only managed to raise the fire bird and jungle giant ape to level 1. Shaking his head helplessly, he looked at the long proficiency progress bar behind him in despair. Crossing over the crowds of people who stayed up all night practicing leveling, Qin Ming finally returned to the morning glory village and didn't retrieve Wang Kai back, treating it as if he was walking his dog. Although the summoned beasts were lifeless, they had their own consciousness, and the awakening of self-consciousness was especially important if the summoning art wanted to advance, which was also the difference between the summoning art and other professional skills. He called Wang Wodong and asked him to arrange for someone to buy the equipment in the morning, then returned to the liquor store and opened a room, and without waiting for Fatty and the others, he directly collapsed and went to sleep. He gave the three of them a dead mission during the day, they had to rise to level 4 within today, only then could he take them to the land of the undead to brush the monsters tomorrow otherwise the level difference of more than 5 levels would not be able to share the experience of the group. When he woke up early the next morning, he saw the three of them sitting in the hall with dark circles under their eyes and a tired look on their faces. Yo, not bad, all up to level 4? Qin Ming greeted with a smile and sat down on the only empty seat to eat breakfast. While it's exhausted us to death, it feels like I'm rubbing fireballs until my consciousness is fuzzy. And Yun Meng said with a bitter face, 
As the only main output in the team, she had only mastered one attack skill, the small fireball technique, and she couldn't stop rubbing it. You're at least rubbing fireballs remotely, fatty I've been beaten up all night, okay? The fat man who was desperately trying to dry his food raised his head, his eyes full of vicissitudes and haggardness. Both of you have worked hard, eat more. Any plans for later? Xin Yuro smiled and comforted, then looked at Qin Ming. I'm going out to run some errands, I'll bring you guys to leveling when I come back later. Qin Ming took the two buns and walked towards the outside of the box, however, Fatty and Yun Meng were already wailing. Leveling again? Don't worry, this time you guys hang out and sleep, I'll lead the flight. Qin Ming laughed. Turning around, he entered into another box, Wang Guadong's people were already waiting, one woman and four men, waiting in a tight formation. Hello, my name is Xia Yun, I'm arranged by Master Wang to make a deal with you. As Qin Ming entered, the girl in the vestment rose and saluted before saying, there's no need to be so serious, it's not like I'm from your military department. The stuff is all here, did you guys bring the storage equipment? Xin Ming said as he shook hands with her. After all, she was an officer, her hands weren't as soft as a normal girl, but not as hard as a boy, but they were very powerful. Releasing his hands, Xin Ming dumped a brainful of the ring's contents onto the table, a few people were dumbfounded by the array of equipment and items. This? This? The few people in the box stared in disbelief, and Xia Yun even exclaimed with a look of disbelief. They had entered the novice mystic realm for a day as well, not to mention bronze great equipment, they hadn't even seen white great equipment a few times. Now that Qin Ming had taken out a table full of items, of which bronze level items accounted for nearly half of it, it simply brightened the eyes of several people. I'd negotiated the price with your master Wang, you guys can just take the items back directly. Qin Ming said. This batch of equipment Wang Guodong definitely couldn't afford, so Qin Ming directly asked him to go on credit and just pay within seven days. The military's character was still trustworthy, not afraid of them reneging on their debt, and the most crucial thing was that he didn't have the time to squat in Morning Glory Village to sell his equipment. It was foreseeable that the next thing he would gain from practicing in the land of the undead would only be more, and aside from dropping stores, he would also need a stable shipping channel. Alright, this point has already been explained to me by Division Leader Wang, plus many thanks for your help. Xia Yun thanked. Hearing this, Qin Ming smiled, although it was a trade, these equipments could be of great help to Wang Guodong and this sound of thanks was also considered as a kind of affirmation to him. For this sound of thanks, I'll send one more thing to your division commander Wang, tell him that he owes me another 10 gold. A yellowish scroll was placed on the table, reading the attributes on it, everyone froze, raising their heads, Qin Ming had already turned around and walked out of the box. Everyone looked at each other in disbelief, Xia Yun didn't even have time to pack up his things and hurriedly called Wang Guodong. A bronze level teeming scroll, selling you for 10 gold coins, what a bargain! Glancing at the closed door, Xin Ming left the liquor store and went to the tailor store and weapon store. After handing over the materials from the forest wolf king's body, he returned once again, taking the well-fed and drunk fatty trio towards the cliffs that surrounded the village. Crap! Brother Ming, what is this? An undead plague? And why am I looking at all the question marks? Fatty asked with a horrified look on his face. Through the firebird and Gabriel leading the three of them over the top of the mountain, they were instantly shocked by the barren land in front of them just as Qin Ming was yesterday. No one would have thought that outside of Morning Glory Village, where birds and flowers smelled like a paradise, would be such a dead land. You stand here and don't move, those are all rank 1 undead creatures, I'm going to fetch an Yun Meng and teacher Qin. Qin Ming said. Placing Fatty on a cliff, he then turned around and returned to the Morning Glory Village, using the same method to bring in Yun Meng and Qin Yuro over. The terrifying land of the undead struck the three of them, and the scenery that looked like a heavenly disaster descending upon the world made it difficult for them to connect with the morning glory village behind them. Brother Qin Ming? This? It's not possible that after Blue Star Falls, it will also become like this, right? And Yun Meng covered her mouth and asked with an incredulous expression. The various cities of Blue Star were suffering from the onslaught of mutated beasts, and it was really unimaginable to imagine what kind of an end would be for those cities that didn't survive? Like this? Undead are also one of the many creatures, so this situation can only be described as a possibility that may exist, right? Qin Ming said after thinking about it. What would the city look like after its demise? It still had to be based on what type of monsters the city had around it. However, most of the cities were surrounded by nothing more than mutated beasts, and this would not be the case. But there are always people who like to make their own deaths. Xin Jiang County? It won't turn out like this as well, right? Qin Yuro grabbed Qin Ming's arm and asked with a nervous expression. This. Don't worry. It won't. Qin Ming paused, then spoke out to comfort him. In fact, this group of undead natural disasters had indeed overrun Xian Jiang County in the previous life, and the only thing that was fortunate was that a large number of people had already moved ahead, which allowed them to survive. 
However, this kind of thing definitely couldn't be told to them at this time, and Qin Ming wouldn't give this group of undead another chance to appear. So, Brother Ming, you're talking about taking us to practice leveling? Is that these? First rank monsters? Fatty asked tentatively. Or else, Qin Ming laughed and nodded towards Gabriel at his side, and she and the firebird had rushed towards the group of undead creatures. Chirp the firebird's fiery flames were the first to shoot out, and the up to four digit flame damage directly killed a level 10 white bone skeleton in seconds. The skyrocketing experience value stunned the fatty trio, this kind of damage could not be dealt even by the current in Yunmeng. The base damage value of flame spit was only 100 points, but it couldn't help that the firebird's spell strength was high, under Qin Ming's attribute boost, the firebird's spell strength was already as high as 1600 to 1700 points, and the base damage of 100 points was hardened by it to thousands of points. Not to mention a level 10 white bone skeleton, even a higher leveled monster wouldn't be able to carry a bite of the firebird's fiery flames. Crap! Summoners are so fierce? Is it too late for me to reselect my profession? Fatty had a shocked look on his face, and when he looked at the shield in his hand, he had the urge to throw it away. That's right, its damage is so high, it feels much more powerful than me. And Yun Meng similarly marveled, she felt that her spell damage, I'm afraid, was less than a tenth of the firebirds. Not to mention the attack power, with this mouthful of flames coming down from it, I don't think any player can carry it. Qin Yuro nodded, such damage was already beyond their imagination. Qin Ming smiled and rubbed in Yun Ming's hair, messing up a head of hair. My equipment is just better, come on, I'll give you an equipment too, so you can transform into a turret. Qin Ming laughed, handing her the wind chime bracelet he got yesterday. What a beautiful bracelet! And Yun Meng exclaimed in delight as the delicate bracelet instantly attracted the gazes of the two women. Crap! Brother Ming, gold level equipment? Seeing the bracelet's attributes, Fatty exclaimed in shock and looked at Qin Ming like a monster. They hadn't even produced a few pieces of bronze level equipment, and you've already taken out gold level equipment to pick up girls? Do not be so excessive? And then Yun Meng was even more shocked by the bracelet's attributes. Good strong attributes ah, compared to it, white goods equipment good pull crotch ah. And Yun Meng sighed as she looked at the bracelet's attributes. Fatty and Qin Yuro who saw the bracelet's attributes nodded their heads. Where is this pulling the crotch? It's clearly trash, okay? Fatty said with an envious face. Do you know the gap between us now? Qin Ming looked at the several people and laughed, taking out all of the equipment that he had prepared for the crowd in his ring, and a slice of silver light instantly made the three of them light up their eyes. Crap! Brother Ming is bullish. From today onwards, you are my idol. My father. My god. Fatty hugged his equipment as he kept shouting towards Qin Ming. Qin Ming. This. This. Qin Yuro no longer knew what to say. This outfit was already beyond her imagination. In contrast, and Yun Meng was much more direct directly shouting and jumping onto Qin Ming's body. Ah, brother Qin Ming, I love you. And Yun Meng shouted madly, not knowing what reserve was in the slightest. All right, all right, hurry up and change, then get some rest and wake up. Before Qin Ming's words fell, a dazzling light suddenly came from the distance. Turning his head to look, it was Gabriel's angelic sword that had fallen. The huge sacred sword appeared in the eyes of an Yun Meng and the others for the first time, and the vastness of the divine light shook the trio's hearts. For the first time, they knew that the original player skill could be as powerful as this. If the Firebird's flame spit only gave them a shock in terms of damage value, then this angelic sword truly made them feel the unrivaled might of heaven and earth. Oh my god. Qin Yuro covered her mouth with a shocked expression. This? This? This is that angel you summoned earlier? It's also too strong, isn't it? Fatty similarly exclaimed, Gabriel's power made him lose interest in even the equipment he had just obtained. Yeah, this. Is too powerful. And Yun Meng similarly exclaimed, not even noticing that she was still hanging on to Qin Ming's body. Now I know why you can upgrade so fast? It's hard not to be fast with this group monster speed. Qin Yuro said with an incredulous face. Do you really think that this kind of skill is unlimited? The cooldown time is long. Qin Ming laughed and patted in Yun Ming's back, releasing her. He then cast a spell once again, summoning the white pin goblin from the summoning spell ring. As soon as the green-skinned dwarf came out, those thieving eyes glanced around, especially when they saw an Yun Meng and Qin Yuro. What are you looking around for? Lay everything out. Qin Ming said as he took out the recliner in his ring. Whoa whoa the goblin groggily took it from Qin Ming's hands and then set up the recliners in order. He was summoned through equipment, and was not considered Qin Ming's own summoned beast, so it had a duration limit and could not enjoy his attribute bonus. With its white attributes and qualifications, it would definitely be of no use if it was put out to fight, so it could only stay by his side and do some tea and water work, which was also considered as adding bricks and mortar to the good life of the crowd. Crap! Is a summoner this cozy? Fatty froze as he looked at the little green skin that was working back and forth beside him, 
and even kindly handed him a cup of the drink brought from the wine shop. Can be a candy, can fight, can be a mount, and can also be a squire. Isn't it that legendary secretary of life? There is something the secretary does, nothing. Comfortable? Look at his attributes, this can be put out to fight? Qin Ming laughed helplessly and released the attributes of the goblin. He then summoned Wang Kai and the jungle giant ape and had them go along to join in the middle of the battlefield. As for Fatty, they froze when they saw the goblin's attributes. No? Just this attribute? What can it do? As a white item summoned beast, the level 9 goblin only had more than 300 blood and more than 20 points of attack power. It wasn't qualified to be a meat shield, and it didn't have enough attack power to be an output, so apart from summoning it out to disgust the enemy, it could be said that it was useless. This is the white grade summon beast, the bronze grade is a bit stronger, but without the summoner's enchantment, it's actually not too far off. Qin Ming explained. A goblin with this kind of attribute, even if four or five of them were summoned, they would still be nothing more than cannon fodder. Alright, the gap is a bit big. Fatty scratched his head and looked at Gabriel who had already returned over, still having trouble imagining that there could be such a large gap between the two. Master. At this moment, Gabriel, who had finished casting Angelic Sword, had already returned to Qin Ming's side, took the platinum ring from him, and went back to clean up the battlefield once again. Alright, you guys should rest well next. You guys were tired all night yesterday, so there's nothing for you to do today, just wait for the upgrade. After getting everything done, Qin Ming said towards the three of them. However, a few people looked at each other, revealing a tangle of colors. Brother Qin Ming, why don't we just go back to the village and practice leveling on our own? And Yun Ming twisted her fingers and said with a reluctant face. Right. Brother Ming, you're going to level up here, so at least you can't let the first one be snatched by someone, it would be too much of a waste of time to bring us to practice leveling. Fatty similarly voiced out. That's right, Qin Ming, it's not easy for you to take first place, with your strength you can totally stay ahead, there's no need to bring a few of us along. To drag you down. Hearing the words of the trio, Qin Ming first froze, and then smiled in the sun. You guys take a look at the leaderboards, is there anyone other than me who has risen to level 9? And don't worry, I'll only bring you to level 9, whether the rest of you make it to the leaderboards or not, it's up to you guys, this amount of time is not enough to shake my position as the number 1 in the rankings. Hearing Qin Ming's confident words, he looked at the empty rank list, a day had passed and there was only Qin Ming's name hanging on it so far. Only then did the three of them breathe a sigh of relief. That's a deal. Just rise to level 9, we'll do the rest ourselves. Don't worry, I don't have that much time to be here all the time to take you guys upgrading. Fatty and the others slept comfortably until the afternoon. However, there was no day and night on this side of the land of the undead, and if they didn't look at their watches they couldn't tell what the real time was, it was an apocalyptic scene from start to finish. This? I just slept for a while and this is level 6. Fatty rubbed his eyes and sat up, looking at his level with slight surprise. It's not bad. I'll strive to bring you guys to level 9 today. Qin Ming said. Fatty felt himself smelling a scent and looked up to find Qin Ming busying himself next to him. Crap! You're actually BB Qin here? Fatty exclaimed out in shock as he stood up and came to Qin Ming's side, who was grilling with a skewer of unknown beast meat. Then what else? How boring is it to wait here dry? Qin Ming said rightfully, in the era of no cell phones, was there anything better than barbecue to pass the time? That's true. Fatty nodded and took the skewer and ate it, muttering as he did so. But we're out to practice. And barbecue? It always feels weird. And this is the land of the undead. Just this rotting aura, aren't you creeped out? Then why are you still eating so happily? Qin Ming glanced at him indifferently. Eh, I'm not hungry, I've been sleeping all day. Fatty didn't feel embarrassed in the slightest, and while wolfing down his food, he chatted with Qin Ming in a casual manner. Say, how come this meat doesn't have buffs added to it? Did you cut corners, brother Ming? Sorry, I'm a summoner, not a chef. It's good enough to be cooked. Ha! Huh. Not that I'm saying, you still need to practice your cooking skills, how are you going to pick up girls in the future? I'll give you the fire, you do the roasting? Forget it, I have to be responsible for the food, how can I have the time to roast it? Waking up, and Yun Meng and Xin Yuro had eaten and couldn't stay idle, teaming up with Fatty to go look for a few fallen monsters to trouble. With the equipment given by Qin Ming, their attributes were top-notch in the entire novice village, and the group had little problem dealing with some lower-ranked white bone skeletons, and could also sharpen their respective combat skills. As for the undead land near Qin Ming, after a day of large-scale purging and purification, the number of undead creatures had clearly declined, and basically there would rarely be groups of them, leaving only the occasional sporadic few that were refreshed. If Gabriel wanted to use the angel's sword to brush the monsters, he would also have to go to a farther place to lure the monsters, and even needed the help of the firebird and the forest wolf king. I'm going to go deeper in to take a look, so you guys just brush up on your experience here and call out to me inside the group channel if you encounter any danger. Early the next morning, 
Qin Ming said towards the three people who had already risen to level 9. After a whole day of brushing monsters, not only had they risen to level 3, Qin Ming's experience bar was also full, and his rank on the leaderboard finally had more than 50,000 points. On top of that, Fatty's trio had similarly appeared on the rank list, causing a huge stir around the world. The only four names on the list were surprisingly all from China, and judging by the situation, they should still be in a squad, which had to make people think more. Everyone was saying that Qin Ming and the others had found some kind of BUG, or had some kind of special upgrading method, and were calling for him to announce it. However, at this moment, no one could find them at all, and even less would have thought that there was actually another world outside of the novice village. As for Wang Guodong, although he was equally surprised, he wouldn't take the initiative to expose Qin Ming, the character of the military could still be guaranteed, and they would also support things that were favorable to China. Qin Ming, be more careful yourself. Qin Euro admonished with concern. There weren't many undead creatures in the vicinity, which was just right for them to practice, but if Qin Ming wanted to continue brushing the monsters, he had to go deeper in. It was too dangerous to bring them along, and it was hard to guarantee the safety of the crowd. Don't worry, take care of yourselves and don't get mobbed. Qin Ming nodded and waved towards a few people, turning towards the nearest black tower. He was going to try to make a move on the first black tower, and clearing the nearby undead creatures was the first step. The next step would be to advance towards the black tower bit by bit, nibbling away at it. After brushing monsters for a day, he also realized that the undead creatures in this area would not be refreshed like in the dark forest. However, this seems to be the birthplace of the undead, and from time to time, new undead creatures will be hatched out. Luckily, the hatching speed wasn't fast and wouldn't have an impact on his movements. If we can really clear all of them in one wave, even if they really will still end up descending near Xi in Jiang County, the number should at least be lowered quite a bit, right? Qin Ming thought in his mind, and the shadow of the first black tower had already appeared in his sight. The distance between each small black tower had already been roughly estimated during the previous exploration, and the distance between each small black tower was around 10 to 20 kilometers, which wasn't too far. If there weren't too many densely packed undead creatures, it would even be visible to the naked eye. But it wasn't easy to really push in, not to mention the terrifying number of undead creatures along the way, the black towers seemed to have a certain additive effect on them. The closer we get to the black tower, the more blood these undead creatures seem to have, and the speed of their birth has to be a bit faster as well. Sitting on Wang Kai's back, Qin Ming frowned as he looked at these undead creatures. Compared to before, the blood level of these monsters had basically increased to 100 to 500 points, and as they got closer to the Black Pagoda, this increase became greater. At the current rate of progress, the creatures inside the Black Tower should be able to have a 1000 point blood increase. Gabrielle said, once again slashing over a ghoul that came closer. Her attack power wasn't low, but it was currently difficult to kill in seconds, basically requiring 2 to 3 swords to be enough. On the contrary, it was the firebird, the high mana strength made its flame spit very strong, these strengthened undead creatures still couldn't resist. Let's kill in first and test the waters. Qin Ming used the most basic generalized spell energy ball to harvest a bloodied white bone skeleton. Roar the jungle giant ape was very suitable for surging in such a scenario. Its vitality and defense were still pretty good, and coupled with its huge size, it roared and charged into the monsters, and immediately a large number of undead creatures were swept away by its swinging arm. Not a single one of them died or even lost much blood, but the enemy's entire formation was completely dispersed, with its momentum in place. The jungle giant ape just bore down and drove towards the front, naturally followed by the firebird and Gabriel. They didn't choose to clear out all the undead creatures this time, but instead advanced all the way towards the black tower, with a large number of undead creatures gradually encircling the rear. If only I could master some wide-range spells. Xin Ming sighed as he looked behind him. It was a pity that summon firebird was currently only at level 2 and it would take a few days before it could be raised to level 3. Skill proficiency was more difficult to increase by one level than another, and that was because Qin Ming had a high level of enlightenment of 8 points, which was able to increase the speed of proficiency acquisition by 80%. If it was any other player with a lower level of enlightenment, the speed of skill enhancement would only be slower. For example, the generalized spell energy ball of the law department only has one point of proficiency when released once, and from level 0 to level 1, it would take 1000 points of proficiency, and then it would increase geometrically. Wanting to level up a skill was not an easy task for anyone. Roar as Qin Ming continued to approach, new undead creatures came out of the black tower and roared out towards the group. It's a suture monster. Qin Ming stared at the 5 meter tall mountain of rotting flesh in front of him with an ugly expression, feeling a hint of helplessness. This was a high level undead creature that was born as a bronze level, and aside from not having the extra attribute bonus of a boss template, its other qualifications and growth were not comparable to that of an ordinary white pin monster. 
And such a suture monster, five of them appeared in one breath, like an impenetrable five-fingered mountain blocking in front of Qin Ming's body. Roar the jungle giant ape roared as it continued to charge up, yet the invincible one was easily blocked this time. A casual swing from a suture monster sent the jungle giant ape flying, just as easily as it swept away other undead creatures. This bean, doesn't he look at how much bigger the others are than it? Qin Ming couldn't help but hold his forehead. The size of this group of suture monsters were all over 5 meters, with all kinds of organs inside their fat flesh, emitting an unpleasant putrid smell. In comparison, the 3 meter tall jungle giant apes and monkeys were just like little children, their size advantage gone. Holy light, purify the darkness. Gabriel raised the sword of sacred flame and charged up towards the group of stitch monsters. Chirp the firebird on the other side similarly struck, spewing out flames from its large mouth, surprisingly failing to spike this one, its powerful output ability being hindered for the first time. Poof. Gabriel's holy flame was still extremely powerful, but unfortunately, the size of the suture monster was too big, and the holy flame on the shining guts could only manage to cut out a wound. On Qin Ming's side, having lost the firepower suppression from Gabriel and the firebird, the surrounding undead creatures had already broken out and wrapped up. Go! Qin Ming shouted towards Wang Kai underneath him, while beckoning the jungle giant ape that had been swatted away back. Ao hearing Qin Ming's words, Wang Kai wailed out, then pounced towards a white bone skeleton on his back. Although it didn't have as powerful an attack as Gabriel and the firebird, it could still scratch off a small half tube of blood with one claw. Most importantly, it was going to carry Qin Ming through the group of monsters and guarantee Qin Ming's safety together with the jungle giant ape. Gabriel, open a big move. Seeing that the pressure was increasing, Qin Ming had to shout towards Gabriel in front of him. Gabriel, who was tangling with the suture monster, stopped at once, dazzling holy light appeared in the dark lands, and after a short spell, countless undead creatures were purified in their wailing. Go! Charge in with one breath. Watching the undead creatures around him being swept away, Xin Ming rode Wang Kai towards the middle of the Black Tower. At this moment, the distance between him and the Black Tower was only a few hundred meters, and the lofty Black Tower could be said to be close at hand. As the undead creatures in the middle of the road were cleared away by the sacred flame, the forest wolf king arrived under the black tower in just a few breaths under his extreme speed. Where are these ants from? How dare they try to break into the black tower? A hoarse voice rang out from the black tower. Qin Ming raised his head, but he did not see anyone, instead, a large number of white bone skeletons once again rushed out from the black tower. Unlike those ordinary white bone skeletons outside, this group of white bone skeletons appeared to be more intelligent, and even formed a neat formation. Not only that, there were also a large number of skeleton mages and skeleton archers amongst these white bone skeletons, making them even more well equipped in terms of troop types. Charge in! Qin Ming shouted. At this moment, the jungle giant ape was no longer useful, and could only stand in front of Qin Ming's body to fend off some attacks for him. Gabriel rushed at the front, the shining guts in his hand continuously stabbed out, either killing the enemy or blocking the arrows, a handful of sword skills that made Qin Ming's eyes light up. This was not a skill, but a pure fighting technique, and something he had always wanted to learn. However, now was obviously not the time to study sword arts. Towards the gap Gabriel had made, Qin Ming rode Wang Kai and rushed in with vigor. His couldn't help but suck in a breath of cool air. Even in the midst of a fierce battle, he couldn't help but shiver. The sense of coldness in the Black Tower was not something that could be described as ordinary cold. Qin Ming only felt that the cold hairs on his body were standing up. This Nima really hell. He couldn't help but think in his heart but his eyes quickly swept through the black tower. Although the sturdily defended black tower was very tall, it was not that big, and it was tip-top from bottom to top, however, what Qin Ming was in was actually a section of the ladder that was facing downwards. Luckily, the steps were not long, and the situation inside could be roughly seen, the empty hall of several hundred square meters was quite smaller than expected. A hexagram spell formation was engraved in it, with a ghostly blue gem shining at each corner. This is? An energy gem? Qin Ming was slightly stunned, and the gem's information quickly appeared in his eyes. Energy gemstone, silver grade, can provide up to 1000 points of energy value, energy value remaining 53 slash 1000. Energy gems had only one function, and that was to provide energy, and were generally widely used on all types of spell formations and magical guidance devices, and humans were unable to directly absorb the energy from them under normal circumstances. And the placement of the energy gem at this moment was obviously to be applied on top of the spell formation in the hall. Bold mole crickets, I will dismantle you and make you into skeleton specimens. An angry voice rang out. One could only see a necromancer in black robes standing at the center of the spell formation, seemingly performing some sort of ritual, and several green rays of light were connecting to the magic power gems on the six corners. He's energizing the energy gems. Gabriel said in a loud voice, but there was no way to stop, there were many undead creatures on the surrounding steps and corridors, and all of them were launching themselves in Qin Ming's direction. Who are you? 
And what is this black tower for? Xin Ming winked at Gabriel, and then questioned loudly towards the necromancer in the hall. Unbridled. Unwilling ants, you are destroying the great god of death's gift, you shouldn't survive in this world and are destined to lose your chance to reincarnate forever. The necromancer scolded sternly, his tone filled with reverence for the so-called god of death, while pausing his supply of energy gems and slowly standing up. Under the black cloak a skeleton that was indistinguishable from a skeleton, with ghostly blue soul fire glowing in its skull. Necromancer Silver Rank. Level, 15. Life, 27900 slash 27900, mana, 3214 slash 8000. Attack, 305, spell strength, 865. Defense, 80, spell defense, 160. Talent skills, summon undead, corpse explosion, shadow arrow, life draw, undead army. What a strong attribute. Qin Ming's eyes stared slightly. The moment he saw the other party's attributes, Qin Ming's heart had already developed a desire to retreat. However, when he saw the opponent's remaining mana value, he couldn't help but give a start. It seemed that there wasn't no chance. The necromancer, as a law monster, had all his strength and spells, but in order to recharge his energy gem, he had already consumed most of his mana. As long as he could drain his remaining mana, this was just a large monster with more than a few points of blood. Gabriel, clear the ordinary undead creatures first. Qin Ming shouted, while resummoning the firebird that was still outside the black tower. The firebird was too large to fly in through the narrow black tower door, but that didn't stop him from resummoning it directly in the black tower. Chirp the firebird whistled out, a mouthful of flames spewing towards those white bone skeletons that had just been summoned. The space in the black tower was limited, and after carrying through the outer set of fire, the undead creatures inside weren't as numerous as one would expect. In total, there were only about a hundred of them, and they were being quickly cleared under the attacks of the firebird and Gabriel. Of course, their blood levels were similarly slipping at a rapid pace. With a large number of skeleton archers and skeleton mages focusing their attacks, in just a few seconds, the firebird's blood loss had already reached one-third. If this group of undead creatures couldn't be killed as soon as possible, not to mention killing the undead mage boss, it was questionable if they would be able to leave alive. Fortunately, Gabrielle's attributes were strong enough that the attacks of these ordinary monsters were difficult to break through the defense, and a small amount of forced blood loss could be healed by the holy light. It was the necromancers that could really pose a threat to her, with a spell strength of over 800, any spell could take away hundreds of points of Gabrielle's life value. Faster. Faster. Qin Ming's hands continued to move, and one energy ball was thrown out, creating not too high a damage value. As for Wang Kai and the jungle giant ape, they blocked the entrances and exits of the black tower, preventing the undead creatures outside from rushing in. By the time they were attacked from both sides, they were going to be completely cold. You blasphemers, turn into my sustenance. The prolonged battle seemed to have angered the boss in the hall, and as his hoarse voice rang out, a green energy glow connected to the body of the firebird. Chirp the firebird that was spewing flames let out a pained cry, its life value slipping at a rate visible to the naked eye. Damn it! Qin Ming cursed softly and chose to dispatch the firebird without hesitation. In less than three seconds, the necromancer's life extraction had already depleted the firebird's few remaining life values, and if he had dispatched it any later, he was afraid that it would have simply hung up. Although it might seem like there was no loss when a summoned beast died, Xin Ming had vaguely heard in his previous life that summoned beasts had souls. Try not to let them actually die, in which case the resummoned summon would be a brand new soul. Although it would have little effect on the current strength and attributes, the personality, memories, and so on would all be pushed back, and it would also make it very difficult to raise the level and advancement of the subsequent summoning techniques. Gabriel, be careful. Xin Ming reminded towards Gabriel's side. As the firebird was dispatched, all the firepower had been focused on Gabrielle's body, but fortunately, she had automatic blood recovery skills, so she was able to withstand it for a while. Moreover, from the very beginning, Qin Ming had told him and the firebird to use long-range units as their main targets, and now although there were still quite a few remaining undead creatures, they were basically all melee-type skeleton warriors. Qin Ming looked behind him and dispatched the jungle giant ape that didn't have much blood as well, waiting for the cooldown of the summoning technique to end. Boom! Gabriel cleaved the last skeleton archer with a single piece and set his sights on the few remaining skeleton warriors. Ignoring the shadow arrows sent out by the necromancer, he hardened his high damage to harvest the lives of the skeleton warriors. Xin Ming glanced at it, the opponent still had more than 2000 mana points left, the mere shadow arrows couldn't really put a drain on her mana, her own recovery speed was enough to make up for it. Gabriel, go attack the boss, shouted Xin Ming, summoning the jungle giant ape whose cooldown had already ended once again, causing it to block in front of him. Receiving Qin Ming's command, Gabriel abandoned the few remaining skeleton warriors and charged towards the undead mage, the flaming sword in his hand stabbing at its body without hesitation. Ah! It's holy light! Damned light goons! The necromancer uttered out in anger, 
swinging the staff in his hand, trying to drive Gabriel away. However, with over 300 points of attack power, he couldn't break through the defense at all, and instead, he was hit by Gabriel's sword again, and fell to the ground in a tumble. At this time, Qin Ming summoned the goblin from the summoning ring. It only had the white attribute and was shivering in such an environment, but it had to follow Qin Ming's order and walk towards the battlefield. Move all the corpses and skeletons and pile them up over there. This was the order given to it by Qin Ming. The necromancer's corpse explosion was able to detonate corpses within a certain range, and the more corpses there were, the higher the damage inflicted, so he had to prepare early. As for the few remaining skeleton warriors, he and the jungle giant ape were already strong enough to deal with them, and it was only a matter of time before they were all killed. Life. Surge. Having been stabbed by Gabriel several times in a row, the necromancer was also enraged, and once again cast life extraction, wanting to extract Gabriel's life force. However, Gabriel was not a firebird, he flashed directly behind the necromancer between the flaps of his wings, and slapped his hooded head with a sword. Losing vision and suffering a heavy blow, the life-drawing spell was immediately interrupted, the necromancer angrily turned around, wanting to launch an attack towards Gabriel, when he was met with another sword stabbed against his face. If it wasn't an undead but a beautiful woman, at this moment, her face would have been poked and prodded, and she would have gone into a rampage. The undead mage perfectly interpreted the restraint of a mage being melee close, before mastering a large number of life-saving spells, once the mage was close, it was undoubtedly a nightmare. Die! Die! You damn birdman! The necromancer shouted angrily, the staff in his hand surging as a strong undead wave spread out with him at the center. Yet after the vast noise, nothing happened. He himself froze, his gaze blankly looking around. Damn! Where's my corpse? That! Sorry, it's a bit in the way, so I'll help you move it out of the way, you're welcome. Qin Ming replied as he pointed to the pile of corpses in the far corner. Without him having to say it, the necromancer saw the pile of corpses that had been moved out of the way, and was instantly enraged. If anger could kill, Qin Ming believed that the other party's blood bar would have started to fall straight down by now. Of course, it was actually pretty much the same, except that what was falling was not the blood bar, but the blue bar. There's still over a thousand mana left. Qin Ming thought with slight excitement. After casting some spells, the necromancer had already lost more than a thousand mana points, especially this last airplate corpse explosion, which consumed a full 500 mana points, and as a result, it didn't produce a single effect. And without corpses, he couldn't resurrect undead creatures to come out and fight. Nowadays, apart from shadow arrows and life draw, he basically had no other means of attack. But Gabriel was extremely fast and had superb combat skills, it was simply not something a pure mage like him could deal with. The damage dealt by the shadow arrows was extremely limited, and the life draw was even more easily interrupted. All of a sudden, it felt like the necromancer had already fallen into a chronic death situation, but Qin Ming still didn't dare to be the slightest bit careless. You guys, damn it, drown under the frenzy of the undead plague. As his blood level dropped, the necromancer roared in rage. No longer caring about Gabriel's sacred flame scorch, he desperately pushed his remaining mana, and a grayish-white luster surged from his staff as the aura of death spread throughout the entire Black Tower. This? It should be the final undead heavenly tribulation. Xin Ming thought in his heart, glancing at his skill cooldown and similarly began to prepare his summoning spells. Quite a bit of time had passed since Gabriel had tangled with him, the cooldown of the firebird summoning spell had ended, and the undead mage's blood level was already less than 5,000. If Gabriel still had an angel sword, he might be able to finish him off in seconds, but now he could only watch his opponent use his powerful skills. Without a doubt, this was bound to be his last skill, Undead Heavenly Tribulation, and Qin Ming saw that the thousand or so mana points he had left were instantly drained. A cloud of grayish-white mist suddenly appeared in the originally empty hall. As these mists dispersed, a set of skeletons either holding sharp blades, bows and arrows, or staffs appeared in Qin Ming's line of sight. Chirp the sound of a phoenix once again echoed in the Black Tower and not long after this group of skeletons was summoned, the scorching hot firebird once again flew out, spewing out scorching hot flames towards those skeletons on the ground. Don't worry about these undead creatures, take out the necromancer first. Xin Ming shouted sharply and continued casting spells, dismissing the jungle giant ape before resuming the summoning. The firebird swooped down on the undead mage with a fiery flame, the terrifyingly high temperatures carrying a large amount of damage for him, especially the burning damage from the incineration which was something that the high mana defense of the legal professions couldn't even withstand. No, 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 the god of death shall come to the world. The god of death lives forever. The necromancer shouted the name of the god of death, reaping the last bit of his life as Gabriel's last sword slashed down. However, there was still a certain difference between a necromancer and a summoner, and the undead creatures that were revived by him would not disappear because of his death. Qin Ming handed over the ring of platinum to Gabriel and after she picked up all the fallen items as well as the energy gems around her, he chose to turn around and leave without hesitation. 
Retreat. Qin Ming returned to his senses and retrieved the Wan Akai whose blood had already bottomed out then resummoned it and rode it all the way out. The secrets in the Black Tower were not something that could be explored right now, and this battle made him realize that with his current strength wanting to explore the Black Tower was still lacking. If it wasn't for the fact that this necromancer's mana value wasn't high, in the end, if they only had to cast a few corpse explosions with the dead undead corpses, they would have to be completely accounted for inside. Even if they managed to kill him in the end, they had to retreat because there were too many undead creatures to clear out. Master! This way! Gabriel shouted, leading Qin Ming to rush towards the direction where the monsters were weak after leaving the Black Tower. When they came in, they didn't clear out all the undead creatures around them, so when they came out, they were naturally surrounded, but evacuating was much easier than coming in, there was no need to scout the situation or worry about possible ambushes, they just rode the firebird up into the air. Chirp loud and clear bird song echoed in the sky, from the forest wolf kings back to the firebirds back in one leap, and then all the summoned beasts were recovered, and together with Gabriel, they took off in the air. Phew! Looking down at the densely packed undead creatures below, Qin Ming's heart was both grateful and fearful. Originally, he thought that his strength was already enough to enter the Black Tower and even if he was undefeated, he would still be able to retreat in one piece, but as a result, he had to be thankful that he was lucky and didn't make a fool of himself by charging directly into those three large Black Towers, and also thankful that the mana value possessed by the necromancer was insufficient. Otherwise, if they really wanted to fight openly and let the other party release necromantic spells recklessly, then the consequences could only be said to be unimaginable. Fortunately, I won in the end, it's just a pity that I couldn't properly explore this black tower, when I come back next time I wonder if there will be another boss reoccupying this place? Qin Ming sighed in his heart. Right. Drops, at least it's a silver-ranked boss, and I even have the lucky talent on. After he was safe, Qin Ming excitedly opened his storage ring, and the drops that filled his eyes were mind-blowing. Equipment these all have to be rank 1 to be used, just skim it and look back, let's look at the materials and other items first. There are also skill books. Qin Ming glanced at the piece of gold-grade equipment that had dropped, and with great difficulty moved his gaze away, placing it on a bunch of non-equipment items. Among them were a bronze-ranked group scroll, a bronze-ranked auxiliary class profession scroll, and a bronze-ranked combat class profession scroll. On top of that, there were four or five skill books, most of which were bronze grade, but there was a silver grade and a gold grade skill book that caught his eye. Summoning Green Mulberry Butterfly, Silver Grade. Learning Requirements, Spiritual Strength 60, Summoner. Summon a Green Mulberry Butterfly to fight. Skills, Life Surge, Resurrection, Level 3, Soul Regenerating Sound, Level 5. Summon Beast Qualification, Life Qualification, 4, Attack Qualification, 1, Legal Qualification, 5, Defense Qualification, 1, Legal Defense Qualification, 1, Speed Qualification, 3, Summoned Beast Growth, 20, Cooldown Time, 20 Minutes, Summoning Consumption, 100 Points of Mana, then 30 Points of Mana per Minute, Casting Time 5 Seconds, Enhancement, Gold Level, Learning Requirements, Spiritual Power 130, First Level or Higher Summoner, Beast Master, Necromancer and other summoning professions. Consume mana to strengthen your summon object, increasing its full attributes by 20 points plus 10% of your own spirit power for 2 minutes, cooldown, 10 minutes. Cooldown time, 10 minutes, mana consumption, 100 points. Reinforcement Needless to say, this is the essential skill of the summoner, just according to the different grades, the effective use is strong and weak but the initial can enhance the full attributes of 20 points, this is the bronze level and even silver level of reinforcement cannot do. Not to mention the additional 10% of one's own mental strength at the back, which was only 5% for silver rank and even more so 2% for bronze rank. Strong ah. It's a pity that you have to be first rank to learn it. Qin Ming sighed with a red-eyed sigh, but he had to put this skill book away for the time being and picked up another green mulberry butterfly summoning technique. This was a silver grade summoning beast, and it was also the rarest and most rare healing summoning beast, this type of summoning beast possessed a powerful healing effect, and was a sought after item for all summoners. In the summoners market, the price of a healing summoning beast was to be raised by one level, which meant that the value of the silver ranked green mulberry butterfly was actually comparable to that of a gold ranked firebird. Qin Ming chose to learn it without hesitation, not counting Gabriel and Goblin, he already had four summoned beasts, and all of them were above silver grade except for the jungle giant ape, this list of summoning techniques can be said to be very explosive when placed on the body of any 0th rank summoner. Not bad, it's quite rewarding to have one more summoning spell, this way, I'll still have one summoning bar left before rank 2. Qin Ming nodded with satisfaction as he looked at his skill bar. The learning of summoning techniques was different from general skill learning, most of the summoning techniques learned had no rank requirements, basically as long as the attributes were up to par, they could be learned at rank 0. 
However, summoners only had five summoning slots at each stage, and the 0th rank was not considered a formal career level, the summoning slots were shared with the first rank, which made the summoning slots for summoners in the early stages very tight. After all, the grade, qualification, growth and other aspects of the summons are fixed, only with the summoner level, skill level, and a little bit of improvement, which is the reason why the status of the summoner is embarrassing. High-grade summon beasts are scarce and difficult to obtain in both the early and late stages. Low-grade summon beasts and very weak, like summoning ring summoned out of the kobolds, in addition to serving tea, even as a cannon fodder are not qualified. Therefore, most summoners could only choose a low-grade summoning beast, and then fully raise its summoning skill level to fight for the possibility of promotion. It was just that such an approach required too much time and energy, and not every summoner could survive until the day their summoning beast grew up. Let's look back and see if there are any suitable summon beasts, at the moment the main thing is to level up the summon firebird. Closing the attribute panel, Qin Ming already knew what he needed to do next. The black tower could only be put down for the time being, only when the firebird mastered the wide range fire rain art would he be able to have a stable group attack type skill that could clean up the summon undead creatures in the black tower in a wide range, or even directly incinerate the corpses to avoid the threat of corpse explosion. After taking a look at the condition of Fatty's trio, Xin Ming returned to the morning glory village. The equipment that the lucky talent had exploded piled up into a mountain, and he needed to head to the blacksmith store to clean it up. These equipment were all above rank 1, players at this stage couldn't use them yet, and they were prone to causing trouble, so it was better to go to the blacksmith store for insurance, even if the price was lower. He then went to the bookstore once again and met Li Fu Zi. I found this in the middle of the black tower. Can you use it? Xin Ming took out the energy crystal and placed it on the table as he looked at husbandman Li and asked. It's just a carrier to reserve energy, what's the use of bringing it to our small village? On the contrary, you can take it to the altar and try it out. Altar? You're talking about the altar in the dark forest? Husband Minli smiled and didn't say anything, but Qin Ming already understood that he had guessed correctly. There was an altar in the dark forest, although he didn't know what it was for yet, but opening it naturally required energy, and these energy crystals were the source of that energy. Using the enemy's resources to defeat the enemy? It was still quite interesting to think about. Thanks. Qin Ming thanked and left after a few casual chats, buying a sufficient amount of food, he returned to the land of the undead to start practicing once again. However, unlike Fatty and the others, they were brushing up their levels, while Qin Ming was going to brush up his skill proficiency. He wasn't going to enter the Black Tower again until he had leveled up the summoning firebird to level 3. The terrifying number of undead creatures, one by one, would have to be killed until next year. Brother Ming, there's a newcomer on the leaderboard. Two days later, Fatty suddenly shouted in the chat channel. Qin Ming froze and opened the leaderboard, only to see an English name hanging behind a few people. This was the first time since the leaderboard appeared that someone other than the four of them had risen to level 9. More Edward? Never heard of it. Qin Ming bristled. In his previous life for 50 years, he hadn't even gotten out of China to go there, let alone players from other countries. However, this was also because his status was too low, and it was rumored that some strong people were the ones who had managed to get in touch with other countries, and had even participated in the exploration of certain secret realms together. It was a pity that these things had nothing to do with ordinary people like him and he had never even heard of them. However, being able to rise to level 9 in such a short period of time was still very compelling, and even caused quite a stir internationally. It could be imagined that at this time, players all over the world were bound to be enthusiastically discussing the matter of the leaderboards, after all, this was the first non-Chinese person to ascend the leaderboards. However, Qin Ming for this name is unimpressed, now is the third day of the opening of the leaderboard, on this speed cannot rise to level 9 full experience is a problem? Not to mention hitting the rankings. Knowing that he already had hundreds of thousands of points, and Fatty, and the others were halfway on the path to level 9, at least getting full experience and points before the end of the 7-day rankings was definitely not a problem. That's why it's useless even if you're on the rank list when this will only rise to level 9, if you can't reach full experience you won't have the points and won't be able to get the ranked rewards. Xin Ming replied in the group channel, then turned around and returned to the Morning Glory Village. Three days had passed, and the equipment he had commissioned the blacksmith store to give to the tailor store to make for him were all ready. This is a cloak tanned with silver moon tiger skin and magic spirit leopard bone powder, you can try it out. In the tailor store, the boss took out a tiger skin cloak and handed it to Qin Ming and said, Tiger skin coat, gold grade. Description, a cloak crafted from the leather of a gold grade silver moon tiger king, a mighty wind. Requirements for use, strength 10, intelligence 35, mental strength 20. Life value plus 500, defense plus 10. Full attribute plus 10, toughness plus 5. Incidental effect. Deterrence, reduce the damage value of enemies within 10 meters nearby by 10%. Durability 100-100.
Durability 100-100. Awesome. Qin Ming sighed out in amazement. The attributes of the tiger skin coat were exceptionally powerful and it was very suitable for him. However, before he could put it on, the boss once again took out a black hat and placed it on the tiger skin coat. This is a hat made from the fur of the abdomen where the surge of magic power is most active on the demon spirit leopard, and the powder of the dried tiger king's eyes is also put inside, it's also a bit unexpected for it to be able to reach such a level. Starry Sky Law Hat, Gold Grade. Requirements for Use, Intelligence 25, Mental Power 35. Intelligence plus 20, Mental Strength plus 50. Mana Value plus 500, Mana Recovery Speed plus 20. Skill Cooldown Time Reduced by 10%. Durability 100 slash 100. His Qin Ming couldn't help but suck in a breath of cool air. If the tiger skin coat gave him extreme survivability, then the starry sky's mana hat had boosted the recovery ability of legal professions to the extreme. Whether it was a priest or a summoner, this hat could be enough to cause a mad rush. Worthy of being customized equipment, I'm very satisfied with these two pieces of equipment, thank you so much. Qin Ming put on the two pieces of equipment and thanked towards the tailor store owner with a grateful face. No need to be polite. Masterly has taken a liking to you, so helping you is also helping ourselves. The boss said with a smile, clearly aware of the commission that Li Fu Zi had placed on him. Walking out from the tailor store, Qin Ming headed into the blacksmith store, there was only one weapon compared to the tiger skin coat and the starry sky dharma hat, but the moment he saw the mace, Qin Ming couldn't take his eyes off of it anymore. Cold Iron Staff, Gold Grade. Introduction, Cold Iron Essence is the main material mixed with magic spirit leopard's bone powder, tongling stone's powder, and soul dust, forged by hammering, and has the effect of communicating with all the spirits. Requirements for use, strength 10, spiritual strength 60, attack power plus 20, spell strength plus 50, spirit power plus 50, summoning spell cooldown time reduced by 30%, mana recovery speed plus 20, effects, double summoning, when casting a summoning spell, there is a 10% chance of summoning an additional identical summon object, and the mana consumption to maintain the summon object is increased by 400% effects, double summoning, when casting a summoning spell, there is a 10% chance of summoning an additional identical summon object, and the mana consumption to maintain the summon object is increased by 400. Durability, 200 slash 200. Bull. This attribute, it's comparable to a profession core. Qin Ming marveled out. He still remembered the divine profession core, multiple summoning, that he had seen when he had chosen his profession core. Although the effects of this staff were definitely far inferior compared to a true profession core, this was only a rank 0 gold grade weapon, and to be able to have this kind of special effect could already be considered heaven defying. It's a pity, the level of the demon spirit leopard is a bit lower, and we can't find any higher grade psychic stones in the morning glory village, to be able to have this kind of basically is already the limit, or else with the cold iron essence as the main material, a platinum grade equipment can't be escaped. Blacksmith Wang sighed and shook his head. It's fine, this is already very good, not to mention the attributes, just this special effect alone, it's already no worse than a platinum grade equipment. Qin Ming instead smiled and comforted. He was right about this, just the double summoning feature alone was enough to let him use it for a long time, and it would come in handy even at the second or third rank. After all, it was just a weapon, the attributes could be completely piled up by other equipment, and replacing the weapon after summoning the summoned beast was just a matter of replacing it. As long as you like it. Wang Blacksmith smiled and nodded, limited by the materials, this staff was considered to be the strongest equipment he could build in the novice secret realm. Walking out from the blacksmith store, Qin Ming looked at his outfit and nodded with satisfaction, without any surprises, before leaving the novice mystic realm, his attributes shouldn't have any more major changes. Name, Qin Ming. Level, 9. Basic Attributes. Physique, 92, Strength, 91, Agility, 92, Intelligence, 198, Spirituality, 248. Detailed Attributes. Life, 2152, Mana, 1840, Attack Power, 96, Spell Strength, 536. Physical Defense, 43. 4, Spell Defense, 49. 6, Toughness, 10, Physical Defense, 43. 4, Spell Defense, 49. 6, Toughness, 10, Toughness, 10. Bludgeon Rate, 0%, Bludgeon Damage, 50%, Bludgeon Rate, 0%, Bludgeon Damage, 50%. Attack Speed, 10. 2, Movement Speed, 13. 2, Evasion Chance, 15%, Spellcasting Speed, plus 10%. Experience Value, 120000 slash 120000 Experience Value, 120000 slash 120000. Attached Effect, Deterrence, Double Summoning, Attached Skill, Light Spirit. Attached Skills, Wind of Lightness, Summon Cobalt, Jungle Guardian. It's a pity that the Cobalt's ring is only bronze level, and it has been impossible to find a suitable replacement. 
Helplessly, he shook his head. It wasn't that there hadn't been any silver level rings dropped, but there were no suitable ones for him to use, and all things considered it wasn't as good as this ring. But there's another problem, once I touch the double casting, I'm afraid the 5 times mana value consumption is a bit overwhelming. Qin Ming looked at his mana value and frowned slightly as he walked towards the middle of the liquor store. The summoning of the Firebird required 50 mana points to be consumed per minute, and the Wolf King, Ape King, and Cyan Mulberry Butterfly all required 30 mana points, which added up to a whopping 140 mana points to be consumed per minute. If he triggered the double summoning of the Firebird and consumed an additional 400% of his mana, that would be 200 points, and his mana consumption per minute would reach a terrifying 340 points. With his current blue recovery rate of 65 points every 15 seconds, once he had the good fortune of triggering the double summon of another summoned beast, the balance would be completely broken. Boss, is my tiger bone wine brewed yet? Arriving in the middle of the liquor store, Xin Ming asked towards the owner of the liquor store. Normally brewing wine naturally wasn't this fast, but now that he had transcendent power, the manufacturing speed of many life skills had been greatly improved. You came just in time, I was about to go to the wine cellar, wait. The boss laughed out loud and walked towards the wine cellar. Qin Ming wasn't polite either, finding a seat and sitting down, then asked the second to bring the menu, carefully consulting the dishes on it. Attributes were not enough to make up for cooking, Qin Ming was doing exactly that, preparing to top it off with some cooking that could boost the speed of mana recovery. Help me prepare 10 steamed silver fish and 10 awakening tea, packed. Thanks. After looking around, Qin Ming handed the menu back to the shopkeeper and said, Steamed silver fish and awakening tea were the only two types of food that restored mana value, and together they were able to increase the mana recovery speed by about 10 points. It wasn't much, but a little was a little, and the rest would have to rely on recovery potions. Okay. Please wait. The store assistant answered with a smile on his face. Soon, the boss walked over with a few jugs of wine, tiger bone wine that had just been taken out of the wine cellar. The amount isn't much, but it's all the essence of tiger bone, take a look. The old man of the liquor store said with a smile. Tiger Bone Wine, Gold Grade, Asterisk 10. Description, brewed from the tiger bone of the Gold Grade Silver Moon Tiger King in conjunction with many traditional Chinese medicines, it has the effect of strengthening the body. Plus 10 to all attributes, plus 200 to life limit, plus 10 to life recovery speed, drinking it gives you plus 10 to all attributes, plus 200 to life limit, and plus 10 to life recovery speed. Only valid for the first time you drink it every year, only valid for players with full attributes below 1000. Very good, thanks a lot. Xin Ming thanked, and immediately picked up a jug and drank it. The bottle was not big, a bottle was estimated to be only two tails, and because it was medicinal wine, the degree was not too high. After all, it was wine, and after a mouthful of it, there was still a burning sensation rising in his chest, but he soon felt the warmth spreading throughout his body. The whole person was warm and seemed to have inexhaustible strength and energy. You can't drink too much of this wine at once, it would be a waste ha huh? The owner of the liquor store reminded with a smile from the side. Don't worry. I know. Feeling the changes in his attributes, Qin Ming nodded in satisfaction and put away the rest of the tiger bone wine. It wasn't just the tiger bone wine, but anything that could permanently enhance one's attributes had many restrictions. Consuming it once a year was still considered good, and many things could only be consumed even once in a lifetime. Qin Ming, who had re-entered the land of the undead, gave Fatty and the others a bottle of tiger bone wine, which immediately caused the three of them to marvel. Especially in Yun Meng and Qin Euro, who were originally thin-blooded French professions, a cup of tiger bone wine went down and almost doubled their base life value, and their blood volume was on the verge of catching up with some of the poorly equipped warriors in the Morning Glory village. Brother Ming, it seems like everyone's upgrading speed has accelerated, the leaderboard is already full of 10 people. Fatty said towards Qin Ming with a reddish glow on his face. Just as Qin Ming had returned to Morning Glory village for such a short while, players who had risen to level 9 had sprung up like bamboo shoots, and even in less than an hour, the 10 slots on the leaderboards had been filled. Qin Ming opened it and took a look at it, basically it was all foreign players that he couldn't name, but a 6th ranked Chinese name attracted his attention. Ling Yun. A faint killing intent rose from Qin Ming's body, but was quickly suppressed by him. Don't pay attention to them, you guys are 3 days ahead of schedule, as long as you brush up your experience value as soon as possible, you won't be able to run away from the leaderboard. Turning off the leaderboard, Qin Ming said indifferently. However, several people sensed the change of mood in it, and Fatty wanted to ask out loud, but he saw that Qin Ming had already turned around and left. I still have to go brush up on my skill proficiency, so cheer yourselves up and pay more attention to safety. Summoning the summoned beasts in turn, Qin Ming continued to refine the skill proficiency of his summoning technique, but in his hand, he had already opened up the ranking leaderboards once again, looking at the familiar name in a daze. Ling Yun War God, this is a name that no one in China knew in the previous life, he was the first person in China to level up, 
but also the god of war who guarded the entire imperial capital with his own strength. Unfortunately, he was only brilliant for a short ten years, and then disappeared in a secret exploration, the imperial capital also changed its owner, the new city lord named Ling Tian, his son. Fifty years later, the battle to destroy the city in the flaming sky was precisely the confrontation between Ling Tian and An Yunmeng. Forget it, all of this is still too far away from me, hopefully this rank list will change some of his end. Qin Ming sighed helplessly. He had no feelings for Ling Yun and even had a hint of admiration, but his son was not as heroic as he was. The killing intent that Qin Ming had exuded earlier was also due to the association with the other party's son, the Ling Tian who had grown up in the midst of the end of the world and had become nearly dehumanized. The days of hammering out skill proficiency were very boring, Qin Ming returned to Morning Glory Village halfway through the day and looked for a book and pen to come over, jotting down some of the major events that he remembered in the book, just in case he forgot. Time passed in a flash, another three days passed, and the Firebird's summoning skill finally reached level 3, not only that, the Forest Wolf's summoning skill also reached level 3 as well, mastering the Wolf Howl, a status type skill. Qin Ming stood up and looked towards the Black Tower in the distance, it was time to destroy it. Brother Ming, not waiting any longer? After all, the leveling event will end tomorrow, and you'll be able to get your reward. Fatty asked with slight concern. They also knew about Qin Ming's last foray into the Black Tower, the terrifying number of powerful monsters that made him almost unable to return. No waiting, the leveling rewards are all first rank, so I can't use them even if I get them. There's no need to wait. Qin Ming shook his head and kept summoning and dispatching until he summoned the second firebird. Chirp successive phoenix chirps rang out in the sky, the dim sky was burned into a reddish color, and a large rain of flames descended from the sky, falling towards the dense undead creatures on the ground. Roar roars rose and fell one after another as Qin Ming rode on the back of a firebird and flew towards the black tower with Gabriel. This time, he chose the same black tower from before, he wanted to see if the necromancer he killed would refresh and what would become of this black tower. Another wave of fire rain, clear out the entrance to the passageway. Qin Ming ordered towards the two firebirds. The flames rose again, but this time, the target was near the black tower, a large number of undead creatures turned into ashes under the rain of fire, and Qin Ming managed to find a landing spot. A Wang Kai was summoned and brought him running towards the middle of the black tower. The undead creatures that he had originally cleared out were already refreshed one after another, and there were quite a few more necromancers in the black tower. However, these necromancers weren't the kind of silver level bosses from before, they were just ordinary monsters, but they were also bronze level with very powerful attributes. They seemed to be conducting some research, wanting to advance to silver level to go, and Qin Ming's appearance had undoubtedly interrupted their plans. Roar several huge sized stitch monsters rushed towards the entrance of the black tower, some of the white bone skeletons around them that couldn't dodge in time were knocked out, and the narrow space of the black tower even seemed to be a little bit crowded. Things of darkness, except purification. Gabrielle chanted clearly, already rushing forward with her shining guts in hand. Her size wasn't worth mentioning compared to the suture monster, but her powerful attributes weren't comparable to these bronze level monsters, and her powerful force could even send them flying. Roar! Suture monsters roared angrily, Gabriel was able to slice through their stomachs with a single sword, causing intestines, carrion and the like to flow all over the place. However, the narrow space of the black tower made it difficult for them to exert themselves, they could only walk up the passageway in a line in order, but it was hard for them to defeat Gabriel's strong offense. This was the first time they suffered a loss in the power sparring, and it was estimated that they themselves did not expect that this small slender figure in front of them would be lurking such a huge power. Roar the suture monster behind him threw out his chain, trying to hook Gabriel, but instead, he was pulled by it and stumbled, directly crashing into the suture monster in front of him. At the same time, Xin Ming also got off of Wang Kai's body, allowing it to pounce towards the suture monster in front of him. One angel and one forest wolf king directly finished off these suture monsters in turn. Not only that, with their huge size blocking them, the long-range monsters at the back such as the skeleton archers and skeleton mages were unable to attack effectively, and could only wait in the back. Chirp at this time, the firebirds outside the tower landed on the ground and walked in from the gate. After spreading their wings, they were so huge that it was difficult for them to fly in, but that didn't stop them from becoming a walking chicken. After coming in, the firebirds spread their wings again, and a large amount of flames coalesced and fell in the black tower, and in just 10 seconds or so, the undead creatures in the entire black tower were incinerated, and none of them could move anymore. Phew sure enough, mastering fire rain has finally made up for the flaw of lack of firepower. Qin Ming gently breathed a sigh of relief and sighed in his heart. Casually disintegrating the corpse of the suture monster that blocked his way, he obtained a bunch of undead type materials before taking a step towards the center of the black tower. Master, this should be a teleportation spell formation. But the location of the teleportation is unknown. Also on the outside of the teleportation spell formation, 
There is also a layer of spell formation that seems to be one with the entire Black Tower. Standing in the center of the hall, Gabriel said after observing carefully for a while. A combination type of teleportation spell formation? A coolness rose in Qin Ming's heart as he looked at the spell formation carved out on the ground. Unsurprisingly, the Black Tower's function should be to connect all the teleportation developments and then send all the undead creatures in this land of the dead to the Blue Star. Such a spell formation was definitely not only found in the Morning Glory Village secret realm, it was believed that all the novice secret realms would definitely have such a spell formation present for the invasion of the Blue Star world. In addition, this black tower is made of black magic crystals, not only is it sturdy, but it also possesses extremely strong magical conductivity, a material that most mage towers would use when they are built, making it very difficult to destroy it. Gabriel said again, with a hint of gravity in his tone. The angelic sword can't do it either? Qin Ming asked with a gloomy expression. It can be, but it's estimated that it will take several times before it can be completely destroyed, and there are quite a number of black towers here. Gabriel didn't finish her words. But Qin Ming already understood what she meant, the angelic sword with a cooldown time of one hour, if it really took several times to destroy it, then even if he waited until the secret realm was closed, he wouldn't be able to clean up these 32 do black towers, not to mention that there were still three large black towers. In fact, it is not necessary to destroy the black tower, we only need to destroy the spell formation on the ground, after that, as long as there are no high level necromancers coming over, it will be difficult to re-engrave the spell formation. Gabriel thought about it and spoke out again. This is a good idea, just do it. Wanting to completely destroy the two spell formations on the ground, ordinary skills were definitely not enough, at least fire rain couldn't do it, it still had to be Gabriel's angelic sword. Boom! Under the shroud of holy light, the entire black tower trembled, and the interior of the black tower suffered a violent and heavy blow. Many decorations shattered with it, the floor tiles cracked, and the spell formations engraved on the ground had been destroyed. Go! Go to the next black tower! Qin Ming also stopped staying and flew in another direction after leaving the Black Tower. There were a total of 32 Black Towers in the entire land of the undead, built around Morning Glory Village and even bustling the dark forest outside. It wasn't until Qin Ming, who had strolled around outside, that he realized that the original dark forest was actually surrounded by cliffs as well. The equivalent of the entire Morning Glory Village in the dark forest was a confined space that was locked up, and there was no other way to go except to fly out. There weren't even many places to fly out, and in many places, the peaks of the mountains reached right up to the spatial boundary wall, with only a few gaps to pass through. No wonder Master Li would say that Morning Glory Village is a cage. Qin Ming sighed in his heart as he looked at the mountains in the distance. At this moment, he was riding on the back of a firebird, allowing them to clear out the undead creatures below. Apart from Gabriel he did not summon out any other summoned beasts, this would minimize the consumption of mana value and allow him to maintain the mana consumption of the two firebirds. It was a good thing that none of the undead creatures capable of flying had been encountered so far, which also allowed the firebirds and Gabriel to maximize their advantages. I just didn't expect that the firebirds would actually lack blue as well. Looking at the firebird that could only spit flames, a hint of helplessness flashed through Qin Ming's eyes. The rain of fire technique was strong, a rain of fire that lasted for 10 seconds, and each hit could deal thousands of points of damage, but the blue consumption was equally exaggerated. A wave of fire and rain are to consume 500 points of mana value, all the way down to kill the firebird's blue amount simply cannot support too long, from the black tower out of the time has been depleted more than half. Therefore, at this time, Qin Ming only dared to let them use ordinary flame spitting, to save up their blue amount to deal with the subsequent battles. Just this way, the speed of killing the monsters naturally slowed down quite a bit, and relying solely on the flames and Gabriel's sword, he was afraid that he would have to kill them for a long time. We can just charge in, then let Wang Kai and that gorilla block the entrances and exits, and the firebirds and I will take care of the necromancers inside. Gabriel suggested with a slight gasp, or else if we really kill them like this, I'm afraid that our hands will get tired. This method is good. It's a pity that there aren't any group type spells within the 0th rank spells, or else it could help brush up on the monsters as well. Qin Ming nodded helplessly in response. Summoners were able to learn mage profession skills, and he had learned a few basic spells, and had even upgraded his fireball and ground stabbing spells to level 1. However, the level 0 elemental spells were basically single basic skills, and apart from consuming a wave of his magical value they couldn't be of any use at all. After all, a single attack wouldn't be able to use him yet, even the jungle giant ape was a bit stronger than him. Roar the movement of an angel with two firebirds was not small, even if it was approaching quickly from the air, it had similarly attracted the attention of the black tower, and several suture monsters had already stepped out from the black tower. It's hard to believe that all ordinary black towers are a combination of necromancers plus stitch monsters? Qin Ming thought suspiciously in his mind, but the situation at hand was already on the brink. 
Send these suture monsters back into the Black Tower and use them to block the long-range undead creatures inside. Xin Ming shouted. Gabriel, who was preparing to engage the suture monsters, flapped his wings and turned around to rush into the Black Tower. Roar the two suture monsters no longer paid attention to the firebird in the sky and chased after Gabriel. The remaining suture monster looked at the sky and threw out the long hook in its hand towards the firebird, wanting to hook it down. However, it was from the bottom up, and the height at which the firebird was flying was not low, so after throwing it a few times, it did not succeed, but instead, the firebird had already descended again with the fire rain spell. Roar! The scorching of the flames made these few suture monsters cry out in pain, and those ordinary undead creatures next to them didn't last long before they collapsed, and a vacuum immediately appeared outside the black tower. Ow a wolf howl sounded, the forest wolf king was summoned by Qin Ming, stationed at the entrance and exit of the secret realm, blocking the path of the several suture monsters going back. Immediately after that, two jungle giant apes were summoned out in a row, Qin Ming was slightly stunned, not expecting that he had triggered the double summoning of the cold iron staff. Immediately, he took out a bottle of mana recovery potion and held it in his hand, since it was summoned, there was no reason to take it back. Letting a jungle great ape catch himself, as the firebird's flight altitude dropped, Qin Ming jumped down. Nothing unexpected happened, landing smoothly in the wide palm of the jungle giant ape, being carefully placed on Wang Kai's back. Go! Qin Ming shouted, riding the forest wolf king into the black tower with a leap. At this moment, Gabrielle was tangling with two suture monsters. With her strength, she could easily cut them down, but she needed to rely on the other's huge body to block the long-range monsters at the back, so she had kept them. Now that she saw Qin Ming come in, she no longer stayed her hand, and with a few swipes of her sword, she finished off the two suture monsters. The huge corpses collapsed at the intersection, blocking the skeleton warriors that were trying to rush up behind them, as well as blocking the line of sight of the long-range skeleton archers and skeleton mages. Chirp the firebird landed and walked into the black tower, rearing its wings and spitting flames towards these undead creatures. The two jungle giant apes followed closely behind the firebird, blocking the entrances and exits of the black tower, preventing the undead creatures outside from coming in. With Qin Ming's attribute boost, these two jungle apes' attributes were also exceptionally exaggerated, so if they were to charge into the monsters, they might not last long, but if they were just blocking the gate, they could block it for a long time on a rotating basis. Blasphemous humans, what are you doing? This is the Black Tower of the Great God of Death, you blasphemers. The necromancer in the Black Tower roared, stopping his energy supply as soon as the firebird entered, looking up at Qin Ming and the others. Blasphemy? Do you believe that I can still commit deicide to you? Qin Ming sneered. As his words fell, Gabriel's hand suddenly lit up with a divine light, and the entire Black Tower was illuminated as all the undead creatures revealed a look of horror under the light. Holy light! Dispel the darkness! Gabriel murmured out, and the holy sword in the sky fell in response. No! The necromancer shouted out in horror, what he was afraid of was not the damage of this angelic sword, but the fact that it would completely destroy the huge spell formation under its feet, which was something it could not accept. Boom the sword of holy light naturally wouldn't follow his will, the powerful energy impact vibrated the entire black tower, destroying everything in it in the necromancer's despairing gaze. You, deserve to die. The necromancer looked towards Gabriel, his eyes flashed with uncontrollable anger and hatred as he raised the staff in his hand, and an endless aura of death began to spread throughout the entire black tower. It's an army of undead. Xin Ming said in a deep voice, this scene was extraordinarily similar to the last time. Sure enough, as his words fell, a large number of undead creatures came out of the mist, once again charging towards Qin Ming's direction. All be careful, try to purify or incinerate the corpses. Qin Ming warned loudly, drinking the mana recovery potion in his hand and then began to roll up his fireball spell, contributing his meager output. Of course, his attacks were low compared to Gabriel and the Firebird, and compared to normal law players, his attacks were also extremely unbelievable in terms of damage. Moreover, what he really wanted to do was not to kill the enemy, but to burn the corpses, trying not to give the necromancer a chance to use corpse explosion. This undead system spell, just blowing up individual corpses wasn't much, but once there were more corpses to maneuver, then the power would become extremely terrifying as well. He didn't want to try what it was like to have a cannon go up into the sky. Boom. Gabriel didn't care about anything else, and as always, he directly rushed towards the necromancer, the shining guts in his hand continuously stabbing towards its body. However, the destruction of the spell formation might have brought it a considerable blow, surprisingly, it didn't dodge around like the last necromancer, but rather hardened itself against Gabriel's attacks of the spells it kept casting, not caring about its own injuries in the slightest. Although this kind of attack caused his blood level to drop rapidly, it also brought high damage to Gabriel, plus those long-range skeletons all focused on Gabriel under its command, for a while it was vaguely unable to stand up to the situation. Nima! Focus on the necromancer! 
Qin Ming gritted his teeth and roared, since you're not afraid to die, let's compete to see who has more damage. As his words fell, the firebirds in the sky no longer cared about the summoned undead creatures and circled around the top of the necromancer, continuously spewing fiery flames. Not only that, Wang Kai also rushed headlong, crossing over the large number of skeletal warriors and biting down on the body of the undead mage. Roar Wang Kai tore at its mouth, pulling the undead mage to the ground and dragging it. But it was an undead creature after all, the release of spells didn't even require the mouth to recite incantations and the like, and there were no articulation type organs on his skeleton, it was more of a spiritual touch and resonance. At this moment the necromancers will seem to be unusually firm, surprisingly not affected by the physical effects at all, a shadow arrow and life extraction were used, rapidly extracting Gabriel's life force. Green Mulberry Butterfly. Qin Ming looked at his mana value and summoned his last summoned beast as well. At this moment, the green mulberry butterfly only had one skill, and that was life surge, which was able to continuously restore the target's life value based on the strength of its own spells. The amount of recovery was not low, but it could barely maintain Gabriel's blood level, otherwise, under the fire from all sides, her blood level would drop too fast. At this time, Gabrielle also did not care, not even to go to their own blood, just a sword stabbed at the necromancer. Death is not the end. Darkness will come. Finally, with Gabriel's last sword chopped down, the necromancer's soul fire finally slowly extinguished in the sorrowful roar. Although the necromancer was dead, the undead creatures in the black tower were still there, and without its command, all the undead creatures began to launch attacks in a scattered manner. Gabriel's pressure was reduced quite a bit, and his blood level slowly rebounded under the healing of the green mulberry butterfly. And although the two firebirds and Wang Kai suffered from attacks, their own attributes were not weak, so as long as they were not set on fire they didn't have much of a problem. A single green mulberry butterfly perfectly solved Qin Ming's recovery ability, allowing his summoned beasts to fight their way through the monsters. Chirp as the cooldown ended, the rain of fire descended once again, bringing a touch of scorching heat to the entire black tower space, and all the undead creatures were reduced to ashes under the scorching flames. Let's go! Go back and recuperate! Picking up the drops all over the place, the jungle giant ape at the entrance opened the way and led them to kill. Re-returning to the safe zone, Qin Ming recalled all the summons one after another, then leaned against Wang Kai's soft belly, organizing the harvest from this trip. Lucky talent is good, it's just that this burst rate is also too high, and the requirement for storage equipment is also big. Qin Ming looked at his platinum ring that was full again with a helpless face. The 200 compartments of storage space were a bit insufficient for him, and the Black Tower had discarded quite a lot of trash white equipment and materials. However, what had to be organized had to be organized, his super high luck value made it so that when he killed this kind of silver level boss, there would definitely be a gold level item that would fall out. Most of the time it was equipment, but this time it froze him in his tracks. Underworld fruit? Crap! It can still drop such a good thing? Xin Ming exclaimed out in shock while taking out the fist-sized fruit. In underworld fruit, gold grade. Description, a fruit born in the land of the dead that contains vitality, possessing the power to bring the dead back to life. Players within three ranks can be resurrected after taking it within one hour of death, and their bodies will undergo some unknown changes. Normal players can improve their health after taking it. Normal players can increase their life growth by 1 point, life attribute affinity by 10 points, and darkness attribute affinity by 10 points after taking it. Each person can consume a maximum of 3, each interval must not be less than 1 month, and resurrection is limited to 1 time only. This was an ordinary white fruit, somewhat similar to the ginseng fruit, it looked plain and ordinary, but one could feel the rich vitality contained within. To return from the dead? Life towards death? Kind of interesting. Qin Ming sighed as he looked at the introduction of the Yin Underworld fruit. There were thousands of such special items, who knew how many there were? Most of them were only grown by some coincidence. However, the effects of the Yin Underworld fruit were undoubtedly very powerful, not to mention the enhancement of the player's attributes, its resurrection effect alone was enough to make anyone feel crazy. Even if there might be some unknown changes that existed, but who cared about that much when people were going to die? Let's put it away first. Qin Ming thought about it and took it back into his ring. Although eating it would increase one's qualification and affinity, it was something that could save one's life. Anyway, he wasn't lacking in attributes right now, so it didn't make much sense to use it or not, so let's wait until he really needed it. In addition to the scene Underworld Fruit, there were quite a few remaining silver level items, but basically all of them had to be rank 1 or above to be used, and after a general look, he was not interested in it, and either kept it or waited to throw it in the store when he returned to the village. Still going to the next Black Tower? After resting for a while, Gabriel asked towards Qin Ming. Go! Qin Ming said with an affirmative tone, 32 black pagodas was not a small number, I'm afraid that he wouldn't be able to finish clearing them until the novice mystic realm was closed if he didn't work harder. Taking many summoned beasts with them, they set off once again, and with the previous experience, 
they didn't pay any more attention to the undead creatures along the way, and ran directly to the entrance and exit of the Black Tower. This time, even the suture monsters didn't react, they were killed directly by Qin Ming and the others, then the holy light fell, the rain of fire descended, in less than half an hour, the interior of this black tower was destroyed. And Qin Ming and his men didn't engage in a battle, after collecting the things dropped by the necromancers, they directly left, leaving the remaining low-level undead creatures to roar and roar in anger. After the battle of the two black towers in front of him, he also knew the difficulty of destroying the black towers, so he only needed to destroy the internal spell formation, and there was no need to tangle with the pile of undead creatures at all. Anyway, the role of this formation is just to send this group of undead creatures to the blue star, as long as the formation is gone, they cannot be transported, and ultimately, they are just trapped in this place. If you take a break destroying a black tower once again, Xin Ming felt his body's exhaustion and instead of continuing, he came to the safe area and propped up his tent to rest. This day, as he became more and more familiar, he had destroyed the teleportation spell formations in five black towers, in which the silver level necromancers were also turned into his experience value in drops. There were so many things that he couldn't even fit them in, causing him to prepare a few large storage bags to share, and carrying so many things on his body was a labor of strength. Brother Ming, it seems like the leveling event is ending tonight, right? We'll be able to get the global ranking as well? In the chat channel, seeing that Qin Ming had bubbled up, Fatty instantly yelled in excitement. With Qin Ming bringing them to level 9, coupled with this leveling treasure of the land of the undead, Fatty and the others had clearly brushed up to level 9 with full experience, and had accumulated hundreds of thousands of points, securing their position in the top 4 of the leveling list. Well, looking at the time it should be. Qin Ming nodded, there was a countdown on the leveling list, which was counted by natural days, not the time to open the impact list. However, when he saw the rankings on the list, he froze. Originally, he had thought that not many people would be able to gain points, but at this moment, he realized that all the players who had made it to the top of the list had points, and there were tens of thousands of them. This meant that within three days, all of them had maxed out their level 9 experience value, and even exceeded it by quite a bit. This was not an easy thing to do, the experience value of this level 9 was already comparable to the sum of all the previous experience values. It seems that we can't underestimate the people of the world. The appearance of the leaderboard still creates a certain stimulus for these people. Qin Ming sighed in his heart. He wasn't sure about those foreigners, but he knew about Ling Yun on the Chinese side, who was said to have risen to level 9 only 5 days after the opening of the novice secret realm, and had only brushed his experience value to full to promote to rank 1 2 weeks later. Now it seemed that this speed had increased quite a bit, at least brushing up the experience value of level 9 only took a week. The good thing was that with their progress, it was still impossible for them to catch up with Fatty's trio, and in Yun Meng, who ranked second, already had more than 100,000 points at this point, which was more than a single digit more than them. This also made the global players curious, in the end, how did Qin Ming and the others practice leveling? How could they be so much higher than the second echelon? Time passed little by little, and as night fell on the blue planet and the clock hand traveled past 12 o'clock, the system announcement rang out at the right time. System announcement, the leveling event has officially ended, Chinese player Qin Ming has won the first place in the leveling list with 138-9213 points, please keep up the good work. System announcement. As soon as this announcement came out, players all over the world instantly boiled over as the horrifying number of points caused all players to feel despair. Crap. Is this still human? The points of everyone on the leaderboards combined are less than a fraction of his, right? Dad, please accept me. I can serve you tea and water, just ask for a mouthful of soup. Oomph. He must have mastered some kind of special upgrading method, strongly requesting this Qin Ming to share it out for the benefit of all mankind. There was no internet, but it couldn't hinder the crowd's heated discussions in the slightest, and Qin Ming's name once again resounded all over the world. There were even quite a few so-called bricklayers who came forward and requested Qin Ming to share his upgrade method. Unfortunately, Qin Ming, who was far away from the land of the dead, simply couldn't hear them and didn't bother to pay attention to them, as several bright sunlight clusters suddenly appeared in front of him. Three of the smaller light clusters directly merged into his body, that was the divine power of the ranking rewards. The other two larger clusters of light stopped in mid-air, and as the enveloping light dispersed, a platinum-colored staff and a skill book appeared in front of him. Ranking Reward Qin Ming's gaze condensed slightly as he held the two items in his hands with slight anticipation. Staff of Enlightened Spirit, Platinum Grade Description, descends upon the stars and communicates with all spirits. Requirements for use, first rank professional, summoning class, intelligence 100, spiritual power 150. Intelligence plus 50, spiritual strength plus 90, spell strength plus 300. Summoned beast full attribute plus 30, summoned beast mana consumption reduced by 
Attachment skill, seal spirit, summon a summon beast in advance, seal it in the staff, can summon it out during battle, no conflict with your own summoning skills, lasts for 1 hour, repeat summoning cooldown 3 hours, no extra consumption of mana, need to reseal the spirit after the death of the summoned beast. Attachment skill, spirit enlightenment, enlighten a summoned beast to raise its quality by 1 level, lasts 1 minute, only effective for summoned beasts up to gold level, recharge time 6 hours. Durability, 200 slash 200. What a strong staff. Xin Ming's heart marveled, the attribute bonus alone was already comparable to a third rank silver grade equipment, not to mention the accompanying skills below. Sealing Spirit is considered a perfect replacement for the Cold Iron Staff's dual summoning, although it only lasts for an hour, it's enough to sustain a big battle. As for Enlightenment, this is simply a divine skill. Directly raising the quality by one rank, this is nifty I've never seen such an awesome enhancement skill. Xin Ming couldn't help but sigh, he was a little transparent in his previous life, and the strongest equipment he had ever seen was only silver level, or the administrator who managed their area only had it. He didn't realize that this life had already used platinum level equipment, if he could get this kind of equipment in his previous life, he was afraid that he would have to treat it as a family heirloom and generally give it up, right? In addition to the enlightenment staff, the other summoning art was also equally powerful. Platinum grade fire elemental elf, this attack power is really no one else. Xin Ming looked at the introduction of the skill book and sighed in his heart. Summon, Fire Elemental Elf, Platinum Grade. Introduction, summons a powerful Fire Elemental Elf to assist in battle. Learning Requirements, Spiritual Strength 100, Fire Elemental Affinity 20 points. Summon Beast Qualification, Life Qualification, 7, Attack Qualification, 1, Legal Qualification, 16, Defense Qualification, 2, Legal Defense Qualification, 2, Speed Qualification, 2. Summoned Beast Growth, 40. Talent skills, fireball, fireball with beads, explosive fireball, level 1, firewall, level 2, ring of fire resistance, level 3, sea of fire, level 3, flaming storm, level 4. Racial talent, body of flame, immunity to fire spell damage, immunity to pure physical damage, 100% increase in fire spell damage. Summoning consumption, 500 points of mana, 200 points of mana every minute thereafter. Spell casting time, 5s, cooldown time, 20 minutes. With a high spell qualification of 16 points and more than enough natural skills to make one scalp numb, just by looking at the introduction on the skill book, one could already feel its terrifying flame power. One must know that even the gold level firebird only had 10 points of spell qualification, and the attack power it displayed was already extremely terrifying. But this 100 points of spiritual strength and 20 points of fire elemental affinity is not a low requirement, I'm afraid that an ordinary player would have to reach the second rank to achieve it, right? Qin Ming sighed in his heart. Ordinary players didn't have high attributes, and the only way to do so was to grow little by little as they leveled up. A summoner with 3 points of mental strength growth per level would only have 90 points when he rose to level 30 going. However, every time a profession advanced there would be a certain amount of attribute points gained, and there was no need to actually ascend to rank 3 to do so, but for most ordinary players, rank 2 was still needed. Luckily, I have the looting talent, and my attributes far exceed those of ordinary players. Xin Ming thought with a grateful face, a bold idea suddenly came to his mind and he murmured out as he looked at his attribute bar. No, I already have 88 points of basic spiritual power, and I'm not that far from 100 points of spiritual attributes. Is it possible to learn to summon a fire elemental spirit right now? The real trouble is the fire elemental affinity. 20 points of elemental affinity can be harder than 100 points of spiritual attribute. But I remember that divine power is able to directly boost attributes and elemental affinity, one point of divine power should be able to boost a single elemental affinity by 10 points. Although it's a bit of a loss, it doesn't seem like it's impossible if I can really master a platinum level summon beast at this stage? Sitting cross-legged on the ground, his entire body was lost in thought. He had never heard of anyone who could master a platinum level skill at rank 0. On the one hand, there were no platinum level skills at rank 0, and on the other hand, the exorbitant attribute requirements were rarely reached by players. But summoning the fire elemental elf, with its higher elemental affinity requirement, instead pulled down its requirements in terms of attributes, which gave Qin Ming that glimmer of possibility. If I use one point of divine power to raise 10 points of spirit attribute, and then use another 2 points to raise fire elemental affinity, in which case my divine power will be depleted, it's somewhat not quite worth it. Qin Ming calculated quickly in his mind. One point of divinity could be exchanged for 10 points of attribute value, regardless of whether it was an attribute or an elemental affinity, in comparison it was definitely more profitable to exchange for an elemental affinity. But in reality, no matter what kind of exchange is a loss, the real role of the power of divinity, on the one hand, is to improve their own qualifications, on the other hand, is used for auxiliary items. 
Not to mention equipment, the attributes that could be improved by a bottle of holy potion already far exceeded the gains that 10 points of spiritual power and elemental affinity could bring. Right, a holy grade potion? My tiger bone wine? And the Yin underworld fruit? Can I use divine power to boost it a bit? Xin Ming suddenly had a change of heart. Unable to sit down any longer, he got up and summoned the firebird, returning to the morning glory village. As night fell, the village was quite a bit quieter, so Qin Ming returned to the wine shop and directly found the owner of the wine shop. Can the effect of the gold grade tiger bone wine still be enhanced if you use divine power? Qin Ming asked as he opened the door. Divine power? It's inevitable. This is a power that can only be grasped by a god, and it has the effect of turning all impossibilities into possibilities. The owner of the liquor store froze, then replied. Then, I've already drank it once, can I drink it again in a short period of time after using divine power to enhance it? Hearing this, the liquor store owner instantly laughed. Of course you can, the medicinal effect itself is able to cover downwards, so continuing to take high grade cooking will only have a somewhat weakened effect at best. Moreover, the tiger bone wine is only gold grade, and after adding divinity, what really serves to strengthen it is the divine power inside, which can maximize the energy of the ingredients and allow the player to absorb it perfectly. So you can totally not worry about this aspect, if you really have divine power, I can help you upgrade the tiger bone wine to a holy product, but of course a little bit of divine power is only enough for one cup. Hearing the liquor store owner's reply, Xin Ming immediately put his heart down. What he was most worried about was that he wouldn't be able to drink the enhanced tiger bone wine, after all, this thing had a one year interval. But now it was different, after the divine power had been strengthened, he could drink it again at any time, and that attribute would soon be boosted up. If I wanted to have the effect of increasing the affinity for the fire element, do I need to continue adding any materials to it? Qin Ming continued to ask. Fire element affinity? The owner of the liquor store thought for a moment the best would be the snake gall of the black mountain python, as for the other materials, to be honest the levels are all a bit low. Morning Glory Village was, after all, only a novice secret realm, even the strongest boss silver moon tiger king was only gold level, so where would one go to find herbs that could match it? The snake gall of the black mountain python king? Qin Ming froze and took out the snake bile from his parcel. Snake bile was an excellent medicinal herb, but there was no specialized apothecary in Morning Glory Village, so he had originally planned to save it for later when he found an apothecary to refine it, but had forgotten that it could be used to make wine as well. The fame of snake gallbladder wine was no less than tiger bone wine. Ooh, that's a relief, I was originally planning to have you make a trip to the dark forest. The owner of the wine shop brightened up, immediately recognizing the origin of the snake gallbladder. Isn't it just a coincidence? Qin Ming laughed do you need any other materials? A little bit of sunflower, but that's easy to get, I have some planted in my backyard. The rest is divine power. Here, I'll trouble you then. Qin Ming took out a bit of divine power, a golden light ball the size of a grain of rice shimmered in his hand, the divine radiance giving the illusion of being in control of everything. You brat. Sure enough, you came prepared. The owner of the liquor store brightened up and stood up after looking up at him keep the stuff for now. I'll go and pick some sunflowers over for you, I can't necessarily hold back when this stuff is put in my hands. Without bothering to pick up the divine substance in Qin Ming's hand, the owner of the wine shop turned around and walked out of the box, soon returning with some red flowers. The petals of the flowers were large and somewhat similar to sunflowers, but the whole was a fiery red color, and there was no temperature when held in one's hand, yet one could vaguely feel a trace of heat when standing nearby. Bring it over, the owner of the liquor store said receiving the already brewed tiger bone wine and snake gallbladder from Qin Ming's hands. Few the fiery flames rose in his hands, and the sunflower was quickly dissolved and refined, leaving only a few drops of the most innate juice. Putting it into the tiger bone wine, he then picked up the snake gallbladder and squeezed out the bile from it, pouring it into it as well. The flames in his hand then rose once again, continuously roasting and refining the wine pot containing the tiger bone wine. Put the divine power in. Hearing the shout, Qin Ming gave the long-prepared divine power a careful placement into the wine pot, and a mysterious and powerful aura instantly permeated out, causing both of them to tremble. However, the owner of the wine shop was clearly more experienced, forcibly stabilizing the flame in his hands and continuously baking the wine pot, and with that, the powerful aura became clearer and denser. Suddenly, all the aura suddenly trembled, as if it had violently retracted into the wine pot, and at that moment, the owner of the wine shop also happened to extinguish the flame in his hand, and took the wine pot in his hand. Alright, it's just a matter of refining it with divine power, it's not a troublesome thing, just look at the effect. The owner of the liquor store said, placing the wine pot in front of Qin Ming. Thanks a lot. Qin Ming thanked, but his gaze was already curiously looking towards the tiger bone wine. Tiger bone wine, epic grade. Description, the very best tiger bone wine that has been nudged by the power of divinity, possessing efficacy that is considered to be heaven-defying. 
All attributes plus 20, fire elemental affinity plus 10, life qualification plus 1, base life limit increased by 30%, enlightenment plus 1. His seeing the attributes of the tiger bone line, Qin Ming couldn't help but suck in a breath of cool air. Don't look at the full attribute increase of 20 points, but it's also directly doubled on the original basis. Not to mention the plus 1 life qualification, which was already equivalent to 10 times the original, as well as the additional fire elemental affinity, basic life limit, and the enlightenment boost in the hidden attributes. Although it was still inferior to a true epic level potion, after the addition of divine power, Tiger Bonewine's medicinal effects had been completely activated, and anyone who drank it would experience a skyrocketing change. And yet, such a powerful Tiger Bonewine had no restrictions on its use, as long as you had enough ingredients, you could drink as much as you wanted. It's a pity. If only I could have one more snake gall, my elemental affinity would have been enough straight away. Xin Ming couldn't help but think, but he also knew that such an opportunity could come and go, so he could only think about it. I want to raise my fire elemental affinity, do you have any ideas? Holding the tiger bone wine in his hands, Xin Ming asked towards the owner of the liquor store. Dang. Knock. The owner of the liquor store tapped on the table and fell into deep thought for a while before he sighed and shook his head. It's hard. The resources in the Morning Glory Village and the Dark Forest are too little to raise one or two points at most, and it's too much work to be cost effective. Xin Ming nodded, the resources in the novice secret realm were indeed not much, after all, it was just a secret realm for new players to transition to. It's me who's a bit too greedy, it's good enough to have what we have now, thanks a lot. After a brief thought Xin Ming got up and thanked the owner of the liquor store. No need to be polite, being able to rebrew with the power of divinity is also a great improvement for me. The liquor store owner laughed. It was these high-grade manufactured items that were needed for the advancement of life-class professions, so the help of divine power was undoubtedly the fastest shortcut. Not in a hurry to leave, Qin Ming directly asked for a room and then drank the cup of transformed tiger bone wine. A hot sensation rose from his chest, and after a moment of heavenly rotation, his entire being had fallen into a deep sleep. When he woke up again, it was already early the next morning. But there wasn't any discomfort from the hangover, instead, he felt jittery and full of strength. This effect it's really powerful. Qin Ming looked at his own attributes and couldn't help but exclaim. After drinking this pot of tiger bone wine, his spiritual attribute had already broken 100, which was considered to have reached the most basic attribute requirement for summoning a fire elemental elf, and the rest was the fire elemental affinity. He only had 13 points in this regard, two of which were provided by the fireball skill that had been raised to level 2, and one point was provided by the summon firebird that had been raised to level 3. Learning the corresponding attribute magic would also gain the corresponding elemental affinity as the skill level increased, and this was the main way for most mages to raise their elemental affinity. Because of this, there was also a difference in attributes between elemental mages, after all, it was not easy to increase skill proficiency, and the growth of elemental affinity naturally became slower. Is it better to use a little more divine power to raise elemental affinity? Or to learn some fire skills? Qin Ming pondered in his mind. Directly raising it was undoubtedly a waste of divine power but if one went to learn skills, it would take a lot of time. Spells below the silver level don't have much of an increase in elemental affinity, and unless one finds gold level fire spells, it's still difficult to raise to 20 points of fire elemental affinity in a short period of time. But gold level elemental spells. This thing was still not easy to get, even the spells Qin Ming had at his disposal right now were not all gold level. Forget it, time buys the future, it's only one point of divine power, it's still a waste. Qin Ming made a snap decision and directly consumed a point of divine power to raise his fire elemental affinity. He was afraid that if he continued to dilly-dally, he would be unable to use it. A warm current spread through his body, and he could more clearly perceive the fluttering of the fire elements around him. It was a marvelous feeling, as if he was in the middle of the ocean and could clearly feel the rhythm of the water. There's no one else who can learn a platinum level skill at rank zero, right? Qin Ming thought excitedly in his heart, took out the summon fire elemental elf, and instantly chose to learn it. Half an hour later, Xin Ming reappeared in the land of the undead, and he was ready to find a black tower to test the waters first to see how strong the fire elemental elf was. Boing a few seconds later, a palm-sized fire elemental elf was summoned. Exquisite face, fiery red robes. If she didn't look at her body type, she would be a proper upside-down beauty, but right now, it was just a little lowly like a thumb girl. Woo! Seemingly not having seen Xin Ming before, the fire elemental elf flew in front of him, sizing up this human with a curious expression. So small. Qin Ming sighed in his heart and curiously looked towards the other party. With more than 9,000 blood, and 2,005 mana strength, it was unknown how much stronger than the firebird. The most crucial thing was that it was born with a body of flames, in that it was not only immune to physical damage and fire damage, but it also boosted the power of its fire spells by 100%.
Qin Ming curiously stretched out his finger and poked the other party, the warm touch was very peculiar, as if he was poking on a soft marshmallow. Oh the little guy was poked and rolled in the air, instantly glaring at Qin Ming with an exasperated look, his mouth kept yelling, however Qin Ming couldn't understand a word of it. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I was just curious. Qin Ming apologized in embarrassment. Speaking of which, let me give you a name, you're a fire elemental elf, so how about calling you little fire? No no no, it feels like I'm calling a spirit boy. Then how about Xiao Yan? Harmonized or Xiao Yan, a generation of female emperors? Gollum? The fire elemental elf cocked her head, she couldn't understand what Qin Ming was saying, but she could roughly understand what he meant, it was a name for herself. Very well. You've also agreed, so you'll be called Little Yin then. Hearing the other party make a sound, Qin Ming immediately decided that the other party had agreed, and then summoned the firebird and rode it towards the direction of the black tower. Chirp the flames burned the air, and the familiar scene was once again staged in the land of the undead. However, this time, Qin Ming didn't bother triggering the double summoning effect of the cold iron staff. Maintaining the fire elemental elf consumed up to 200 mana points per minute, and if he went to trigger the double summon again, he was afraid that he would be drained instantly. Who seeing the battle rising, Little Yen seemed to look very excited, huge fireballs were summoned by her and smashed towards those undead creatures below. Boom the terrifying flame damage directly incinerated a giant carrion. One must know that the undead creatures here, which were boosted by the Black Tower's status, had their blood quantities raised by quite a bit, not to mention that the giant carrion was originally a high-blooded monster. Even though it had a blood quantity of 3 to 4 thousand, it was still killed by the fire elemental elf in a single blow and turned into a cloud of ashes. What a powerful attack. Not to mention Qin Ming, Gabriel who was fighting below couldn't help but look back. Although the fire elemental elves hadn't yet mastered powerful group attack type skills, with the fire birds around, their output ability was equally sufficient. After killing into the black tower, they were even reaping the life force of the undead mages by virtue of their own powerful spell damage at a rapid pace, and with the cooperation of the angel's sword, they unexpectedly didn't even hold up to a round of fire rain, and had already been blown to dregs under the furious fireball bombardment. Too strong. Xin Ming couldn't help but exclaim out. Even if it was only a lowest level fireball spell, with over 2600 mana strength and the enhancement of body of flame, a single fireball was 4 to 5 thousand damage. Together with Gabriel's angelic sword and the rain of fire that fell from the firebird at all times, just 3 or 4 fireballs would be enough to finish off the undead mage. Without triggering the cold iron staff's double summon, the result was that the battle with the necromancer had instead become easier, something Qin Ming hadn't expected before. I originally thought that I would have to practice my proficiency for a few more days, but according to this progress, it looks like I'll soon be able to take a look in those three large black towers. Qin Ming thought in his heart. Just by raising his summoning technique to level 1, the fire elemental elf would be able to master the explosive fireball that possessed the ability to attack in a group, so even if more undead creatures came, he would have no fear by then. Go! Let's go to the next black tower. Collecting the dropped resources, Qin Ming mounted the firebird and flew towards the next black tower. Only then did he have the leisure to read the messages in the group channel. Fatty and the three of them were also at the top of the ranking rankings, and thus had also received the corresponding rewards. And Yun Meng was ranked second and received a gold grade staff and a first order skill book fire control. This was a skill that all fire mages needed to master, able to greatly improve their fire magic control. However, the gold level fire control technique was enough to make an Yun Meng exceed ordinary players by a large margin. As for Fatty, who was ranked third, he was also rewarded with a gold level weapon and skill, only that his divinity point had become one point. As for Qin Yuro, who ranked fourth, she was simply only rewarded with gold level weapons and skills, without the divinity power. Ha ha! Brother Ming! Master Fatty's first rank skill is called Shield of Thorns, watch me counter damage all my enemies to death when the time comes. Ha 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 ha! Fatty laughed in the group channel. Counter you my ass, you can only rebound physical damage, I'll send you a big fireball. And Yun Meng had a disdainful look on her face. Fatty was dumbfounded, the Shield of Thorns was different from Fatty's anti-damage talent, it could only reflect physical damage, there was really no way to face in Yun Meng. Speaking of which, our experience value is already full, and there's no leveling event right now, is it time to upgrade? After playing around, Qin Yuro asked out loud. They were different from Qin Ming, who was carrying hidden quests, but Qin Yuro and the others were completely wasting their time if they continued to brush up on the monsters here. Qin Ming thought about it, although it was chaotic and dangerous outside, it wasn't a good idea to keep them around all the time, it was always necessary to let them grow up on their own. Then you guys go out, I'll give you a few locations later, you can go over there after you've promoted to rank 1, but make sure to be safe. Qin Ming said. With Blue Star being suddenly expanded up to 10 times, 
There were still quite a few opportunities in the endless forest outside the city, just like the talent divine stone he had acquired earlier, there were definitely quite a few more similar divine objects. In any case, Qin Ming had kept all of the rank 1 silver level equipment that had dropped over the past few days, and he was able to replace most of it for a few people, so it was definitely enough for self-preservation. Instead of wasting time in the newbie realm, it would be better to go out and try your luck and look for your own chance. At night, Fatty and the others, who had packed up a bit, went out. Of course, they didn't immediately ascend to level 10 and had to complete a series of advancement trials. With Qin Ming's help, all three of them naturally chose the hardest progression trial content, which would allow them to obtain the most progression rewards, and they would also be stronger after progression. As for himself, he continued destroying the magic formations in the Black Towers, and after a day, he had already destroyed five of them once again, and he was pondering whether or not he wanted to go and have a look in the three large Black Towers. Summoning the Fire Elemental Elf is not skilled enough yet, perhaps we can go to the Mining Cave Secret Realm to have a look first? Qin Ming thought in his mind. There were also first-rank monsters in the Secret Realm of Mines, but the number and density of monsters would definitely not be as terrifying as the Land of the Undead. Moreover, the large Black Tower was surrounded by a huge number of flying undead creatures, which could not be avoided in any good way. It's just that I'm not sure about the strength of the secret boss, but as long as there aren't an overly large number of summoned creatures, it shouldn't be too much of a problem with little yans and their attack power. Having made up his mind, Xin Ming also stopped wasting time and got up to return to the Morning Glory Village, resting for the night before entering the mine again. At this time, the mine cave was already very different from before, many players would be practicing in mining over here, and it was a lot more lively than before. Xin Ming didn't cause too much of a stir, he just summoned the forest wolf king to open the way and walk towards the depths of the mine. He soon arrived at the place where he had fought with the corpse king, there were no more players here, not many players could come over here to practice at the moment. Coming into the closed spell formation room, Xin Ming took out the corpse king's heart and placed it in the center of the spell formation. In a flash, the entirety of the originally silent spell formation lit up, emitting a ghostly blue light. Boom a faint vibration sound came from underneath his feet, and from time to time, some rubble was shaken off the wall, making it look like it was about to collapse. Qin Ming paid no attention to the changes around him, how could a huge mine collapse so easily? With the activation of the spell formation, he felt a mysterious power coming from under his feet, the light of the spell formation became brighter and brighter, and the entire mine was illuminated. Whoosh suddenly, an intense light burst out and when Qin Ming's sight regained, he was already in another world. Roar! There was an inexplicable roar resounding in the distance, and as his sight looked around, he realized that he was standing on top of a high platform. The sky was overcast, surrounded by mountains, but there was no sign of life, instead, white bones could be seen piled up everywhere, making people look shocked. A staircase led to the bottom of the platform, connecting to a deep muddy path that snaked and disappeared around the corner ahead. Qin Ming didn't rush out of the high platform, but began to make his summons. Gabriel, Wang Kai, Xiaoyan and the Firebird were summoned, and without triggering a double summon, his mana value was still able to sustain these three summoned beasts. Master, the death aura here is very thick, and there is a very powerful aura ahead. Gabriel said with a frown as he looked ahead, and the fire elemental elf beside him also had a similarly grave look on his face. Only Wang Kai, who was squatting by his side, raised his head from time to time to rub against Qin Ming, as if he did not feel the slightest crisis. Silly dog. Qin Ming couldn't help but think amusedly, raising his hand to touch its big furry head. Let's go. This is a secret realm, so it naturally has powerful enemies. After saying that, he took the lead and walked towards the bottom of the steps. Although the firebird and the others could fly, he did not intend to fly out and take a look. Secret realm spaces were generally not large, and there was a large amount of spatial turbulence above them, so it was easy to get lost if you ventured to fly high. Even if he could really move forward, it would be easy to trigger a monster riot in the entire secret realm and fall into the danger of being besieged, which would not be worth the loss. Walking down the steps, Qin Ming and the others slowly moved forward along the muddy road, however, the battle came much faster than he had imagined. Roar only just turning the corner ahead, two carrion corpses roared and lunged towards him. The terrified face-to-face -face kill startled him, but it was Gabriel who reacted faster, directly stabbing out with his sword, piercing the foremost carrion. Then he raised his leg and kicked the other carrion out. Nima! Scared the hell out of me! Qin Ming looked at the two rotting corpses with a disgusted expression. These things were pure, rotting corpses, and to be honest, they were a bit like zombies, which looked oddly scary and vicious. Chirp the fire bird in the sky had already sprayed down two mouthfuls of flames, burning the two rotting corpses into ashes. Faint green mist spread out, Qin Ming pulled Wang Kai frown and retreated, not surprisingly this is the poisonous gas spread after the death of the carrion, he did not want to go up to try the toxicity of the intention. 
The good thing is that the duration of this poisonous mist is not long, after more than 10 seconds it will dissipate, Jin Ming and they were able to continue to move forward. Along the way, there were carrion corpses that rushed out from time to time, but none of them could pose a threat, and the firebird and Gabriel in front of them could be easily solved. And after walking for a while Qin Ming took the fire elemental elf and rode on Wang Kai's back, taking out a worn out diary from his storage ring. This was the diary dropped by the corpse king, and it had the seal of the gods on it, which Li Fu Zi had unlocked for him, but told him to open it after entering the mine, otherwise he would be susceptible to the gaze of the gods. Traditional Chinese characters appeared on the diary, Qin Ming felt a bit surprised, but was still able to roughly read what was on it. On January 1st, I was reborn, feeling alive again, living in this village but never able to walk out, and I wonder if I should thank the gods? Such a rebirth seems to be a bit different from what I thought. The villagers in the village are all very nice, everyone comes from all dynasties and generations, with different insights and knowledge, although they are trapped in this village and can only have a short life, but they are finally alive. There is a blacksmith in the village, surnamed Wang, who expressed his willingness to acquire ores to build some living utensils for everyone, I am a miner, digging such things since I am not obliged to do so, and we all have our own duties to do, so it's quite good. At night alone back to the room, thought about it or write a diary, when turn back really die again, at least can leave something. After rambling on for more than a page, all of which were things that happened just after Zhang Miner was reborn, Qin Ming also sort of knew the origins of these villagers in Morning Glory Village. All of them were resurrected over by the gods, and it was no surprise that these people knew their duties from the moment they were resurrected, as well as the fact that they would perish again in the future. To be reborn deserves to be celebrated, but to already know the duration of one's death, one doesn't know whether to say it's fortunate or unfortunate. Qin Ming sighed helplessly and continued to the next page. January 2nd, I walked towards the direction I remembered, there should be a mine there, it's said to still be rare cold iron, this stuff wasn't rare when I was alive, good thing I was lucky and picked up a few scattered pieces to come back, barely enough for big brother Wang to forge a miner's shovel out for me, it's just that there are quite a few mutated rats in this mine, running out from time to time annoying as hell. On January 3rd, I continued to go digging in the mine cave, hoping that I could let brother Wang forge the village's implements as soon as possible. January 4th. January 10th. The days that followed were basically all about mining and the daily chores in the village, and there wasn't any useful news, and miner Zhang didn't keep a diary every day afterward, and began to gradually write every other day, and would only record some important things. It wasn't until three months later that the content of the diary finally showed some changes. March 4th, today I came back from digging, and gathered with everyone in the village as usual, but found that the people were gathered at Squire Zhang's house with gloomy expressions, and listening to Brother Wang, it turned out to be that Squire Zhang, who has the same surname as me, was injured, and his injuries weren't light, and it seemed that his life was not long to come. I was shocked in my heart, hurriedly put down my things, wanted to go in to take a look, but was told that Li Fu Zi was being rescued inside, looked through the window, the usually fit and strong big man was unexpectedly just lying on the bed covered in blood, his chest weakly rising and falling, already out of breath more than in breath. This night everyone stood guard outside the door of Squire Zhang's room, and it wasn't until halfway through the night that husbandman Li walked out with a tired face, looking at the crowd and shaking his head regretfully. On March 5th, Squire Zhang left, which plunged the entire village into an atmosphere of sadness, although there are still quite a few more of the guards, Squire Zhang's strength was the strongest of the crowd, and this incident made us realize that perhaps we don't have to wait for the time to come, and that we might also die early. We are all a group of people who have already died, and when we die again there is no body left behind but rather we dissipate into starlight, leaving nothing behind. Therefore there was no need to prepare anything for the funeral, but a funeral was held in the village, and the people observed a day of silence as a send-off for Squire Zhang, and it was not known whether he would have the chance to live once more. On March 6th, the atmosphere in the village was still sad, but Li Fu Zi brought an even more shocking news, which was told to him by Squire Zhang before he died. It turned out that Squire Zhang was not killed by those rabbits that went berserk at the entrance of the village, but rather he went over the high mountains around him and went outside and saw a different scene. It is said to be a land of the undead, full of death. Unfortunately, before Li Fu Zi's words were finished, everyone developed a palpitating feeling, an extremely strong sense of oppression came from the sky, I even felt that I was somewhat unable to breathe. It took a while for this oppressive feeling to dissipate, everyone gasped for air like they were drowning, at this moment everyone realized that this was something that was not to be discussed, at least not in public. Li Fu Zi let us go back first, he came to think of a way, but outside. What kind of world is it in the end? Through Minor Sang's diary, Qin Ming roughly understood the origin of the Morning Glory village, the entire village was a group of reborn people who had been resurrected back from the river of time. The moment they were resurrected over, they received the mission given to them by the gods, which was to maintain the existence of Morning Glory village and receive the upcoming players until the end of the novice mystic realm. Being able to live a new life again, all of them felt that they had earned it, 
even if it was only for a short period of time, all of them were trying their best to live the moment and enjoy the short peace. But gradually, there were some accidents in the village, and some people ran outside the village and saw a different landscape, thus touching the gods' taboo. This also made the people realize that they were living under the watchful eyes of the gods, and that everything in Morning Glory Village that was paradise-like was a fake, and also laid a hidden danger for a series of later changes. However, Qin Ming had to stop temporarily when he saw this, because they had already arrived in front of a boss. Rotting Corpse King? It couldn't be the remains of Minor Zhang again, could it? Qin Ming couldn't help but murmur. The winding path had come to an end, and in front of them was a huge open space with a large number of rotting corpses walking around, and the stench of corpses made people frown. And the most eye-catching one was the huge rotting corpse king in the middle, nearly 10 meters tall and hung with rotting and even shedding chunks of flesh, looking very frightening and disgusting. Tisk, these undead creatures, aren't there any that can look a little bit better? Like the stupid little skeletons? Charming and charming banshees? Xin Ming skimmed his lips with a look of disgust. However, one had to admit that the attributes of the Rotting Corpse King were indeed powerful. Rotting Corpse King, Silver Grade. Level, 19. Life Value, 38080-38080. Attack Power, 1092. Defense, 280. Legal Defense, 224. Talent Skills, Corrupted Body, Corrupted Poison Mist, Corpse King's Heavy Strike, Roar, Charge, Earth Tremor. 38,000 Blood, Thousands of Attack Power, 208 Defense. The attributes of the decaying corpse king were enough to make all the players in Morning Glory Village feel despair. Not to say whether it could break the defense, even if it came to a squad of a hundred people who wanted to scrape it, I'm afraid it wouldn't be enough, and the powerful recovery ability could only be described as horrifying. Keep the angelic sword, feel free to use the other skills, try to clean up the small monsters nearby first. Qin Ming said after some thought. The final boss was bound to be gold level, but this silver level rotten corpse king was already so powerful so there was always a need to keep some killing moves on hand. Okay. Gabriel nodded and led a group of summoned creatures to kill them. However, they didn't cause too much of a shock, they just started clearing out from the periphery bit by bit towards the inside, even luring some carrion corpses out from time to time. A whole plane of carrion, really want to attract attention is also a not small pressure, the range of the fire rain art is always limited. Currently this speed has been very fast, with the fire elemental elves burst fireballs in, rushing over the carrion are all pieces of pieces of fall. Soon the whole plane was cleaned out most of the area. The burnt and blackened corpses everywhere emitted a disgusting stench. Xin Ming found a windy spot and continued to flip through the diary of Minor Zhang. The village had officially launched an investigation regarding the death of Squire Zhang. March 21st, the atmosphere in the village is still heavy. I went to the mines to dig as usual. No matter what, life still has to go on. The village also still has a large gap of iron that needs to be filled. There isn't much ore on the periphery of the mines. I decided to go deeper in and take a look. The entire Morning Glory village was created by the gods, I wonder if there will be anything different in the depths of this mine? As I kept going deeper and deeper, those mutated animals decreased rather than increased, and I surprisingly discovered something amazing, there were a large number of carrion corpses present in the mine. When the first carrion rushed towards me, my entire being was confused. Luckily, these carrion corpses were of average strength, and it was easy to knock them out, so I didn't continue to go deeper into it, but instead brought this carrion out, intending to show the crowd what was going on? Unsurprisingly, everyone was shocked and surprised by the appearance of the rotting corpse. On March 22nd, under the lead of Li Fu Zi, we decided to go deeper into the mine to take a look, which might be able to solve the mystery that has been troubling the crowd. Everyone brought their weapons and went in deeper towards the mine. Qin Ming rummaged through it little by little until the crowd discovered this teleportation spell formation located deep within the mine. The crowd hesitated whether they should activate it or not. In the end, it was Li Fu Zi who made the decision and he led the other two guards who had voluntarily stepped forward to enter it and see where this spell formation would lead to? Unfortunately, in the end, only two people came back, Li Fu Zi and one of the guards who was seriously injured in dying, while the other was left inside forever. It was not until then that the crowd realized that this was actually a passageway to the outside world, although they still did not know where this passageway led to, but there is a residue of divine power inside, and there is a divine will guarding it. When Qin Ming saw this, Gabriel returned, bringing with him a group of summoned beasts. It was then that he realized that the rotting corpses on the original planes had already been cleared, and continuing to do so would inevitably touch the rotting corpse king in the center. Let's go. Go meet this corpse king and see. Qin Ming put the diary away, and in his heart, he had a rough guess about the identity of this corpse king. Zhang Mining Cave was buried deep in the mine after his death and incarnated into a corpse king, and it was no surprise that this rotting corpse king would also be the same guard who had once entered the passageway. Chirp the firebird took the lead, raining down fire from the sky, a large number of rotting corpses turned into ashes under the burning rain of fire. 
Roar with such a big commotion, the decay corpse king was not blind, naturally he discovered it at the first time, and instantly roared and rushed towards the firebird. However, the firebird is flying in the sky, his ground running, and how can be able to catch? Immediately, he was sprayed by several mouthfuls of flames and lost thousands of blood points. Roar! The rotten corpse king roared angrily, grabbed a carry and change beside him and threw it towards the firebird, but it was dodged by its dexterity. At this time, Gabriel rushed to, in the hands of the gull toward the rotten corpse king's head stabbing, surprisingly, clank sound rang like a metal knocking sound, the sword blade also toward the side of the slide down. Rot king's strong defense in this moment revealed undoubtedly, although their own but 280 points of defense, but the body of the rot provides 40% of the material damage reduction and up to 100 points of life recovery, which makes Gabriel's attack has become a bit insufficient. It was a good thing that in addition to the normal attack damage, Gabriel's Sword of Holy Flame also came with divine damage that ignored defensive abilities, it was just a pity that the little amount of blood that was chipped away was quickly recovered by the decaying corpse king. Along with the monster's strength, Gabriel's lack of attack power shortcomings are also exposed more and more obvious, against the same level of the boss is okay, once the battle, it is particularly insufficient, far less than the firebird and fire elemental elves to the violence. But Gabriel in general summoned beasts are different, her growth value will be along with Qin Ming's career advancement and growth, once Qin Ming step into the first level, become a formal summoned beast, Gabriel's attributes will also appear skyrocketed changes. Roar! Unable to attack the firebird, the decay corpse king turned his gaze towards Gabriel, who had just attacked himself, and roared as he swung his fist towards her, only to be stopped by an oncoming fireball. Boom! The basketball-sized fireball exploded head-on, and the entire face of the rotten corpse king was burned to a crisp. The fire elemental elves wasn't as gentle as the firebirds, and this fireball alone blew up close to one-tenth of the rotten corpse king's blood. The huge amount of damage instantly attracted the hatred to the fire elemental elf's body, however, Gabriel was dead in front of him, his longsword kept stabbing out, although it couldn't cause too much damage, but it was dead restricting the rotting corpse king's movement. Guts had a 50% increase in power judgment, not to mention that the pure power attribute was not as good as Gabriel, even if the rotten corpse king really had a higher power value than Gabriel, he still couldn't fly out, and he could only be restricted by the long sword, and let the fireballs from afar continuously bombarded on his own body. Roar! The decaying corpse king roared angrily, in just a dozen seconds, he had already lost tens of thousands of blood points under the combined attacks of the firebird and the fire elemental elf. The delay in attacking its target made it have no patience to continue its pursuit, and its berserk roar was deafening. Xin Ming, who was riding on Wang Kai's back in the distance, felt a gust of fainting coming from his brain, not to mention Gabriel, who was fighting close to him, and was immediately stunned in place. Roar! The decaying corpse king nonchalantly slapped him away and charged towards the closest fire elemental elf. Stop him! Xin Ming shouted towards his side, but it was the jungle giant ape, which had already prepared for a long time, that rushed out. Although it was only a bronze level summon beast, its qualification and attack ability were not high, but under the enhancement of Qin Ming's attributes, its vitality was very strong, even if it could not defeat the decaying corpse king, it would still not be a problem to hold it back for a while. This was also a belligerent Disha bag whose brain wasn't that good, and didn't care if the enemy was powerful or not, he excitedly rushed out upon receiving Qin Ming's command, and was still howling under his breath. Boom! The thick arms stopped in front of the rotten corpse king's body, but it couldn't cause much damage at all, instead the rotten corpse king's casual wave sent it flying. However, after such a delay, the fire elemental elf, who was already far away, recovered from the dizziness, and immediately quickly rose into the air, while the fireballs in his hands flew out one after another, and a series of five fireballs exploded on the body of the rotten corpse king. Consecutive fireballs, firing five consecutive small fireball spells with a damage value of 50%, Facing monsters with low mana defense, it was equivalent to doubling the damage, immediately taking away thousands of life points from the rotten corpse king once again, his blood level directly dropping to below half. Roar! Not waiting for the fire elemental elf to fly out too far, the decaying corpse king whose blood level had plummeted roared out once again. This time, another skill, Earth Tremor, was used. Qin Ming only felt his feet vibrate, and a powerful shockwave quickly spread out with the rotten corpse king as the center. Not far away, the jungle giant ape had just stood up when it was once again knocked to the ground by this shockwave, its thousands of blood points instantly falling to the bottom, Qin Ming hurriedly waved his staff to dispatch it. He himself was similarly affected by this shockwave, but fortunately the distance was far enough away that he only lost nearly a thousand points of blood. So powerful. Qin Ming uttered in shock. Thousands of points of damage was nothing to his current life value of up to 3,700 points, but one also had to look at his distance, which was 1 to 200 meters away. Such a long distance can still receive such high damage, even if a new one rank profession comes over, but where the blood quantity is less will only be killed in seconds. 
Fortunately, the fire elemental elf and the firebird were both flying in the air, although they received a certain amount of impact, but it wasn't serious, they also only lost a few hundred points of blood, and the firebird even only lost a few dozen points of blood. On the contrary, Gabriel, who had previously fallen into a stunned state, was more seriously injured, the same as the jungle giant ape, directly lost thousands of life value in the earth tremor, his blood level plummeted by one third, and at the same time, he also fell into a stunned state again. Dang, dang, dang. With both the firebird and the fire elemental elf flying into the sky, and the jungle giant ape being dispatched by Qin Ming, the decaying corpse king's attention was instantly shifted to Gabriel's body, and he took a step towards her. Boing the green mulberry butterfly by Qin Ming's side flapped its wings, letting out a sound like a silver bell, and a faint mist rose up on Gabrielle's body, recovering the life value she had just lost. The green mulberry butterfly, as an auxiliary pet, its recovery ability was still much stronger than Gabriel's own recovery skills, and this bite was enough to pull back thousands of points of her life value. However, the stun state was not so easy to lift, until the rotten corpse king rushed to her side and still did not recover. Boom! The fireballs from the firebird and fire elemental elf continued to explode on its body, but the rotten corpse king didn't care and raised its hand towards Gabriel. Boom! The heavy blow once again came with a muffled sound, Gabriel's entire body was whacked into the ground, another thousands of points of high damage, even with the recovery of the green mulberry butterfly, the blood loss was already more than half. Most importantly, the rotten corpse king's heavy attack skill still had a stun effect, causing Gabriel to enter a continuous stun state again. Go over and help! Qin Ming jumped down from Wang Kai's body, causing it to charge towards the Rotten Corpse King. Neither the Firebird nor the Fire Elemental Elf were power-type summoned beasts, and they would only take a beating up close, so the only one who could still support them today was the Forest Wolf King. Ah Wang Kai roared and charged out, its speed was extremely fast, a distance of hundreds of meters was only a matter of seconds. When the Rotten Corpse King was about to swing its third punch, it finally arrived, and with a forceful thrust of its hind legs, it took a bite towards the opponent's big brain. Roar! The rotten corpse king roared out in fury, its entire body was brought to a crooked position, and the heavy punch in its hand naturally failed to hit Gabriel's body. Oh Wang Kai's aggressiveness was definitely not enough, it could only even manage to break the defense, but instead chipped a mouthful of its own teeth, whimpering in an aggrieved voice. However, it didn't retreat, but continued to tangle with the rotten corpse king, buying time for Gabriel. Unfortunately, the silver level Wang Kai was fine against some monsters of the same rank, but against the rank 1 and as high as level 19 rotten corpse king, it was simply powerless, and was constantly sent flying out by its punch after punch. However, the dog's resilience was also very strong, constantly being sent flying, but constantly pounced back, regardless of whether it could do it or not, hard work was done. Boom! Boom! What really posed a deadly danger to the decaying corpse king were the fire elemental elves and firebirds in the sky that kept throwing out fireballs and flame spits. A high amount of flame damage was difficult for anyone to withstand, and the rotten corpse king's blood level had similarly dropped to an extremely dangerous threshold. Who Gabriel, who had been released from the stun state, rose up in the air, his original exquisite tiger king suit already had a lot of damage, and his white wings were similarly stained with dirt. This was the first time Qin Ming had seen Gabriel in such a sorry state, but the battle did not stop. As the corrupted corpse king's blood level bottomed out, the earth trembled again with a loud roar. Qin Ming's face changed slightly, he didn't expect this to be a blood leveling down skill instead of just waiting for the end of the cooldown time. Run! Qin Ming shouted, while at the same time quickly running towards the front himself. Both Gabriel and the Forest Wolf King's blood levels weren't too healthy, and if they were to suffer the impact of Earth Tremor again, they would likely fall directly. Qin Ming did not hesitate to wave his staff, as the Forest Wolf King did, directly dispatched its summon, one day making a wolf into a bit of starlight dissipated in the sky. At this time, the Earth Tremor had already been used, and a strong shockwave once again spread out with the Rotten Corpse King as the center. Qin Ming couldn't turn around in time to escape, and was instantly lifted out by this tremendous force, nearly 2000 points of high damage drifted up, and he instantly lost more than half of his blood. Boing Ching Sang Butterfly healed him at the first time, pulling back the lost blood slightly, but at this moment, Qin Ming also only felt his brain shaking, and his entire body fell into a daze. The decaying corpse king, who had lost its target, had to turn its gaze towards the only remaining Qin Ming, and took a step towards him. If he was really hit by it, with Qin Ming's blood in defense at this moment, he wouldn't be able to resist a few hits, not to mention that he was still in a dazed state. Chirp the firebird immediately swooped down, the flames in its mouth continuously spitting down towards the rotten corpse king. The fire elemental elf in the sky also did its best to output, and a fireball was summoned by it. Boom! 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 Consecutive fireballs, flame spit, explosive fireballs. A single attack bombarded the body of the decaying corpse king, a high amount of damage instantly clearing out what was left of its life value. Not waiting for it to reach Qin Ming's body, 
it had already collapsed to the ground with a bang. Boom! The huge body fell just in front of Qin Ming's body, and several silver-colored balls of light fell out. Qin Ming, who was released from the stunned state, looked at his blood level and was scared, the crisis brought to him by the decaying corpse king was no less than that of the necromancer at the beginning, and truly threatened his life and well-being. Few I wonder, how strong will the final boss be? Qin Ming gently breathed a sigh of relief and picked up the drops around him. Basically, they were all first-rank equipment and skills that weren't much use at the moment, but one of the divine power fruits attracted Qin Ming's attention. Directly obtaining a bit of divine power? Crap! Should it be this powerful? Unable to help but exclaim out in shock, he hadn't expected that this was only the first boss that had popped out such a good thing for him. To know that Fatty was only rewarded with one point of divine power when he was third in the global ranking list, now that such a fruit could provide him with one point of divine power, thinking about it was shocking enough. Looks like this secret realm isn't simple? The final boss shouldn't really run into a god, right? Qin Ming thought uncertainly, otherwise it wouldn't make sense why the first boss could have such a strange item like the divine power fruit drop. Forget it, we'll know if we go deeper in and see, but with a strength of rank 0, it's not surprising to have such a reward when facing such a powerful rotting corpse king. Directly eating this divine power fruit, feeling the divine power that had grown in his body, he didn't dwell on it much and rested in place to recover. In addition to Gabriel and the others who were dispatched back, the fire elemental elves and the firebirds had similarly suffered considerable injuries, and the consumed mana values needed to be recovered as well. Fortunately for a summoner, the state of a summoned beast could be quickly recovered by dispatching and resummoning it, and when Gabriel restood in front of Qin Ming, he was no longer in the same sorry state as before. Master! Gabrielle softly shouted, her feathers had already returned to their white color, only the durability lost on her equipment could not be recovered in a short period of time, and she needed to go back to the village to find a blacksmith to repair it. It's fine, let's move on. Hearing the guilt in Gabriel's tone, Qin Ming smiled and softly consoled, summoned beasts have spirituality, not to mention intelligent beings like Gabriel that were awakened from the long river of time. In contrast, the forest wolf King Wang Kai was much more heartless, after being summoned out, he rubbed against Qin Ming's body non-stop, and if he hadn't stopped him, I'm afraid he would have already licked all over his fishy drool. Riding back onto Wang Kai's back, Qin Ming continued on with the many summoned creatures, while he himself took out the miner's diary once again and flipped through it. On April 6th, as waves of people explored through the teleportation spells and over the mountains, Li Fuzi finally came up with a shocking fact. The resurrection of Morning Glory Village is indeed the handiwork of the gods, but it doesn't mean that the village is doomed to perish, it's a plot by other gods. And the unspeakable place that surrounds the entire village is that deity's arrangement, in order to collect back the divine power that sustains the entire village after Morning Glory Village's mission is over. As for this teleportation spell deep within the mines, it seems to be a passageway to the outside world, but unfortunately it was discovered by the deity. He won't allow us to leave, all of us, our entire Morning Glory Village is his sustenance, his captive food. The more Qin Ming read about the latter, the more alarmed he became. There was indeed an inexplicable greatness that had molded the entire Morning Glory Village, and then resurrected these deceased people from the long river of time. However, according to the probing of Li Fu Zi and the others, this force is not the work of the gods, and even the gods are plotting this force. In addition, the mission of the entire novice secret realm being born was to provide an environment for players to adapt to. When the secret realm closed after a month, the mission of the entire Morning Glory Village was over. But after it ended it wasn't a return to chaos as they had imagined, but a gradual integration into the main world, and despite all the limitations, they were able to relive their lives in a special capacity. However, the gods plotted this mysterious power that coalesced the novice mystic realm, so they laid down a great formation on the periphery, only waiting for the end of the novice mystic realm's mission, so that they could take this power for their own use. Master, ahead is a mountain stream with only a path in the center, and there are some murals on the cliffs on both sides. Gabriel suddenly spoke out, interrupting Qin Ming's thoughts. Mural paintings? Go over and take a look. Qin Ming came back to his senses and immediately put away his diary and rode Wang Kai towards the front. After crossing the large plain where the rotting corpse king was located, the back was basically a rugged mountain road. Nowadays, it was even in the middle of the crevice of two mountain cliffs, with only a small path about five meters wide leading ahead. This is? Qin Ming looked at the first mural and fell into deep thought. It was a quiet and peaceful small village, with many people living quietly and peacefully in it. Qin Ming could tell that this was the morning glory village, and even the dark forest outside was carved out. He then rode Wang Kai towards the front and soon saw the second mural. The village was in chaos, someone had died, and a group of people surrounded each other with sad expressions. The village is past? It's similar to the contents of the miner's diary. Qin Ming instantly reacted, this was the passing of the diary, only it was recorded by another person, in another way. Oh, a shrill female voice suddenly sounded in his ears, Qin Ming was startled in his heart and looked up, 
but it was a number of transparent female demons rushing towards them. Don't be reckless. Gabriel struck out, the sword of sacred flame swept across, stopping the group of banshees before they were blasted into ashes by the fire elemental elf's explosive fireballs, leaving behind only a few soul crystals crashing to the ground. This group of banshees were also rank 1 monsters that started to appear one after another after passing by the location of the rotten corpse king, but their blood quantity wasn't high, and it was mainly their physical immunity that would give players a headache. However, facing Gabriel's sword of holy flame and the fire elemental elf's fireball spell, it was simply defenseless, and was blasted into oblivion in minutes. Xin Ming glanced at it and ignored it, this point of monsters Gabriel and the others would take care of themselves, while he himself continued to look at the murals on the wall. This should be a mine, right? It was discovered, and then arranged for people to come in and explore it, and encountered a great crisis, and quite a few people were left here permanently. Xin Ming murmured with a slight sigh. The person who carved these murals was obviously someone who had also entered the secret realm, so the information in it was much more detailed compared to the miner's diary. The group was seen encountering the siege of carrion corpses, the attack of banshees, passing through the corpse mountain graveyard, and finally arriving at the end of the secret realm. However, what came next was something that made them feel despair, where they actually encountered a scythe-wielding person, easily defeating the group of people who had joined forces, and even harvesting them. After realizing that they were unbeatable, the crowd began to retreat, wanting to escape, but they were met with a chase and siege, and some were left here forever. The scene cut off at this point, and it seemed that the people who carved these murals had also fallen or fled with the group. No, if that's the case, then who painted these murals? Xin Ming froze in his mind and looked up, only to realize that the murals were only broken, and there were new murals a dozen or so meters away in front of him. Urging Wang Kai to run over, the content of the new mural was heart-stopping, only to see that those who had fallen in the secret realm had actually come to life, and even prostrated themselves under the last person holding a scythe, as if they were worshipping the gods in their hearts. Gods? Xin Ming was instantly startled, it seemed that this final boss should be the gods, but could he really deal with such a powerful enemy? No, it's impossible for the gods to descend recklessly, otherwise the secret realm would have been taken away by them long ago, and they wouldn't have waited until the end of the novice secret realm. Xin Ming suddenly reacted, if nothing else, the ones on the mural should only be divine projections, if the real bodies descended, he was afraid that this entire secret world would collapse. Different secret worlds have different levels of energy bearing caps, players in the novice secret world cannot break through to first rank, so the strength of the monsters certainly cannot break through to first rank either. Therefore this divine projection, odds are that it's only the peak strength of rank 1. The limit of gold grade? Or platinum rank? Xin Ming guessed in his heart, but looking at the mural, he also had a rough guess about the prostrate figures on it. Rotting corpse king, witch demon, skeleton king, banshee. A total of five villagers were left here forever, and the rotting corpse king seen in front of them was the very first boss that was blocking them. Five bosses plus a divine projection? Xin Ming thought with an ugly expression on his face, the rotten corpse king from before was enough to make him burnt out, and the bosses that followed would only be stronger than one another. However, as he continued to look on, he realized that it wasn't that, the resurrected villagers were controlled by death, but they had been fighting spiritually, and in the end, the banshee, the skeleton king, and the skeleton mage had all broken free of their bonds and risen up to fight back once again. But when they were alive they were no match for the god's projection, and how could they possibly defeat him when they were resurrected by the other side? In the end, they fell again. And these murals were exactly what they carved out after regaining their consciousness. So the next boss should be that still alive witch demon. Qin Ming murmured. The mural was considered to have truly ended here, and the rock wall behind it was blank, and it was not known if nothing had happened, or if no one could continue carving it anymore. Master, there are a large number of undead creatures gathering ahead. Soon enough, Gabriel, who was scouting ahead, flew back and informed the situation ahead. Then it looks like we've arrived at the place, it's no surprise that the next boss will be a witch demon that specializes in spells, prepare yourselves for battle. Qin Ming reminded with a nod. As the group walked out of the mountain stream, they arrived in the middle of a huge valley with countless undead creatures walking around inside. The arrival of Qin Ming and the others was undoubtedly a sweet-smelling piece of fat meat, and the nearest few white bone skeletons were instantly attracted and roared as they rushed towards him. Gabriel rushed up at the first opportunity, swinging the shining guts in his hand, easily decapitating these few skeletons. However, the commotion of the battle soon attracted more undead creatures, and the ones that were a little farther away began to rush towards this side. Eh? Xin Ming suddenly felt a shock in his heart, it seemed that the witch demon shrouded in a cloak in the deepest part of the room moved, but he didn't see the other party killing over, and just thought that it was his illusion. Chirp. As the battle intensified, Xin Ming had to summon the firebird once again. Previously, the narrow path between the mountain streams made it impossible for the firebird to fly properly, so Qin Ming dispatched it, 
and now since it had arrived in the open valley, it had a fighting ground. Who a large amount of fire rain scattered down, countless undead creatures were burned up, on the ability of mass attack, at this time, the fire elemental elves were really not its opponent. Alas a hoarse sigh sounded in Qin Ming's ears, but he saw that the witch demon turned around and looked towards his side, a ghostly blue soul fire flickering in its skull under its cloak. Watch out! Alarm bells rang loudly in Qin Ming's heart, the movement of the battle over here had finally attracted the attention of the witch demon. Although it was said to be a game, it wouldn't really be like playing a copy and guarding your hate range waiting for you to come, but whenever you encountered some intelligent monsters, they wouldn't hesitate to pounce on you once they found you. And the witch demon is different from the rotting corpse king, the rotting corpse king has basically lost his sanity and can only follow his instincts, while the witch demon is the wise man among the undead creatures, mastering powerful necromantic spells. You guys, if you hide a little bit, I can still pretend I didn't see it and take a little bit of pressure off of you, but now that you're making such a big mess, I can't even think about not making a move. The witch demon sighed and said, the hands under the cloak slowly raised, pointing in the direction where Qin Ming was. In an instant, the undead creatures in the entire valley seemed to feel the king's call and rushed towards Qin Ming's side. Retreat to the entrance and exit of the mountain stream. Qin Ming made an immediate decision and retreated towards the back with his many summoned beasts. The mountain stream was only about 5 meters wide, so as long as they retreated back into the mountain stream, then the number of undead creatures they needed to face at the same time would undoubtedly be a lot less, and there would be enough time to slowly clear it down. Oh Wang Kai's movements were quick, bringing Qin Ming to turn and run, Qing Sang Butterfly also always followed by his side, as for Xia Yin and Gabriel, they were fighting and retreating, and eventually stationed near the exit of the mountain stream, cooperating with the jungle giant ape, fighting with these undead creatures. The only thing that could not be squeezed in was the firebird flying in the sky, which could only spit out flames continuously in the sky. However, facing the long-range units below as well as monsters such as the banshee and the dead bone bird that were also capable of flying, the situation of the firebird was very bleak, and in the end, Xin Ming had to dispatch it and recall it, relying on the power of Gabriel and the fire elemental elves to block the mouth of the mountain stream, and start a protracted battle with this group of undead creatures. Boom! Qin Ming's hands continuously released small fireball spells, contributing what little output he had, while his gaze crossed over the countless undead to the witch demon at the very back. Although the other party had attracted the undead creatures in the entire valley, they themselves didn't seem to have any intention of trying to rush up, but instead just watched the battle on their side. It seemed that Qin Ming and the others were not in their hearts, or they were confident that they would be able to take them down, so they were not in a hurry. Regardless of the witch demon's intentions, the battle on Qin Ming's side could not be stopped. The fire elemental elf's explosive fireballs continued to be thrown out, exploding amongst the monsters, taking away a large number of undead creatures each time. As for Qin Ming's own small fireball technique, the explosive trait was also activated after it was leveled up to level 3, with each fireball producing a certain amount of splash effect after hitting the target. This was a trait that grew after the skill level was raised, and although it didn't have as high a damage as the true explosive fireball, it was still considered a small group attack type skill. The real headache was still those flying banshees and birds of prey, who swooped down from the air, simply ignoring the mountains of undead creatures piled up at the entrance of the mountain stream, and soon gathered a large pile of them to surround Qin Ming in front of him. Not only that, these two kinds of undead creatures also mastered the ability of long-range magic attacks, after the number up really if the fire down, anyone will be second. Therefore, Gabriel and the fire elemental elf's main goal was also prioritized on these two kinds of undead creatures, but wherever they were found, they were bound to be the first to kill them. The undead creatures on the ground could only rely on the jungle apes and Wang Kai to fend them off. Although there were also some long-range attack type monsters, but due to the narrow terrain, the number could not gather too much, so there was not much danger. This won't work, there are too many monsters. Xin Ming's face revealed a look of gravity, it was the first time he had been involved in a battle with such a high frequency, and he had even suffered several attacks. There were just too many monsters ahead, the density of the monsters was even more exaggerated than that of the land of the undead, after all there were only the ones on the ground over there, this was the air force and army together. Gabriel. Angel's sword. Looking at the increasing number of undead creatures, Qin Ming's made a split second decision and shouted towards Gabriel. Now that the firebird was gone, the strongest ranged skill was Gabriel's angel's sword, and the range was great, enough to cover half of the valley, and the undead creatures that had surrounded them were able to be dealt with in one breath. Originally, Qin Ming wanted to leave this skill to the final boss, but the current situation, obviously cannot hold out, and then left to go they all have to die here. The good thing is that this secret realm is big enough, he walked from the rotten corpse king side to here for half an hour, the big deal is that after cleaning up the witch demon, just wait here for an hour for the skill to cool down. Hearing Qin Ming's words, Gabriel didn't bring any hesitation, and immediately stepped back slightly and began to prepare the angelic sword. And the fire elemental elf also burst out a wave of fire at the right time, 
temporarily shaking back some of the banshee's predecessor to the bone bird. Soon, the sacred light shone in the sky, and the huge angelic sword fell into the valley, and even the witch demon couldn't help but look sideways with its powerful might. The power of holy light? A murmuring voice came out from the witch demon's side, seemingly feeling a hint of surprise at the powerful force. However, he still didn't have any thoughts of stopping it, allowing the holy light to descend and decimate all the undead creatures in the entire valley. You guys are quite a bit stronger than I thought. Before Qin Ming could breathe a sigh of relief, a hoarse voice came from his ears, and the breath that he had just let go was lifted once again. The divine light dispersed, and the witch demon that had originally stood still in the center of the valley slowly walked towards them. You regained your consciousness? Qin Ming subconsciously asked, he really couldn't connect this witch demon with those undead creatures that could only rely on their instincts. You should have already seen those murals, how do you think your strength compares to us back then? The witch demon stopped and asked towards Qin Ming. This? I don't know. Qin Ming replied after a pause. Go back. Gods are not to be blasphemed, or perhaps, you have also come to submit to the knees of the gods? Without answering Qin Ming's question head on, the witch demon said again. So you are thinking that I am inferior to you guys back then? Qin Ming's face sank slightly, hearing a different flavor in the words. I am helping you to make a choice, gods are supreme existences, worthy of the world's respect and faith, even to the point of putting everything on the line for them. It seems that aside from that rotting corpse king, all four of you have regained your consciousness, but only you chose to submit and become a lapdog in the hands of the gods. Qin Ming sneered. You don't even understand what you guys are facing? Come on, let me see if your strength qualifies you to become a slave of the gods. The witch demon's voice was still rippling, but it was no longer persuading Qin Ming to leave, but rather telling him to make a move. At the same time, as the distance between the two sides closed, the other party's attributes appeared in his line of sight. Which demon, silver grade. Rank, 19. Life, 34720-34720. Mana, 8980-8980. Spell strength, 1316. Defense, 224. Spell defense, 336. Talent skills, void, undead summoning, ice blast, death wither, frost shield. The witch demon's blood and defense were slightly inferior to the decaying corpse king but his spell defense was obviously much higher, and he had quite a few more long-range spell-type high damage skills to go along with his own spell strength of breaking 1000, so an ordinary player would basically only have a life of being seconded. All be careful, his damage is very high. Xin Ming reminded in a deep voice, while jumping down from Wang Kai's back, it couldn't continue to stay back and feel the fish. Oh Wang Kai hissed and grinned towards the other party, and without waiting for an approach, it had already taken the lead and charged out. Roar looking at the oncoming Wan Kai, the witch demon raised his hand without any haste, and two huge-sized undead skeletons were summoned by him, blocking Wan Kai's path forward. Boom! Too late to break, Wan Kai lunged headlong, instantly biting into the head of one of the skeletons, and the entire skeleton frame was directly knocked over, the damage wasn't high, but the aura was strong. Unfortunately, before it could get up, the other skeleton next to it had already rushed up, the bone knife in its hand slashed through, about to slash towards Wan Kai. At this time, Gabriel at the back had also followed, a sort of punishment, directly splitting this skeleton away. The fire elemental elf that came right after him then directly threw out a fireball and harvested the skeleton away. Chirp the sound of birds chirping sounded at the back, but Qin Ming summoned the firebird once again, the battlefield was back in the valley, and the firebird also had the space to utilize its combat power. Boom! Another fireball was thrown out, incinerating the skeleton under Wang Kai's claws, and a group of summons followed behind Wang Kai continuing to charge towards the witch demon. Wither away. After such a long delay, the other magic in the witch demon's hand was already fully prepared. The entire valley was gradually covered in a layer of dark light, dots of purple black petals scattered from the air, but painful whimpers came from anyone who came into contact with them. What is this? Death withering? Qin Ming was startled in his heart. He was far away and out of range, but this skill was one of the most terrifying of the undead spells, capable of raining down death petals over a huge area and every time it was touched, it would directly lose 4% of its life cap. It was good that what the other party had used was only a castrated version, and there were very few petals falling from the sky, otherwise if it was really a 6th rank skill, I'm afraid that Gabriel and the other's blood would be cleared out in an instant. Boing the green mulberry butterfly made a timely move, the light green light of life continuously surged over them, each time restoring a certain amount of life force for them. Roar Wang Kai had already rushed not far from the other party and immediately roared and pounced. Boom! With a muffled sound, Wang Kai crashed head on on top of an iceberg, and his huge wolf body fell to the ground, dazed and unable to get up for half a day. Gabriel wasn't much better, although he swung his sword at the first time, surprisingly he didn't split the iceberg in front of him, but he stepped on it in time to avoid the same fate as Wang Kai. Alternative use of frost shield, directly summoning a huge block of ice in front of his body, 
stopping the enemy's approach. Boom! The hot fireball exploded, and the two-meter-high ice gradually melted under the fireball's bombardment, but what awaited Gabriel and the others was a bone spear that shot out. Ding! Gabriel held his sword to block, but he was sent flying by the bone spear's tremendous force, falling to the ground behind him. You guys, is that all you have? The witch demon laughed coldly, and biting coldness converged towards Wang Kai's body. Too late for it to resist, it was already frozen into an ice sculpture, and over 2,000 points of damage instantly took away a large amount of its life value. And this was not the end, as the witch demon pinched with force, the ice crystal that froze Wan Kai shattered with a sound, a huge damage of over 3,000 points burst out, and the life value of more than 7,000 points instantly bottomed out. Wang Kai. Qin Ming spoke out anxiously, such a long distance was not enough for him to dispatch, but he couldn't just watch Wang Kai get seconded. Chirp at this moment, the firebird that had been summoned arrived, and opened its mouth to spit out a ball of flame. Although it was blocked by the witch demon with an ice shield, it immediately began to summon a rain of fire. When the hot rain of fire fell from the sky, the surrounding temperature suddenly rose, which made the witch demon's frost spells were greatly restricted, and the ice shield in front of her also showed signs of melting. At the same time, the green mulberry butterfly quickly approached, milking a mouthful of blood to the witch demon, pulling it back from the brink. Oh Wang Kai backed up with a resigned face, a hint of fear flashing in his eyes, obviously not expecting that he would almost be seconded in just a single glance. Which demon still wanted to make a move, but Gabriel had already rushed up again, a melee unit of hers, naturally it was impossible to be stopped by these ice shields when she was prepared, and easily circled around, appearing in front of which demon at close range. Something. Looking at the oncoming Shoryuken, a cold laugh came out of the witch demon's mouth, frost breath spread out from his body, and a layer of frost covered his entire body. The light gall stabbed on the frost, although due to the huge force that caused the witch demon to slightly retreat, but surprisingly did not penetrate the layer of armor, really causing damage to it. On the contrary, just like when he froze Wan Kai before, the frost armor on the witch demon's body suddenly exploded, and the frost breath spread out towards the side, Gabriel who still wanted to strike was immediately knocked back by this force. Not only suffered hundreds of points of frost damage, his body also condensed a thin layer of frost, the whole person because of the cold, making their own actions were greatly hindered. The witch demon's precise use of the frost shield made Qin Ming feel shocked, the precise calculation of every step, this was the ability that a law profession should really have. In terms of attributes alone, the witch demon wasn't much stronger than the rotten corpse king in front of him, but its ability to control its own spells was enough to raise his combat power by several levels. Boom! Boom! The fire elemental elves and firebirds fiery blasts came one after another, and the huge ice blocking the witch demon's body finally shattered, but his body already had frost armor coalescing out once again. Sword of Punishment. Gabriel struck again, and the sacred sword pierced through the ice shield and directly pierced into the opponent's worn out cloak. Nasty holy light. The witch demon swung his staff, forcing the close Gabriel back, a disgusted voice coming from his mouth. Originally, he also yearned for the light, and especially liked to lie in the sun on the rocking chair in his own yard. Unfortunately, since being resurrected as a witch demon, light was an existence he could not touch. The staff in his hand swung, and another two-meter-long bone spear was condensed and shot towards the firebird in the sky. The short encounter made him realize that these two elemental creatures were far more of a threat to him than the angel in front of him, even if he seemed more powerful and was even the first to actually injure himself. But the sword of punishment was obviously a skill with a cooldown, and Gabriel's attack wasn't that high in a fight like this, even if he was left alone, he could still hold his own. Chirp the speed of the bone spear is very fast, the firebird also did not expect that he will become the first target, dodge not enough to be stabbed on the spot, blood loss instantly nearly half. Fortunately, as an elemental creature, the firebird didn't have a specific form like a real bird, so it didn't fall because of this attack. Boom! Gabriel once again closed in, the long sword in his hand pierced through the ice armor, and his entire body was once again sent flying by the exploding ice, but the divine flames had already burned on the body of the witch demon, taking away a small amount of life force. The most crucial thing was that Gabriel's powerful strength made it impossible for the witch demon's figure to stand properly, and every time he was knocked back or interrupted, making it somewhat difficult to cast his spells. But this was not a big impact, for a mage, creating opportunities for himself after being approached was also a necessary lesson. After being hit by Gabriel a few times, he could already manage to deal with it calmly, and was even able to throw his spells out before Gabriel's attack arrived. Boom! 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 After a round of consecutive fireballs, the ice shield on his body was finally completely shattered by the fire elemental elf, Gabriel bullied his way up and wanted to launch an attack, but he found that the other party's body had a cold ice condensation, and soon sealed himself in a small iceberg. What is this? Frozen seal? Xin Ming's face was ugly as he recognized this skill, the ice mage's life-preserving divine skill, capable of freezing the target and making them invincible. 
As the level of the skill increased, it would also have a series of other effects, and the witch demon was slowly recovering its blood in the ice seal at this moment. Gabriel's shining guts kept slashing on top of the iceberg, but it was hard to leave a trace, the rule-based protection skill could not be broken even by divine damage. Back off some first. Qin Ming shouted, preventing any other subsequent characteristics that might appear from the frozen seal. His decision proved to be correct, with the end of the frozen seal, the ice covering the witch demon's body didn't slowly melt, however, it suddenly exploded like the ice armor from before, shooting off in all directions. If Gabriel and Wang Kai were still in the vicinity at this time, they would definitely not be able to avoid receiving another wave of damage. Ah Wang Kai is not afraid at all, seeing the other side out of the ice, directly toward it pounced up, even so also received a few splash out of the ice damage. But the witch demon's action is also very fast, ice shield once again stood up, blocked in front of Wang Kai's body, the same scene once again staged. Only this time, there was no chance for him to use his bone spear to attack Wang Kai, Gabriel who had prepared for this directly bypassed the iceberg and appeared in front of him. Boom! The ice armor exploded, Gabriel was knocked back, but the witch demon was equally bad, being pushed backward by the tremendous force. On the other hand, the fire elemental elf's continuous fireballs had already come roaring in, directly shattering those huge blocks of ice that had condensed in front of him, clearing the way for Wang Kai's forward movement. For the second encounter, the crowd was obviously quite a bit more skillful, at least except for Wang Kai's start that hit the ice, the path was basically cleared out quickly behind him. It was only a pity that at this point, the firebird had already been dispatched and recalled by Qin Ming due to his excessive injuries, otherwise it would definitely be able to form an oppressive force. Looks like I underestimated you guys, you guys are slightly stronger than I thought, but of course, it's only a few. The witch demon said in a flat tone, raising his hand was a bone spear being condensed out, stabbing towards the oncoming Wang Kai. The instantaneous cold ice blast was then unleashed, directly seriously injuring Gabriel. But that wasn't the end of it, taking advantage of this brief respite, after stiffly resisting a fire elemental elf's fireball spell, he once again summoned two undead skeleton archery skeletons and chased after them towards the green mulberry butterfly. Skeletons were very slow, and it was basically impossible to catch up with Ching Sang Dai or even kill her, but the long-range skeleton archers were very good at keeping her in check and preventing her from restoring the status of the other summoned beasts. If it wasn't for the green mulberry butterfly, I'm afraid that Qin Ming would have fallen more than just one firebird, and Wang Kai definitely wouldn't have been able to hold out, and I'm afraid that Gabriel would have had to fall as well. You guys continue, I'll deal with these two skeleton archers. Qin Ming said in a deep voice, stopping the fire elemental elf who wanted to support him picking up the cold iron staff and starting to prepare his spells. He also had the same ability to cast spell attacks, and he had a spell strength of over 600, which was definitely top-notch amongst the players, so dealing with the two summoned skeletons was still a no-brainer. Boom! The fireball whizzed towards one of the skeletons, hundreds of points of damage instantly taking away a quarter of its life value. This kind of damage was naturally no match for the firebird and the fire elemental elf, but if it was just to finish off these two skeletons, it was enough. On the other side, Gabriel and the fire elemental elf's attacks also came towards the witch demon once again. There was no need to pay attention to the skeletons that had just been summoned, which obviously somewhat disrupted the witch demon's plans, and although it still blocked the attacks of both, it was quickly pounced upon again by the charging wanted. Oh Wang Kai bit his cloak and dragged it all the way, but besides making him look a bit lousy, the damage he could really do was very limited. The focus was still on Gabriel and the fire elemental elves at the back, especially when the fireball spell slammed into his body taking away a large amount of life points each time. Ah a shrill whistling sound rang out from under the witch demon's cloak, and a stinging pain went through on its head, and his bite on the wolf's beak instantly loosened, allowing the witch demon to escape. Not only him, Gabriel and the fire elemental elf were also shaken, hundreds of points of damage floated up from their heads, and the attacks in their hands were interrupted. Death. Descend. The witch demon's low voice rang out as black petals once again drifted down from the air, and this time even Qin Ming was in the range of the skill shroud. When the first death petal exploded on his arm, a sharp stinging sensation came over him, causing his hands holding the staff to tremble and almost fall out of his hands. Luckily, death withering was a fixed percentage damage, so as long as one's face wasn't so black that they were hit by a bunch of petals, they basically couldn't die. Therefore, Xin Ming was also too lazy to pay attention to this skill, letting the petals float down on his body, enduring the severe pain coming from his body from time to time, and continuously rubbing the small fireballs towards the skeleton to smash it. Nima, really think that labor is not made of clay? Xin Ming said in a deep voice, how come his attributes had already far exceeded that of an ordinary mage, although he couldn't deal with a witch demon, but just two summoned skeletons, that still couldn't handle it, don't live. Soon, under his powerful fireball bombardment, the first skeleton finally shattered into a ground of bone crumbs, and his firepower also turned to the other skeleton. 
On the other side, Gabriel and the others also made the same choice as Qing Ming, especially the petite fire elemental elves, they didn't even have to worry about touching the falling petals at all, the advantage of their small size was revealed at this moment. Under Gabriel's and their reckless attacks, the witch demon's blood level finally began to show a rapid decline, soon losing tens of thousands of vitality points, and the bloodline began to become precarious. Come on, if you can't even beat me, what qualifications do you have to defile the hands of a great god? The witch demon said all sorts of things while fighting Gabriel and the others. Most of them were despicable contempt for Qin Ming and the others as well as worship of the gods, but Qin Ming still heard something different from them. Boom! As the fireball engulfed the other skeleton, Qin Ming let out a slight sigh of relief and looked towards the witch demon that was once again bitten by Wang Kai, a strange feeling rising in his heart. He's testing our abilities? Wondering if we can defeat the gods? Qin Ming thought in his heart that while the witch demon seemed to be struggling desperately without the slightest bit of retention, there were still quite a few loopholes left in its attack. Otherwise, after so much time had passed, skills like Ice Shield should have finished cooling down, and he had many means to get away from Wang Kai's pursuit. There was also the Frozen Seal, although the cooldown time of this skill was long, the other party, as a boss, had a blood level down mechanism. Now that he had lost more than half of his blood, the other party could definitely use this skill, but he never used it. Not to mention those attack opportunities in the middle, seemingly ferocious actually let go of Wang Kai many times, otherwise it would have already sent this stupid dog back to the summoning space. All of these things all illustrated one thing. The witch demon in front of him didn't want to leave him here with the intention of testing his strength. Is this all you have? If there's nothing else you're capable of, then I'll have to leave you here forever. The bloodline dropped to less than a third left. The witch demon got rid of Wang Kai's chasing bite and said in a deep voice towards Qin Ming. Qin Ming's heart sank, regardless of whether it was true or not, at least the other party's words indicated a meaning that his current strength wasn't enough to fight against the gods. Even a silver-ranked boss like him couldn't defeat it, let alone going to fight a gold-ranked divine projection. Instead of going to his death, he might as well die at his hands and perhaps suffer less. Eye of true premonition. Qin Ming's gaze sunk slightly as his deep gaze looked towards the witch demon, as if he had seen through everything on the other party. He then raised the cold iron staff in his hand, and an aura of death began to spread through the valley. The witch demon that was preparing a spell froze, and the soul fire in its skull flickered. Interesting. Once again, there were petals symbolizing death floating down in the sky, and the range and density was no less than before. But this time, Gabriel and the others didn't dodge, letting these petals float down on their bodies without causing a single bit of damage. On the contrary, the witch demon's blood level was decreasing, and every piece of petal that floated down could take away a large amount of his life value. Boom! Ice shield coalesced again, death withering, although it was a percentage damage based on maximum life value and was able to ignore magical defenses, it wasn't irresistible, at least shield type skills were a good means of defense. The blood loss was temporarily stopped, but the ice shield on his body was constantly shattering and coalescing. The eye of true premonition had the ability to copy the target's skills, Qin Ming had never encountered a suitable skill, and now the death dying on the witch demon was just right. This was originally a neutered version of a high level skill, and if one could actually master it, with the subsequent skill levels, one might even be able to actually learn this high level skill. The damage of a single petal wasn't high, but the witch demon didn't have much blood left, and it was able to effectively consume the layers of the shield on the opponent, preparing for the subsequent attack by Gabriel and the others. As a matter of fact, the fire elemental elves who attacked from a distance had already started to take action, and one after another of the fireballs shot out towards the witch demon, and three of them just happened to be stuck at the time when the ice shield was broken and recoalesced again, and took away thousands of points of the witch demon's blood, and the bloodline suddenly dropped to less than 10%. However, if two or three more death fading petals fell on him, it would be able to directly take him away in one wave. The witch demon himself sensed that his life was in danger, and the spell in his hand no longer stayed, a cold ice blast, directly knocking out nearly half of the fire elemental elf's blood, immediately causing him to fall into a state of serious injury. Subsequently, the bone spear flew out, once again stopping the Wang Kai who wanted to pounce on him. Only then did he summon a bone spear again, fighting with Gabriel. But after all, he was only a law profession, how could he possibly compare to the battle-hardened Gabriel in terms of close quarters ability? It was only a matter of time before he was defeated. And he himself may have long predicted such a result, no longer have a complaint and reprimand, as if silently waiting for his own demise. Finally, with the ensuing sliver of life force fading away, the witch demon floated in midair, silently looking in Qin Ming's direction. This passageway is merely to prevent his plans from being discovered and destroyed, your true enemy is not here, but in the depths of the dark forest, please. As the words fell, the last bit of soul fire dissipated, and the entire body slowly fell in midair, with light shining all over the place, all of which were the items he had dropped. Have a good journey. Qin Ming said silently in his heart, however, 
Without waiting for him to go forward and pick up the drops, he suddenly stopped and looked into the depths of the secret realm with a grave expression on his face. Blasphemer! Air shall fall into darkness forever! A majestic and angry voice echoed in the sky, and a black silhouette wearing a cloak loomed in the distance. Xin Ming couldn't help but have a feeling of wanting to worship it, feeling as humble and insignificant as if he was facing a god. Gods? Xin Ming came back to his senses and looked into the distance with a face as heavy as water, without any surprises that should be where the gods were and the enemy he would face next. It seems that the deaths of the rotting corpse king and the witch demon have enraged him, or maybe it was that last reminder from the witch demon? Qin Ming pondered, the latter should be more likely. The roar of the divine projection didn't last long and soon faded away. Qin Ming didn't take it to heart and began to organize the harvest from this trip. Apart from the regular equipment and materials, the witch demon had left behind quite a bit more than the decaying corpse king, and perhaps due to being resurrected by the gods, he had similarly left Qin Ming with a divine power fruit. Qin Ming unceremoniously consumed it before looking at the remaining items, among which a long, palm-length black needle attracted his attention. Divine Destruction Needle Description, the condensation of a witch demon's entire body's strength, only to be able to kill a god one day. When used on a divine target, it can weaken its divine power, inflicting 50% damage to its current life value and causing its entire attributes to drop by 50% for 3 minutes. There is a very low probability of a must-kill effect. God-destroying needle? Surely it's in preparation for deicide? Xin Ming couldn't help but murmur. The witch demon appeared to be submissive to the gods and didn't rebel along with the others, but that was because he knew that he didn't have enough power yet, and was also always building up, waiting for the day when he would rise up and rebel. Unfortunately, the resurrected body was subject to the gods, relying on himself was not possible, until Qin Ming's appearance which gave him a glimmer of hope. But this god-destroying needle, it shouldn't be prepared for the secret realm, but that altar outside, right? That's the real divine projection? Qin Ming thought in his heart as his gaze looked towards another bead. Treasure bead of time and space. Introduction, possesses the ability to cross the long river of time and space, allowing one to recall the history of what once was. Limited to use in the Morning Glory Village Secret Realm, after use it unlocks all the abilities of all NPCs, allowing them to have the peak of their battle power in their lifetime, lasts for 3 minutes. Unsurprisingly, this bead was the ultimate killing weapon that the witch demon had left behind for the crowd. The villagers who were able to be resurrected to Morning Glory Village would not have been ordinary people in their lifetime, perhaps there was a period of transcendent years that had not been recorded in the history of Blue Star. But there was no doubt that these people all had extremely powerful strength in their lifetime, and if they were able to completely unseal out, not to mention killing a god, at least taking out a divine projection would definitely not be a problem. It's a pity that this bead shouldn't be used anymore. Xin Ming couldn't help but laugh as he looked at the attributes of the god-destroying needle and then at the time and space treasure bead in his hand. His lucky talent could definitely trigger a probabilistic event once, the god-destroying needle's sure kill effect could be definitely triggered, and the divine projection was frankly nothing more than a walk in the park. Therefore, the effect of the time pearl was not very useful, so he could only wait and see if Li Fu Zi had a way to use it for other purposes, right? However, it was still too early to talk about this, the immediate priority was to pass through this secret realm as soon as possible, the final deity shadow could only be defeated by actual strength. Take a rest in place, and wait for the angelic sword to cool down as well. Xin Ming said as he shone his light on the many summoned beasts. He then leaned in place on Wang Kai's soft belly, recovering himself while opening the unread miner's diary and continuing to read. The remaining content of the diary was not much, the successive exploration failures as well as the various insights of the people who came back alive had forced everyone to give up on this possible path. Everyone returned to the village and lived their already established lives, waiting for death to come while also looking for other ways out. But the people found nothing more, except for the altar deep in the dark forest, which had also existed for a long time, at the core of the spell that would be used in the final summoning of the gods' projections. The crowd thought of destroying it, but after observing it, Li Fu Zi realized that there was no point in simply destroying it, its function was only to summon the divine projections to pick the ultimate fruits of victory, and the great array had actually been laid around the village long ago. Moreover, all of their actions were in the sight and observation of the gods, and the divine might and heavenly wrath spreading in the sky from time to time constantly touched the hearts of all the people, but whoever wanted to make a move against the altar would often meet with an untimely end. The only place that could avoid the sight of the gods was the passageway located in the depths of the mine, which was shrouded with a special power, even the gods could only leave a little bit of power stationed there. But even such a little power, is not the villagers of Morning Glory Village at the moment can resist, many villagers finally had to choose to give up. However, Miner Zhang, who was always in the mine digging the pit, did not give up, he tried his best to open up this passage, and even made the intention to dig another passage from the inside. Unfortunately, he ultimately failed and was discovered by the wisp of consciousness that the gods had left behind here, 
ultimately reducing him to an inhuman monster. Few closing the diary, Jean Ming exhaled slightly, the entire matter of the Morning Glory Village secret realm had basically become clear. The gods were a knife hanging over the heads of all the NPCs, and they didn't have the ability to fight against them, so they could only borrow the power of the players. But players wanted to fight against the gods but it was too difficult and too hard, it was almost an impossible thing to reach, the demise of the villagers had already become a foregone conclusion. If every novice secret realm is being targeted by a god, Xin Ming suddenly felt his scalp numb, how many novice secret realms is this? How many ancestors' souls have faded? And the game was created by the will of the gods, if the villagers are coveted by the gods, then what is the will of the gods? What kind of relationship is there with the gods? More and more mysteries welled up in his mind. The will of the gods that created the novice mystery realm and the god of death that stole the power were obviously not along the way, and there were so many other novice mystery realms that were surely more than just being targeted by the god of death, and what was it about this mystery realm that was coveted by them? Do the two belong to different godly power systems? Or was there some other unknown relationship? Hall of Gods. Xin Ming suddenly stared, suddenly remembering a very powerful anti-human force in his previous life. They believed in the descent of the gods, preaching that humans should submit to the gifts of the gods and dedicate everything they had to the gods in return. They had even caused several horrific sacrifices, leading to the destruction of several human cities, and were listed as the largest rebel organization by the major city lords and were jointly wanted. Xin Ming had always thought that this was nothing more than a group of players who had mastered a special method to gain power only that this method was at the cost of the lives of the living souls of the blue star. But now, it seemed that things shouldn't be that simple, they might have actually believed in certain gods and become believers of those gods, by sacrificing blue star living spirits to the gods they believed in order to obtain rewards and hidden quests. Perhaps the quests of the newcomer's secret realm are not without people who have come into contact with them, it's just that most of them chose to stand on the side of the gods after being in contact with them. Qin Ming sighed in his heart. Under the doomsday, there was no excuse for people to act for their own interests, and in the end, it was just a different stance. But as a blue star person, to use the blue star beings that gave birth to him as sacrifices to please the gods, this was something he could not tolerate. One can be selfish and self-interested, but there should be the most basic bottom line, which is the fundamental of being a human being, or else one will only end up losing oneself and even forgetting who one is. Unlost and unforgotten, the original heart is not lost. Xin Ming murmured, then stood up with a firm gaze let's go. It's time to meet the final boss. After resting for such a long time, both his and the numerous summoned beast statuses had also recovered one after another, including Gabriel's angelic sword which had also finished cooling down. Next, as long as he defeated the final divine projection, he would be able to pass the secret realm and go out, proceeding to destroy the black tower and save the entire morning glory village. At this moment Qin Ming suddenly felt that his strength boost was still too slow, desperately wanting to boost his strength as soon as possible so that he could go see the figure behind the game earlier to see what the gods really were. In his previous life, he was nothing more than a silent and nameless cannon fodder, not to mention gods, powerful players were all too far away from him, now that he had such an opportunity, he naturally would not willingly miss it. Sure enough, the greater the ability, the greater the responsibility, and the bigger the heart. Smiling to himself. Compared to before, the road behind him was somewhat uneventful, nothing more than a variety of undead creatures rushing towards him, doing nothing but hindering his progress. Half an hour later, he brought his many summoned beasts outside of a large hall, and gazing through the open hall, he could see the majestic and tall statue of a god inside, and a vast divine might was spreading out from the temple. Mortal! You have blasphemed the gods and have come here to atone for your sins and offer your life? A majestic voice resounded in the great hall, and a huge pressure came over. The weaker forest giant ape had already prostrated itself on the ground, the green mulberry butterfly and Wang Kai couldn't help but retreat slightly, only the firebird and the fire elemental elf were still able to stop where they were, but the fire elemental elf's small face was already filled with gravity. You're overthinking it, I'm here to collect your life. Qin Ming took a deep breath and said in a flat tone towards the middle of the great hall. Unbridled. The roar of anger was deafening, the huge deity's shadow appeared above the great hall, a terrifying aura spread out. The weakest forest giant ape had even emitted an unpleasant odor, which was scared to pee. A shadow is just a shadow, it's not even a divine projection, what kind of big tail is it pretending to be here? Qin Ming laughed coldly, a fireball had already been summoned from his staff and whistled towards the opponent. Boom! The hundreds of points of attack didn't even move the opponent's blood bar, but the taunt effect had already been fully drawn. Unbridled! Blasphemous ants, I grant you death! The shadow roared out, the scythe shadow in his hand slashed towards Qin Ming's side and the feeling of death immediately enveloped Qin Ming's heart. Then let's see if you have the ability. Qin Ming continued to taunt, and with a clip of his legs, Wang Kai immediately jumped away to the other side with him. 
At the same time, Gabriel was even already charging upwards with his shining guts in hand, his longsword slashing horizontally on the scythe's shadow, surprisingly, there was a roaring sound of metal collision, and violent energy fluctuations spread out. Go together. I don't need protection. Jumping down from Wang Kai's body, he patted the wolf's head for it to go up and help, while he himself once again began to prepare a small fireball spell, contributing his meager damage. Divine Projection, Gold Level. Introduction, a shadow left behind by the god of death after his walk, stationing the entrance and exit of the passage for him. Level, 19. Life, 145600 slash 145600. Attack Power, 3408, Spell Strength, 2760. Physical Defense, 1064, Spell Defense, 1064. Divine Body, all attributes increased by 100%, damage received reduced by 50%. Power of death, all attributes damage increased by 100%, ignore target defense by 50%, immune to darkness and undead damage, receive light and life attribute damage increased by 100%. Talent skills, death chop, death wither, undead plague, shadow cloak, darkness binding, necrotic gate. Seeing the other party's attributes, Qin Ming was instantly a bit dumbfounded, no wonder his fireball spell didn't do much to knock out the other party's blood, dare I say that Nima simply didn't break defense. The damage of the small fireball spell was 100 points plus 100% spell strength, he had leveled up the skill to level 2 but it was only 200 points of base damage, counting his 600 plus spell strength, it was only 800 plus points of damage. Even if he added the bonus from his 23 points of fire elemental affinity, it was only less than a thousand points of flame damage, which was really not breaking defense. Shit. 145,000 blood, over a thousand points of double defense, and a 50% damage reduction? What the hell is this? Returning to his senses, Qin Ming couldn't help but feel the urge to curse. Not to mention him, even if it was a gold level firebird, it was only barely able to break through the defense, and the only ones that could really deal high damage were the fire elemental elves, and Gabriel could only rely on his own divine damage to ignore the opponent's defense. As for Wang Kai, he was basically a mascot, and the jungle giant ape was even lying on the ground shivering, with no ability to fight at all. Worthy of being a god, this nigga is just a projection that can boost 100% of the full attributes, how strong would it have to be if it was replaced with a real god? Qin Ming cursed, the power of a god's projection was simply despairing, making him unable to help but want to take out the god destroying needle and use it. However, when he thought of the even more powerful deity projection in the dark forest, he still forced himself not to take it out. Let's try it first, if it doesn't work then we'll talk about it. Qin Ming thought in his heart and raised his hand to put back the forest giant ape that was paralyzed on the ground, then stuck on cooldown and kept summoning fire elemental elves, wanting to trigger the double summoning effect of the cold iron staff. Currently, the biggest output was the fire elemental elf, even if it didn't trigger a blitz, a simple fireball could cause thousands of points of damage, and it was the current main output. As for Gabriel, he could only deal a wave of high damage when using the sword of punishment, and the rest could only rely on the sword of sacred flame to slowly grind. Luckily, the god's projection was also considered a darkness system, and the eye of divine punishment could reduce its full attributes by 10%, which was also considered to alleviate a sliver of pressure for Gabriel. But it was only a sliver, an attack power of up to 3000 points could take away a quarter of her life value with a single swing, and this was still the result of not using a skill. Can't. Can't beat it. Xin Ming's mind quickly came to a conclusion, the difference in attributes was too great. Not to mention the fact that he had crossed one rank, the other party's attributes were even comparable to a second rank boss, and it was simply not something that he, who was only at rank 0, could deal with. At that moment, he took out the god destroying needle from the ring, and after activating the lucky talent, he threw it out towards the deity's shadow without hesitation. The shadow that was fighting with Gabriel suddenly felt a great crisis, however, the god destroying needle, after activating it, precisely shot towards it as if it had locked onto its target. No. What is this? No. There was a hint of panic and anger in the silhouette's voice, and this was the first time that Qin Ming felt the emotions of a god other than majesty and condescension. A god? Are also afraid of death? Qin Ming sneered. The lucky talent was able to specify the occurrence of probabilistic events, so he naturally specified the instant death probability of the god extinguishing needle without any hesitation, and the nearly full blood bar of the god's silhouette instantly bottomed out, and the entire shadow faded until it dissipated rapidly. Blasphemer, I will surely capture you with my own hands. The last voice of the deity's shadow gradually faded away, followed by a luxurious explosion, and the system prompt of the secret passage came to Qin Ming's ears. I'm afraid that no one would have expected that the most late and powerful deity void would be eliminated just as easily. Congratulations to player Qin Ming, for successfully eliminating the final boss to clear the secret realm, earning the title reward, Blasphemer, and gaining 5 points of divinity reward. Blasphemer. Those who blaspheme are more likely to be targeted by the gods. 
Damage inflicted on gods is increased by 10%. Unexpectedly obtaining a title again, yet it made sense, this secret realm was clearly not something that a player in the novice secret realm would be able to clear, and it was not too much to say that it was a secret realm of certain death. It should be known that if Qin Ming didn't have the lucky talent's sure trigger probability effect, even if he was holding the god extinguishing needle in his hand, he wouldn't necessarily be a match for the divine projection, and the 50% weakening of all attributes within 3 minutes simply wasn't enough to wipe it out. Phew fortunately, the following is the time to reap the rewards. Qin Ming gently breathed a sigh of relief. Compared to the title reward, the truly valuable reward for clearing the secret realm was these 5 points of divinity, counting the two bosses in front of him, he had already gained 7 points of divinity from this secret realm alone, which was even more than what was rewarded for being the first place in the rank list. These 7 points of divine power, if used properly, were enough to cause a skyrocketing change in his strength. On top of that, the drop items of the divine projection were equally full of temptation, don't look at it as just a gold level boss, but as the special nature of the divine identity, Xin Ming had already seen the dazzling light from that pile of drop items. That was a drop that surpassed the regular grade, a color that could only be emitted by items of epic grade or above. The light that shone from equipment of different grades was either recognizable or unrecognizable. But items above epic level, that are able to be recognized at a glance, the seven colored light is different from the diamond level of brilliance, appearing particularly dazzling. Qin Ming walked up, the ring of platinum had already retrieved all the drops in one breath, and after a rummage in the ring, he finally took a coin-sized badge in his hands. Secret Realm Badge, Morning Glory Village, Epic Grade. Secret Realm Badge that belongs exclusively to Morning Glory Village, possessing it allows you to travel to and from the Secret Realm of Morning Glory Village at will without restriction. Luck plus 5, Enlightenment plus 5, 10% increase in all attributes in Morning Glory Village's Secret Realm. Doesn't occupy the character's equipment bar, never wears out cannot be looted, and dissipates upon death. This thing? Qin Ming froze, and was surprised that he didn't react a bit for a while. Although the two hidden attributes of luck and enlightenment had been added, and it also allowed him to increase his full attributes by 10% in Morning Glory Village, but how did this thing look like it could be epic grade? What was an epic level item? It was something that had equipment attributes comparable to those of a diamond grade, and at the same time must come with an exclusive epic grade special effect. This badge, apart from adding some hidden attributes and traveling to and from Morning Glory Village, it could be said to be of no use whatsoever. Wait? Traveling to and from Morning Glory Village at will? There was a flash of light in his mind, could it mean that I don't have to be restricted by the zero-ranked profession anymore? The secret realm for newbies was only accessible to zero-ranked players, and once they had risen to level 10 through the career trial, they would be directly teleported out and would not be able to stay in the secret realm any longer. Therefore, although Qin Ming had long since reached full experience value, he had never been able to carry out the career trial just so that he wouldn't be teleported out, causing the subsequent quests to be impossible to carry out. But if this badge could allow him to stay in the middle of the secret realm even after he had been promoted to rank 1, then it would serve a different purpose, and it would also make the subsequent quests no less difficult. I can't just try it, but I can go ask Mr. Lee, he'll definitely know if it works. Pinching it in his hand and rubbing it repeatedly, Qin Ming thought in his mind. The badge wasn't big, only the size of a coin, using a special material he hadn't seen before, and on it was engraved with a full view of the entire Morning Glory Village and the Dark Forest, even including the Undead Lands outside. Xin Ming looked at it for a while and then put it away, this kind of badge could take effect as long as it was placed in the item bar, after counting this badge, his luck value also finally broke through 10 points, the cooldown of the luck talent for the first time appeared to be shortened, and it was directly halved, from 24 hours to 12 hours. Such a change was simply even more surprising to Qin Ming than getting an epic item, originally thinking that it would just be reduced by 1 or 2 hours, but he didn't expect that it would be directly halved. According to this calculation, the next time it shouldn't take a 100 points of luck value, right? And then a 1000 points next time? After the excitement, Qin Ming frowned, if he really counted like this, it seemed like there wasn't much of a difference between it and being directly full of luck, and sure enough, there was no such good thing as a pie falling from the sky. Forget it, twice a day is fine you can't be too greedy. The glory of the epic level items directly overshadowed everything else, but naturally, the drop from the divine projection couldn't be just this much, compared to the disappointing secret realm badge, the remaining two platinum level items were the main event of killing the divine projection. Ring of death, pseudo, grade, platinum grade. Requirements for use, occupation level up to first rank, full attributes 200, dark attribute affinity 10 points, attack plus 300, spell strength plus 300, attack plus 300, Spell Strength plus 300. Increase the level of necromantic skills up to 3rd rank and below diamond level by 1 level. Damage of necromancy skills up to platinum level increased by 30%. Full attributes of necromancy summoned beasts increased by 10%.
Special effect, soul harvesting, for every enemy killed, the cooldown time of all regular skills is reduced by ones. Special effect, soul drawing, after killing an enemy, you can absorb their souls and gain soul points, with a cap of 100 points. Special effect, soul healing, spell out the collected soul points, each point can restore 1% of the target's life value. Special technique, soul shock, unleash collected soul points, inflicting spell strength asterisk 1 damage, with each point of soul points increasing the damage by 1%. Durability, 100 slash 100. TSK. I would call it the strongest ring of the undead department. Seeing the attributes of the ring of necromancy, one could already not help but exclaim out loud. Although this was only a platinum level equipment with limited bonuses to its basic attributes, its special effects and stunts had completely transcended the realm of attributes. If one was able to accumulate 100 soul points, one could even directly return a target's blood level to full, something that even the strongest healing professionals would find difficult to do. Not only that, the cooldown reduction brought about by Soul Reaper and the high damage of Soul Shock also had a crucial role to play. Especially Soul Harvest, as long as it was combined with powerful enough group monster skills and recovery abilities, it was a stake turret perpetual motion machine, truly grasping the truth within the range of artillery. In addition to the Ring of Platinum, the other Platinum Grade item was even rarer, and could even be called Heaven Defying. First Order Skill Scroll, Platinum Grade. Raise the grade of a first rank skill by one rank, up to Platinum Grade. A very short introduction, but simple and crude, equivalent to allowing one to directly master a platinum grade skill, and the most familiar skill that one had been using for years. I remember that in my previous life, and Yunmeng seemed to have mastered the radiant grade fireball technique, right? A single first rank fireball technique could directly blast a sixth rank warrior to death. Qin Ming recalled. The flame phoenix lady's name wasn't for nothing, even the lowest grade fireball technique was hardened by her to the radiant diamond grade and she was able to blast a same rank warrior to death with a single shot, which could be considered shocking to the world at that time. However, the price of skill scrolls was equally high, a first rank platinum grade skill scroll could even be worth more than a first rank diamond grade skill book. But this doesn't seem to have anything to do with me, summoners summoning skills don't have the concept of grade, so you can use any level of skill scrolls to enhance them, unless it's another summoner skill that has a grade. Qin Ming thought thankfully in his heart, this was one of the rare advantages of a summoner. After all, a summoner's entire strength relies on the summoning beasts, and the qualifications of the summoning beasts tend to be fixed, and as their strength rises, more and more summoning beasts will be gradually eliminated, and if they really want to be upgraded in a step-by-step -step manner, the summoner's profession should not be played with. Let's put it in no hurry first, the current gold level summoning beast is just a firebird, turn around and see if there are any other skills that can be upgraded. Putting away this valuable scroll, Qin Ming continued to look at the other items. The rest of the items were basically mostly gold leveled, and he couldn't use this pile of first level equipment and skills, the only thing that could make him somewhat interested was one of the strange fruits and a gold leveled summoning technique. The fruit was called the necrotic fruit, and after taking it, it was able to raise the affinity of the darkness attribute by 10 points, and at the same time increase the physical damage reduction of the same rank by 1%. However, this enhancement was not without a price, the entire body of the person would become stiff after taking the necrotic fruit and there would be a certain sluggishness in reaction speed and movement speed. What kind of dead spirit? It's clearly a zombie, it feels like this effect is quite a bit worse than the Ian Underworld fruit, but it should be possible to find a way to get rid of the toxicity in it, a divine projection, stingy. Qin Ming thought in his mind, not forgetting to spit at the end. The skill book was an undead summoning technique, capable of summoning a powerful nightmare knight to assist in battle. He was able to learn the skill book, and the undead summoner also belonged to a branch of the summoner's profession just that the bonuses of the profession's core were different. There were many branches of summoners, such as contract summoners, elemental summoners, undead summoners, spirit summoners, and so on, and different summoners had different career cores and career focuses. Like Qin Ming's Forest Wolf King, Green Mulberry Butterfly and Jungle Ape, they belong to the category of contract summoner, while the Fire Bird and Fire Elemental Elf belong to the category of elemental summoner, and Gabriel, who was summoned by fate, belongs to the category of spirit summoner. The learning of summoning spells is not picking summoners, but their learning requirements are often difficult to juggle, and the loss of the professional core of the bonus, many times cannot play out the true power of the category of summoning spells. Especially in this branch of undead summoning, the strength of the summoned beasts is often not strong, and the growth value is even slightly lower than other summoned beasts of the same class, but the number is their biggest advantage. The leveling up of most undead summoning techniques would not raise the qualifications of the summoned beasts like normal summoning techniques, but rather the number of their summons. But these numbers weren't enough to produce a qualitative change, and only with the aid of an undead summoner's professional core could they create a true undead heavenly tribulation. 
Although I don't have the Undead Summoner's Profession Core assistance, the Destiny Summoner's Profession Core can greatly enhance the strength of these summoned beasts, so perhaps I can have an alternative Undead Catastrophe as well? Xin Ming looked at the summoning book and his heart was stirred, although the level 0 Nightmare Knight could only summon out one, he could summon two at level 1, and after that, he could summon two more at each level. Moreover, the skill level cap of this skill had been raised to level 20, which meant that he would be able to summon up to 40 Nightmare Knights out in one breath, truly a vast little army. The Knights of the Close Guard? Sounds kind of cool, huh? Xin Ming thought with a narcissistic look on his face and I can also use a skill scroll to raise this summoning technique to platinum level, at that point, it really is God stopping God and Buddha stopping Buddha. Even if the undead system summoning beasts were slightly less qualified, a team of 40 platinum level nightmare knights would be a powerful army at this stage. After finishing organizing his things, Xin Ming walked into the great hall of the gods. The statues around them were already broken, as if they had lost their divine power to sustain them, they would also decay and crumble with time. The stone hall was empty, with only a spell formation in the center shining with a faint light, which was the spell formation for leaving this secret realm. I'm afraid this isn't a poor god, is it? Qin Ming laughed slightly mockingly. Seeing that there was nothing of value around him, he didn't bother to continue milling about in there, and directly walked up into the formation. His vision changed, and when he reappeared, he was already in the depths of the mine, the very depths of the passageway where he had teleported into the secret realm. Sure enough, after going in once, there's no more, I don't know if Li Fu Zi and the others can still go out through this spell formation? Qin Ming said as he looked at the ground, the leveled ground was already difficult to see traces of the spell formation, the secret realm only had permission to enter once. Originally thought that he would be transported to the land of the undead outside the village, but did not expect to return to the mine again, I do not know if it is because of their own player identity. Taking out a long sword to defend himself, Qin Ming turned toward the mine to walk outside, to his strength has no fear of these ordinary miners' corpses, so also did not summon the summoned beasts to call out. However, he didn't walk for long, and only just arrived in the underground room where the miner Zhang died, but he unexpectedly bumped into a disgusting thing. Mining caves are deep and invisible to the light, as long as you find a passageway where no one is, whatever you do will not be known, so in the mines, crimes happen from time to time, and even at this time the whole world has gradually lost the shackles of the law. Xin Ming also did not expect that it would be so fast to be bumped into by himself, especially during this kind of newbie, not thinking of improving his strength as soon as possible but instead venting his beastly desires here. At this time there are three people forcibly dragging a woman hiding in a passageway is ready to do mischief, the woman's desperate hissing and pleading for help sound especially harsh to the ear. This kind of thing in the latter part of the world is no longer common, even if he met the reluctance to pay attention to, the Virgin Mary is not long, things do not care about themselves as the norm, human nature can never stand the test. Unfortunately, the mine is deep, three people are blocking the passage of his return, want to go around for fear of having to walk a lot of road, and clear footsteps have attracted the attention of several people. The three people were shocked, turned their heads towards Qin Ming this side, originally thought that today this is no chance, the results found on Qin Ming alone, suddenly relieved again. Kid, what are you looking at? Get lost. A man with a scar on his face looked at him and said in a vicious tone. Qin Ming frowned slightly, a hint of disgust in his eyes, it was one thing to be used to seeing this kind of thing, it didn't mean that he wanted to see it, not to mention bumping into his face. Eh, this kind of thing, those who see it have a share. Do not say a few brothers do not take care of you, watch from the side, when we finish playing let you also cool, look at you like this, or a chick right? Ha ha ha. Not waiting for Qin Ming to speak, a tall and thin man who was pulling the woman's clothes patted the scarred man, with a wise smile on his face, wanting to pull Qin Ming down with him. Ha ha ha. You kid is blessed today. This one looks like an extremely good quality. Should be a chick just like you, ha ha ha. The last fat man who grabbed the woman similarly laughed out loud a pair of obese and greasy hands continuously groping the woman's body. Let go of me. You guys let go of me ah, ah. The woman kept struggling and screaming, her eyes looking towards Qin Ming in supplication, save me. Please. Save me. What? Why are you still standing there? Although it is the last one to let you feel good, but you can still come first to have a hand, this and Z, can be really big and really white ah. Have you touched it yet? Come and try your hand. See Qin Ming half a day did not move, tall and thin man grabbed a handful of big laugh, next to the scarred man has a dangerous gaze toward him looked over. At this time, Qin Ming's complexion suddenly loosened, his eyes swept from the woman's body and faintly laughed I don't have the habit of sharing with others. I like to eat alone. Have to say, this woman really white skin beautiful long legs, and clothing jewelry are very fine, belong to the typical white rich beauty, in the peace era must have a lot of suitors. Unfortunately, after entering the novice village, I don't know how to fall into the hands of these three people, if no one will save her down, this life is estimated to be here. 
Even if she survived by chance, in the future there should be just one more cruel and murderous poisonous woman, but the probability is that she will end up being killed without leaving a trace. Ooh, still a greedy one? Qin Ming's words made the three of them burst into laughter, and the tall and thin man put down the softness in his hands and stood up, his gaze looking towards him playfully. That's not true? Who would want to top a green grassland as an adult? Of course they choose to enjoy it alone. Qin Ming said, a hot fireball already condensing in his hand, illuminating the entire mine. Fireball technique? That's something. The man froze, and a trace of gravity was brought into his eyes as he looked at Qin Ming. Although the small fireball spell was only the lowest level zero-step spell, it was not that easy for the average person to learn, after all, the bookstore quest would not give this skill as a reward. But you shouldn't think that you can run rampant here just because you've mastered a spell with a higher power? Today, big brother, I'll teach you what it means to be a mage nemesis? After the tall and thin man finished speaking, his figure gradually hid in the darkness, this was the assassin class skill sneak, able to let his body sneak into the darkness and launch an attack on the enemy. The legal profession is notorious for its low blood and defense, once the assassin class profession gets close, it is likely to be directly seconded under the opponent's high burst, which is also one of the tall and thin man's underpinnings that he dares to be fearless of Qin Ming. Unfortunately, what he didn't expect was that he would have chosen the wrong person, Qin Ming, who possesses the eye of true premonition, is simply fearless of this sneaking type of skill. Not to mention that sneaking is not really stealth, it is just hiding himself in the darkness and shadows that are not easy to be detected, and even the naked eye can recognize his crappy sneaking skills. Boom! The fireball was precisely thrown towards the darkness, and a figure was blasted out of the darkness. Ah! The body covered in fire rolled on the ground, and didn't even struggle for long before it was burned into a pile of ashes. That's it? Still a mage nemesis? Xin Ming laughed coldly, having suffocated from fighting bosses for the past few days, he had forgotten that his attributes had far surpassed those of ordinary players. He didn't even wait for the fireball's subsequent scorching damage, and the moment it exploded, the opponent's blood level was already cleared. An assassin only, the blood quantity is not much higher than the legal profession, really think that he can jump in front of the mage with spells in hand? Brother son! The scarred man exclaimed, a shield and short axe instantly appearing in his hands as he rushed over towards Qin Ming. Boom! A new fireball was quickly condensed out, and without waiting for the other party to rush in front of him, it had already exploded on his body, and although the damage of 7 to 800 didn't kill him in seconds, his blood had already bottomed out, and there were still flames on his body that hadn't yet been extinguished, and a hiss of agony came out of his mouth. Ah! The scarred man's entire body fell to the ground and kept rolling around, wanting to alleviate a bit of the burning pain on his body, however, Qin Ming did not intend to give him a chance, waving his hand and flinging out a ball of energy, killing him in seconds. Wow! At this time, there was actually a strange scream ringing in his ears, Qin Ming looked up and saw that it was actually a short green-skinned kobold. Interesting, summoner? Qin Ming laughed out softly and was about to wave his hand to kill it in seconds when he suddenly froze. When he looked up, he saw that the fat man who had just grabbed the woman had already disappeared, and there was the sound of distant footsteps in the deep passageway, but it wasn't that easy to catch up. Qin Ming frowned, it is not impossible to catch up, but it is not necessary, just shot can only be said to be this group of people looking for death, to save the woman is also just by the hand, as for to go after, it is a pure waste of time. He didn't think the other party dared to come to find him trouble, as for this woman, whether she was dead or alive had little to do with him. Forget it. Casually throwing an energy ball to finish off the goblin, then putting away his staff, he glanced at the ragged woman on the ground and took a step towards the outside of the mine. Wait. Thanks. Thank you for saving me. Seeing Qin Ming leaving, the woman immediately got up and wanted to chase after him, but realized that Qin Ming had already disappeared into the darkness. Darkness can always make people intimidated, the woman covered her clothes and continued to chase after him for a while, but she was stuck on a fork in the road, and could only follow the sound of footsteps, if any, as she traced her way there, only to find that the silhouette had long since disappeared. Qin Ming naturally will not let her follow, can imagine the next may bring a series of trouble, she really can live out, naturally there are opportunities to repay him. The woman who can enter the secret realm at this stage is either lucky and ruthless enough to kill the mutant beasts, or the power behind herself is huge enough. Looking at this woman's appearance, the probability is that she belongs to the latter, so once she can escape, she will certainly be able to find herself through the forces behind her, and at that time, she will also have the basis to formally contact the other side's forces. After the game descends, all sides of the forces, although Wang Guodong is still quite reliable, but he also need to do a few more preparations. Today's incident also counted as a wake-up call for him, the order established in the era of peace was rapidly collapsing, he had to establish new rules as soon as possible, otherwise the subsequent reintegration would be even more troublesome and more people would die. Reincarnated in a new life, he not only wanted to save those he wanted to save, but also hoped to be able to bring the crowd to live a better life, 
so he must be the group of people who make the rules. You ah. Conscience is not dead, under this end of the world cannot live long ah. Memory of the voice rang in his heart, out of the mind Qin Ming looked up at the bright sunshine, cannot help but the corners of his mouth slightly hooked. Old man, what do you say I take out all those people without conscience? Isn't it true that these people with no conscience, will be able to live? Coming out of the mine, Qin Ming directly headed to the middle of the academy. Husbandly was still reading books and sipping tea in the store, feeling a hint of surprise at Qin Ming's sudden arrival. However, when he placed the badge of the novice mystic realm in front of Masterly, the old man stood up in excitement. Which passage did you go to? Li Fuzi asked out loud. What? Was this badge also left inside by your people? Qin Ming asked with a smile. No, but in his hands, it can't be that he took the initiative to hand it over to you, right? Li Fuzi shook his head. Well, I realized that there's really nothing in this secret realm that can be hidden from you. Qin Ming shrugged I did go to that passageway and managed to come back alive. Qin Ming shrugged and took out the time and space treasure pearl and placed it on the table. I met a witch demon in the secret realm, he left me two things, one has already been used up by me, the other is this time and space treasure pearl, I think I might be able to use it when I open that altar in the dark forest later on. Husband Li's eyes moved away from the insignia and took the space-time treasure bead handed over by Qin Ming in his hand, a hint of surprise appearing in his eyes. This bead. Li Fuzi shuddered, his hands holding the bead trembled slightly, and a hint of tears appeared in his eyes, which demon? LV Xiao Kai. Qin Ming quietly looked at him did not say anything, not surprisingly this must also be the village, we live in a village, always know each other or even familiar. Moreover, Li Fuzi called the other party Lu Xiao Kai, I think it is also a person who loves books, with Li Fuzi's friendship must be a little deeper. It was only after a while that husband Li finally got over it and placed the time and space treasure pearl back on the table. It can indeed be of some help, but we were only ordinary people when we were born, and the strength we can exert is very limited, I'm not sure if it will work. Qin Ming nodded, this was something that had been expected, the villagers of Morning Glory Village definitely had other ways to break their limits, and if they held the mentality of fish death, it wasn't like they didn't have a chance to fight. But they never went head to head with the god of death, which meant that they weren't sure either, that's why the witch demon had built that god destroying needle, but unfortunately it had already been used up by Qin Ming. Say, is that passageway still useful? Can you guys still escape through that passageway? Qin Ming asked out loud. However, Li Fu Zi shook his head. You should know if you've entered that passageway, it's merely a passageway leading out of Morning Glory Village, but not a passageway leading out of the mysterious realm, it doesn't mean much to go out or not. Instead of letting us old bones toss it around, it's better to leave it to you. Husbandman Li said, pointing to the secret realm badge on the table. It represents the entry and exit privileges of the entire secret realm, with it you can go in and out of the secret realm at will whenever and wherever you want, no longer subject to any restrictions. Hearing this, Qin Ming's eyes lit up and he took the badge back in his hands. So, I can be promoted to rank 1? And those undead creatures outside of Morning Glory Village are the experience value I'm going to brush up on next? Li Fuzi smiled and nodded, raising his hand and pointing upwards. This is also our last hope, I hope you can lead us to repel the so-called gods. Wish I could have that chance. Qin Ming responded with a smile, taking the secret realm badge back into the item bar. Say, is there a way to create a weapon that has an instant death effect? Qin Ming asked, this type of weapon and his lucky talent could be said to be a perfect match, but it was a pity that he hadn't seen any drops of this type of weapon other than the god extinguishing needle. Instant death effect? Husbandly froze, then Qin Ming told him something about the god extinguishing needle, and the old man lamented when he learned that it had already been used up. For you to come back alive, it's considered a good use of your belongings, otherwise I'm afraid that you wouldn't even be able to bring out this time and space treasure pearl. Husbandman Li spoke out to comfort him. As for the instant death effect you mentioned, you'll have to ask Blacksmith Wang about this, he's the expert in this area. Okay. Then I'll go and nag him. Qin Ming nodded and got up, glancing at the time and space treasure bead on the table without taking it away, I'll leave this bead for you, you'll see when it's appropriate to use it. Finding Wang Blacksmith and telling him about his claim, the result he got was not as expected. The instant death effect already involves the power of rules, it's hard to build it out through forging it can only be enhanced by divinity at a later stage, and it has great limitations. Then how much divine power is needed to forge an imminent death weapon that can fight against divine projections? Qin Ming asked unwillingly, he already had 8 points of divine power and could still afford to consume it. However, Wang Blacksmith's next words caused his face to stiffen, suddenly feeling as if he wasn't so rich anymore. At least 10 points of divine power, right, and the weapon provided itself needs to have a characteristic in this regard to be able to do so, and for that matter, it's still just a probability, I don't dare to guarantee it. Think of something else. Qin Ming pinched his brow and had to put this option on hold for the time being. 
Through his exchange with Wang Blacksmith he already knew the limitations of the immortality attribute, often the immortality attribute that appeared on weapons would limit the occupation level and monster grade, for example, a first rank gold level monster. However, in order to be effective against divine projections, this restriction needed to be lifted through a huge amount of divine power. But now, not to mention that he didn't have enough divine power, even if he didn't have this kind of instant death weapon with restriction, then what the hell? In fact, compared to instant death, the difficulty of weakening is a bit lower, Shou Kai Lu's initial idea was correct, only that I have limited materials here, so I'm afraid I can't create a god-destroying needle whose weakening can reach more than 50%. Blacksmith Wang shook his head inside. What materials do you need? Can I get them for you? How about the Black Tower building materials over in the Land of the Dead? Xin Ming asked. I'm not too sure about the materials over there, why don't you tell me what's over there? Okay. Xin Ming nodded the monsters in the Land of the Undead are mainly based on undead creatures, skeleton skeletons, banshees, necromancers, and so on. The two of them rambled on for a long time, and in the end, Wang Blacksmith asked him to bring back the boss materials of the three large black towers, which might be able to be used. As for the others, the levels were too low, and even if they could be built, it would be difficult to have an effect on the divine projection. Coming out of the blacksmith store, Xin Ming went back to the wine shop to have a good sleep, and then started preparing for his profession advancement challenge. Previously, he hadn't been able to level up to 10 because he was worried about the quest at hand, but now that he could stay in the newcomer's secret realm indefinitely, he could also level up earlier. There are only three levels of difficulty for the rank 0 to rank 1 profession challenge, easy, normal, and difficult, which are to single-handedly challenge a rank 10 normal, bronze, and silver monster respectively. Xin Ming murmured as he looked at his challenge option. This option had always existed since he was level 9 with full experience, it was just that he didn't dare to click on it before, once he selected the difficulty, he would wear teleported into the alien space and fight against the monster of his choice. If you win, you successfully advance, if you lose, you fail the challenge, your level 9 experience value is zeroed out, and there is a 1 month cooldown. The second failure has a 1 year cooldown, the third 5 years, and the fourth 10 years. In addition to the regular career growth, there will be an additional 1 point of full attribute growth for easy difficulty, and 3 points for normal difficulty, plus an additional 0. 5 life growth. But with my strength, it's only natural that I should choose the difficult level. After only a split second of thought, Xin Ming chose the difficulty level challenge without hesitation. The pulling force of space appeared, and soon after, he felt a blackness before his eyes, and when he recovered again, he had already appeared on top of a ring, surrounded by a misty white fog. In front of him, there was a dense white fog converging, and a huge beast-shaped body was condensing. Roar! The sound of a beast roar rang out, and a huge lizard with a body length of nearly 10 meters appeared in front of Qin Ming. An earth dragon? A sub-dragon species? It seems that this first rank silver level monster isn't easy to find. Qin Ming laughed lightly. Silver level monsters were different from bosses, representing the growth of the race rather than the individual, as in the case of bronze level stitch monsters, even without a boss template, they were far stronger than normal monsters. Earth dragons, on the other hand, were large lizards with a meager dragon bloodline, not to mention the dragon race, even many sub-dragon species didn't recognize their identity and bloodline, but it was undeniable that they were powerful, or at least they were already far beyond most monsters. Disgusting reptiles. The summoned Gabriel had a disgusted look on his face, just because the angels befriended the dragons didn't mean that they could look at these filthy creatures of lower bloodlines. Then let's end this boring trial early. Qin Ming laughed. The trial of rank zero was just that, there was no difficulty to speak of yet, to put it bluntly, it was just a benefit for the players, the highest was only the difficulty level, the later advancement but there were also the levels of purgatory and abyss, that was really difficult. Yes. Gabriel nodded, directly swung his wings and rushed up, and with three swords, he finished off this powerful earth dragon. Congratulations, you have successfully passed the profession advancement trial, difficult, your profession level has been raised to first rank, and your personal level has been raised to level 10. Congratulations, your career level has been raised to first rank, the career core has changed, please check it yourself. Congratulations, your career level has been raised to first rank, player talent has changed, please check it yourself. A series of system prompts sounded in his head, however, without waiting for him to check, his vision changed and he had already re-entered the room of the liquor store. Really, didn't say to stay a little longer to check the attributes, bad review. Qin Ming cursed and lay back on the bed, consulting his attribute panel. Feeling the warmth constantly surging within his body, Qin Ming looked at his attributes with satisfaction. Passing the difficult level trial had allowed him to obtain 5 points of full attribute bonus, which was an attribute point that an ordinary player would have to ascend 2 or 3 levels to obtain. Of course, this point of attributes was considered dispensable to him, and it was the increase in qualifications that really made his heart flutter. 
Compared to level zero, his attribute growth at this time finally had a bit of the appearance of a legal profession, with life and mana qualifications reaching one point, double defense qualification zero, five, and spell strength qualification reaching three points. In addition, each upgrade will also increase the life value and mana value by an additional 20 points, which makes the survivability of the legal profession has been greatly improved. Not only that, the difficult level trial had additionally boosted his life qualification by zero, five and spell qualification by one point, which combined made his attributes instantly skyrocket. The blood quantity has broken 5,000, and the spell strength has even reached more than 1,100 points. Even a real elemental mage won't be able to match me, right? Qin Ming thought excitedly in his heart, this attribute was already far beyond the level of a first rank player, even a normal second rank player couldn't compare to him. And this, was only the attributes when wearing zero order equipment, when he changed into a first order equipment, this body's attributes would have to take another leap forward. But compared to the attributes and qualifications, the last reward is the most important, an additional summoning art learning field. Qin Ming muttered as he looked at the extra empty summoning art field in the skill bar. The rewards that different professions received when they passed a difficult level or higher advancement trial were all different, such as the elemental mage's elemental affinity of their choice, the summoner's summoning art bar, the warrior's rage value cap, and so on, but all of them could be said to be of vital importance. The most important thing for the summoner is the summoning spell bar, which is still the same number of summoning spell bars gained by ascending from order 0 to order 1, and choosing a different difficulty when advancing in subsequent professions. The 5 summoned beasts per rank was only calculated according to the maximum value that ordinary summoners could achieve, for most ordinary people, being able to pass simple or ordinary trials, obtaining 1 to 2 summoning bars was already the top of the sky. In that case, it would be a good idea to go and learn the Nightmare Knight summoning technique, but I'll have to ask the owner of the liquor store for help in processing the necrotic fruit to boost some of my own dark elemental affinity. Xin Ming thought in his mind and wrote this down, then looked at his profession core and talents. The change in the lucky talent was not much, but the looting talent had been refreshed, and the first order looting talent could once again loot 300 attribute points, which didn't seem like much, but the 0th order to the first order itself was only a transitional stage, and to have 500 total attribute points was already very exaggerated. As for the occupation core, although it didn't allow him to perform another destiny summoning, after rank 1, all summons would enjoy an additional 10% bonus to his spiritual attributes. This bonus was considered dispensable for him, not only was it limited to the spiritual attribute, but it also had to be divided equally among the five attributes of the summoned beasts, and with his more than 200 points of spiritual power, the increase in each attribute was less than 5 points. Tasteless and unfavorable, chicken ribs. Sighing, he shook his head, his divine profession core was only this much, others could be imagined. Just relying on so many dozens of attributes, with the minimum 2% mental power bonus of the mortal grade vocational core, I'm afraid that it can't even raise one point of attributes. But Gabriel's qualification boost as well as talent activation is good news. After being promoted to become a first rank summoner, Gabriel's castrated version of his attribute qualification was also completely repaired. Not only was the life qualification raised to 5 points, the attack qualification and mana strength qualification were also raised to 4 points in tandem, which allowed Gabriel's blood quantity to break through 20,000 in a single breath, while his attack power also reached over 2,000 points. Through the Destiny Summoning's Profession Core, he learned that the qualifications of Destiny Summoners increased with the level of the Profession Core. Don't look at Gabrielle's total qualifications at this point, but as her career level increased, her strength even had the possibility of surpassing a divine product. Not to mention that her current growth value of 100 points and the activation of her racial talent were enough to make up for the lack of qualifications. Angel's body, increases one's affinity for the light element by 10 asterisk professional level asterisk professional level, increases the damage of light based skills by 100% asterisk professional level, and increases damage against darkness, undead, and abyssal creatures by 100% asterisk professional level, and automatically masters the common light based skills under the current professional level. At first rank, it's a boost of 10 points of light elemental affinity, as well as a 100% damage boost when facing dark creatures. There's also the mastery of light system skills, so it's not like we're finally going to have to go up and slash hard in addition to the angelic sword. Right, angelic sword. Qin Ming suddenly remembered, and his eyes looked towards Gabriel's skill bar, and sure enough, a few commonly used skills had also changed, advanced to be precise. The base damage value of the angel sword was raised to 5000 points, while the base damage of the sword of punishment was raised to 200 points, and at the same time, the increase in mana strength and attack power attached to both of these two skills had both reached 2x. Not only that, the increase effect of the status type skill Sword of Holy Flame was also doubled, so it could be said that Gabriel's actual combat ability had increased greatly. 
Most importantly, there were a whole bunch of extra light system skills, there were melee fighting skills, long range magic skills, and auxiliary class status and recovery skills. This is a true hexagonal warrior. Qin Ming exclaimed, and became more excited about the subsequent summoning of fate. After understanding his current overall strength, Qin Ming closed the attribute panel and took out the equipment he had prepared long ago, piece by piece. After destroying so many black towers, although it wasn't enough for him to replace it with a gold grade equipment, silver grade was properly enough. In addition to the platinum grade, enlightenment staff, there was also a gold grade, soul robe, and a pair of gold grade, nightmare pants, and then the silver grade, prayer bracelet, and, necromancy ring. As for the other parts of the equipment, they were all zero rank gold grade equipment, with attributes not much different from one rank silver grade, and there were also a lot more rare equipment skills or characteristics, so for the time being there was no need to replace them. As for the most precious platinum grade, ring of death, pseudo, due to the lack of dark elemental affinity it cannot be worn for the time being, waiting for the owner of the liquor store to blend the tiger bone wine and raise the elemental affinity up before he can put it on. With a blood volume of 7000 and a double defense of over 150, I should be meatier than most shield warriors now, right? Qin Ming nodded with satisfaction and got up to walk out of the room. Finding the owner of the liquor store, he asked him to help melt the Yin underworld fruit and death spirit fruit into the tiger bone wine. Tiger bone wine's medicinal effect is most rigid in yang, it is indeed possible to use it to neutralize the toxicity in the Yin underworld fruit and death spirit fruit, but I'm afraid that there will be some damage to both of their medicinal effects, so you have to be mentally prepared. The owner of the liquor store reminded. It's fine, my main purpose is to raise the affinity of the dark element, I don't care too much about attribute enhancement. He wouldn't lack divine power this time, being able to raise his strength up as soon as possible was the key. That's fine, it's a pity that there's no alchemist in the village, otherwise there would be a way to perfectly remove the toxicity from it without using the tiger bone wine, nowadays we can only make do with what we've got. The owner of the wine shop shook his head with a regretful expression and began to re-refine the tiger bone wine. Soon a cup of grayish white, even bubbling medicinal wine appeared in front of him, not only did it not have a trace of the tiger bone wine's fragrance, it even emanated the putrid stench of a corpse. Not to mention drinking it, just smelling it would make one nauseous. You, are you sure this is really okay? Qin Ming asked uncertainly, his eyes already looking towards the attributes of the wine pot. Tiger bone medicinal wine, holy product. All attributes plus 10, double defense plus 50, life limit plus 1000, dark elemental affinity plus 25, life and death attribute affinity plus 10, perception minus 5, luck minus 1. The dark elemental affinity you requested is definitely there, but I can't guarantee the rest, after all, if it wasn't for the tempering of the divine power, it would be impossible for these three herbs to be mixed and refined together. The owner of the liquor store said with a helpless face. Alright, this negative effect, it's still acceptable. Qin Ming bristled, one point of luck value and five points of perception, he could still afford to deduct. Picking up the cup of poisonous tiger bone wine, Qin Ming closed his eyes and directly smothered it in one mouthful. In a flash, a disgusting putrid odor exploded in his mouth, just like swallowing a piece of rotting meat full of maggots, the impact of his taste buds made him almost vomit. Luckily, thinking of the medicinal herbs inside as well as the value of the divinity, he tightly covered his mouth and forcefully swallowed back the nausea in his mouth. The coldness instantly spread throughout his body, making him feel as if he had lost consciousness like a walking corpse, sinking in the endless darkness. When the touch of his body regained, it was already an hour later. Who? This stuff is really not for people to drink. Qin Ming panted heavily, feeling the taste in his mouth persistently evaporate. The owner of the liquor store had already left, and a cup of pre-prepared warm water was placed on the table. Qin Ming was not polite, he picked it up and drank it ton after ton, only then did he feel the taste in his mouth fade a bit. Next time, I will never drink this kind of potion again. Qin Ming secretly resolved in his heart that he would definitely not drink any future potions that did not have the taste of happy water. The good thing was that the effect of the enhancement was without compromise, not only did his attributes receive a huge boost, but his dark elemental affinity also managed to increase to 25 points, satisfying the qualifications to learn how to summon undead knights. Not only that, but also obtained the rare life attribute and death attribute affinity which is a more advanced attribute than the regular elements, the death attribute can even directly replace the dark element in many cases, but also some rare and powerful skills to learn the necessary conditions. After sorting out the harvest from his advancement, Qin Ming walked out of the liquor store. Finding Wang Wodong's contact, he handed over a portion of all the things he couldn't use. He then rode the firebird and once again traveled to the land of the undead. No matter what, the black tower in the land of the undead had to be destroyed, it was a key building for summoning undead creatures to the blue star. Moreover, if he wanted to continue upgrading, he couldn't do so without the huge number of monsters here, after all, there were no level 10 or higher monsters in the dark forest for him to upgrade. 
Little ones, out to work. Re-entering the area, Jin Ming released all of his summoned beasts, and Wang Kai instantly pounced towards him, its saliva-filled tongue instantly licking across his body. You go away. Go away ah. Haven't rinsed your mouth for a few days? Just licking around here? Xin Ming's good mood was immediately lost to the licking, and with a disgusted face, he pushed Wang Kai away from him so that it could go and play with the undead creatures. Wu Wang Kai ran away with an aggrieved face, his master must be hungry, otherwise why would he let it go and play with those skeletons? He himself must have to pick some fresh bones back for his master. Compared to Wang Kai, the other summoned beasts were much more normal, the jungle giant ape was pounding its chest and roaring, the green mulberry butterfly and the firebird were flying happily, as for the fire elemental elf, who had the highest level of spiritual intelligence, she was just sitting on his shoulder and giggling, apparently his interaction with Wang Kai was very amusing in her opinion. After sending the summoned beasts away, he then summoned Gabriel. Master. Gabriel greeted softly, she could feel her surging strength. You go and practice as well, just in time to brush up on your leveling. Xin Ming said with a smile, with the increase in her attributes, Gabriel needed a little time to adapt to the new attributes. Okay. Then you take care of yourself. Gabriel nodded in response and joined the group of monster brushing. On the other hand, Xin Ming, who had nothing to do, took out a few skill books, these were first rank summoner skill books, capable of increasing the effect of summoned beasts to a certain extent. Damage deepening, increases the damage dealt by a summoned beast by 100 points plus spiritual strength asterisk 1, duration is spiritual strength asterisk 1 second. Shelter, causes the damage dealt to one summoned beast to be reduced by 10 points plus spiritual power asterisk 0. 5. Duration is spiritual power asterisk 1 second. Both are first rank bronze level skills, the effects are also applied to summoned beasts, the base cooldown is 10 minutes, and consumes 100 points of mana. By ascending to rank 1, one was considered a full-fledged professional player, and thus was able to master some basic professional skills, while summoners naturally strengthened their summoned beasts through various skills. Don't look at these two skills are only bronze level, but the strengthening effect is still very obvious, at least with Qin Ming's spiritual power, it is still no problem to raise hundreds of points of damage and defense, this bonus is already enough to make ordinary players feel despair. In addition to these two status type skills, he also took out that Undead Knight Summoning Book, along with the Platinum Grade Skill Upgrade Scroll. Even if the Firebird advances to Platinum Grade, it's nothing more than an additional Fire Elemental Elf-like output, but what I'm really lacking at the moment is a front row unit that can stand up. Qin Ming thought in his mind and chose to learn it after just a split second of thinking, then used the Skill Upgrade Scroll to upgrade it to Platinum Level. Summon Death Knight, Platinum Level. Description, summons a powerful Death Knight to assist in battle. Summon Beast Qualification, Life Qualification, 12, Attack Qualification, 7, Legal Qualification, 2, Defense Qualification, 4, Legal Defense Qualification, 3, Speed Qualification, 2. Summoned Beast Growth, 40. Talent Skills, Charge, Level 1, Gun Mastery, Level 2, Blood Sacrifice, Level 3, Undead Revival, Level 4, Death Entanglement, Level 4, Soul Shield, Level 5. Racial talent, undead body, immune to regular poison damage, unaware of fatigue, unaware of pain, recovery speed increased by 100%, physical defense increased by 20%. Summoning consumption, 500 points of mana, each additional one consumes an additional 300 points of mana, maintaining the summoning does not consume any additional mana. Casting time, fives, cooldown time, 20 minutes. This qualification, a proper meat shield type profession. Qin Ming sighed in his heart and immediately chose to perform the summoning. In a flash, the black fog around him coalesced, and two death knights wearing black armor and riding on dead warhorses walked out of the fog. There was a blue soul fire shining under their helmets, and the black battle armor exuded a palpitating aura of death. Xin Ming couldn't help but shiver and looked at the lance held in his opponent's hand, his heart celebrating. Luckily this is my summoned beast. And this necromancy ring is quite useful. Looking at the ring worn on his hand, a rank 0 death knight could only summon one out, but he wore a silver ranked necromancy ring on his hand allowing him to summon an extra one of his undead creatures. As the skill level increased, the effect of this ring wouldn't be of much use, but when the skill level was still low, one would directly turn into two, double the battle power and double the joy. You guys go and practice leveling as well. Cheer up. Watch out for you guys. Qin Ming waved his hand towards the two death knights, allowing them to join in the ranks of the leveling team as well. However, the only thing that responded to him was an icy turn as the two death knights rushed into the pile of monsters without looking back. How high and mighty. Qin Ming bristled and felt at ease as he touched the fish, flinging a few auxiliary skills at the summoned beasts from time to time to boost their skill proficiency. It had to be said that the Death Knight's attributes were truly top-notch. Its own attributes were already extremely terrifying, and the Ring of Death also boosted the full attributes of the undead summoned beasts by 
causing the Death Knight's blood level to directly soar to over 28,000 points, and its attack power to reach over 1,700 points. Even so, under the enhancement of the undead body, his defense directly soared to 1,200 points, along with more than 1,000 legal defense, allowing him to kill at will in the pile of monsters, no one was able to break the defense at all. The most important thing was the tireless nature of the undead creatures, which made him not know what tiredness was, and he could kill monsters for days and nights without stopping. Suddenly, I feel that undead creatures are the best workers. It doesn't matter if it's 007 every day. Xin Ming sighed. After advancing to rank 1, he was finally able to regain his experience value. Not only that, but with the summoned beasts killing each other, his looting talent was once again starting to come into play. In the course of an afternoon, all 300 points of his attributes were stacked up, and that was when he killed his first hard kill under a black tower, and all the undead creatures along the way were swept away. This black tower given a push down should be able to be upgraded. Qin Ming, who was riding on Wang Kai, looked at his experience value, then with a wave of his right hand, all the summon creatures immediately charged towards the black tower. Roar! The huge-sized suture monster rushed out from the black tower, yet this time, it could no longer pose a threat to Qin Ming. Kill! Without waiting for Gabriel to make a move, the two death knights were already the first to rush forward, and the lances in their hands pierced into the body of the suture monster with a poof sound, spilling out a large amount of green rotting liquid. To other summoned beasts, the corrosive liquid was full of toxicity, but it couldn't affect the two death knights at all, and the lances in their hands were thrown out without the slightest pause, and each of them overturned the two huge suture monsters on the ground. Boom! Boom! Two fireballs descended from the sky as the firebird and fire elemental elf harvested the two suture monsters with one fireball each. The speed was so fast that even the suture monsters behind them hadn't even rushed closer before they realized that the path in front of them had been cleared out. Bashful. Qin Ming sat on Wang Kai's back, idly following behind the death knights as he slowly walked towards the middle of the black tower. The two death knights almost BT-like defense power made the monsters in the black tower simply helpless, the vast majority of them were unable to break through the defense, and the small amount of forced blood loss was also quickly recovered by the green mulberry butterfly. If it wasn't for the fact that they didn't have powerful offensive skills yet, just these three summoned beasts would be enough to slaughter the entire black tower. Undead souls that have turned their backs on the god of death, you should not survive. The necromancer's angry voice rang out as a large number of undead creatures surged towards Qin Ming's side. Die! Low voices rang out from under the helmets of the two death knights, the gun-wielding ones picking off the skeleton monsters in front of them almost one by one, although they couldn't manage to kill them in seconds due to the limitations of their attack power, they did manage to stop these undead creatures from charging. Holy light is above. Purify the darkness. Gabriel at the back was quite a bit more relaxed this time, preparing his angelic sword with peace of mind. More dazzling than ever, holy light descended from the sky, and all the undead creatures except the necromancers were purified, these dark creatures didn't even manage to leave behind a single corpse. No! You blasphemers! The necromancer roared in rage as he looked at the destroyed spell formations on the ground, yet it was answered by the barrage of fireballs from the fire elemental elves. Boom! 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 The familiar series of fireballs, one after another, exploded on the undead mage's body, and the tens of thousands of points of total damage caused its blood level to instantly bottom out. Boom! Without waiting for him to return to his senses, another huge fireball exploded in his face, and the only blood remaining was instantly emptied. Without even having time to give his last words, he shattered into a pile of bone crumbs, bursting out a large amount of equipment and materials for Qin Ming. The necromancer had a total of just over 20,000 life value, and was directly knocked down by over 10,000 under the holy light attack of the angel's sword. The fire elemental elf's mana strength was as high as over 4,000 points, and the consecutive fireballs plus explosive fireballs easily harvested away his remaining life value. The necromancer boss that Qin Ming had once almost left behind was now able to easily kill it in seconds as he had raised it to rank 1. TSK. 30 years east of the river, 30 years west of the river, don't kid yourself. Qin Ming shook his head and sighed with a smug look on his face as his level was raised to level 11. While collecting the necromancer's drop, he looked at his newly acquired 5 free attribute points. After level 1, the attribute points for each level would no longer be automatically assigned, but rather the right to assign them would be given to the players themselves. Most law professions would choose to primarily add intelligence and spirit, which would affect their combat power and range. However, Qin Ming chose to go against the norm and add points evenly after thinking about it, with the core of the profession of destiny summoning in place, this way of adding points would maximize its benefits. As for the mental strength attribute that summoners need, with the looting talent, I'll be lacking attributes? Joke. Coming out of the black tower, Qin Ming didn't rush to the next black tower, but instead found a place where there were no monsters to rest. Although the death knight wouldn't get tired, the armor and weapons on his body would still wear out as well, 
needing a bit of time to absorb the dead chi for recovery, and the summoned beasts such as Gabriel also needed to rest. Maybe it's time to take another look in the large black tower. Qin Ming said as he looked at his skyrocketing attributes. In one afternoon's time, he had already maxed out his looting talent, boosting his attributes by 300 points in one breath, and both he and the summoned beasts had once again received a huge boost in strength. The area that had him stumped was still his side's group attack ability. Although the Death Knight was strong, it was ultimately only a melee meat shield type summon beast, and the fire elemental elf summoning technique was not leveled up enough to support her in mastering more fire spells, so the only thing that could swarm the monsters was still the fire bird's fire rain technique. The undead creatures near the large black tower are endless, the key is that there are also flying ones in the sky, if you can't swarm monsters, you will definitely be engulfed by them. Qin Ming pondered in his mind. Why don't we just kill our way in bit by bit from the periphery? On the one hand, it's safe, on the other hand, it's also possible to brush up on the summon beast's proficiency, if you can raise the summon fire elemental elf to level 3 to master firewall, then won't the group attack ability be up? Making up his mind, Xin Ming rode on Wang Kai's back and began to approach over towards the nearest large dark tower. A large number of dead bone birds flew around the periphery of this darkness, a kind of undead creature that looks similar to a vulture, with only a small amount of flesh and skin attached to their bodies to maintain what they needed to fly. But in reality, withered bone birds are also considered a kind of skeleton, except that they are basically in the form of beasts, and the ability to master flight, the core of which is the soul fire in the cranium. Soul fire extinguished is the end of life. There's no rush, fight for a while and take a break, and explore the bottom of these undead creatures in the meantime. Xin Ming said as he looked at the swarms of birds that surrounded the black tower in the distance in a dark swarm. The closer he got to the large black tower, the denser the undead creatures he encountered would be, and those withered bone birds were the sentries guarding the outside of the large black tower, he didn't want to run into these things yet. Just think of himself as an ordinary player who had come over to practice leveling, trying frantically to test the edge of danger. Ah, it's good to spend the night here tonight, even though it's a bit noisy. Finding a giant rock, Xin Ming stretched his back and directly started setting up camp. Without the goblin Dharma ring, he had to do all these trivial things himself, he couldn't count on that stupid forest giant ape, could he? It was lucky that it wasn't afraid to tear down the tent. The undead creatures near the large black tower were refreshing at a fast rate, and if he was willing to deliberately control it a bit, he could even find a suitable location and use this place as a perpetual motion machine for brushing experience. In fact he was in the process of doing just that. Packing up all his things, he took out a rocking chair and lay down, watching in peace as the summoned beasts fought with the undead creatures below. This rock had a height of 2 to 3 meters, ordinary undead creatures couldn't climb up at all, if there were really 2 meter tall undead appearing, such a conspicuous package would have been killed by Gabriel and the others. Summon fire elemental elf is already at level 2, wanting to rise to level 3 is definitely impossible, it's better to summon death knight to level 1 first. Xin Ming thought as he looked at his skill proficiency. A level 1 death knight, together with the ring of death, could not only summon 3 of them in one breath, but also master the skill of charge, which would be very useful when the time came whether it was to kill the enemy or to return to defense for support. Ultimately, it's going to depend on the Firebird. I wonder if there will be any changes when I upgrade it to Platinum level? Xin Ming fought thoughtfully and waved the Enlightenment Staff in his hand, and hot flames immediately rose up on the body of the Firebird. Chirp the cries of the Firebird came from the sky, rolling waves of heat poured out, and the light of the flames illuminated the nearby sky, even attracting the attention of some of the withered birds in the distance. Strong! Xin Ming looked at the attributes of the Firebird with an excited expression on his face. The Enlightenment Staff came with an Enlightenment skill that was able to briefly raise the grade of a summoned beast by one. The Gold Grade Firebird was instantly raised to Platinum Grade. Not only was its mana strength raised to over 4000 points, it had also mastered the Flame Body skill in advance. At this time, the entire Firebird was already truly as if it was composed of flames, and one could even see the sky on the other side through the tumbling flames. Chirp the Rain of Fire poured down once again, with an area the size of two soccer fields, all undead creatures died when they touched it. The flame body boosted the firebird's fire spell damage by 100%, coupled with the spell strength of more than 4000 points at this point, these ordinary undead creatures couldn't withstand the rain of fire, soon a large area of open space was cleared, the ground was full of burned corpses, which were emanating a foul odor. The damage is enough, but it only lasts for one minute, which means there's only one wave of fire rain, losing the boost from the flame body, it won't be so easy to do a second kill and the 10 minute cooldown is also a problem. Qin Ming thought in his mind. Small black towers could grant thousands of points of life value bonus to nearby undead creatures, the large black towers here would only have a higher bonus, with the firebird spell strength of more than 2000 points, it was basically impossible to do a spike, and wanting to swarm undead creatures on a wide scale was still not very realistic. Master, why don't you let me do it? 
let the Firebird cooperate with Little Yen, go in and directly kill the boss in seconds. Gabriel stood by his side and proposed, yet Qin Ming shook his head. We still don't know what's going on in the Black Tower, there are at least three floors from the outside, who knows how many monsters are inside. Who knows how many monsters are in there and where the real boss is. It's better to honestly clean up from the periphery, at least if we really have to encounter danger, we at least have a way back. But the undead creatures over here are refreshing very quickly, I'm afraid that we can't brush them alone. It's fine, just take it as practicing, we still have time, if we really can't, the big deal is to find those NPCs to help out, this is after all Morning Glory Village's business, we can't just contribute. Qin Ming said. The passage from the mine to the outside has already been opened by him, I believe that those NPCs are already able to come and go freely, they may not be able to directly destroy these black towers, but just help him clean up some of the peripheral undead creatures is certainly not a problem. At this time, the opening of the newcomer's secret realm was less than two weeks, he could still brush up on this side for about half a month, not to mention raising the summon firebird to level 5 to master the body of flame, at least raising the summon fire elemental elf to level 3 to master the wall of fire was certainly not a problem. If one was lucky enough to have their skill proficiency grow fast enough to level up to level 4 to master the truly wide range fire type advanced spell fiery storm, then the entire situation would be completely reversed. Since that's the case, I'll continue leading them to brush the monsters. Gabriel nodded. Go on, remember not to get too tired, we're in no hurry. Qin Ming comforted. The next time was just as Qin Ming said, he really felt at ease here brushing up his experience value, and didn't move away for two whole days, until the third day when he was really bored with the summoned beasts, and only then did he take the summoned beasts to brush up a few small black towers. These black towers were going to be destroyed anyway, it was just a matter of sooner or later. In three days, his level had only risen to level 12, the experience value needed to upgrade was increasing, to be able to have this kind of upgrading speed was already very scary, most people after the first rank, the time needed for each level up was to be counted on a weekly and monthly basis. Therefore, Qin Ming was not in a hurry, so he brushed at ease until another week had passed, and with the summon Death Knight having risen to level 3 as well, it was only then that he finally decided to make a move on the large black tower in front of him. The level 3 summon Death Knight, together with the Ring of Death was able to summon 7 Death Knights out in one breath, and had already begun to take on the scale of a cavalry squad. One should know that in the ancient western countries, an elite cavalry squad was only about 5 people, which was enough to deal with a team of dozens of bandits. In addition to that, all the other summoned beasts had also risen to level 3 or above, and the bronze level forest giant ape had even risen to level 4, but unfortunately, this one's grade was too low, and even if it had risen to level 4, it would still be cannon fodder, and wouldn't be of much use. I still need to find a skill scroll back some other day, so I can at least raise it to silver level. Qin Ming skimmed his lips and looked at the vast array of summoned creatures in front of him, finally having that hint of a summoned army. Departure. Let's go and see just how many undead creatures this large black tower has. Waving the enlightenment staff in his hand, another fire elemental elf was summoned by him, and the entire group, with the death knight squad as the vanguard, rushed in the direction of the large black tower. Kill. The death knight's cold and murderous voice echoed in the air, and wherever the gunblade went, the undead creatures along the way were sent flying and crushed. Boom. Boom. The two fire elemental elves were also too lazy to fly, directly sitting on the head of a death knight's horse each, waving their hands, an explosive fireball exploded like a missile in the monster group. The level 3 fire elemental elf spell strength had reached nearly 6000 points as their qualifications increased, and with their own flame body, each fireball could explode tens of thousands of points of damage as it smashed down. And even if the surrounding splash damage was only 30%, that was still up to over 3000 points, it was simply not something these ordinary undead creatures could resist. Al the forest wolf king howled in the back, providing everyone with their own status boosts, and Qin Ming was constantly boosting the two status skills of damage deepening and defense strengthening. With the reaper's ring soul reaping trait, these two skills could almost be said to have no cooldown time, and they were soon added to all the summoned beasts. The attacks and defenses of the crowd were once again boosted, and the entire team shot towards the black tower like a stringed arrow. GA. 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 As Qin Ming and the others continued to approach, those withered bone birds that surrounded the vicinity of the Black Tower finally discovered the abnormality over here. Lo, hoarse cries echoed in the sky, and a swarm of them rushed over towards Qin Ming and the others. Chirp the fire bird cried in the sky. It was the first to come into contact with the dead bone birds, and a scorching rain of fire instantly descended from the sky, and although it couldn't manage to kill them in seconds, it did cause the group of dead bone birds to suddenly give a sudden lurch in their swooping momentum. Hiss these withered bone birds, they have spirit type attacks. Qin Ming rubbed his swollen head and looked at his rapidly decreasing blood volume for a moment of fear. If it wasn't for the firebird interrupting with his hand, he and the many summoned beasts were afraid that they would have been killed in seconds without even realizing it under the screeching sound. Kill. 
Gabrielle droned out, dazzling holy light descended from the sky, in a critical situation she directly used her strongest angelic sword, the withered bone birds flying in the sky were purified and faded under the illumination of the holy light. There was a brief moment of clearness and clarity in the sky, but as the holy light dispersed, the depth and darkness of the universe was restored. Kill inside. Qin Ming ordered. Although the dead bone birds had been temporarily killed and dispersed, they would soon gather again, and he couldn't give them such an opportunity, or else he wouldn't even know how he would end up dying. The group of dead bone birds united screaming attack was too terrifying, although the individual damage was not high, it could surprisingly be stacked infinitely, and there was also a certain control effect. Definitely don't let them converge again. Xin Ming shouted. Gabriel and the firebird flew back and forth in the air, constantly impacting the formation of wither birds that wanted to converge over. The two fire elemental elves that were originally sitting on the death knight's horses had similarly flew, and their targets were no longer ground units, but instead turned to the air, prioritizing the dead bone birds that were preparing to converge over. Losing the fire support, the pressure on the death knights increased quite a bit, but the momentum of the squad's charge had been established, and these ordinary white bone skeletons couldn't stop the seven death knights from advancing at all. Roar! As Qin Ming and the others continued to approach towards the large black tower, the other undead creatures near the black tower also took action. The first to take the brunt of the action were those huge suture monsters, these huge undead creatures that were responsible for guarding the gates and the small black towers were just wandering around like ordinary wild monsters here, and they didn't even have the qualifications to enter inside the black towers. Kill! 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 The Death Knight squad roared lowly, and soon collided with these suture monsters, and the green corrosive liquid filled with toxicity splashed out in all directions, almost tearing them into a ground of broken corpses in a single glance. But the huge size of the sewing monster is a problem, they are even called the existence of war weapons among the undead creatures. The charging formation of the Death Knights was shaken and gradually stopped. Losing the powerful impact brought about by the charge, the Death Knight's own attack power was not strong, and the entire team suddenly stopped as if they were deep in the mire and could only keep killing in the siege of countless undead creatures. Oh Wang Kai kept pouncing, one after another undead creature was bitten by it, but its range of movement was getting smaller and smaller, if it wasn't for Qin Ming assisting from the side, I'm afraid that the two of them would have already been hacked and killed by random swords. The Death Knight squad in front of them wasn't much better, they even took a lot of damage that far exceeded that of the bowmen and spells, and if it wasn't for the skill blood sacrifice that they had comprehended after leveling up to level 3, I'm afraid that even higher blood and defense wouldn't be able to hold them up. Blood sacrifice was a passive skill that allowed the death knights to attach a certain blood sucking effect to their attacks, and at the same time increase their own life recovery speed, along with their own high defense, which allowed them to hold out. This won't work, the undead creatures near the large black tower refresh extremely quickly, staying here will only be dragged to death. Xin Ming's heart felt a hint of anxiety, and after looking up at the sky, he still chose to call down the firebird. We can't get through on the ground, let's take the air. Xin Ming shouted towards Gabriel and the others, and Wang Kai leapt up on his body, just in time to be caught by the swooping down firebird. The staff was then waved, dispatching all the summons on the ground, sitting on the back of the firebird and charging directly towards the black tower. The difference between a large black tower and a small black tower was still too great, the wide wa coverage area and the fast monster brushing speed made it impossible for him to clear all the way through like he did with the small black towers, directly airborne was the only option. As for these withered bone birds that were born, the fire elemental elves and Gabriel would definitely not let them converge, and a small number of withered bone birds could not pose a threat to him at all. Chirp the fire birds swept through the air and flew over towards the black tower to approach it. Enter from the topmost floor, let's kill down in the reverse direction. Qin Ming ordered. The black tower had a total of three floors, and since the building was large, some of the sites in each floor could be roughly seen after getting closer. Other than the bottom layer which had a large number of undead creatures walking around, the top two layers were actually relatively empty, with only a small number of necromancers in them. And on the topmost third layer, apart from the occasional undead mages walking around, there was also a skeleton of such a huge size that just looking at it caused one to feel a coolness rise from one's heart. Who is it? Disturbing the slumber of the great skeleton dragon, Stevens? Without waiting for Qin Ming to take a closer look, a heavy and majestic voice already sounded in his ears. Skeleton dragon? Xin Ming's heart was startled as the huge skeleton in the third floor of the black tower unexpectedly moved, and a huge dragon head glowing with ghostly blue soul fire poked out, its breath looking at Qin Ming with an icy coldness. Should we be so far-fetched? A first-rank skeleton dragon? Should I say that the god of death is a big deal, or should I say that you're a good enough cook? Xin Ming said subconsciously, but it was good that the distance was too far, so this should not have been heard by the other party. The skeleton dragon was also considered to be a serious dragon creature, at least it was a fourth order starting point, but in the end, he actually ran into a first order one here. How can you be a dish? The bottom is also there, 
two meters of the big man can really rely on the bone shrinkage and a half a meter high doll not? No matter how much of a dish is not to this extent, right? Must be the god of death's tampering, in order to let it come to assist in stationing a large black tower. It's alright, if it wasn't too much of a dish for a skeleton dragon, it wouldn't have been arranged to come here by suppressing its strength. Gabriel, who had just come to his side, heard this and immediately spoke out in response. Eh? Nothing wrong with it, it's just a bit solid. Qin Ming bristled as the other party's attributes had appeared in his line of sight. Skeleton Giant Dragon, Stevens, Gold Grade. Level, 19. Life, 125, 600 slash 125, 600, Mana, 6720 slash 6720. Attack Power, 1512, Spell Strength, 1512. Defense, 616, Spell Defense, 616. Talent Skill, Dragon Body, Life Value Increased by 100%, Damage Received Reduced by 50%. Skills, Dragon's Might, Tail Throw, Frost Spit, Wind of Apocalypse. Hiss that's a nasty headache. Seeing this attribute, Qin Ming couldn't help but pinch his brow. With this amount of blood, it's almost catching up to the deity projection in the mind secret realm. But they're a deity, you're just a rookie skeleton dragon. The only thing to be thankful for was that this skeleton dragon named Stevens did not have the same desperate attack and defense as the deity projection, otherwise he would definitely turn around and run, never turning back. You two pad back and stop those withered bone birds, I'll go meet this him. Gabriel shouted towards the two fire elemental elves, his wings flapped and he accelerated towards the center of the black tower. Be careful. Qin Ming loudly reminded that the third floor wasn't just this skeleton dragon, there were still quite a few necromancers around who were building spell formations. Find a place to put me down, Gabriel can't do it alone. Qin Ming patted the fire bird underneath him and landed on the edge of the three-tiered black tower. At this time, Gabriel had already fought with the skeleton dragon, and with Qin Ming's level and attributes rising, Gabriel's blood quantity had also broken through 30,000 points, and his attack power had even reached 2,600 points. With the angel's body's enhancement, when facing the skeleton giant dragon, the damage directly quadrupled, and a single strike of the sword could cause thousands of points of damage. If it wasn't for the fact that Steven's giant dragon body had a 50% damage reduction effect, Gabriel alone could have finished it off. Little angel. You've angered me. Being stabbed by two swords in a row, Stevens roared out in anger, and ice-cold dragon breath was sprayed towards Gabriel. Boom! 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 Gabriel's figure kept weaving in and out of the black tower, dodging Stevens' frost spit, and as she walked along the way, large swaths of cold ice froze behind her. It was only until the frost spit ended that she then bullied her way up again, launching a new round of attack towards Stevens. Roar! Stevens was furious, and the vast dragon might spread throughout the entire black tower, but the effect on Qin Ming and Gabriel was minor, just some palpitations. Come out. Death Knights, go clean up all these minions. Qin Ming, who landed on the platform, summoned the Death Knights again at the first opportunity. The seven Death Knights pulled the reins and charged once again, but this time, their target was the undead mages surrounding the edge of the third floor of the Black Tower. These necromancers generally had a strength of bronze level or above, and were mainly responsible for assisting Stevens in the construction of the large Black Tower and the engraving of the magic array. In fact, to put it bluntly, Stevens was a supervisor, and they were the bitter laborers. At this time when the war was coming, these bitter hitmen still had to put on their battle armor and run to the battlefield, contributing their lives for the might of the god of death. It's so touching. What selfless dedication and disregard for life and death. It's better to let the knights of death relieve you. Try to reincarnate in a rich woman's family in your next life. Xin Ming said with a look of pity, watching the group of necromancers shatter into a pile of bone crumbs under the onslaught of the death knights. Of course, even so, also did not forget to burst out some equipment for him, is really a heavenly good man. Good skeleton ah. You damn holy light walker, dare to fight with me head on? I'm going to slap you to death with one claw. Stevens roared. Gabriel was smaller in size and had to be more agile than Stevens in such a confined space. After several attacks in a row were dodged by the other party, the skeleton dragon that had lived for countless years looked furious. Foolish apostle of darkness, the holy light will eventually purify you. Gabriel said the same, and the sword of holy flame in his hand once again chopped off one of the opponent's dragon bones. Roar! Stevens was stationed in the center of the hall, his wings constantly flapping as a terrifying cold wind blew throughout the third floor of the black tower. Qin Ming, who was riding Wang Kai and charging after a group of death knights, couldn't help but shiver as he looked up, and surprisingly, all the surroundings had been covered with a thin layer of ice crystals. Hiss this Nima is too cold, right? Unable to resist hugging his arms, Qin Ming pressed himself towards Wang Kai's body, the thick fur especially warm. But the cold didn't end there, in just a few seconds, what covered the hall was no longer ice crystals, but a layer of frost, and it was still in the process of being reinforced. Firebird, Little Yen, 
Not caring about the withered bone bird outside, Qin Ming immediately shouted towards the fire bird and the fire elemental elves outside, he had already clearly felt the blood level of himself and his many summoned beasts dropping. Chirp hearing his shout, the fire bird outside immediately returned, its warm flames temporarily dispelling the cold, but it was soon realized that this cold unexpectedly could not even be resisted by the fire elemental elf and the fire bird. What a damn dog! Qin Ming cursed angrily, looked at Stephen's blood level, and hurriedly put up a platinum shield for himself. This shield was able to resist over 11,000 points of damage for him, and with the current amount of blood drop it would definitely not be a problem to survive in this cold wind. Their blood quantity and resistance were not low, and although the frozen wind seemed to be raging, condensing the entire third floor into a world of ice and snow, it was still not enough to kill them off in seconds, and carrying it down hard would only result in a bit of blood loss. But maintain more than 10 seconds of skill Stevens cannot be easy, in Gabriel's continuous attack blood drop wildly. Originally a full screen AoE moves want to clear the field, the results of the use of their own heart after being knocked out of one third of the blood, Stephen's own face is dumbfounded. Of course, Gabriel wasn't doing well either, the sanctuary of holy light allowed her to avoid being frozen like the death knight, but the loss of blood was still very high, a full 10,000 points of blood loss, allowing her blood level to drop directly to the endangered value. Xing Sang Dai, go heal. Seeing the end of the skill's effect, Xin Ming shouted towards the outside of the black tower. Realizing that the firebird was nothing but a relief for him, he immediately transferred these summoned beasts that could fly out again to avoid the dilemma of being frozen together on the third floor of the black tower. Now under Stephen's frozen wind, those necromancers are no longer needed, so there is no need to rush to save him and the death knights, supporting Gabriel is the top priority. As for him and Wang Kai, the dog's limbs were frozen and his body was covered in a layer of frost, he was trembling in place, trying to pull his claws out. Don't lick around you damn it. Your tongue is frozen, isn't it? Qin Ming lowered his head and instantly slapped towards the dog's head. This stupid bastard took his tongue to lick the ice, and hardened his tongue to freeze on it, if you pull it out, you don't want your tongue anymore? Immediately, he called out to a fire elemental elf to thaw them out. While he himself raised his head towards the center of the third floor, not waiting for the green mulberry butterfly to arrive, when Stevens resumed his action, Gabriel had already stopped his attack, wandering and dodging while restoring his blood through holy light spells. It was a pity that she wasn't an angel specializing in the healing department, the recovery amount of her skills was limited, and after spending a large amount of mana she was only able to recover a few thousand points of blood, barely stabilizing the bloodline. Boing a few seconds later, the green mulberry butterfly finally rushed over, and between the flapping of its wings, a large amount of life energy surged towards Gabriel, and the blood level began to recover as far as the eye could see. Damn mole crickets! Stevens roared, turning around and trying to slap the green mulberry butterfly to death, only to find that it was always stuck at the furthest distance, turning around and fleeing as soon as the first signs of trouble were not right. This was also Qin Ming's authorization, healers were too prone to pulling in hate, if they weren't careful I'm afraid the green mulberry butterfly would have to account for itself in a single shot. Only alive to have the amount of healing, otherwise that is called a flash in the pan, may not even have time to save people withered. Evil dragon, give your head. Gabriel shouted, the shining guts in his hand splitting a rib once again. As he watched from afar, the ribs on his opponent's huge skeleton body were basically all broken, with only a thick spine left to support it, Gabriel kept wandering around, wanting to try and see if he could break this rib. If he could, Stevens would be completely incapacitated even if he didn't die. This was the biggest advantage and the biggest weakness of skeleton creatures, the body was just a tool for them, but once they lost their body, their combat power would also be greatly reduced. Ding! Ding! Like the sound of striking on metal, Gabriel's shining guts kept splitting on the spine bone, but it was always difficult to cut it off. Roar! Little angel, don't think I don't know what you're thinking? Great Stevens, even if it's a temporary submission to death, this dragon bone is not something you can chop off. Stevens roared as his dragon tail flung out, nearly hitting Gabriel. However, this scene had been repeated many times, Gabrielle's figure was nimble and it was difficult for Stevens to hit her. But Stevens' attack power wasn't low and each skill would take away a large amount of Gabrielle's blood after hitting, so she didn't dare to go up directly to replace her blood with her head, even if Stephen's blood was already running low at this point. I'll come back. Concentrate on this skeleton dragon first. Qin Ming looked at the already thinning flock of quite a few dead bone birds outside and made a very risky decision. He didn't know if Stephen's would have left anything behind, but at this point, the blood remaining was already less than 40,000, and with Gabriel and the two fire elemental elves focusing on it, it would soon be finished off. Boom! Boom! The two fire elemental elves that received the command flew back all of a sudden, and the huge fireball smashed towards Stevens, although it wasn't as exaggerated as Gabriel's, a round of them could still blow up tens of thousands of his blood points. Chirp the firebird similarly flew back, 
Jin Ming didn't hesitate to enchant it with enlightenment, once again stepping into the platinum level, the horrifying flames spewed down towards Stevens, instantly taking away thousands of points of its blood once again. The flame body was able to boost the flame damage by 100%, which counted just enough to cancel out with the damage reduction of the dragon's body. Of course, Steven's terrifying double defense was also a problem, weakening the attacks of the many summoned beasts quite a bit. But all of that was irrelevant. Gabriel slashed out another sort of punishment, and although it didn't crack the ribs, the true divine damage took away tens of thousands of life points from Steven's. At this point, the skeleton dragon, whose blood volume was over 100,000, had less than 20,000 life points at this point. It was possible that the next round of skill baptism would be able to directly take it away. Roar seeing that there was no hope of survival, Stephen's wings flapped, and the wind of winter blew again, accompanied by a terrifying dragon roar and a strong shockwave. These were Stephen's other skills, dragon roar and shockwave, both of which were wide-range indiscriminate attacks. Defense. Qin Ming was startled in his heart and immediately shouted out. At this moment, the two fire elemental elves had just thrown a round of fireballs, once again taking away tens of thousands of blood points from Stevens, before being enveloped in a cold wind. Xin Ming buried himself in Wang Kai's thick dog fur, feeling the violent ability impact coming towards his side, but Stevens' blood was already insufficient. Quick, take it down hard and finish it off. Xin Ming shouted, the other party had three skills in one breath, if they didn't finish it off before the winds of winter blew up completely, I'm afraid they would be the ones to die. Kill. Gabriel roared, the long sword in his hand once again stabbed into the opponent's soul fire, at the same time, the other hand had holy light condensing, and soon formed an arrow of light shooting towards Stevens. On the other hand, the two fire elemental elves and the fire bird didn't stop either, directly flame spitting plus continuous fireballs bombarded on its body. Roar! You mole crickets, the great lord Stevens, will definitely return. Feeling the passing of life, Stevens roared towards Gabriel and the others. Boom Stevens' huge skeleton dragon body boomed to the bottom, and the entire third floor of the Black Tower shook. The biting cold wind gradually dissipated as Stevens fell, and the dragon roar came to an abrupt end, but the violent concussive shockwave still sent Xin Ming and the many summoned beasts flying, especially the death knights that were still in the frozen state, two of them actually shattered directly into ice slag with this shockwave. Boom! Xin Ming also fell off of Wang Kai's body and flew towards the outside of the Black Tower, only to stop when he crashed into a pillar but he was likewise not feeling well, not to mention the platinum shield that was directly shattered and the loss of more than 5,000 life points once again, but this pain like the displacement of the internal organs alone was enough to make a person want to die. Good in his previous life in the slums of the life so that he is used to the hard life of the precarious, only to see a short period of fainting after the body quickly stood up, his eyes swept around, the entire platform of the third floor has been a silence. In addition to the dead bone bird and Gabriel who just flew in, the two fire elemental elves also fell into a state of serious injury, the seven death knights are directly down too, the rest of the bloodline is also very dangerous. The green mulberry butterfly flew back, with a large number of dead bone birds behind it, and was dodging their pursuit while trying to find a way to restore everyone's life value. The skeleton dragon was dead, and the remaining threat was these dead bone birds flying in the sky. Their refreshing speed was too fast, and it was impossible to clear them all. Moreover, the three floors of the large black tower's space were all large open-air platforms, so they could completely fly in directly from the air. Gabriel didn't even have much time to rest, and with his sword in hand, he turned around and killed his way back, not even being able to take a look at the corpses on the ground. As for Qin Ming, he was in a hurry to free the fire elemental elves next to him, telling them to go and free Wang Kai and the Death Knight as soon as possible, and then go to support Gabriel. Few can't stay here for a long time. As the situation gradually stabilized, Qin Ming then gasped and ran towards the skeleton dragon's corpse, lifting his hand with a gathering spell. The huge skeleton of the dragon was instantly broken down into a pile of materials that were taken up and put into the ring of platinum, and along with it, there was also a floor of drops. Gabriel, look at the spell formation on the ground, can you destroy it for it? Shouted Gabriel towards the sky. With all the many summoned beasts freed, she also finally got a moment's respite, and was able to come and study the spell formation underneath her. This looks like a ritual type spell formation, it's a bit complicated and I can't decipher it with my current abilities. After briefly looking at it for a while, Gabriel said helplessly. Then I don't care, just destroy it for him directly. It definitely won't be anything good anyway. Qin Ming said immediately. Only to then encounter the problem once again, the material used to cast the large black tower was very sturdy, and they were surprisingly unable to destroy it in a short period of time. And not only that, Gabriel realized that there was a connection between the three large black towers, once the spell formation on this side was touched, the other two large black towers would also sense it. At the same time, the three large black towers had the ability to mobilize other small black towers, so without waiting for them to rush over first, the dark creatures in the vicinity had already flocked towards this side. 
This Nima, why does it feel like we've stirred up a hornet's nest? Looking at the densely packed undead creatures below, Xin Ming couldn't help but feel some numbness in his scalp. This was only the nearby undead creatures, when the undead creatures from the other three black towers arrived, then they would really be in trouble. Move faster all of you, destroy as many of these formations as you can, the firebird is responsible for fending off the wither birds outside, Gabriel I'll go with me to take a look at the lower level. Qin Ming arranged it quickly and charged towards the next layer on his Wang Kai. As for Gabriel, it was even simpler, not taking the stairs at all, directly flying down from the edge of the platform. By the time Qin Ming arrived at the second floor, she was already fighting with numerous undead creatures. Sweeping his eyes, the second floor was even more empty than the third floor, and the number of undead creatures was extremely high, including a large number of silver level bosses, so Gabriel was still struggling to cope with them alone. Not to mention the Wang Kai underneath him, only just showed up and already suffered a large number of attacks, he almost fell off Wang Kai's body. Gabriel, look at the phalanx first, these undead creatures can't be killed. Xin Ming shouted. Gabriel immediately stopped the battle in her hands and wandered around the second floor with a bunch of undead creatures, and soon the entire hall's phalanx was reflected in her mind. At this time, Xin Ming and Wang Kai were already a bit overwhelmed and retreated back into the third floor. It was just stationed to guard the passageway to avoid these undead creatures from rushing up. The second layer is a connecting spell formation, which is used to make connections as well as message exchanges with other black towers, and also serves as a connection between large joint spell formations. I only had time to damage one corner, spending some time should be able to repair it. Gabriel flew back from outside the platform and said towards Qin Ming in a slightly anxious manner. One corner will do, this third level has also destroyed most of it, we can't stay any longer, let's withdraw. Qin Ming glanced at the pitted third layer platform and immediately chose to retreat. The distant sky already had countless undead creatures approaching, those ground creatures were still able to rely on the black tower passage to stop them, these flying creatures could not do a thing about it. Just like the bone bird, if they were to converge into a flock, even the strongest players would have to be hit. Chirp the firebird rose up into the air, with Gabriel and the fire elemental elves at its back, as for those summoned beasts on the ground, they had all been dispatched by Qin Ming. The firelight in the darkness cut through the sky, flying directly towards the morning glory village, those undead creatures following behind him seemed to be afraid, and stopped outside the mountain, not daring to force their way in. Xin Ming looked behind him and couldn't help but let out a sigh of relief. Fortunately, looking at the morning glory village is still safe for the time being, these undead creatures don't dare to chase them in. As soon as Qin Ming's words left his mouth, he suddenly changed his expression, and a familiar system beep had sounded in his ears. Announcement, the god of death has officially begun invading Morning Glory Village, 24 hours later there will be a large number of undead creatures refreshed in the dark forest, please protect the villagers in Morning Glory Village, if the village is destroyed, the novice mystic realm will be closed, and at the same time all players in the mystic realm will be wiped out with it. Announcement, the god of death has officially begun its invasion of Morning Glory Village. Announcement, the god of death has officially begun the invasion of Morning Glory Village. A series of three system announcements completely ignited the fear of all the players in Morning Glory Village. Crap. What the hell? The God of Death's Invasion? A large-scale data sheet? What the hell? Newbie Village Benefits. Isn't there some kind of merit reward or something? Rewards my ass. Didn't you see the announcement? If you don't hold it, you're dead. Hurry up and go to the entrance and exit of the secret realm to see if you can still get out. Mama, uh, I don't want to die yet. Let me out. Just after returning to the village, Xin Ming's ears were filled with the player's chatter, and even the communicator he was wearing rang, this was Wang Guodong looking for him, wanting to inquire about the matter. However, Xin Ming didn't have the time to pay attention to him this time, and directly came to the academy to find Master Li. Don't be in a hurry. Sit down first, tell me what happened. Master Li had already prepared a cup of tea and placed it on the opposite side of the table, Matter Xin Ming sat down and said, There are 32 black towers and 3 large black towers out there destroying the black towers before has been no problem, but today I killed the ruler of a large black tower. Xin Ming finished speaking before picking up a cup and taking a sip of tea. I discovered that there is a connection between the three large black towers, and when this one was destroyed, the other two reacted and mobilized all the undead creatures to try and surround me there. After I destroyed the three levels of the spell formation, I directly returned to Morning Glory Village on a firebird, and the next thing that happened was the announcement you heard earlier. Husband Li nodded silently as he listened to Qin Ming's description. That's normal, how can you really have your old home copied and still not have some reaction? But directly descending on dead creatures into the dark forest, he's jumping over the wall in a hurry. Li Fu Zi looked at the sky outside the window and laughed. You are saying? He has found out? And started taking measures? There's no need to be so careful. Today's he can't do much even though he can see everything here? We can only wait until after the undead natural disaster, and if we win we can take the entire morning glory village in one breath. 
As long as we're still within the boundaries of Morning Glory Village, he can't do anything even if he's angry, even gods must abide by the rules. Alright, then what should we do next? If it's really a rank 1 undead creature, relying on players won't be able to stop them. Xin Ming sighed in relief and then asked. Don't look at how easy it was for him to practice outside the village, if he really wanted to drop this group of undead creatures into the novice secret realm, he would be able to slaughter this group of players in minutes. It was important to realize that the players who stayed in the novice realm were all ordinary players who were less than level 10, and they were barely able to kill even the same level monsters, not to mention letting them kill the higher level monsters. Moreover, the undead creatures outside the village were endless and countless times more numerous than the players, trying to rely on them to keep them at bay was undoubtedly a pipe dream. Have you ever seen any monsters above rank 1 in Morning Glory Village and the Dark Forest? Husbandman Li looked at Qin Ming and asked rhetorically. What do you mean? Other than us NPCs and players like you who hold the secret realm badge, creatures above rank 1 are not allowed to appear in the Morning Glory Village and the Dark Forest. Of course, for us, level 10 is the limit of rank 0, so the strongest undead creatures you've encountered should only be at rank 0. But their strength is suppressed from rank 1 after all, so the quality will automatically be raised by 1 rank, and of course, platinum level is the limit. So, this would be a group of bronze level as undead creatures? That's right. Liv nodded. But there will inevitably be some accidents in it, just like the secret realm badge in your hand, they will also have some means to keep their strength in reserve, but the peak of rank 1 is the limit. Moreover, we, a group of NPCs, are similarly limited in our strength, and once the ban is lifted, we will soon be subjected to the backlash of the rules, so the frontal battlefield will have to be handed over to you players, and we will only make our move at the end when we are faced with the godly projections. This is also a great opportunity for them to sharpen their skills, isn't it? Xin Ming smiled and shrugged his shoulders, it was just a handful of first rank and above bosses, it wasn't a problem at all, as long as the divine projection didn't appear, he could handle it all. As for the god of death really descending his projection in the end, naturally, with these NPCs standing in the way, he wasn't completely without a chance. It's right for you to think this way, how can you grow without experiencing the storm? The descent of the will of the gods means that your world has been targeted, only by becoming strong as soon as possible can you guard your world. Husband Li looked at the sky outside the window and said with a reminiscent expression. Coming out from Li Fuzi, Qin Ming thought about it and dialed Wang Wodong's communication, asking him to meet him in a wine shop, it would be best if he could ask a few more bigwigs from the forces, he needed to have the ability to coordinate all the players in the entire novice mystic realm. While the people were still here, he then had the time to come and organize his gains. Stevens was, after all, a rank 1 gold ranked boss, and with the lucky talent turned on the drop rate was very pleasing, at least one platinum ranked item couldn't be escaped. Dragon Soul Gun? Xin Ming took out a golden lance, but it shone with a pale white platinum light. Dragon Soul Lance, Platinum Grade. Requirements for use, first ranked professional, strength 200. Attack power plus 350, spell strength plus 100. Physique plus 100, strength plus 100. Special effect, armor breaking, ignore 30% of the enemy's physical defense when attacking, the effect is weakened to 3% for enemies of second rank and above. Special effect, dragon devour, attacks with additional damage of 1% of the enemy's maximum life value, weakened to 0. 1% for enemies of second rank and above. Special effect, dragon soul, summons a dragon soul to aid in battle, each attack will deal an additional 10,000 attack points of damage, lasts 1 minute, cooldown 1 hour. Durability 300 slash 300. Not bad, Gabriel's first rank weapon is available. Qin Ming nodded as he looked at the attributes of the dragon soul gun. After ascending to rank 1, Gabriel's equipment was obviously a bit insufficient, but fortunately, her own attributes were strong enough to support her as she reigned supreme. Qin Ming had also been thinking about updating Gabriel's equipment a bit, but the attributes of the Tiger King set were too strong, and he hadn't been able to find a suitable one but now that he had the dragon soul gun, he was able to replace her weapon first. Placed it in the ring of platinum did not take it out, the power requirements of this gun he cannot afford to take, turn back to smash into the foot will make a joke. Eyes continued to sweep over the other items, in addition to the platinum grade dragon soul gun, the remaining few gold grade items were considered to be the most valuable among them. A dragon's bane grass, which was an excellent material for refining medicines, able to make the player's attributes increase by leaps and bounds. A gold grade teeming scroll, which could replace his and Fatty's teeming scrolls, the gold grade teeming scrolls had a maximum 50% experience value increase, which was much stronger than the silver grade ones. After that, there was a gold level occupation scroll, but unfortunately, it was a life class breeder, which was a very cold life profession, mainly responsible for raising livestock and poultry, used to provide food for human beings. Later, many people do not want to go to open pig farms, chicken farms, develop some other uses, such as pet breeder, pet breeder, etc. 
but also has some greater uses. After all, in addition to the summoning profession, other professions players are also able to have a pet bark and raise pets. Powerful pets can also play a huge role in the battle. And how to cultivate pets? This would require the help of a breeder. I remember that there are a few breeders in the later generations who also possessed good battle power through the pets they raised. Perhaps I can consider training a breeder out as well? Xin Ming thought in his heart. Not to mention pets, like some summoned beasts could also possess a certain strengthening effect through the cultivation of a breeder, and this was what made him feel the most moved. This was considered to be one of the few life class professions that could have a strong combat power, and if one could really cultivate powerful pets, it wouldn't be much worse than the average summoner or beast tamer. I can look for it later, but it's a pity that combat professions can only learn life class skills and can't directly obtain life class professions, otherwise it would be a good idea to consider learning it yourself. Xin Ming murmured, placing it back into the ring of platinum. However, when he picked up another item, he froze, this Nima really couldn't be recited. Just now, he was still talking about life class skills, and in the turn of his hand came a gold class alchemy skill book. This? Isn't this forcing me to become a half-assed pill refiner? Looking at the skill book in his hand, Xin Ming laughed with a speechless expression. Although combat class professions could no longer transfer to living professions, they could learn a living class skill book, but each living profession could only learn one. When learning a second book, the skill book learned in the previous book would automatically be erased into oblivion and the proficiency would be cleared to zero. This was also the difference between life class professions and combat class professions. Life class skill books were basically equivalent to recipes. The gold class alchemy recorded a full 8 pill refining recipes and was bound to come with a gold class recipe. As long as Qin Ming chose to learn it, he would automatically master these 8 recipes, surpassing the majority of ordinary alchemists. After all, gold grade formulas weren't that easy to get. It's a bit of a waste, but let's give it a learn, just in time to put the dragon's ambergris to good use. Xin Ming looked at the contents of the recipe and hesitated for a moment before choosing to learn it. Although gold level skill books were precious, being able to convert them into combat power as soon as possible was the most important thing, and the few recipes inside could just come in handy. In addition to these special items, the gold level drop didn't have a single piece of equipment, which was also a very surprising thing. Qin Ming also had to sigh with emotion, no wonder it was the most vegetable skeleton dragon on this family background? How dare you call yourself a dragon? After collecting the remaining items that were below the silver level, Qin Ming was already sitting in the box of the restaurant. Half an hour later, a group of people walked in one after another. If someone with sharp eyes was here, they would have realized that the ones who walked in were all bigwigs from various forces. Little friend Qin, but it's been a while. I was asked to call everyone here today, but do you have any plans for this event? As soon as he entered, Wang Guodong walked straight towards Qin Ming's side. There is no plan, it's just to do our part to help everyone survive. Qin Ming laughed bitterly, currently, only he was aware of how tragic the next war would be. This? Wang Guodong froze, his complexion gradually turned grave this time? It's dangerous? Qin Ming did not say anything, but only nodded quietly, when the people behind him had already walked in one after another. One of the girls exclaimed with wide eyes after seeing Qin Ming it's you. Qin Ming, who was talking to Wang Guodong, raised his head in confusion and felt somewhat familiar after seeing the other party's appearance. Me, in the mine, the girl said excitedly and then looked at the where young male beside her brother. It's him, he's the one who saved me in the mine. Hearing these words, Qin Ming suddenly realized, he said that there was some familiarity, this girl's face was really changeable. The mine is dimly lit, coupled with the cloak of hair and pear blossom with rain, for a moment was not able to connect with this youthful and energetic young girl in front of him. This girl is not someone else, it is the girl that Qin Ming saved in the death mine, at that time, he was also thinking of making a good karma, maybe he can contact the strength behind her, I did not expect to really meet. Brother, I can't thank you enough for saving my sister's life, but in the future, wherever there is a need for me, Zhang Xijia, just open your mouth. When the young man heard the young girl's words, he immediately looked at Qin Ming and said with a cautious face, this? Wang Guodong was in the middle with a dumbfounded look on his face, and the others also had puzzled expressions on their faces, while Qin Ming had already smiled and raised his hand to help the other party up. What's the point of being polite? It's just a matter of lifting my hand, the world has changed, living is the right thing to do, some spirits and demons, don't mention it. Good point, nowadays in this world, it is not easy to live, so it is even more rare to find someone who can still give a helping hand like a brother, I will not dare to forget. Put, call us here. Just to listen to you guys here to play the benefactor to come? Let's talk about something, I'm very busy. On the other side of the round table, a somewhat bald and slightly fat man snorted out, backstabbing things have seen a lot, really think that people are in gratitude not? You, Zhang Xijia's sister was furious, this is not just meet and greet, and I thank my benefactor, in your way what happened? However, without waiting for her to speak, 
Wang Guodong beside her has already taken the lead to speak out old son, what's your hurry? Isn't this not yet started? After saying that, he looked towards the others and raised his hand to signal for them to all sit down. All sit down. Today, it was little friend Qin who commissioned me to gather everyone here for the very next matter of the invasion of the god of death, so let's listen to what he has to say first. Wang Guodong explained. Hearing these words, quite a number of people displayed curious expressions, wondering what kind of news this half-grown teenager in front of them had that he was able to move Wang Guodong to gather them all over. To be honest, although Qin Ming's name resounded all over the world, not many people really knew him, at least amongst the people sitting here, only Wang Guodong had more contact with him. They were sizing up Qin Ming, and Qin Ming was similarly sizing them up. It had to be said that Wang Guodong, as a representative figure of the military, the people he had summoned over were basically all positive people in Xian Jiang County, at least on the surface. The young girl and her brother, Zhang Xijia, were Xian Jiang County's famous rich second generation, the heirs of the largest private enterprise, Lianing Group. The industry spreads across supermarkets, shopping centers, and real estate. Is one of the largest tax-paying groups in Xian Jiang County, and even the entire city of Gaonin. As for Old Sun, who was addressed by Wang Guodong, he was the police chief of Xian Jiang County, currently the person who held the most armed forces besides him, and after the death of the governor, he was the real power holder of Xian Jiang County. The status and position of the other people were equally not low, group directors, college presidents, heads of organizations. Xin Ming looked at these people, many of them were existences that he had to look up to in his previous life, now just because of his words, they were summoned by Wang Guodong, this was the change in status brought about by strength. Everyone has seen the system announcement, I called everyone over today in order to tell you a piece of news. The level of the undead creatures, at the very least, is bronze level to start with, and it will last for three days, so if you want to live, everyone will have to fight for their lives. Xin Ming's words brought a great shock to the crowd. Many people were still fantasizing about how to get the most out of the natural disaster, but Xin Ming opened his mouth and told them, you're going to die. However, they had to admit that if it really was an undead creature starting at the bronze level, they really didn't have the certainty that they would be able to defend Morning Glory Village, although they themselves had the strength to defeat the Silver Moon Tiger. However, this was limited to single combat, holding up two or three of them at the same time. The undead invasion, on the other hand, at first glance, they knew that it would be a large-scale war, and that they would have to face an enemy that could be ten or a hundred times larger than themselves. Not to mention the bronze level, even if it was a normal level monster, they might not be able to survive. The meeting didn't last too long, after all, the god of death was going to start invading in 24 hours, and Qin Ming directly started his deployment after explaining the stakes. I didn't call everyone here today to ask for your opinions, but rather to inform you. Make sure to organize and coordinate all the players to fight hard to defend Morning Glory Village next, or the price to pay will be everyone's lives. None of you are ordinary people, since you're here today, there's no room for backtracking, otherwise I don't mind if someone else takes over your forces. My request is to guard Morning Glory Village and bring everyone to live, as for how many people died in between, I don't really care. Until the crowd left, Xin Ming's words still echoed in everyone's minds. The bigwigs from all the forces walked out of the wine shop with their bellies full of worries, Xin Ming didn't care if they would do what he said when they went back, but like he said himself, the big deal was to change the leader, his strength gave him enough backing to say that. Xin Ming, is the situation really that serious? As the people walked away one after another, Wang Guodong, who remained at the end, asked with a worried expression on his face. It's even more serious than you guys imagined. Qin Ming nodded. He had been to the entrance and exit of the secret realm, and it had been completely sealed off, making it impossible to even advance in the profession after level 9 full experience. The entire Morning Glory village was completely closed off, either guarding the village or destroying it along with it. Alas Wang Guodong sighed and patted his shoulder as long as you can lead everyone to live, I will support you in whatever you want to do. Among the players, there are still quite a few black and evil forces, this wave of people you definitely can't gather them over, but the situation at the moment is special, I'm afraid that you still need to take more care, well at least it's a force that's not weak, Qin Ming said after thinking about it. Wang Guodong was from the military, the forces that could be summoned over by him were naturally positive, but there was more than just light in this world, especially under this apocalypse, the forces of darkness and evil would only become stronger, Qin Ming also had to make preparations earlier. Don't worry, I'll ironically take care of this way for you. Wang Guodong nodded cautiously and turned to leave. Zhang Xijia's siblings were still left in the box, and seeing that the people had already left empty, they got up and sat beside Qin Ming. A great favor is not to be thanked, you still need to say thank you properly for saving my sister's life. Zhang Xijia said, picking up the wine cup in his hand and drinking from it. No need to be polite, the world has changed and people's hearts are treacherous, it's better to let her be more careful in the future. Qin Ming laughed. I will pay attention in the future, my name is Wang Siyu, thank you. 
The girl drank the wine, her cheeks were slightly drunk, and her gaze carried a hint of fascination. Qin Ming smiled and didn't bother with her, but instead looked at Zheng Xijia once again. How many people do you have in the United Profit Group today? Is there a shortage of equipment or anything like that? Who doesn't lack equipment? You have it here? Zheng Xijia laughed bitterly. The drop rate of this game was not high, even with 10 points of luck, it was rare to see drops when fighting small monsters, and they were still mainly materials. It was fine if it was just a solo player, but if one had to provide for a bunch of henchmen, there was no such thing as not lacking equipment. There are, and there are quite a few, you can cooperate for a long time if you're interested. Of course I'm interested, I was worried about how to get equipment for my company's employees. You've kind of solved my pressing problem, but the equipment I currently have on hand, your people shouldn't be able to use it, let's sell some other things to you first, I was going to sell it to Division Commander Wang. Qin Ming said, taking out some materials, skill books and occupation scrolls, quite a few of the things were usable at rank 0 and were not of low value. With the relationship of the person who saved his life, Zhang Xijia didn't haggle, basically whatever Qin Ming said was the price. Of course, the price he gave was also very fair. Thank you so much, although there is no equipment, with these things, everyone's strength will definitely go further, and we can have a greater hope of holding on to Morning Glory Village. The transaction was completed, and Zhang Xijia said with an excited face. There were quite a few profession scrolls and group scrolls in it, so when they went out, they would definitely be able to recruit more players, and at the same time, players in the secret realm would be able to raise their strength faster in the group state. And this trading cooperation is long term, which means he will have a stable source of equipment channels. In terms of high quality equipment as well as all types of rare items, he believed that Qin Ming's drops were definitely much higher than theirs. That's exactly what I'm hoping for, and I also hope that our subsequent cooperation will be pleasant. Qin Ming smiled faintly. He actually didn't expect that the girl he casually saved would be Zhang Xijia's sister, in his previous life, he was considered a popular figure in Xin Jiang County, but unfortunately he died too early, not to mention that he had never heard of him having a sister. It seems that he died in the mine while he was still in the novice secret realm. However, Zhang Xijia's character was still good, at least he was a conscientious entrepreneur. It's just a pity that in a world where human nature is gradually distorted, conscience can mostly only be used to feed dogs. The many bigwigs moved quickly, and when Qin Ming came out of the liquor store, he already saw the Morning Glory Village making a big fuss about this invasion of Morning Glory Village by the God of Death. At the same time, all the major powers had begun recruiting, integrating the power of all the casual players. Not only that, in the Dark Forest, Wang Guodong was also leading people to hunt down the major dark forces, those willing to surrender were pulled in as laborers, and those unwilling to surrender were directly killed. As a soldier, he knew very well that in the face of a great enemy, the existence of those who dragged their feet and shook the heart of the army would never be allowed, otherwise all of them would only perish. It seems like there's suddenly nothing going on? Qin Ming froze after wandering around for a while, not realizing that he was idle? Thinking of this, he found Zhang Xijia and asked him to prepare a batch of herbs for himself, he was going to take advantage of this and practice his newly learned alchemy. Forget about the psionic potion and the dragon potion for now, the basic life potion and mana potion can still be refined. Qin Ming said as he looked at his pillmaking art. The gold-leveled pill refining technique gave him a total of 8 recipes, from white to gold level, 2 for each grade. Among them, the spectral potion and the dragon potion were both gold grade level formulas recorded therein, with the former being able to allow the taker to enter the spectral state, increasing movement speed, penetrating walls, and immunity to physical attacks. The latter would allow the player to master a dragon incarnation status skill, increasing their full attributes by 20% in a short period of time. However, these two potions weren't that easy to refine, and it wasn't possible to refine them on a large scale, the first thing he had to do was still to raise his skill proficiency as soon as possible, and level up his alchemy, which relied on the white grade life and mana potions. A rank 0 life potion can restore up to 500 points of blood in tens, while a mana potion can restore 400 points of mana, which isn't much use to me, but it's quite a lot of restoration for an ordinary player. Qin Ming thought in his mind. Taking out the pill refining equipment that he had bought back from the blacksmith store, he began to concoct a life potion. After all, it was only medicine refining and not alchemy, and it was only the lowest grade white potion, so it wasn't that difficult, and only required grinding, mixing, and firing the herbs according to the proportions. Of course, this process required the continuous casting of the skill alchemy, and only through the special energy effect in the skill could the potion be refined into what was described on the recipe. The juice of the hemostasis grass, when mixed with the sunflower, will actually appear as a red transparent liquid, it's a bit interesting. Slowly pouring the refined life potion into a glass bottle, Qin Ming held it in his hand and gently shook it, feeling very magical. Hemostatic grass is a green herb, although the sunflower is red, but after the two and the grinding of the liquid is very thick, 
after the partial according to the prescribed proportion of blending, even showed a red transparent liquid, such changes made Qin Ming full of interest. At that moment, he once again took out a hemostatic grass and a sunflower, and once again concocted them. Configuring ten bottles of life potion in a single breath, he then stopped before he could get enough and turned his attention to the mana potion. The formula for the mana potion is to use the nimbus flower as the main ingredient and the earth pulse root as the secondary ingredient, but the consumption of the nimbus flower is a bit large. Qin Ming pondered as he blended the recipe accordingly. The Ningxian flower can be said to be everywhere in the dark forest, and the amount of hemostasis grass is not comparable to the amount of hemostasis grass, which can be picked anywhere, but a bottle of mana potion requires the consumption of two Ningxian flowers, which is more than double the consumption of hemostasis grass. It didn't seem like much, but when put on the market, it meant that the consumption of the mana masters, too, was more than double that of the warriors. For the rest of the day, Qin Ming spent his time in refining medicines, not only refining hundreds of bottles of life potions and mana potions, but also trying out some bronze level potion recipes. These were likewise two potion recipes that restored life and mana values, but they were instant recovery, and their value was much higher than the slow recovery life and mana potions. The two high level potions were similarly refined by him, but not in large quantities, only a few dozen bottles, ready to be reserved for Wang Guodong and the others to save their lives. As Qin Ming finished refining the last bottle of potion, the sky of the entire Morning Glory village became more and more gloomy. A faint deathly aura began to spread in the secret realm, and eerie roars began to gradually resound from the depths of the dark forest. Coming! In the clearing outside of Morning Glory village, someone pointed in the direction of the spectral dark forest and exclaimed in alarm. In just one day's time, the entire Morning Glory village had changed drastically. Outside where the village guards were originally located, fences filled with barbs had been erected. The Black Demon Rabbit's territory in front was pitted with traps dug out by the players, and all sorts of organs and hidden weapons had been placed inside. However, whenever any Black Demon Rabbits were refreshed, they would be quickly cleared away by the bowmen and mages in the distance to prevent the traps from being destroyed by them. As time passed, an inexplicable force enveloped the entire secret realm, and everyone's hearts felt a wave of depression. Gah! When the first skeleton stepped out of the dark forest, many people sucked in a breath of cold air. The fright brought about by seeing undead creatures with their own eyes was far more chilling than the images in fictional games. But this was the next enemy they were going to face, all of them had no way back, if they couldn't block it then they would die. Everyone get ready, on command. Wang Guodong shouted with a loudspeaker. He was a division commander with hundreds of soldiers in his hands, it would be more than appropriate for him to lead the entire Morning Glory Village player group. Archers step out and release arrows. As his words fell, countless arrows shot in the direction of the dark forest. Archers possessed the longest range amongst all professions, and could attack a target from an average of 500 meters away, which was the greatest advantage of archers. Unfortunately, when faced with these bronze-level skeletons, their attack power was really a bit crotch-pulling, and after a round of random shooting, not even a single undead creature fell. Wang Guodong wasn't in a hurry, the skeleton's movement speed wasn't fast, when they came closer they could still take a few rounds, they could always finish off a few, right? However, the result of the fact is let him shocked, three rounds of shooting down, but only a few sporadic skeletons fell, or by the several players with better equipment teamed up to kill. Nima! This is too strong, isn't it? Wang Guodong cursed out angrily. A few minutes later, after a dozen rounds of shooting, hundreds of skeletons finally fell, however, the skeletons that fell were only one in nine, and most of them were even due to the effects of those traps on the ground. The slow-moving skeletons would easily fall into those big pits, if there were some killing moves in the pits, they might still be able to kill some skeletons. But if it's just a big pit, they're just undead creatures buried deep in the ground, so it's just a matter of time to climb out. The black demon rabbit planes could not stop these undead creatures from approaching at all, and Wang Guodong finally saw the attributes of these skeletons, and the thousands of life points were enough to make most players feel despair. Mage Core Prepare. Attack. There was no time to let Wang Guodong be shocked for too long, as the undead army stepped into a distance of 100 meters, the mage core moved. A single energy ball flew towards the foremost skeletons, which was also mixed with some small fireball spells, waterball spells, wind blade spells, and other spells of various systems. Compared to the archers, the mage core's attacks were much closer, but the damage was much higher. Spells that all had dozens or hundreds of points of base damage, smashed on the skeletons that had almost zero legal resistance, and the damage value inflicted was far from what the archer's normal arrows could compare to. With just one round of spell bombardment, several skeletons at the very front had already fallen, and the results of the battle were directly after the archer's flurry of shots, which also briefly stopped the undead creature's advancing pace. Moreover, there were more potholes and traps in the near distance, these skeletons could not pass through them for a while yet, they needed to wait for more skeletons to come closer and fill these potholes with skeletons before they could really move freely. The undead heavenly tribulation and the sea of skeletons weren't just words, 
They were truly capable of this. What do you think will happen if I return to the undead lands at this time and destroy all those black towers? Outside the academy, Qin Ming sat on a stone pier with Husbandman Li and asked with a leap of faith. You won't be able to destroy the black towers, and you'll die. Husbandman Li shook his head and laughed. Really? If they converge, wouldn't Gabriel just destroy them all with a single angelic sword? Ha, huh? do you really think so? Li Fuzi looked at him and laughed, lifting his hand towards his eyebrow and tapping it, immediately a dark and reckless landscape full of death appeared in his mind. Countless powerful undead creatures converged under the black tower, and new undead creatures were constantly being born all around. Rows and rows of undead creatures lined up to walk into the black tower and disappeared into the teleportation array in the center of the tower. Qin Ming couldn't see the destination they were leading to, but he could imagine where they went to. You're right, it's better if I don't go looking for death. With a helpless face, he shrugged his shoulders. Even if he hadn't exchanged blows and hadn't used his scrying technique, he could feel that the aura of those undead creatures was exceptionally powerful, and it was no longer those first-rank creatures that he had seen before. The Black Tower is a graveyard, the birthplace of these undead creatures, naturally it won't allow you to destroy them as you please, it's just a matter of briefly unblocking their strength, this price is much smaller compared to invading Morning Glory Village. So, I'm still beating the bushes, I should have destroyed all those small black towers first, wouldn't there be a lot fewer undead creatures that would come? It doesn't matter, the dark forest is that big, the entrance to the village is also that big, any more black towers will only have so much throughput, three large black towers are already enough. Tisk, I'm really curious, what exactly is in the secret realm of the newcomers? How could it be worth the gods going to such great lengths? Xin Ming raised his head to the sky and asked the doubts in his heart. Husband Li similarly raised his head and did not rush to answer, seemingly pondering over the answer therein. I can't give you an answer to your question, only a little bit of my personal guess. I wish to hear it. Let's take this secret realm as an example. The will of the gods is this secret realm, and we, the resurrectionists, are the so-called gods. If we want to survive, if we want to survive better, then naturally we need three meals a day, food, clothing, shelter and transportation. And all of these are resources that are birthed in the secret realm. So what you're saying is that the secret realm of the newcomers is actually a fruit tree birthed by the will of the gods, and the gods are here to pick the fruit? Qin Ming frowned slightly. Sort of, except that the fruit tree itself wants to survive and continue, so it's seeking to save itself. And what about us players? And what role do we play in it? Butterflies? Or bees, right? It will allow this fruit tree to fulfill its role of blossoming and fruiting, and it will affect the fruit farmer's harvesting efforts, so you guys should also disappear after the mission is completed. Ha! Huh? Then we are really hardworking and dedicated. Xin Ming laughed coldly, it always feels like there is some deviation in what you said, but I don't have a better explanation right now, so let's just go with what you said. After all, we are just a group of reanimated people who crawled out from the grave, what we know and realize is limited, even the secret realm itself is only lodged in your world, the real answer still has to rely on you to find it yourself. That's how it should be. Qin Ming nodded his head so I have to take my swarm of bees with me first, and protect these fruit trees of yours, lest you be cut down by the fruit farmers. Qin Ming stood up after he finished speaking and patted the dirt on his vestments as he gazed towards the black demon rabbit plains. The warriors at the forefront had already fought with the skeleton army, and a large number of melee professions rushed up, relying on the pre-prepared simple walls and fences to fight with the endless skeleton monsters. And at the back of the skeleton army, a skeleton commander with a body size of up to 3 meters walked out from the dark forest, and his silver level aura had already caused quite a few powerful players to rise up. Elite Corps get ready, don't allow that skeleton to approach over. Mage Corps prepare to give them fire support. Wang Guodong shouted as he stood on the command platform. The so-called elite troop was precisely composed of a group of powerful players, with the purpose of dealing with these boss-level monsters. As Wang Guodong's words fell, a large number of spells began to redirect, clearing out a small blank area on the path that the skeleton commander was bound to take. Soon, a team of ten well-armed squads rushed into the monsters, and without waiting for the monsters to converge, they were already fighting with the skeleton commander. Just in time to see how strong these players are. Qin Ming, who was walking towards the outside of the village, stopped in his tracks, his gaze curiously surveying the black demon rabbit plains as he wanted to see if this elite squad could kill the silver level boss. Kill. The warrior in the group roared and charged, using his taunt skill at the same time. He was the main T of the team, at all times he was the one who rushed to the front of the team, and without any surprises would definitely fall in front of everyone else as well. The archers and mages at the back struck almost simultaneously, their attacks landing on the skeleton commander's body and taking away a large amount of life value. Blood and defense are both good, and the DPS damage is also considerable, it's not much of a problem to deal with a rank 0 silver ranked boss. Xin Ming nodded his head in satisfaction, judging the strength of these players in just an instant. 
This was indeed the case, excluding the 2T2 milk, the remaining 6 DPS were all capable of dealing hundreds of points of damage, adding up to a total of thousands of points of second damage. As long as the two warriors in the front could resist the damage and the healers in the back could stabilize the bloodline, victory would not take too long. Roar! A large amount of green underworld flame surrounded the skeleton commander's bone blade and slashed down hard towards the warrior in front of him. Boom! Underworld fire splattered in all directions, and the huge damage not only took away two-thirds of the warrior's life value, but also shattered the shield in his hand. Not only that, the souls in the underworld flame wrapped around his body, bringing him immense pain while continuously eating away at his few remaining life points. The healers at the back panicked a bit, trying to pull his bloodline back as soon as possible, but the weak recovery amount seemed a bit of a drop in the bucket, and the skeleton commander had already raised the butcher knife in his hand once again. Die! The other warrior beside him roared out in anger, the golden longsword in his hand slashed out, blocking the skeleton commander's fatal blow, while also taking over the hatred from the other party. He was none other than Zhang Xizhe who had only come into contact with Qin Ming during the day, how could the young man be willing to cower in the back like Wang Wodong, he was a warrior who rushed to the forefront from start to finish, and the sword he held in his hand was also the shining guts that Qin Ming had given him on credit. This long sword was eliminated after asking Gabriel's opinion and replaced with the stronger dragon soul lance, and after thinking about it, he chose to sell it to him in order to better cope with the undead invasion to come. The gold level weapon was definitely top of the line at this stage, and the characteristics of the shining guts allowed him to easily block the skeleton commander's attacks. Worthy of being the boss of a party's forces, he was able to put together half of a silver-ranked equipment with such a lack of resources. Seeing his damage and defense, Qin Ming had already roughly surmised the equipment on his opponent. The high-level bosses in the entire Dark Forest had basically been pocketed by him, and it wasn't easy for some of the remaining bronze-level bosses to pop out silver-level equipment. But people still came up with most of the body, this is the benefit of establishing a party of power, the power of the senior will be able to walk in front of the majority of people become vested interests, and the ordinary people in the power can also get the shelter of the whole power, under the doomsday to get more chances to live, and even better than the average person to live a little, such as those so-called high-level social animal in the peaceful era. Boom! Unsurprisingly, the skeleton commander was cut down by Zheng Xizhe's sword a few minutes later, and the ten-member elite squad quickly retreated back. Ordinary undead creatures weren't worth their while, and those ordinary players needed to take this opportunity to quickly level up and improve their strength. The invasion of the undead plague is unavoidable, now it's just a matter of moving the battlefield from the blue star to the secret realm, but this is a good opportunity to upgrade anyways, I hope that everyone will be able to gain something after 3 days, right? Qin Ming said softly, a silver rank skeleton commander was just an extremely common small boss, and when placed in the land of the undead, it might have originally only had the strength of a first order bronze rank, thus such a boss was not considered rare in the undead plague. Not long after Zhang Xizhe and the others retreated back, another skeleton lord came out of the dark forest. This time, it was another team that struck out, and although they didn't have gold level weapons, they were just as strong, killing it without any serious injuries, and at the same time, they also harvested a silver level equipment. This was the case with large scale team wars, and the best way to improve was to use war as a means of fighting. As the strength of the many players increased as well as the equipment was updated and replaced, the later battles wouldn't be as difficult as imagined and the chances of each player surviving would be a bit higher. Of course, the premise is that you can peacefully get through this time of the highest mortality rate in the early stage. In an hour's time, a full dozen skeleton undersiders had been killed, and the major elite teams had also obtained quite a few silver level equipment, and there was a small increase in their overall strength. At this time, Qin Ming stood up, his gaze fixed on the middle of the dark forest. Finally, a much larger skeleton stepped out from the dark forest, its 5 meter height making everyone look up, the bone blade in its hand shining with the cold and chilling light of metal, the blue soul fire seemed to be overflowing out of its skull, and it had even spread to the position of the throat bone. Roar a hoarse low roar rang out, and all the players fighting on the front line felt a palpitation. A rank 0 gold class boss, just the thing to try and see how strong the jungle giant ape is nowadays. Qin Ming thought in his mind as he waved the staff in his hand and a huge jungle giant ape was summoned. Roar! Patting its robust packs, the jungle giant ape roared under its breath as it leapt forward and rushed into the battlefield. Crap! What is this? A jungle great ape? This nigga is too big, right? Isn't it the boss of Monkey Mountain? Which big brother popped this thing out as a pet? Awesome! This must be at least bronze level, right? It's so cool! The jungle giant ape made quite a commotion and attracted the attention of quite a few players. The huge and burly body was just too security inducing, it was hard not to be noticed. On the other hand, Wang Wodong and the others gazes looked towards where Qin Ming was and waved at him, after so long since the war had started this novice village bully had finally shown up. 
Qin Ming was also not polite, and took a step towards the direction where several people were, where a temporary command headquarters had been set up, and where the heads of the major forces were converging. Roar! The jungle giant ape that rushed into the pile of monsters, waved its hand and casually slapped away the skeletons that blocked its way. Its attack power wasn't high, and although it couldn't kill these skeletons in seconds, its huge size gave it the strength to charge forward, and the dense sea of skeletons couldn't even stop him from advancing. Roar the gold-level skeleton commander also looked towards it, and this gorilla was the most threatening in the crowd. Boom! The two quickly rushed in front of each other, and the collision between the bone blade and the giant claw brought up a huge shockwave, lifting all the nearby skeletons off the ground. Of course, the two of them weren't much better, the skeleton commander's blade was slapped away, while the forest giant ape had one of its fingers chopped off. Roar! A skeleton and a monkey were both goods with less brains, not fearing the injuries on their bodies in the slightest, they swung their fists to kill each other on the spot. Boom! The skeleton lord's sternum appeared to shatter, while one of his own bone spikes similarly pierced into the jungle giant ape's shoulder. The two unexpectedly fought in such a way that they exchanged wounds for wounds, and the players watching from afar were shocked. Crap! Is a bronze jungle giant ape so handsome? There's something to it. Nima, I just took a look, it's not a pet, it's a summoner's summoned beast, and I can't see the level. I can't see it either, but I'm already level 9, and this is properly a rank 1 summoned beast, his summoner is already rank 1. God's man. There's a rank 1 player in our village? He can still stay in the novice village? Didn't they say they would be kicked out after first rank? Who knows? Maybe he received some special quest? But this jungle giant ape is really strong. I want to get a skill book too. You're thinking about fart eating. How can a white grade jungle giant ape be this strong? It's a bronze level 1, and it's still a rank 1 jungle giant ape. I don't care, it's simply too handsome. That muscular body, so secure. Crap. I have muscles too I usually love working out, want to show you my 8 pack abs? Really? I heard that 9 out of 10 gym goers are gay, can I see your boyfriend? Me? You have thoughts about my boyfriend? Wow. Really? Are you an O or a 1? While the surrounding picture gradually ran away, Qin Ming had already arrived at the command stage. You're pretty strong for a jungle giant ape. To think that it can fight a gold-ranked boss hard. Wang Guodong said as he watched the battle on the plains with relish. Strong what? It's one rank higher, and there's also the professional cores enchantment, so that's not necessarily enough to beat the other side. Qin Ming shrugged and laughed. You kid, this is a summon beast, a summon beast can deal with a gold level boss, if you're all out here, you won't be able to tear down this novice mystic realm ah? Wang Guodong pointed at him and laughed and scolded. Tear down what? Do you really think that these NPCs are just for show? They can wipe us out with a wave of their hands. Oh, are these NPCs very strong? Little friend Qin seems to have had quite a bit of contact with them, have you received any hidden quests? The nearby Sun Bureau looked at Qin Ming and asked. Where are there any hidden quests? Still not practicing leveling like everyone else? Qin Ming's tone was slightly cold, the other party's question was clearly already unkind. It was true that Bureau Sun was currently the person in charge of the entire Xian Jiang County and also possessed a police force that was strong enough to rival Wang Wodong's, but he was not a good person, and he had even fought for power in the subsequent relocation, leading to the deaths of a large number of people. If it wasn't for the undead natural disaster invasion, Qin Ming really didn't want to cooperate with him, and even preferred to get him killed. He he, little friend Qin, this is what you're not, sharing information can also make everyone's strength rise up, so that there can be more opportunities. Sun Bureau said with dissatisfaction, obviously not believing Qin Ming's words. Then I don't know if Bureau Sun has any missions that he can share with everyone? After all, nowadays, Xian Jiang County is in the hands of Bureau Sun, so I'm sure there must be quite a lot of good things in his hands, right? Qin Ming's eyes narrowed slightly, and his tone was already filled with ice. What are you talking about being in charge of Xian Jiang County? How could I have that ability? Nowadays. Alright. What people have that's their stuff. Are you a public official still ready to rob them by force? Don't forget, our duty is to serve the people. Not waiting for him to finish, Wang Bodong scolded sternly, and his gaze toward Sun Bureau took on a hint of vigilance. He was not in a position to meddle in the internal affairs of Xian Jiang County, so he did not care much about Sun Bureau's rise to power, as long as he could make the entire county run better. But now it seems that this person's selfishness and greed is not small. Master Wang's lesson is right, I'm just a bit anxious, I hope that little friend Qin won't take offense. Sun Bureau paused and then said towards Qin Ming, only the tone of his voice was heavy but failed to make people feel the slightest bit of apology. Boom Qin Ming wanted to return a sentence, but before he could open his mouth, a violent roar suddenly came from the battlefield in front of him. The crowd looked up to see that the direct jungle giant ape had already plucked off one of the skeleton commander's hand bones, and it itself had been blasted out by the skeleton commander. 
Not only that, it was drenched in blood, with green grudge spirits haunting its body, and its breath was shriveling down. It seems that relying only on this stubborn monkey is still not enough. Xin Ming said indifferently, the staff in his hand waved, and a status skill was added to the jungle giant ape's body. The jungle giant ape received Qin Ming's command to pull back and enchant the status, naturally bringing the skeleton commander a few points closer to Morning Glory Village. Being able to observe the battle between the two giants up close was an even greater shock to the many players. Qin Ming's status enhancement had made the jungle ape even more courageous, while the skeleton commander had also been embarrassed by his inability to break defense. After all, the strength had been suppressed to rank zero, and although the skeleton chieftain had more than 20,000 blood, its attack power had been suppressed to more than 600 points. Although it was already very scary for a rank 0 player, the rank 1 jungle giant ape's defense was already as high as about 500 points under Qin Ming's attribute enchantment. After Qin Ming's defensive state, no matter how the skeleton commander struck, he could not break its defense. Roar the jungle ape excitedly patted its chest muscles, and due to the battlefield drawing closer, many of the healing ladies even returned some blood to it. This allowed the jungle giant ape's status to recover quickly, and the attacks that hit the skeleton commander became more and more violent. Even though it's one rank higher, it's only bronze level after all, the divine destiny summoning combined with the looting talent, it's still really powerful. Qin Ming nodded his head in satisfaction. A first rank bronze rank summoned beast wouldn't even be able to defeat a zero rank bronze ranked boss normally, but the jungle giant ape was already able to fight hard against a gold ranked boss. With the various statuses and the recovery of blood, the subsequent battle didn't last long. The skeleton commander couldn't even break its defenses, and could only be held down and rubbed against the ground, and was soon demolished into a pile of skeletons. You jungle giant ape, you're really strong. This shouldn't be your strongest summoned beast yet, right? Wang Guodong sighed as he stood beside Qin Ming. Aha! Qin Ming nodded, but didn't say anything more, he couldn't just shake out all his cards when people asked. However, the speaker had no intention of saying anything but the listener had the intention of hearing it, and quite a few people beside him had their complexion slightly moved, and their gazes glanced at him in surprise. Qin Ming dismissed the jungle giant ape as if nothing had happened, then took out the equipment it had come back with and displayed it in front of the crowd. Does anyone want these equipment? The highest bidder gets it. Hearing this, everyone's eyes lit up and their attention was drawn to these items. The jungle giant ape that had beheaded was a gold level boss, and the several gold level items that had dropped from it were coveted. 20 gold, I'll take this gold level bone bow. Wang Guodong immediately voiced out, with this gold level bow, it was enough to train a powerful archer. Hoomph. This is a gold level equipment, how is 20 gold enough? I'll offer 30 gold. The sun bureau next to him immediately spoke out. The police department and the military department, their main fighting method was firearms in addition to close combat, thus they had the most warriors and archers, and the demand for bows and arrows was naturally great. Wang Guodong wanted this bow to train his subordinates, Sun Bureau naturally had the same idea, and even they both already had a suitable candidate in mind. There's no need to be in a hurry, this undead scourge has only just begun, there are still quite a few high grade bosses in the back, you guys are emptying your family's pockets now, do you still want what's in the back? Qin Ming said and directly threw this gold grade bow to Sun Bureau. Since you want it, I'll give it to you, just go by Master Chief Wang's offer, the gold level equipment in the back will be a uniform 20 gold apiece, so just negotiate amongst yourselves. Having gotten the bow so easily, Sun Bureau also froze, but quickly came back to his senses and smiled towards Qin Ming. What little friend Qin said is true, there are still quite a few good things behind, I'll just laugh at this bow first. No matter what, being able to get a gold level weapon was a huge boost to one's own forces, and immediately handed this bow over to one of the subordinates beside him. Qin Ming looked at the departing young figure with the corners of his mouth slightly hooked, but everyone only took it as a smile after the deal was made. A boss had a limited amount of stuff that came out, and it was soon divided up amongst the major forces. Although Wang Guodong didn't get much, he was still satisfied with the result, being able to bring his people to live was the most important thing in his mind. What's more, this was only the first boss that Qin Ming had killed, just like he said, there were countless bosses waiting behind him, and it was only a matter of time before his equipment improved. The skeletons are just the vanguard of the undead plague, the subsequent battles will get harder and harder, you guys shouldn't let these ordinary players die too much, and it's best to boost them up as well. Xin Ming glanced at the players who were fighting and voiced out a reminder towards a few people. The entrance and exit range of the village was limited, and everyone defaulted to rotating in separate teams to get some rest. However, those who were currently at the forefront were basically casual players, their strength was limited, whether it was their level or their equipment was average, and casualties had already begun to appear. On the contrary, the major forces, although the momentum, but sent to the basic or temporarily recruited peripheral players, purely to brush the sense of presence only, do not let the loose people find themselves in as cannon fodder. 
The number of players entering the secret realm is not large, we are also preparing for the protracted battle in the back, a power boss said, and this was also what most people had in mind. If people had to die, retaining one's own viable forces was the most important thing, otherwise what if they ended up being usurped by the younger brothers below them? What if other forces fall on them after the natural disaster is over? Anyway, the ones who died weren't their own people, and those scattered people who consumed them could only be blamed for their bad fate. All the more reason for you to keep them then, or else who's going to sell their lives for you back there? Xin Ming's words immediately chilled the atmosphere around him. However, quite a few people currently still had illusions about the new world and thus still held the idea of serving the country and the people, like Wang Wodong who immediately nodded his head and expressed his pause. You're right, defending our country is our duty, we shouldn't let ordinary people rush ahead. Wang Guodong said with a mortified face, then looked to his adjutant let all our people go up and try to safeguard the safety of the ordinary players. Although he wanted to save people, he wasn't a fool and wouldn't take the lives of his own generals seriously, so he said try his best instead of being sure. However, with Wang Guodong taking the lead, the others couldn't say anything else, and even if it was only symbolic, they more or less sent some people out. Qin Ming didn't pay attention to them anymore, and found a piece of empty space alone and took out tables and chairs and refreshments and melon seeds, and leisurely drank up. Can have this has been very good, really if you let these people all come, that ordinary players still level up what? Just watch the show and wait for death at the back. No? You're just drinking tea and getting high? Not going up to kill monsters? Zheng Siyu followed him over and asked with a puzzled face. Kill what? If I kill them all, what will you guys use to upgrade and brush your equipment? Will there be any money left to buy my stuff at that time? Xin Ming said without a trace of humor. It was as if he knew that the major powers hadn't really done their best, but this would do, if they really let them go all out, what would ordinary players take to upgrade? Just watch the show from behind and wait for death. But you, are also attracting too much hate, right? Look at the gazes of those people. Zheng Siyu gestured to the players who were waiting for their turn, and many of them had a look of surprise on their faces. What are you looking at? If you can single-handedly defeat the boss, Come over here and I'll treat you to tea and melon seeds. Qin Ming chided loudly, and many players immediately lowered their heads. They had all seen the jungle ape that was so powerful and knew that it was Qin Ming's summoned beast, so none of them dared to come and find trouble with him, and none of them wanted to take a slap at the jungle ape. Seeing this situation, Zhang Siyu couldn't help but skim her lips and didn't say anything else, picking up a few melon seeds in her hand and wanting to sit down, but she was stared at by Qin Ming, looking at her with a strange gaze that made her feel uncomfortable. What? What's wrong? Can you fight a boss alone? No. Then you have the nerve to sit down here and get high? I'm. Sorry. Excuse me. Zheng Siyu got up speechlessly, picked up her own staff with an indignant face, and joined the Mage Corps leveling team. Really, you don't know how to cherish such a good opportunity. Qin Ming said with hatred, but in his hands, he picked up a melon and continued to get high. The sound of these words was not small, and many of the surrounding players who were passing by heard them, and naturally, they also fell into Zhang Siyu's ears. Many people also successively realized that this was Qin Ming giving them the opportunity to take advantage of this undead catastrophe to quickly raise their level and equipment. For a while the sounds of no's around them gradually ceased, but their respective discussions were always there, even spreading farther and farther. Soon a phrase circulated amongst the players. Whoever can single-handedly challenge a gold-level boss will be able to have tea with the master of the jungle giant ape. This sentence undoubtedly gave great motivation to many players, especially those girls, one by one. Their movements to kill skeletons became sharper and sharper, only seeking to improve their strength as soon as possible so that they could go and have a tea date with the master of the jungle giant ape. This little guy, he really invites jealousy. Wang Wodong couldn't help but shake his head and laugh as he looked at Qin Ming's leisurely appearance. Humph. I think it's the young man who doesn't know the heights of heaven, and really thinks that if he's a bit stronger, he can fight against the entire country? Duro Sun said with a disdainful face, inadvertently snapping a big hat on the other party. Sun Bureau. It's a good thing that people's young people have this strength, we have to support it more. Wang Wodong said with a slight frown, slightly displeased. Only the two of them in the room were official people, so he naturally wanted to be closer to the other party, after all, the police are also soldiers of the state. Unfortunately, Sun did not think so, he looked at Wang Wodong the same eyesore, that a battalion of soldiers he was coveted very much, which if you can get your hands on, the whole of Xinjiang County is really his hand in the sky. Therefore, after hearing Wang Wodong's words, he couldn't help but let out a cold laugh. Supporting him to sit there and drink tea and feel the fish? What does that make the other players think? It's a good thing it's not one of my people, or else I would definitely call out for a lecture. Some people agreed with Sun's words and some opposed them, but those present were all bigwigs and there would be no one to argue with him. Although Wang Wodong did not agree, but also still did not say anything, 
After all, this is the matter of Xian Jiang County, even if something really happened, he wanted to save a person is still no problem. Xin Ming sat on a high ground not far from the battlefield and looked at the whole scene, but wherever a gold level boss appeared, it was all taken care of by him. The equipment that fell was naturally sold to the major forces, allowing them to go and improve their strength as soon as possible while he collected the funds. But just like what he said in general, the skeletons were just the vanguard of this undead plague, the monsters behind would only be stronger. After only half a day of peaceful monster brushing mode, that afternoon, a dark cloud had conveniently risen above the dark forest, and toothsome cries echoed above the entire morning glory village. Surprisingly, the withered bone crow was teleported over so quickly? Xin Ming stood up with a grave expression on his face, he hadn't suffered many losses from these bone birds, and was well aware of how terrifying flocks of dead bone birds could be. G.A. G.A. The dark swarm of birds began to approach towards Morning Glory Village, and the feeling of black clouds pressing down on the city made everyone scalp numb. Before there was a real fight, many people were already timid, and the attacks on their hands were not as decisive as before. Chirp a crisp phoenix chirp resounded in everyone's hearts, and the crowd looked up, only to see a huge firebird skimming above them, rushing into the darkness in front of them. Boom a rain of fire poured down from the sky, and although it was scorching hot, it gave people a hint of warmth and light in such darkness. Crap! I told you there was a phoenix in the village, right? You guys look! That's it! A player exclaimed out in shock. It wasn't a secret that Qin Ming had left Morning Glory Village on a firebird, and it was impossible for him to do so in a way that was truly hidden from view, so there were still quite a few players who were able to see the firebirds take off and landing. It was just that he didn't go in and out very often, and he mostly chose places where no one was, so very few people were able to see it, and it gradually became a legend in the village. Now that they really saw a firebird taking off and rushing towards those horrifying withered bone birds, the many players were also excited. Too handsome. I didn't expect there to be a phoenix in a novice village? Is this also Big Brother's summoned beast? Obviously it is. Where did this burst out of a skill book? I want to raise a phoenix too. You're thinking about farts, aren't you? This is at least a silver level summoning beast, you don't even have a bronze level summoning beast, do you? Sorry, I'm not a summoner, but I can yy it. Numerous players were talking, some players even forgot that they were in the middle of a battle in order to look at the firebird, and were given a hard education by the skeleton's greatsword. After restabilizing with his hands and feet, the firebird had already charged into the flock of dead bone birds. Chirp another crisp bird chirp sounded, and a sky full of flames descended from the sky. Scorching hot flames scattered across the sky, and the sky that had originally turned dim due to the descent of the natural disaster seemed to brighten up a few points. So powerful. Those monstrous birds will be killed in seconds as soon as they touch the flames. Many sharp-eyed players noticed the high damage of the rain of fire, which could be said to be death by touch for the withered bone birds. On the other hand, Qin Ming's face did not relax in the slightest as he waved the staff in his hand, summoning the fire elemental elf as well. The fire rain spell has a cooldown time, but the withered bone crow is endless, go help it. Ghoul. Little Yen answered, then rose into the air and flew towards the group of withered bone crows. Her petite size made it hard to be noticed, but the huge fireballs that appeared in the sky from time to time still attracted everyone's attention. After sending the fire elemental elf out, Qin Ming didn't continue to sit where he was, but once again came to the command stage. Little Qin Ah, this fire bird of yours is very strong, this fire rain spell has been released all the time, this undead natural disaster is nothing at all. Seeing Qin Ming come over, Wang Guodong immediately laughed out loud. Yeah, this undead plague is said to be so vicious, and it does seem to be loud and powerful, but as long as one masters the group attack spells, I think it's just a so a so. Sun Bureau similarly said, and the faces of the others similarly revealed a hint of relief. However, upon hearing this, Qin Ming swept his gaze strangely over the several people. You guys shouldn't have thought. Spells don't have a cooldown time, right? Just as the words fell, the fire rain spell in the sky had already come to an end and gradually died down, only the flames spewed out by the firebirds and the bursting fireballs that exploded from time to time were continuing to impede the advancement of the group of withered bone birds. However, no matter who could see that the loss of the large range of group attack spells, even if the damage of the firebirds was extremely high, it would be difficult to resist such a large-scale flock of birds. The fire elemental elves had mastered some group attack spells, but the firewall worked more on ground units, while the explosive fireball was just a pseudo-group attack skill, and its attack range was extremely limited. This? Everyone was stunned, and Sun Bureau and the others were even more puzzled as they looked towards Qin Ming. The fire rain technique only lasts for 15 seconds but has a cooldown time of up to 10 minutes, relying on the firebirds won't be able to block these dead birds, we must gather all the long-range players. Qin Ming said as he looked at the crowd. Wang Guodong was the first to react, and as the chief strategic commander he immediately ordered. Falcon plan, execute immediately. 
Although Qin Ming had sought a meeting with a few people for just a short while, Wang Guodong was unsurprisingly competent as the strategic commander-in-chief this time, and had also formulated quite a few battle plans based on the possible situation. In fact, the Falcon plan was precisely what was formulated to face the air units. Qin Ming had already told him about some of the undead plague's troop types and their approximate numbers, and as a division commander with many years of combat experience, he naturally wouldn't miss out on these details. Roger that. The adjutant next to him immediately responded, and the other force leaders also ordered their respective cooperation. They could all see that at this moment, although the formation of the withered bonebirds had been dispersed by the fire rain art, they simply couldn't hold out for too long relying on the firebirds and fire elemental elves alone. Once they waited for the wither bird flock to regroup, what they faced would be the end. The players on the front line quickly received orders, and with the withdrawal of the long-range professions, the pressure on the melee professions fending off the skeleton army suddenly increased. But this was only temporary. Seeing that the personnel were almost assembled, Xin Ming had the fire elemental elves withdraw back, while the firebirds were slowly pulling back their battle line, placing the withered birds into the attack range of the crowd. Archers prepare, release arrows. With a command, a rain of arrows poured out from the sky. This time, the major forces did not hold back, and all the elites in their hands were sent out, and the dead bone bird flock immediately began to suffer a large number of casualties. At the same time, the ground also began to have a large area of flames rising, like a wall made of flames stretched across the middle of the black demon rabbit plains, countless skeletons were no longer able to step into a step. Although the firewall doesn't have a cooldown time, there's only one fire elemental elf, and the plane is very wide, so she can't block it off by herself. Qin Ming appeared in a voice and reminded. Don't worry, this little guy of yours has blocked half of the planes, we can't even solve such a small number of monsters. Wang Wodong said. It was only until then that they realized the existence of the fire elemental elf, it was really hard to imagine that this was another summoned beast that was not weaker than the fire bird. I still say that you guys have to be mentally prepared, skeleton or dead bone bird, this undead natural disaster has only just begun. If you can't take advantage of this time to hurry up and get strong, you won't be able to stop it back there. After saying that Qin Ming no longer paid any attention to them, the staff in his hand swung again and summoned Gabriel. Although the situation on the ground was stabilized, but relying only on the firebirds in the sky wouldn't work, not to mention that the wither birds were also a type of undead army, and they likewise had their own commander. Crap! It's an angel! Gabriel's appearance once again attracted everyone's attention, and that handsome figure, white feathered wings, and slender thighs attracted all the wolves' gazes. Nima, too beautiful. This leg labor can be played with for 10 years. Oh well, I'm also a summoner, how do I feel like I'm not playing the same game as him, what the hell is this summon beast of mine? You're a fake summoner, right? What the hell is a goblin? I'll slash one. Where do I buy an angel sister? Do you have any sisters? If not, I'll be your sister. Dead mansion, with your size, you can't fly even if you cut down a tree, can you? It wasn't just the ordinary players who were surprised, the many bigwigs of the powers were similarly stunned, their gazes sweeping curiously over Qin Ming's body. It was as if they wanted to know exactly what other summoned beasts he could bring out, and what kind of shock would it bring to them. Angel and Firebird, they are indeed stronger than I imagined. Wang Guodong looked at Qin Ming and laughed. When he had first met Qin Ming in the dark forest, he had seen Gabriel and the Firebird by his side, only that the battle had already ended at that time, so he wasn't sure just how strong these two summoned beasts were. But when he saw them today, the Firebird stopped the roiling swarm of withered bone birds with a rain of fire. Gabriel, on the other hand, had even cut down a gold-level dead bone bird boss with three swords. Not to mention the jungle giant ape that was sold earlier, and the fire elemental elf that blocked half of the planes by its own strength. Gold level summoned beasts are just that, with your status and position you will be able to master them sooner or later. Qin Ming said indifferently. At this time, Gabriel, who had killed the dead bone bird king, flew back and scattered a bunch of things that the other party had exploded on the ground, then killed back again. The withered bone birds were endless, and there was naturally more than one boss, the dark forests even had a new bird king already appear. Qin Ming looked at it and took a few of the high grade materials, then pointed at one of the gold grade skill books and laughed. Noi. Isn't this here? It was a gold grade electric lightning technique, which belonged to the relatively rare lightning system spells. If it didn't feel like a waste, he would really have some desire to learn it himself. The attack power of thunder system spells was second only to fire system spells, and it was even better in terms of penetration. Not only that, lightning spells tended to have extra damage bonuses for undead creatures, which would be of great use in the next battle. 20 gold, I'll take it. Faced with a gold level skill book, Wang Guodong was not ambiguous and immediately bid to take it. The crowd thought about it and gave up bidding with it. After all, it was only a rank 0 skill book, and the undead plague was only half a day old, so there was still plenty of opportunity behind it. The items were quickly distributed, 
but the crowd's battle gradually became tougher. The withered bone birds and skeletons were different, they were originally bronze level monsters, after downgrading their grade by one level, at this time they were a group of silver level wild monsters, their strength was much stronger than the skeletons on the ground, and they mastered the ability to control the air, simply ignored the formation of the players, directly from the sky to pounce down, so that the entire player group into a mess. Everyone don't panic, attack close by and focus on killing the monsters in front of you. Quite a few players shouted out, these were the people that Wang Wudong and the others had placed in their ranks, their mental quality was much better than ordinary people, and they were much more relaxed when facing a crisis. After all, they had all considered the enemies in the air, being attacked by air was naturally an inevitable thing, and stabilizing people's hearts in the midst of chaos was the most important thing. However, Wang Guodong had ultimately underestimated the strength of this group of withered bone birds. How could a silver level monster be so easy to defeat? Although it was not as good as a bronze level summoned beast, it was not much worse. One or two of them were fine, but with such a group of them rushing down, those ordinary players simply couldn't cope. Before the one on hand could be killed, there were already more dead bone birds flying down. Even if they were in order under the command of their respective captains, lack of strength was lack of strength, and if they couldn't kill the dead bone birds, they would only be dragged to their deaths. Go mobilize some of the warrior type players to come back and help assist in fending off the dead bone birds. Wang Guodong immediately ordered, and not only him, but the other leaders also had a grave look on their faces. Only now did they gradually understand why Qin Ming had repeatedly emphasized that this battle would be difficult? Not to mention the ordinary players, quite a few withered bone birds even rushed up to their command platforms, and they also went out to fight with this group of withered bone birds, and surprisingly, they were all a bit frazzled. At this time, the only one who can still deal with it calmly is Qin Ming, no need to summon beasts, he himself took the staff, with his own high legal strength, a fireball can easily harvest these dead bone birds, but how many could he kill with just him alone? Qin Ming frowned slightly and found Wang Guodong. This won't work. Go find out if there are any formation masters within the players who have learned how to trap formations and have them try to set up formations at the village entrance. There are also other types of professions, don't always limit your sights to the traditional battle law shepherds, some of our unique Chinese professions can often play a huge role. Hearing these words, Wang Guodong immediately brightened up. You have a point, I remember that I have a few on my side, I'll go make arrangements now. As a battlefield veteran, Wang Guodong was just inexperienced in online gaming and very often he could only go and listen to his subordinates, but most of what the people below him told him were just some basic attempts, and some of the offbeat professions they didn't understand. Now that he heard Qin Ming's words, it immediately opened up his mind, not only formation masters, but even found a lot of zither masters, minstrels and other offbeat professions. This kind of profession's combat power in the early stage is not strong, and the threshold of inauguration is very high, but they mastered the sound spells have a great range of attacks, do not need them to kill the enemy, just use the sound to carry out some weakening of the flock of birds, put on the whole can be for the players to alleviate a lot of pressure. Moreover, in order to mobilize the enthusiasm of these players, Wang Guodong even ordered that they should be given priority in picking up the drops of their own profession to make up for their lack of experience value. After all, without teaming up and killing monsters, their leveling up would also have to lag far behind others, and they could only make up for it in the drop items. You say, is there a large grouping tool that allows all players to share experience values and drops? Finally taking a breath, Wang Guozhu asked towards Qin Ming. The most difficult part of this process was in the mobilization of personnel and the sharing of resources. With no grouping, no group battle command channel, and communication basically relying on yelling, even he felt his mouth dry. There is. It's just a pity that we haven't dropped yet. Qin Ming said with a shrug, this kind of thing was a necessity for large group battles, and I'm afraid the will of the gods didn't expect it to be used this early. That's such a pity. I hope one will drop out soon next. Wang Guodong sighed and said, commanding like this was too tiring, while Qin Ming froze when he heard this. Nope. The will of the gods will adjust the drops according to the actual situation of the player. Perhaps there's a possibility that something like this will drop out when we encounter the boss later on? Qin Ming thought in his mind. Such a thought had just risen when he saw Gabrielle flying back, she had once again slain a gold-ranked boss and the drops in her arms were scattered all over the ground. Qin Ming's gaze swept through these items in turn, eventually landing on a scroll. Get. Speak of the devil, the team command tool you asked for is here, you can just take this thing and there will be no charge. Qin Ming faintly laughed and handed the scroll to Wang Guodong. Temporary team scroll, silver grade. Capable of adding up to 10,000 players to a team and opening a temporary team channel. Users can obtain team management privileges, and can set up to 10 administrators. The experience value gained from killing monsters will be shared equally or distributed by the administrators. The drops from killing monsters will be distributed by the administrators. 
Users can set their own rules for allocation and can bet on additional resources to be allocated. Users can set their own rules for allocation. Multiple scrolls can be used together, the number of users can be stacked, and the time of use can be averaged. Temporary teams can last up to 7 days. Good stuff. With this, there's hope for our later battles. Seeing the attributes of the temporary team scroll, Wang Guodong said excitedly. Don't be in a hurry, why don't you guys look into how this distribution rule is going to be set up first? Xin Ming laughed and let out a sigh of relief himself. The effect of the temporary formation scroll was not as simple as opening a group in a normal game. Many of the rules in it could be set by the user to set up on their own. You can set it up to be distributed evenly, or set it up to be distributed as you go, or you can even set up your own corresponding contribution value system, and go through the complicated and cumbersome contribution value to exchange it. But once you set it up successfully, you are not allowed to change it again. That was why Qin Ming had asked them to look into the rules of distribution therein, he didn't know anything about this aspect, after all, he didn't have the qualifications to use such scrolls in his previous life. You're right. Ah, Sun Bureau. And everyone else. Let's all study and research, how exactly does this scroll work, so that it can be implemented as soon as possible to reduce the casualties of the players. Wang Guodong immediately responded, pulling the bigwigs to start a heated discussion. Xin Ming watched for a while and then paid no more attention to it, instead wandering amongst the players, constantly rescuing some of the teams that were in crisis. The team scroll drop was a bit unexpected, but it made sense. This was originally supposed to be an item that would only drop after the end of the newcomer's secret realm, after the first rank, and its main function was still to deal with the monster siege after the end of the secret realm. However, the will of the gods was one that would independently check for deficiencies, and after realizing that they already needed such an item right now, a corresponding drop would appear as well. Inexplicably, there is a feeling of artificial manipulation, but there are times when people snooze, and artificial intelligence is more appropriate? That's not right either. The gods control the world through rules and authority, so perhaps the rules themselves have the function of closing loopholes? Or maybe we triggered certain drop conditions, like rare professions in the team? And leveling events? Xin Ming thought as his thoughts drifted away. Wang Guodong and the others moved quickly, and with such a tense battle situation there was no time for them to discuss how perfect a contribution system they could come up with, and they directly chose to divide all the experience values equally. Instead, the drops were native role points, and players who killed monsters as well as those designated by the administrators would receive an additional weighting of points to ensure that their harvests would not be obtained by those who were fishing in troubled waters. On top of that, based on the number of monsters killed, all players would also receive a certain amount of contribution value, which would be exchanged for rare items prepared by the major powers, most of which were drops from the bosses killed by the crowd. As soon as the team scrolls were announced, all the players immediately boiled over, especially those of the support professions, who were cheering. Great! My little priest who can't afford a team scroll can finally not have to rush up to kill monsters. Right! God knows, how heartbreaking is it for me, a zither player, to go up and shoot monsters with my zither? Me too, I'm a Taoist, but I've only learned one healing spell, so I have to go up and slash the monsters with a mahogany sword. I've already broken three wooden swords. Don't talk about it, I'm a formation master. Today is the first time I set up a formation, usually I don't even have the chance, the formation hasn't been set up yet, the monsters are dead. Tearful, I'm an 18 line little milk daddy, finally found the organization. As more and more players joined the team, the team channel gradually became lively. Unfortunately, this temporary team formation scroll was only silver level, and the number of people who could join was only 10,000, while the players in Morning Glory Village were far more than that. Wang Guodong could only prioritize the manpower of the major forces as well as the auxiliary players to join in, first ensuring that the command of the entire team could function properly, while expecting Qin Ming to be able to pop out another team scroll. The appearance of the team scroll made the situation on the field appear somewhat better. Whether it was the aggressiveness of the support class professions or the commander's mobilization of their personnel, all of them steered the battle towards a favorable side. Although there were still some inevitable casualties in the middle, the overall strength was improving, regardless of level or equipment. Especially after an hour, the second temporary team scroll was exploded, and it was finally possible to include all players in the team altogether. With the addition of mainstream combat players, the acquisition of experience value and drops was boosted, and everyone went into rapid growth. Boom a daytime day passed by in a flash, and the roaring sound coming from the dark forest shook the tired complexions of all the players. Don't worry about it, do your own thing. Xin Ming said in a deep voice, Gabriel had already flown towards the depths of the forest and soon returned after scoping out the situation. It's suture monsters, there are quite a few of them. Xin Ming's face sank slightly, although to him suture monsters were nothing, but these big guys put on the battlefield would be siege weapons. Their huge size and powerful strength could easily tear apart everything in front of them, 
and the hooks and locks in their hands could easily hook targets that they couldn't reach in front of them. If the suture monster was really allowed to charge over, it would be an absolute disaster for the ordinary players. Boom! The roar resounded once more as the trees on the outskirts of the dark forest fell, and a fortified meter tall meatball had come out of the forest. What is this? Many people cried out in shock, just looking at it already caused people to tremble. Suture monsters belonged to the gold level, and unlike the withered bone bird, they were very powerful in size and strength, even far surpassing normal monsters of the same level. If the withered bone bird was the existence of the bottom of the gold class, then the suture monster was the existence of the peak of the gold class, the difference between the two was a huge span. However, without waiting for Wang Wodong and the others to find it, the black demon rabbit planes already had a black, deadly aura rising once again. The nearby players had palpitations and retreated. As the black mist dispersed, seven death knights riding nightmares appeared in the crowd's line of sight, their deathly cold gazes filled with death were chilling, yet their handsome and heroic posture made many people scream. Go! I'll leave the ground to you guys. Qin Ming ignored the surrounding murmurs and ordered the seven death knights. Few the nightmare hissed, and the death knights who received the order rushed out in formation, turning everything they encountered along the way into dust, and nothing could be blocked by the point of the gun's blade. Crap! Awesome! Death Knight, is this also Big Brother's Summoned Beast? Ah, too handsome, where do you find this kind of summoned beast? I want it too. I'm a necromancer, I can summon skeletons, just give it a horse and it'll be a death knight too. You're thinking about farts, just your skeleton, I can break it with a staff, look at other people's death knights, seven of them are going to sweep the whole plane empty. Too cool, this is my dark horse rider. No, no, no. I'm going to go change my fatties, I'm afraid of catching a cold. Hiss. Sister, don't, right? Maybe I'll have to change it later, leave it open together. It's cool. Crap. Is this paid content something I can listen to? Miss? How about a little bit more? Accompanied by the Death Knight's warhorse charging, the skeletons on the entire plane fell like mowing grass, destroying them, even the fire elemental elves were idle. It couldn't be helped, the skeletons on the planes were scattered in threes and twos, she couldn't be used anymore. And after completing a round of charging on the planes, the Death Knight targeted the stitch monster that had just come out of the dark forest. Die. The low roar of the seven was like a chant before death descends, and the lance swept across, hard enough to directly pierce through the tall stitch monster. Boom one huge body rumbled to the bottom, and the players watched in disbelief. No, dare we, these tens of thousands of players, are still no match for seven death knights? A player said in a difficult tone, looking at the bronze grade greatsword he had just gotten in his hand, suddenly feeling that it didn't smell good at all. Not to mention seven death knights, I think that together, we can't even beat their seven horses. The player next to him, kindly consoled. Don't say it, brother. It's heartbreaking. At this time, Wang Guodong and the others also looked at Qin Ming, the shock Qin Ming had brought to them today was just too great, whether it was the firebird, the fire elemental elf, Gabriel, or the final death knight, any one of these summoned beasts was enough to make the players go crazy. But now all of these things were concentrated in one person's body. Don't look at me, there really aren't any other tricks left, so hurry up and arrange for people to go and pick up the drops from the planes and boost everyone's strength. Qin Ming laughed bitterly. He really didn't intend to put the Death Knight to use this early. It was only the first day, and he had already sent out the last card in his hand, how could he fight in the next two days? Not to mention other things, Gabriel, Firebird, and the Fire Elemental Elves, they had to rest, right? It's not like 007 is this miserable, right? That's right. I'll make arrangements now. The Major Head said at once, arranging for people to pick up the drops. Although there was a team channel, they were all administrators at least, and some appropriate enrichment could still be done, so the crowd was also very active for this kind of thing. Have the other rotations been arranged? These people have already been fighting for a day, the mortality rate in the afternoon is skyrocketing. Qin Ming looked at Wang Wodong and reminded. It has been arranged and is being gradually replaced. These people can also go back to the village to rest. Wang Wodong nodded his head. No, these monsters don't rest at night either? Fighting hard for three days? A powerhead next to him said, immediately drawing a blank stare from the crowd. This is a war, have you ever seen anyone fighting a war and waiting for you to rest? Wang Guodong disliked in a good-natured manner. That's right, do you really think you're playing an online game? Even if it's an online game, there's still the whole battlefield that you fight for a week or two. Another big brother beside him said. Xin Ming looked at it, he didn't have much of an impression of this person, he guessed that he died early in his previous life and didn't do much, so he didn't bother to put it in his mind but he still needed to be reminded of the things he should be reminded of. Undead creatures don't have the physical strength to get tired, so their attacks at night won't be much weaker than during the day, so you guys need to be mentally prepared. Rest well yourselves, Qin Ming said. 
Also, the ground can be handed over to my death knights, you guys can focus on the innate, the firebird and the others are living beings, unlike these death creatures, they do get tired. In fact, there was no need for him to say that the firebirds and fire elemental elves were already showing fatigue. It was a good thing that there was no need for them to serve as the main force of the war, which made them persevere. This? Without these summoned beasts of yours, what will we do at night? We can't rely on the players alone to block it, right? Sun Bureau asked with a frown. Wang Guodong was getting older, it was impossible for him to stay here all the time at night, and the main commander was him. If the summoned beasts were withdrawn at this time, there would definitely be great casualties with just the players. At that time, when it was compared to the battle results of Wang Guodong during the day, it would be a great blow to his reputation. The planes have been handed over to my death knights, you only need to focus on facing the sky, what are you afraid of? Qin Ming bristled. That's right, and with this equipment upgrade, the players at night are stronger than during the day, you should have a much easier time. The other chiefs similarly persuaded from the side. Sun Bureau looked embarrassed, but it was hard to disobey the orders of the crowd, so he still nodded his head and responded. Xin Ming was too lazy to hook up with them here, and directly found a relatively safe place, pitched his tent, and began to rest. Compared to the others, he slept quite peacefully this night. After all, with the existence of many powerful summoned beasts, even if it was really overrun by the undead army, he was sure that he could escape. It's been hard on you, go rest and relax. Xin Ming said as he looked at the fire elemental elf beside him and waved his hand to dismiss her back. She was the one who was in charge of keeping watch last night, and the emergence of a powerful boss also required her to tackle it, and there was a clear sense of exhaustion on her small face after a night. Although summoned beasts could be refreshed by repeatedly summoning them to refresh their physical condition, it took time to recover mentally, after all, souls and memories wouldn't change easily, unless the summoned beast died. Coming? Giro san has already gone to rest, the situation last night was alright, apart from the withered bone birds and some occasional banshees, there weren't too many changes, and the number of stitching monsters is also quite a bit less. Seeing Qin Ming coming over, Wang Guodong, who had already taken over from Bureau Sun, said with a smile. That's good. Qin Ming nodded, how are the players doing? How's the strength? Ha, huh, just finished counting, about one-tenth of the players have reached level 9, more than 90% of the players already have a full set of white plate equipment, more than half of the players have bronze level equipment, and the skill books are in a similar situation. It seems like today's battle is going to be quite a bit easier than yesterday's. Don't be careless, the real boss hasn't come out yet, and this isn't the true strength of the undead plague of heaven. Qin Ming reminded. There were a total of three large black towers outside of Morning Glory Village, which meant that there were at least three undead forces. The ones that had appeared so far were all still just the strength of the skeleton dragon that he had cleared away, skeletons, undead mages, and dead birds. If a black tower came one day, then there should be a change today, and even the lord of the black tower was about to descend. Don't worry. We've already made preparations. Before Wang Wodong's words fell, there was suddenly a sharp whistling sound in the sky. Everyone looked up, only to see that apart from the endless dead bone birds, at some point, there were actually quite a few more green transparent figures, and their mouths were continuously emitting fearful shrill whistling sounds. It's a grieving spirit. Qin Ming immediately came out to say. In fact, there was no need for him to open his mouth, as Wang Guodong and the others had already fought these monsters. Although there weren't many spiteful spirits that appeared at night, there would still be a few of them occasionally, it was just that they didn't expect that there would be so many more in one breath today, and this turn of events caused a huge increase in the pressure on all the players. The spiteful spirits are immune to physical damage, but their blood count is thin and their defense is low, mobilize the legal professions to destroy them. Xin Ming shouted. The grievous spirits were similar to banshees, or rather, they were the lower ranked form of banshees, but they also possessed some of the banshees' qualities. For example, they were immune to physical damage, such as having less blood and low defense. Comparatively speaking, the grievous spirit wasn't difficult to kill, and ordinary players could easily handle it as long as they had a few law professions on their team. The real headache was those physical professions, any attack would pass directly through the opponent's body, unable to cause effective damage at all, and even the hatred was not good. By the way, there's a skill within the priest profession that's sacred radiance, which allows the player's attacks to be accompanied by sacred damage, and this can pose a great threat to the grievous spirits. There's also the Taoist profession's ghost repelling technique, Buddha's golden light mantra, and so on. Although the grievous spirits are troublesome, if they can find a way to restrain them, they'll instead be better to kill than other monsters. Qin Ming voiced out a reminder, for traditional warrior and assassin type professions, the grievous spirit was indeed a headache. However, for some special oriental professions, it was instead a good monster for brushing experience. A level 10 gold level grievous spirit only had a few hundred points of blood, not only did it have zero defense, but it also came with a damage deepening effect. 
A Taoist priest with a ghost drawing charm could kill a spirit with a few swords, and the experience swished upwards. It's really thanks to you. Otherwise, when we deal with these undead creatures, I'm afraid we'll be at a great disadvantage. After arranging everything properly, Wang Guodong looked at Qin Ming and said with slight emotion. Unlike yesterday, today's Qin Ming no longer summoned out many summoned beasts other than the undead knights, and would only go and clean up the gold level bosses when they appeared. After yesterday's one day of grinding, the player's strength had been boosted considerably, so at least they wouldn't have their hands full when dealing with the dead bone bird anymore. Even with the Death Knight's deliberate release, a portion of the melee professions could be spared to block the skeleton army. The manpower is still too small, if there were a hundred thousand or so players in the secret realm, this undead plague wouldn't be so difficult. Qin Ming shook his head inside. In the previous generation, those cities that blocked the monster attack were invariably large cities with millions of people, and very few small counties could survive, usually because the county appeared to have amazing characters that could play a decisive role in turning the tide of battle. Wang Guodong froze, before there is no feeling in this regard, now hear Qin Ming's words, think carefully seems to be true. The secret entrance and exit of Morning Glory Village was this big, and even if there were more undead plagues, the throughput would only be this big. Once the number of players got bigger, it would be a lot easier to rotate them. You're right, it seems that relocating towards the city is imperative. Wang Guodong said in a deep voice, unable to help but be glad that he had listened to Qin Ming's words and made some preparations in advance. You can look after the matter of Xian Jiang County, but after the novice mystic realm is over, I will leave directly, and I will leave some markers along the way, so if you guys really decide to migrate, you shouldn't be in too much danger if you go along the markers that I left. Qin Ming said after some thought. He was different from Wang Guodong, he was alone, at most he would bring along Fatty and the others, a small team lightly loaded and could go anywhere. But Wang Guodong was different, he obviously wanted to bring along the people of the entire Xian Jiang County, the vast majority of which were just ordinary people who had not obtained player status, it would not be easy to bring such a team over the mountains. Then thank you very much. On behalf of the people of Xian Jiang County, I thank you. Wang Guodong thanked with a sincere face. Don't be in a hurry to thank me. If you really plan to relocate, Gaoning City is not the end of the line, you still have to go to Jiangnan City, the capital of the province. That's why I won't stay in Gaoning City for too long, I will move to Jiangnan City after I am promoted to the second rank, if you have the intention, you can bring your people with me at that time. Jiangnan City? Wang Guodong showed a puzzled look on his face. If Gaoning City wants to develop, it is impossible without a decade or so. But Jiangnan City is different, it's the nearest provincial capital city and all the high-end players in the neighborhood will converge towards there. With the largest population and the strongest players, Jiangnan City will definitely rebuild the fastest and have the most opportunities. That's why you shouldn't stay in Gaoning City for too long, and after bringing the people there, you can also consider bringing your own people to Jiangnan City. Now that the world is in chaos, the sooner you go over there, the more you can take advantage of the chaos to gain a firm foothold. Wang Guodong was not speaking, but was in deep thought. The amount of information contained in Qin Ming's words was simply too great, the difference between Jiangnan City and Gaonin City, the convergence of players, the reconstruction of cities, and the division of forces. Under the end times, any single misstep would be the end of everything. Right. If you really intend to take Xi and Jiang County to Gaoning City, then it's best to get rid of Bureau Sun, Shanai, and Principal Lin in advance, to make trouble outside the country, you won't have a smooth trip until they're removed. After saying that and patting the old man's shoulder, Qin Ming turned around and left the command platform. There were several powerful auras rising in the dark forest, without any surprises there should be a few big bosses coming, he couldn't continue to be idle here. Oh sobbing sounds echoed in the dark forest, a day and a night of fighting had turned this forest of birds and flowers into a gloomy and terrifying place. A light green figure flew out from the forest, unlike those ordinary spiteful spirits, she manifested a delicate dress with a pair of soulful eyes. Banshee, Monica, Platinum Grade. Level, 10. Life Value, 28800-28800. Spell Strength, 1040. Defense, 0. Spell Defense, 0. Unsurprisingly, Monica should be one of the three large Black Towers Tower Masters, sharing the same status as the skeletal dragon Stevens. Naturally, there should also be a comparable strength between the two. Although Monica had been forcibly suppressed to level 10, her grade had been raised to platinum level, which could be said to have surpassed the limit of a rank 0 unit, and hidden spatial fluctuations could even be seen between her hands and feet. That was caused by the overly powerful energy suppression, Monica herself was under tremendous pressure at this time. Little fellow, you're the one who killed that stupid dragon Stevens, right? It's an honor to die by your hand. Monica was the first to spot Qin Ming in the crowd, and laughed seductively in her voice. Qin Ming felt a dizziness in his mind, but he quickly came to his senses, not realizing that the other party's seduction ability was so powerful. 
If he wasn't suppressed to only level 10 at this time, I'm afraid that a single word could make him take the initiative to send him to the door. Looks like you're looking forward to it. Xin Ming said with a grave expression, Gabriel had already been summoned and was standing beside him. Seeing that her means had failed, Monica's eyes couldn't help but flash through a trace of undetectable loss. Of course, Stevens wasn't even a match for you, so naturally my fall was already predetermined. Monica laughed, seemingly completely ignoring the great battle around her as she slowly flew towards Qin Ming's direction. The players who heard the conversation between the two at this moment were even more stunned. No one had expected that such a powerful and beautiful female demon would be involved with Qin Ming? A story that people and ghosts were different and had to be told had already unfolded in the minds of many players by association. Dirty ghost, stop in your tracks. Gabriel flew forward, blocking in front of Monica, the dragon soul gun in his hand pointing straight at the other party. Phew, isn't this Steven's crippled dragon soul? What do you think, Monica should leave something good for you? Seeing the dragon soul gun, Monica was not the slightest bit intimidated, but instead asked with a big smile. If you're really that sincere, why don't you leave a little bit of deicide behind? Qin Ming sneered. As his words fell, Gabriel had already rushed forward with his spear, the dragon soul lance stabbing straight out with a divine blaze shining on it. Little angel, you're really impatient. But a quick battle is good. Monica flew back, and a guttural whistling sound was already coming out of her mouth. Normal undead means were obviously ineffective against angels, so she directly chose sound type and spirit type moves. Sharp sound waves converged into a line rushing towards Gabriel, sensing the threat she chose to dodge at the first opportunity, yet she was still having a strand of her golden hair chipped off by the sound waves. Xin Ming's face sank slightly, relying on sound waves to be able to chop off strands of hair, this was something that no zither player at this stage could do. Sneaky thing, except purification. A hint of anger flashed in Gabriel's eyes as the illusory sacred sword chopped out, burning a huge gaping hole in the opponent's soul body. This was the sort of punishment, which had a certain long-range attack ability, and with Gabriel's high attack and the divine enhancement of the angel's body, this sword chopped off Monica's life value of 7 to 8,000. Hiss the little angel hit so hard, it hurt so much. Monica said with an aggrieved face, her delicate voice agitated the surrounding players, who had even pointed at Qin Ming and cursed him. Shut up. Qin Ming scolded sternly, not realizing that the other party would be able to charm the surrounding players into falling back so easily. Fortunately, in the past two days, his powerful strength had accumulated quite a bit of prestige amongst the players, and although the crowd was cursing, no one dared to actually attack him yet. Qin Ming was also not ambiguous, directly summoned the fire elemental elves and firebirds, and rushed up to directly eliminate Monica. The banshee had lost her physical immunity as a talent, and the only advantage she had left was her speed, and there weren't many means of attack that she was able to perform. Under the joint siege of the three summoned beasts, she was quickly drained of blood and gradually dissipated into the sky. However, even after being decapitated, Monica's face didn't show the slightest expression of pain, instead sending Qin Ming a parting flying kiss. Little handsome boy. I can't wait for the day you come to rescue me oh bo. Monica's appearance didn't put too much pressure on the crowd, after all, the Gabriellian's outburst took it down easily. However, Monica's drop had surprised Qin Ming, the platinum level Monica had dropped out two epic level items for him. I don't have the extreme luck talent turned on, huh? Qin Ming looked at the items in his hand with a puzzled expression. Banshee's heart, under seal. Grade, epic grade. Capable of summoning an epic banshee out to assist in battle, the summoned beast level is fixed at 1 rank 19. Maximum duration, 1 hour, cooldown, 1 month. Bound, cannot be abandoned or traded, bound, cannot be abandoned or traded. Release crystal, release crystal. Grade, epic, grade, epic. By consuming one's own divine power, one can release the usage restrictions of certain items. Cooldown time one month. How does it feel? These two items are rather like what that banshee left for me on purpose? Qin Ming's mind thought suspiciously. A platinum level boss shouldn't have been killed so easily anyways, and dropping two epic level items in one breath was really a bit over the top. Thinking back to the other party's words before she died, although her voice was full of seduction, it did seem like she didn't feel too much of a threat. Instead of saying that this banshee had come to destroy Morning Glory Village, it would be more appropriate to say that she had come to die. It was as if from the very beginning, her purpose was to find Qin Ming and die at his hands. But, why? Qin Ming was puzzled, and in the end, he could only put these two items away. At least they were epic items, and it could even be said that they were exchanged for them by overdrawing other drops, so they couldn't be wasted just like that. To know, Monica a platinum level boss, in addition to these two things, not to mention platinum level items, even gold level items did not drop a piece, the rest are all silver level equipment. Inexplicably, I have a feeling of having lost a lot of money. Qin Ming shrugged his shoulders, greeted Wang Bodong and the others, and turned towards the village. 
The Banshee's heart was fine, the usefulness of the release crystal still had to be studied, being able to lift the restrictions on the use of certain items, could it not be that it would allow him to use his rank 2 equipment earlier? The day passed in a flash, although there were no powerful bosses, many players still had a feeling of physical and mental exhaustion. Two consecutive days of non-stop fighting was a great test of mental and physical strength. Even some of the people with evil intentions such as Sun Duro didn't have the energy to hook up anymore and only wanted to survive this battle. More than 3,000 people have already died, the number of players left is less than 10,000, and there are quite a few injured, can we really hold on tomorrow? Standing by Qin Ming's side, Wang Guodong asked with a weary look on his face. The mortality rate was as high as 30%, and this was only the second day, so it was hard to imagine how many people would be able to survive if we really waited for this undead plague to end. At this time, there are already quite a few players who have fallen into grief, their relatives, friends, and loved ones, have all lost their lives in this natural disaster. It was saddening that they had survived the calamity on the blue planet, the good fortune of obtaining the status of a player, but had fallen on the path of might. The closer you get to success, the easier it is to fail, you should know this better. The darkness before the dawn is the hardest to endure. Wang Guodong would have this question, not wanting to seek any answers, just wanting to find someone to talk to. Heavy emotions needed to be released, and as a division commander, he had definitely experienced battles that were much tougher than this, not so much that he had come to Qin Ming to seek a solution, but some relevant knowledge was still necessary. You're right, there are not a few people who fell at the last step. But I noticed that you seem to be very adapted to this kind of situation, not at all like a freshly graduated college student. You can think of me as having played too many games or read too many apocalyptic novels, so I'm a bit more experienced in theory, and now I'm just finally able to put my experience to practical use. Ha 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 ha, then you are really experienced in this. Wang Wodong laughed out loud, then experienced senior, will there be any more powerful ghosts descending behind us? There is. Qin Ning nodded. The withered bone bird and the grievous spirit belong to two different undead forces, and based on what I've learned, there are actually a total of three undead forces. Unsurprisingly, the stone ghosts will appear tomorrow. Stone ghosts? Wang Guodong showed a puzzled expression. Well, it is an undead creature similar to a bat, but much larger in size. Unlike grievous spirits that are immune to physical damage, they are born with extremely high magic resistance and can completely immunize themselves from magic damage through petrification. Hiss these undead creatures are really strange. That's true, and that's just what we've been able to see so far. There are many different undead creatures that are too high in level to appear in the novice secret realm. Like those death knights of yours? Ha ha ha. Yes. The two of them chatted with each other as they endured this long night together. Wang Guodong had learned a great deal about undead creatures from Qin Ming's side, and Qin Ming was also intentionally spreading the relevant information. Only when people were able to get to know them could they grasp the methods to fight them. Not only that, this was also selling Wang Guodong a favor, and in the future, if he really survived or even traveled to Jiangnan City, it would be a great boost for him. The two did not rush to sleep, but quietly waited until late at night, until the first stone ghost appeared in sight. Coming! Qin Ming said as he stood up and looked at the huge figure in the sky. Unlike the skeleton of the withered bone bird and the illusory body of the grievous spirit, the stone ghoul possessed a complete body and was very strong and sturdy. The stone ghost with its wings unfolded was almost 5 meters in size, and the power between its swings was not the least bit weaker than the jungle giant ape. Squeak a bat like cry rang out, and the huge body of the stone statue ghost directly swooped down and rushed into the middle of the battlefield. What the hell is this? So much power. Mage. Quickly gather fire. A nearby warrior was swatted away and immediately shouted towards his companions. Boom. Boom. Facing such an unknown creature, the mage group was not ambiguous either. Several energy balls were immediately smashed over, only to find that the other party didn't even move their blood bar for a second. This? 4000 blood? 50% spell reduction? 240 physical defense? When Wang Guodong saw the attributes of the stone ghost, his entire body was stunned, truly realizing how powerful the stone ghost was. Unlike the withered bone bird and the grievous spirit that were limited by their own talents, there was a certain amount of weakening in their attributes, so regardless of blood or defense, they were all far below the level of a normal gold level monster. But the stone ghost is different, in addition to the suppression of the secret realm rules, its attributes can be said to have no weakening, naturally it also appears particularly powerful and tricky. Don't look at the 240 points of attack and physical defense was nothing, nearly two-thirds of the players who were still alive were unable to break the defense, and the MTs who could resist this kind of attack were likewise only a few. Arrange for an elite team, although the stone ghosts are powerful, their numbers won't be as high as the withered birds and grievous spirits, after all, is an almost flawless race. Qin Ming spoke out. This manpower, it's really not enough. Wang Guodong arranged it with a heartbroken face, 
it was foreseeable that the appearance of the stone statue ghosts would bring about huge casualties. Crap! Are you guys not eating? Where's the attack? Fight! The squad that caught the stone goblin could vaguely hear MT's roar. Scream you sister! This guy's defense is over 200, so he's just scraping the bottom of the barrel. The assassin next to him shouted in a good-natured manner, his dagger slashing at the other party's body was as solid as if it had been cut on a rock. And the arrows shot by the distant archers were even bounced off directly, unable to cause any effective output at all. In reality, it was still the damage of the legal professions that was higher. Although it was reduced by 50%, the good thing was that it wasn't an embarrassing situation of being unable to break defense. Raise your shield better, I can't milk it. The priest in the back shouted, the huge amount of blood drop was also a great pressure for her. The entire squad had been grinding for a full 10 minutes, and had managed to grind the blood level of this stone goblin down to about 20%, only to find that it had stopped where it was and transformed into a huge rock. This? This is? Petrified? Possessing the scrying technique, everyone was able to see the basic information of the stone ghost, and the skill petrify was always in the skill bar. Nope. It's blood level. Nima, it's recovering so fast. The MT, who had his hands free, looked at the stone ghost's blood level, and a hint of despair was already in his tone. Oh. No. I'm not playing anymore, this thing can't be beaten at all. The archer cried out in pain, God knows his hand is breaking from pulling the bow, and as a result, you're telling him that this thing can still return blood? Don't dilly dally. Hurry up an output while it can't move, this skill must have a cooldown. The mage in the team shouted, and the energy ball in his hand shot out once again. However, the huge immunity. The two words made him completely freeze, what the hell is this? What the hell is this? Just now the damage was only low, now you're telling me that it's directly immune to spell damage? After a few seconds, the stone ghost resumed action, however, at this time, its blood level had already recovered to 80%, which meant that such a petrification skill had recovered 60% of its blood level. Especially after this squad had once again ground down his blood level, the other party had even entered the petrified state again, and several people instantly realized that this monster was not something they could handle. You guys go deal with the withered bone bird. We'll take over the stone ghost. Zheng Sija arrived with his team and took over the hatred of the stone ghost, then said to the crowd. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you so much. This thing isn't even something we can deal with. The crowd of the squad side in relief, looking at Zheng Sija and the others with a gaze filled with gratitude, if it wasn't for them rushing here, they and the others would definitely be exhausted to death here. No need to be polite. Zheng Sija said, the shining guts in his hand had already stabbed at the stone statue ghosts, piercing straight in like a normal monster, cutting down large chunks of rubble like tofu. The attacking power of the light gall is extremely considerable, and two days of fighting down, Zheng Sija's body has also been replaced with a silver level, and even a lot of gold level equipment, the strength compared to the fat man at the time they are not much worse. The other people in the team were also equally powerful, the high output of the mages aside, the physical DPS could also basically deal hundreds of points of damage. In less than a minute, this stone goblin was decimated, not even waiting for the cooldown time of petrification. So strong. The previous team had not yet traveled far and witnessed the entire process of Zheng Sija and the others beheading the stone goblin. While marveling, they also understood the huge gap between the two sides, and worked harder and harder to kill the monsters, so that they could raise their own strength and end this natural disaster invasion as soon as possible. The night was long, as the number of stone ghosts increased, the elite squad alone was already a bit too busy. Waking up the next morning, the number of players remaining in the novice secret realm was less than 8,000, another 2,000 lives lost. Luckily, with the arrival of the morning sun, the invasion of undead creatures had slowed down, and the crowd had gained a rare respite. However, Xin Ming and the others did not dare to be the slightest bit careless, instead, a faint crisis rose in their hearts, which looked more like the calm before the storm. Stone ghosts are afraid of light, it's not an effect in terms of battle prowess, but rather a difference in living habits. So we can rest a little during the day, the real crisis should be at night. Qin Ming reminded after thinking carefully. Saying that, but one couldn't do nothing to prepare, he still summoned the death knights into garrison. Luckily, the daytime passed by in a flash, and as night fell, the crisis finally came. A large number of stone ghosts flew out from the dark forest and flew towards the direction of Morning Glory Village, the terrifying number of them made the many players feel despair. Squeak the sky was filled with strange screams, the crowd seemed to be back to the moment when the bird of dead bones descended, the countless horrifying sounds made their scalps numb. And the stone goblins weren't just screams, as they approached, the tremendous force swept countless players away, the defense line that the crowd had held for three days and two nights instantly collapsed at this moment. No! Many people roared out in anger with red eyes, just this instantaneous collapse led to the deaths of hundreds of players, and this casualty was still expanding. Angel's sword. 
As the crowd despaired, a dazzling light suddenly flashed in their sight, a huge sacred sword chopped down from the sky, countless stone ghosts shattered in response, not even having the chance to turn on petrification. In three days this was the first time that the angel sword had made an appearance in the eyes of the crowd, it wasn't that Qin Ming didn't want to use it, but the one hour cooldown time made this skill not at all decisive, but instead it might make players develop a dependency mentality. And now the crisis has reached the point where it has to be used, if Gabriel doesn't make a move, the morale of the players will completely collapse, and holding on to Morning Glory Village will become an empty word. The strong angelic sword directly cleared the field, all the players froze, only the figure bathed in holy light remained in their eyes. It's the angel. It's big brother Qin Ming. Many players cheered out, the fear of escaping from death filled them with gratitude and even worship for Qin Ming. And at this moment, Wang Guodong walked out, holding a loudspeaker in his hand and shouted at the crowd. These three days have been hard on everyone, I know that many people have lost their loved ones, friends. In this war, but this is a war, there is no time for us to remember our grief, if we want to live, we have to fight for our lives. According to the news we got from the villagers of Morning Glory Village, the invasion of the undead natural disaster will last for three days, and tonight is the last moment of the undead invasion, as long as we last through tonight, we will be able to return to Blue Star. With the levels and equipment we've raised up, and with the belief that we will win, we'll go back to protect more of our loved ones and friends. This is the last moment before the dawn, we've been holding out for three days and two nights, we mustn't give up at this last moment, we have to come together and return to the Blue Star alive. Return to Blue Star alive. Return to Blue Star alive. As Wang Guodong's words fell, the entire village appeared to shout in unison, and the words, go back alive, touched everyone's heart. Since ancient times in China, there was a saying that one should return to one's roots, and even if one were to die, many people would prefer to die in their hometowns. The shouts of the crowd echoed throughout the Black Demon Rabbit Plains, while new undead creatures had already attacked once again, and the crowd reorganized their defensive formation under the leadership of their respective captains to fend off the invasion of undead creatures. It's going to be a tough night, and I'm afraid I won't have the chance to spare a hand to help you guys. Standing beside Wang Wodong, Qin Ming said in a low tone. Such a picture of all the people being of one heart is too difficult to see in the latter days, and he suddenly wants to guard such a group of people, or, guard this sincerity in the hearts of the people. Don't worry, at least we have learned a month of game knowledge, such a huge undead invasion activity, there must be a powerful boss behind it, we can't deal with it, we can only rely on you. Wang Wodong said with a smile. There were still quite a few people standing around them, there was Sun Bureau and other bigwigs from the forces, but all of them were cheering Qin Ming at this moment. After three days and two nights of fighting, even if they had more hooks and crosses in their hearts, they had to put them down for the time being, and living was the only goal of the crowd at the moment. External crisis was the key factor that prompted internal unity and vigor, this sentence inexplicably flashed through Qin Ming's mind, and it had a great impact with the end times that he had once seen, and some unknown changes appeared in his mind's thinking. It seems that. The future may also have a different direction? Couldn't help but murmur in his heart, different seeds had been planted in his heart. The crisis of the night came much faster than imagined, less than half an hour after the fall of the angel's sword, there was already a powerful breath in the dark forest, so that Gabriel also had to wait for it. But this figure did not show up, as if it was always hidden in the dark forest, waiting for the moment of their negligence, so as to give a fatal blow. Not right. It should be waiting for the divine projection to descend? Qin Ming's heart was startled, and a crisis suddenly flashed through his mind. If that was the case, a platinum level boss of Monica's level, coupled with the infinitely powerful divine projection, he was afraid that he really wouldn't be able to defeat it. Thinking of this, Qin Ming immediately beckoned the firebird down, flipped over, and jumped on it, then brought his many summoned beasts and rushed into the dark forest. Chirp the firebird in Gabriel's takeoff attracted quite a few people's gazes, and many of them also saw Qin Ming on the firebird. The faces of Wang Guodong and the others changed slightly but they had to continue to maintain the morale of the crowd while expecting Qin Ming to return alive. Squeak as soon as he stepped into the range of the dark forest, Qin Ming felt a dense deathly aura while a large number of stone ghosts came towards him. The entire forest has been engulfed by undead power, even if we hold on to Morning Glory Village, I'm afraid it will take a long time to recover. Qin Ming sighed as he looked at the forest filled with death below. Although the once dark forest was dangerous, it was at least full of birds and flowers and full of life. Now it was a place of utter death and silence. Boom! The powerful stone statue ghosts were killed by Gabriel with a single sword strike. Qin Ming was unwilling to tangle with these things and followed behind Gabriel as he quickly flew towards the depths of the forest. Boom! Suddenly, there was a slight tremor in his mind, as if a strong spiritual wave skimmed through, and without waiting for him to react, Gabriel had already blocked in front of him. The guard at the gates of death, obsidian destroyer. A gravely voice came out from Gabriel's mouth, and Qin Ming's heart was startled as his gaze passed through her feathers and had already seen the figure on the opposite side. 
It was a huge monster with a height of more than 10 meters, its half-human, half-beast body shining with a black diamond luster, an extremely rare obsidian. The huge feathered wings on its back slowly flapped, and its gaze toward them was filled with death and coldness. It seemed that what appeared in front of it was not a person, but a soul waiting to be collected, about to be picked up by it and introduced into the world of death. His more than 70,000 blood, 600 defense. Xin Ming took a deep breath, this attribute wasn't that much worse than Steven's back then, it was even better. One must realize that Stevens relied on a powerful dragon body to have that high of a blood quantity, while the obsidian destroyer wasn't that much worse already. Although it didn't have a dragon's body, it had a talent called obsidian body in its skill bar, which could directly grant it 90% immunity to spells. Combined with its own high defense, it was enough to cause all players to despair. Boom the obsidian guardian didn't seem to be able to speak, as Qin Ming and Gabriel appeared, he directly swung the scepter in his hand. Qin Ming was startled in his heart, realizing that his mana value was actually depleting at a rapid rate, while in the other party's hands, a huge mana orb had already begun to coalesce. This is? Absorbing blue? Using my mana value to attack me? The mind quickly reacted, while Gabriel's speed was even faster, already charging towards the other party. Boom! Gabriel's attack was still very powerful, the dragon soul lance stabbed out, directly shattering the mana ball thrown by the opponent, a huge shockwave swept through the surroundings, and Qin Ming, who was riding on the firebird, was lifted out. Clear the undead creatures in the periphery, the obsidian guardians are given to Gabriel. Qin Ming shouted towards his summoned beasts. Knowing that he couldn't help, he didn't squeeze in and drag his feet, the undead creatures in the periphery were endless, all he had to do was to create an undisturbed battlefield for Gabriel. He believed that Gabriel, who was able to defeat the skeleton dragon Stevens, would also be able to kill this obsidian destroyer. The damage of the French units was limited, and the melee death knights and Wang Kai were unable to fight against the air, so the only one who was able to fight against the obsidian destroyer was Gabriel. Fortunately, Gabrielle's powerful strength lived up to her reputation, holding the dragon soul gun, she was less showy and more courageous. The sharp blade of the gun easily pierced into the obsidian destroyer's body, and the divine flames continuously eroded the darkness within the opponent's body. Boom! The scepter in the obsidian destroyer's hand continuously bombarded Gabrielle's dragon soul lance, bringing up violent energy impacts, but it was never able to repel her. And in the midst of the exchange of blows between the two sides, Xin Ming and the Summon Beast's mana values were dropping by leaps and bounds. It's the secret heavenly orb. Xin Ming was startled in his heart and instantly recognized that the blue mana orb summoned from the opponent's scepter was one of the Obsidian Destroyer's skills. This skill required the consumption of a large amount of mana value to inflict spell damage equal to the mana consumption of the target, and the mana value required could either be its own or the enemy's. Although there existed a certain upper limit to the amount of mana value that could be absorbed, the extraction of tens of thousands of mana points at every turn, even if Qin Ming and the few of them had a lot of mana value, they wouldn't be able to withstand such a consumption. Similarly, Gabriel couldn't carry such a high amount of damage. Speed up the frequency of attacks and drain the mana value as soon as possible. Qin Ming shouted towards the many summoned beasts, while waving his hand to dispatch all of them except Gabriel and the firebird and cyan mulberry butterfly. The few of them had limited mana and could not support the obsidian destroyer to use its skills a few times, while the green mulberry butterfly was there to stabilize Gabriel's bloodline. The damage of the secret celestial orb was too high, and with spell attacks that could easily reach tens of thousands of points, even Gabriel's high mana defense couldn't hold up, so he could only carefully dodge it. And once she didn't dodge it, she would need to consume a large amount of mana to recover her blood, which was a huge pressure on both her and the green mulberry butterfly. Use a life potion. Xin Ming shouted towards Gabriel taking out a bunch of life potions and packing them to throw towards her. Although he was limited by the materials in the novice secret realm, and could only refine a zero-step life potion, it was better than nothing, and was always a means of recovery. The green mulberry butterfly was also dispatched by Qin Ming when it ran out of mana, and at this time, only he, the firebird and Gabriel were left on the field, minimizing the consumption of their own mana as well. With the depletion of mana, the obsidian destroyer's secret heavenly orb could not be used normally, and could only hold the scepter in his hand to spar with Gabriel. However, its attack power was far inferior to Gabriel's, so how could it beat Gabriel in a sparring match? Basically, Gabriel was able to take away thousands of points of his blood with every shot, and soon the life value dropped to less than half, while Gabriel's blood instead entered a state of slow recovery. Boom! Suddenly, the scepter in Obsidian Destroyer's hand swung, a black stargate appeared, and Gabriel couldn't avoid it and rushed headlong into it. Gabriel! Xin Ming exclaimed out in shock, quickly reacting to the fact that this was another of Obsidian Destroyer's skills, Spatial Imprisonment, capable of imprisoning the target in a dead void that would take a long time to find its way back. After banishing Gabriel, the Obsidian Destroyer's gaze naturally turned to Qin Ming who was fleeing in all directions, his black feathered wings flapping as he chased after him. Summon! 
After a brief moment of shock, Qin Ming quickly reacted and instantly used summon again. Summons could be purified of the vast majority of abnormal statuses on their body by repeating the summoning, which was also a major advantage that summoners had over imperial beast masters. After a short spell casting, the gate of heaven opened, and Gabriel walked out bathed in holy light again, meeting the obsidian destroyer that was in hot pursuit. Boom! The long spear swept across the sky, directly sending the obsidian destroyer flying out, and then bulldozed up, the divine light spilled down, the angelic sword that had just finished cooling down fell from the sky, taking away tens of thousands of points of its life value, and nearly half of its blood trough instantly bottomed out. However, without waiting for it to return fire, Gabriel's sword of punishment had already stabbed at it again. Boom! Right at this moment, a powerful aura came from the forest below, and both Qin Ming and Gabriel were shaken. Never mind him. Finish off the obsidian destroyer first. Qin Ming instantly returned to his senses and shouted towards Gabriel in front of him. Accept the purification. Gabriel's reaction wasn't much slower than Qin Ming's, and before the words even left his mouth, he had already rushed in front of the other party, and his sacred sword chopped towards the other party. Boom sacred damage that ignored defense harvested the last bit of its life value, and the huge obsidian body crumbled. The firebird swept by, the platinum ring picked up all the drops, and there was already a terrifying aura coming from behind them. Insignificant ants, how dare you blaspheme, how shall I punish you? A voice filled with majesty rang out, causing both Qin Ming and Gabriel to tremble. The aura was even more powerful than the one felt in the secret realm of the mines, and even the firebird underneath them forgot to fly and planted itself headfirst towards the woods below. Master! Gabriel came back to his senses and chased after him towards Qin Ming, scooping him up in his hands while the firebird crashed to the ground. Fortunately, at this time, the woods had basically been turned into a land of the undead, and the nearby undead creatures had even been cleared out by the angel's sword from before, so the firebird did not fall to its death straight away, but it also basically lost its ability to fight. Qin Ming waved his hand to dispatch it, but his gaze was directed towards the huge shadow that suddenly appeared behind him. God of death? Laughing out coldly, the disdainful tone caused anger to rise in his heart. Griffin, are you the one who destroyed my grand formation? The gigantic god of death projection looked towards Qin Ming, his voice carrying undisguised fury. That's right, it's me. Not only will I destroy your grand formation, I will also destroy this projection of yours along with it. Qin Ming said in a calm tone, actually ready to run away at any time. There was no way around it, this divine void was simply too powerful, not at all a level 9 boss as previously expected, but a level 19 diamond boss. No one had expected that he had also bypassed the rule restrictions of the novice mystic realm, raising his strength to rank 1, and with the even more powerful god's body, he was the god of the novice mystic realm, unstoppable. God of death, projection, brilliant diamond grade, life, 772800 slash 772800, mana, 59200 slash 59200, attack power, 14280, spell strength, 14280. Defense, 7560, Spell Defense, 7560. Skill, Body of God, All Attributes Increased by 200%. Skills, Shadow Arrow, Life Drawing, Death Withering, Resurrection of the Dead. This projection of a god was obviously infused with more divine power, and the talent of the god's body was also increased from 100% of all attributes to 200%, triple the attributes of the body to create such a bug-like existence. Not to mention ordinary players, even Gabriel, fire elemental elves at this time cannot break the defense, let alone defeat it. Arrogant person, not small mouth, if you will be this secret realm hands-on, I can consider leaving you a whole body. Hearing this, Qin Ming couldn't help but snort out a laugh. Small pattern, right? Leaving a whole body? You should at least promise an honor and riches first, and then unload it on the donkey. At a glance, you're a god with little culture, if this was placed on our Chinese ancestor, I'm sure I'd sell you and still count the money for him. Arrogant person, I grant you death. The death god projection froze, then roared out in anger, he could never tolerate such blasphemous ants to continue bouncing around in front of his eyes. The huge scythe in his hand slashed towards Qin Ming and Gabriel, and the terrifying power even brought out a black crack. Those were spatial cracks created by space being torn apart under a powerful force, the power of the death god projection had far exceeded the upper limit of what this secret realm could carry. Clattering several seven-colored streaks appeared and rolled towards the death god's projection, especially the death god scythe that slashed down, which was entangled by several streaks. This was the materialization of the rules of the secret realm, the rules of the entire secret realm were binding the power of the death god's projection, and even wanted to repel it out. Death. However, the god of death was unconcerned, the few rules binding him couldn't stop him at all, and his scythe was still slashing towards Qin Ming and Gabriel. Nima. If it doesn't come yet I'm going to die. Qin Ming shouted. From the moment the death god projection struck, Gabriel pulled him back at speed. Don't look at him as being high-mouthed, 
but in reality, he didn't even want to fight the other party hard. With this attack power, even with a platinum shield on, he felt that there was a risk of being killed in seconds. Coming coming. I'm old, my hands and feet are just a little slower. A familiar voice rang out in front of him, and a huge mountain of earth rose up, stopping in front of the death god's projection. Boom. The mountain shattered, although it was unable to block the attack of the death god's projection, but after such a delay, Gabriel also managed to bring Qin Ming out of the opponent's attack range. It's okay. This kind of attack can be blocked, old, and strong. Qin Ming laughed and teased, standing in front of him was none other than Li Fu Zi, who was reading books in the academy every day. Ha ha ha. Master Li is a man of great talent, how can he age so easily? Rough laughter rang out, but a figure leapt out from the side and directly rushed towards the death god projection. False god. Eat my axe. Accompanied by a roar, the battle axe in his hand slashed hard towards the death god projection. He was one of the guards that usually guarded the entrance of the village, and not only him, the other guards had similarly come to Qin Ming and the others. Boom! The death scythe deflected the battle axe, and the tremendous impact brought up a lingering strong wind as the surrounding decaying forest collapsed under the shockwave. Little friend Qin, we will go first. The liquor store owner with a big belly laughed towards him, similarly carrying a chopper and rushed up. Qin Ming's gaze looked around, old lady Shi from the tailor store, the fat boss of the wine shop, apothecary Xiao from the pharmacy, carpenter Lin from the carpentry workshop. Almost all the NPCs that could be named in the entire Morning Glory village had come. Unlike the usual quietness and amiability in the village, at this time everyone was holding weapons and exuding a powerful aura. And in Li Fu Zi's hand, a translucent treasure pearl was emitting a strange light. Villagers, there are only three minutes, whether you live or die can depend on a shiver. The number of villagers in Morning Glory Village was small, only a dozen of them could come here to fight, but each of them possessed a strength as high as level 19. Not only that, each of them was basically a gold level equipment, the weapons even reached platinum level, together if even Qin Ming is difficult to match. Only they usually can only live in the village, in addition to the village guards, other people basically can only act as an ordinary NPC, easily unable to release their own power. The time and space treasure pearl gave them the opportunity to unleash their power, and also gave them the backbone to fight against the divine projections. Although there was still a disparity in strength, they were at least not unarmed villagers anymore. A group of wandering souls wandering in the river of time also dared to offend the majesty of the gods, who gave you the courage. The death god projection roared, sweeping the scythe in his hand, knocking back the two guards. However, a dozen NPCs struck at the same time, and what awaited him were even more continuous attacks. Boom! A guard's battle axe slashed at his body, and the thick blood bar finally showed a hint of looseness. Ha ha! Just a false god, do you really take yourself seriously? The owner of the liquor store laughed heatedly, and the kitchen knife in his hand unexpectedly picked out a piece of finger bone for the other party in a hard manner. Ah! Damned mole crickets, you shall fall into darkness forever! The death god's projection was furious, the already dark sky became darker and darker down as his words fell. This is the great curtain black sky, capable of creating a dark environment that enhances the strength of darkness type creatures and affects the sight of other creatures, with an especially great impact on light type creatures. Standing by Qin Ming's side, Li Fu Zi spoke out to explain. Before the words fell, the entire world had been plunged into darkness, and although it wasn't to the extent that one couldn't reach out and see anything, the visual range was only a small piece of one side. Not only that, the dense dark energy spread, so that people could not help but feel the icy touch of falling into the abyss. A star's fire can start a prairie fire. After explaining, Li Fu Zi took a step forward, his right hand stretched out, and a little spark shone in his palm and grew rapidly. It then flew and split scattering over everyone's heads, not dazzling fire, but illuminating the area in front of everyone, the darkness around them all receding. This? Qin Ming raised his head and looked at the fire above his head in surprise. Although it was unable to dispel the great curtain of darkness, it was able to stabilize his divine soul from the erosion of darkness. This is the means of a confusion, it's time for me to step in. Li Fu Zi laughed, then took a step and joined the battlefield. The sea rises to the bright moon. A white moon rose from out of the darkness, completely illuminating the surrounding darkness. One man is the guard, ten thousand men are not to be defeated. Another giant axe appeared above the guard's head, and the entire person's strength was greatly increased, surprisingly swinging away the death god scythe with a single axe. I will pull the carved bow like the full moon, and look northwest to shoot the sky wolves. A large bow appeared in the hands of the village hunter, and the sharp arrow carried the sound of breaking dawn, piercing through the death god's projection. So strong. Qin Ming marveled out. Although Li Fu Zi didn't show any powerful attacks, every strike was a heavy blow to the death god projection. There is also the profession of confusion amongst players, but unfortunately there are basically only a few supporting abilities, far less than a proper supporting profession. But now that I've seen Li Fu Zi use it, this profession still has a huge potential waiting to be tapped. 
Three springs of white snow returned to the green mound. As Fuzili shouted out another line of poetry, the temperature in the dark forest plummeted, and goosefeather snow drifted down from the sky, quickly covering the forest with a touch of snowy white. The sound and fury of the battle showed Qin Ming a picture that was usually hard to see. Cook's boning knife, old lady shelter's tailoring thread, carpenters would puppet. Life class professions aren't completely devoid of combat power, when used while they aren't in the slightest bit weaker than combat class professions it. It's just a pity that this time. Xin Ming looked at the time and space treasure pearl beside him, and the light had already begun to gradually dim. What the time treasure pearl unblocked was their strength beyond their own, just like many of Li Fu Zi's techniques, which were actually not at all something a rank 1 Confucian could use. Once the time treasure pearl's energy was depleted, their strength would also be greatly limited, and it would be impossible to defeat a divine projection with only strength within the first rank. It should be known that even the fire elemental elf with the strongest attack power had difficulty breaking the defense when facing the divine projection, not to mention the others. At this moment, Li Fu Zi and the others had used all their means, seemingly pressing down on the divine projection, but it was only a little louder, in fact, nearly two minutes had passed, and the damage inflicted was less than a third of his blood volume. Typical one operation is as fierce as a tiger, look up and see zero to five ah. Qin Ming shook his head helplessly, the powerful attributes of the divine projection could only be described as insurmountable, which was also the reason why Li Fu Zi and the others had no confidence. If there were no powerful skills, anyone who went up would only be able to scratch their eyes out, and Li Fu Zi's roaming vast white snow had only managed to deal tens of thousands of points of damage. Among the many NPCs, the highest damage is still Gabriel, ignoring the defense of the Sword of Discipline, every sword down can take away tens of thousands of points of blood. Unfortunately, Gabriel didn't have many chances to strike, and the powerful attack power of the god's projection made the crowd have to be careful in dealing with it, otherwise, once hit by the scythe, it would be either dead or disabled. There is a village entrance guard was unfortunately cut, legs directly chopped off, blood to the bottom, if it is not Li Fu Zi timely rescue, I am afraid that will be completely accounted for here. This won't work, the time treasure pearl's time is almost up. Xin Ming looked at the light of the time treasure pearl with a burning heart. Not to mention that most of the time had already passed, the death god projection hadn't utilized any big killing moves until now, so trying to kill it within three minutes could basically be said to be an impossible thing to do. Boom! Another guard was sent flying, and even though he blocked it away with his weapon, there was an obvious dent in his chest, and he lost most of his blood. Boing the green mulberry butterfly had long been summoned out, doing its best to heal the injuries on his body, but the death projection seemed to not want to play any longer, and the attack in his hands became more and more severe. You these blasphemous people, originally I was planning to let you live forever in my god's kingdom, but now I'm going to suppress you in the darkness for all eternity. The death god projection roared. Petals drifted down from the sky, the very same death withering that the witch demon had once used, but this time the petals were clearly denser and wider in scope. And this was only the most inconspicuous of death projections many skills. Countless undead souls were born from the darkness, a white bone tumbled out of the dirt, and he alone summoned an undead natural disaster comparable to a large black tower. A huge gate of the underworld then rose up in the forest, its tall lintel reaching into the sky and even topping the space boundary wall above the secret realm. A single powerful undead creature emerged from the gate of the underworld, with the weakest having the strength of a silver level boss, and even more gold level ones. If the undead scourge summoned out minions and cannon fodder, the ones summoned out by the gate of the underworld were true commanders and powerhouses, any of which would require Qin Ming to be on guard. This? The crowd retreated, their gazes horrified as they looked at the scene in front of them, a full 72 gold level bosses blocking the crowd. Gentlemen, it seems that we are all going to fall here today, will you regret it? A hint of despair flashed through Li Fu Zi's eyes, he knew that Morning Glory Village had already lost, such divine projections were simply not something they could deal with. Ha ha ha, Li Fu Zi, what are you afraid of? All of you have already died once, are you still afraid of dying again? The old carpenter from the carpenter's workshop laughed out loud, the wood artifacts he brought with him had all been destroyed, as a carpenter, what he could do was already very limited, but he never gave up. It is. What's there to be afraid of? It's just a pity that these dolls, I'm afraid they'll have to be accounted for here along with us old bones. Old misses. She from the tailor store similarly spoke out, looking at Qin Ming with a hint of regret in her gaze. That's true, Qin boy. Are you afraid or not? These great years are going to follow us old ghosts to be buried with them and maybe you won't even have a chance to be reincarnated. The owner of the liquor store exclaimed, besides husbandman Li and blacksmith Wang, he was the one in the village who had the best relationship with Qin Ming. Ha ha, what's there to be afraid of? Speaking of which, I'm also someone who has died once. It's better to die with a bang than to live in a wimpy way, at least we are considered to be standing in front of millions of people. 
Qin Ming laughed out loud and turned around to look at the rear, where thousands of players were fending off the undead plague's invasion and also waiting for the results from their side. You kid, open-minded. Li Fu Zi laughed, then let's battle this last game. Let this group of false gods see the backbone of our Huaxia. Even if time changes and the gods descend, the legend of China will still stand above this continent and endure. Kill. The crowd carried their weapons, ignoring the death petals that were falling from the sky, and once again rushed up towards the death god projection. Xin Ming glanced at the time pearl beside him, the light was already very dim, and with a slight sigh in his heart, he picked up his staff and was about to join the battle when his footsteps suddenly lurched. Turning around, there was a figure running from the direction of Morning Glory Village. Xin Kid. Successful. Hurry. Blacksmith Wang shouted excitedly, his rough voice was enough to spread across half of the dark forest. Hearing this, Qin Ming's face was overjoyed, and he immediately summoned the fire bird to fly towards him, but he didn't realize that the time treasure pearl beside him was getting dimmer and dimmer. Qin boy. Next. Qin Ming didn't notice, but Wang Blacksmith felt the rapid decline of his own power. His heart immediately crossed, and he used the last of his strength to leap up, throwing the black sword box he was holding in his hand towards Qin Ming's direction. Chirp the firebird sped past, accurately gripping this sword case, its fiery body swept past the top of Blacksmith Wang. Boom! Blacksmith Wang crashed to the ground, but not caring about the pain on his body, he shouted towards Qin Ming in the sky over to you. Don't worry! Without saying anything more, Qin Ming took the sword case thrown by the firebird and turned around to fly towards the direction of the death projection. At this time, as their power declined, the NPCs fighting with them were no longer as powerful as they were before, a single gold level boss could easily hold them back. Without the need for the Death God's projection to make a move, 72 gold level bosses would be enough to trap them. Xin Ming didn't bother to pay attention to the crowd, but flipped his hand and opened the sword box in his arms, only to see a dark, worn out longsword lying quietly inside, it even had quite a few gaps on it, and the body of the sword was also crooked, and wasn't as straight as a normal longsword. If one didn't know about it, I'm afraid that they would treat it as a discarded sword, or a failure in the hands of a forger. However, when Xin Ming saw this sword, he showed a happy face. Black Devil Sword, Bronze Grade. Introduction, a sword made of fine materials but hastily forged. Attack power plus 20. Very low probability of instant death effect, only effective on targets up to first level. Durability 5 out of 5. Really? Firebird, let's go to. God Slayer. Xin Ming took out this black demon sword and set excitedly towards the firebird underneath him. Chirp receiving Qin Ming's command, the firebird rushed into the raging rain of flower petals without the slightest hesitation and the drastic pain brought about by each and every piece of petal that floated down. However, he didn't pay the slightest attention to it, silently knocking on a pill bottle and burying his head as he rushed towards the death projection. Quite a few gold level bosses discovered his presence and blocked his path, only to be blasted away by the summoned fire elemental elves. Li Fu Zi, send me there. Qin Ming shouted towards the crowd fighting below. At this moment, even though the time treasure pearl was dimming, it hadn't completely dissipated yet, and the villagers still had the power to fight. A cloud-piercing arrow, a thousand armies come to meet. Li Fu Zi chanted loudly, and a sharp arrow rushed straight into the clouds with the sound of breaking dawn. Boom then, countless battle spirits surfaced, and Qin Ming, who was riding a firebird, even manifested countless doppelgangers and rushed towards the death god projection. The momentum of a thousand armies was surprisingly no weaker than the terror of the undead heavenly tribulation, causing many gold-level bosses to be shocked. Sculpture, give me annihilation. The death god projection shouted out harshly, and a fluctuation visible to the naked eye spread out with him as the center, and the countless battle spirit void shadows all dissipated. This was only a summon shadow illusion that did not have any actual combat power, and was only meant to confuse these undead creatures in order to fight for Qin Ming's chance to break through. Now, with the strike of the death god's projection, under the horrifying energy impact, all of them were shattered, and the crowd also suffered from light shockwave damage. However, the roiling phantoms, after all, had omissions, and the brief interruption allowed Qin Ming to easily leap over the defense of the many undead creatures and arrive in front of the death god projection. Chirp the firebird swooped down from high above at an extremely fast speed, and Qin Ming even utilized this strength to directly leap up from its body and pounce on the death god projection. Whether you die or live, it's up to you. Qin Ming said softly, the black demon sword in his hand raised high and stabbed down towards the death god projection. Boom the entire world seemed to have come to a standstill in this instant, as everyone turned their heads in unison to look at Qin Ming's figure slowly sliding down from the air. No! In just an instant, the roar of the god of death resounded in everyone's ears like thunder. Qin Ming felt a huge force coming from in front of him, and he, who was holding the black demon sword in his hand, was immediately lifted up by this force. Stupid mole cricket! I will suppress you in the abyss of death for eternity! An angry and icy gaze looked at Qin Ming causing the hairs on his body to stand on end and an icy sensation to spread throughout his body. 
However, this process came and went quickly, as the death god projection dissipated with a bang, and the underworld gate next to it collapsed suddenly. Countless undead creatures disappeared and retreated at a speed visible to the naked eye, and the chaotic dark forest suddenly quieted down. Chirp the firebird caught Qin Ming who was falling from the air, along with the roiling golden light that fell from the death projection. Announcement, player Qin Ming has successfully killed the god's projection, ending the undead invasion and earning the title Guardian of Morning Glory Village. Announcement, congratulations to all players, for successfully guarding Morning Glory Village, all players have plus one level and plus one full attributes. A series of two system announcements rang in everyone's ears, however, he couldn't wait for him to appreciate his drops and suddenly felt the entire world tremble. Boom! A clear vibration sounded, and Li Fu Zi and the others who were standing on the earth fell to the ground, and absurdly, Qin Ming and the firebird who were flying in the air actually felt the vibration as well, and nearly fell down from the air. It's the god of death attacking the spatial boundary wall, he's trying to force his way in. Li Fu Zi said loudly, and the crowd looked up towards the sky as if they could see an incomparably huge human face. He won't kill his way in, right? Leaping down from the back of the firebird, Qin Ming helped up Li Fu Zi, who had fallen to the ground, and looked up at the sky. Terrifying pressure filled the sky, the dark and serene night sky yet gave people a palpitating feeling as if a sky-collapsing doomsday was about to descend. He can't get in. It's just the rage of the incompetent, or else he wouldn't have wasted so much effort trying to turn the secret realm into his own. Li Fu Zi shook his head and said, That's good. Qin Ming let out a slight sigh of relief, if he really forced him to kill him in, then I'm afraid it would really be hard to die. This was the god of death, there were ways to toy with his corpse and soul. But even though you can't forcefully seize the secret realm, you will still cause wear and tear to the secret realm, and it seems that your journey as newcomers will have to end early. Li Fu Zi suddenly turned his head and looked at Qin Ming and said. As soon as the words fell, a new system beep sounded again, and Qin Ming's face changed slightly. Announcement, the newcomer secret realm has been invaded by an unknown force and is about to enter a self-protection mechanism, all players will be teleported out of the secret realm within one minute. Announcement, the secret realm of newcomers has been invaded by an unknown force. Announcement, newcomers secret realm has been invaded by an unknown force. The system announcement three times in a row made the many players, who hadn't yet recovered from the shock and cheers they had just experienced, once again reveal a look of confusion. How was this obviously winning? but it turned out to be like encountering the end of the world. Even the newcomer's secret realm was collapsing? While at this moment, Qin Ming was turning his head to look at the nearby Li Fu Zi are you sure it's alright? Don't worry. Husbandmanly smiled the gods can't stop the general trend, the will of the gods won't allow the secret realm to be easily seized. It's just that I'm afraid this small world will need to seal itself for a while until it is free from the gods watchful eyes before it can be reintegrated into the main world. After guarding the entire secret realm, your secret realm badge should have been upgraded as well and when the time is right, the entire village will become your aid. As the words fell, Qin Ming had already felt the repulsive force coming from the secret realm, and there was a surge of spatial force around him, and his figure gradually began to become illusory. Qin Ming opened his mouth to say something, but realized that he was no longer able to make a sound, and could only wave his hand towards the other party as his vision went black and disappeared into the newcomer's secret realm. Whoosh! 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 A teleporting figure appeared in the central plaza, and the people nearby revealed a look of curiosity as they surveyed the sudden appearance of the crowd. Back! I'm finally back! A player spoke out in surprise, hugging the companion beside him and shedding tears of excitement. Great! I cannot have to die anymore! Long live big brother Qin Ming! Woo! I thought I was dead! Woo! Chun-Li! Chun-Li! I'm back! Where are you? Wuld Wang why don't you hold out a little longer? I'm back! Just a little bit more and you're back! Some people were hugging the relics of their friends and relatives and crying, some people were searching for their loved ones who hadn't entered the secret realm, some people were cheering for their survival after the calamity, and some people were thanking Qin Ming for the rescue of the crowd. The three-day undead plague invasion had left a huge shadow in everyone's mind with nearly half the number of dead players. Qin Ming looked around and saw Fatty and and Yun Meng who were waving at him, and was about to walk over towards them when he realized that Wang Wudong had already walked up on top of the high platform not far away with a loudspeaker. Hello everyone. I'm Wang Wudong, I believe many of you have already heard of my name, I'm a division commander attached to XX Division, and I was stranded here while passing through Xian Jiang County. We all know about the world's mutation, please believe in the country, the country will not give up on any of its people, and I will lead everyone to save themselves, I promise, I will never give up on anyone. Hearing Wang Wudong's words, everyone looked up, and the faces of Sun Bureau and the others changed even more slightly. This was a great opportunity to enlist people's support, but he did not expect to be snatched by Wang Wudong first. It's been a month, why haven't any rescuers come yet? Can you guarantee our safety? Someone asked out loud, this was the ordinary people who had not obtained players, 
these hours of life were a nightmare for them. That's right, and rescue, my family is all dead. What are you going to save us with? Can you bring people back from the dead? I poo. You officials, you won't care about the deaths of us common people, with two mouths to feed, do you know how many people have died? Seeing that Wang Wodong's words did not have any effect, but instead stirred up the anger and dissatisfaction in the hearts of the crowd, the hanging hearts of Sun Bureau and the others were instantly released. Their eyes looked at Wang Wodong on the high platform playfully, depending on how he was going to end it next. In the face of such a situation, Wang Wodong had anticipated it. It could even be said that from the moment he decided to come forward, he had already guessed such a situation. Over the past two months, too many people had died, but up to now, the country had not taken any rescue actions, thus leading to the lack of credibility of the country, which was not something that he could save with a few words. But he also didn't need to save the country's credibility, the country couldn't then he himself, as long as he still believed in the country, then this group of people who believed in him would naturally go to believe in the country as well. Gentlemen, I hope you can understand the difficulties of the country, this is a disaster that spreads all over the world, not just our Xian Zhang County, people in all parts of the world need to be rescued. I believe that everywhere in the country, there are the figures of our country's sons and daughters who are fighting to rescue the people. But the disaster has spread so widely that there will inevitably be places that can't be reached, so I'm standing here today to lead the way for people to save themselves. I don't dare to guarantee that I will be able to lead you all to live, but I will definitely not give up on any of the people of Xian Jiang County, and will definitely bring you to safety. Where is there a safe place now? Aren't you bluffing us? Someone questioned loudly. That's right, in this world nowadays, there isn't an absolutely safe place, but there are relatively safe places. Wang Guodong raised his hand and said loudly. I believe everyone heard the system announcement that the secret realm of newcomers that just disappeared will only appear in gathering places with more than 100,000 people. Therefore according to our speculations, the more densely populated a place is, there will be more chances and a greater chance of surviving. So next, I will organize everyone to migrate towards the city of Gaonin and help everyone settle down in Gaonin. When these words came out, it immediately caused noisy murmurs from the crowd, while Sun Bureau and the others even frowned slightly, migrating towards Gaonin City was something that they did not expect at first. However, the speculation that Wang Wodong had said, they had each discussed it, and there was indeed such a possibility, only that they had just come out from the secret realm of the newcomers, and they had not had the time to think about the matter of relocation. Unexpectedly, they were actually preceded by Wang Wodong, and even pulled it out to the public. However, not everyone believed what Wang Wodong said, especially those older ordinary people who had not obtained the status of players and were unable to fight those monsters outside, nor did they have the certainty to cross the mountains and rivers and migrate to the city of Gaoning. Are you sure? Gaoning city is safer? Can't we stay in the county and develop? This is the place where we have lived all our lives. An old man said with tears in his eyes. Right. None of my children are with me, I'm afraid it's hard to travel to Gaoning city by myself. These are all just your guesses, my grandmother is already 80 years old, asking her to cross the mountains to Gaoning City, isn't this asking for her life? That's right, talking about not giving up on anyone, this way over, do you know how many people will die? The crowd's tirades were not less than before, after all, inside the county, the older people who were stranded themselves were going to be a bit more, and the young people who came back were just a handful. Therefore, many people didn't want to leave their homes and go out, especially because they were worried that their sons and daughters wouldn't be able to find them if they came back. I know that uprooting oneself from one's hometown would be a difficult choice, and who wouldn't want to stay in one's hometown if they could? But times are changing, and it is only by adapting to the changes that you can live in these unknown times, and have more chances to meet your loved ones who have uprooted themselves from their homes. Therefore leaving is an inevitable thing, but I can also understand everyone's feelings, so I won't force those who want to stay, instead I will do my best to place all of you in a good place. So I hope everyone can be more cooperative, being able to settle down early will be a good thing for everyone. Then how do you guarantee that we'll be able to reach Gaoning City without any problems? This wilderness is magnified tenfold, and there are countless powerful monsters. Someone asked loudly, for ordinary people, this would be a problem trying to get out of the city, but they would have to account for themselves if they encountered a single monster beast. Don't worry everyone, we will gather the strength of most players in the greater entire county and do our best to ensure everyone's safety. Not only that, the strongest player, Qin Ming, will also set out first to scout out the dangers outside for everyone and find a relatively safe path. All those who wish to leave together can find our staff later to register and explain their situation. The relocation operation will begin in three days, and during these three days, we will do our best to resettle those who wish to stay and do our best to ensure your safety. Speaking of this, Qin Ming knew that he could not continue to stay here, since he had promised to work with Wang Wodong, he always had to show his face. With that, he stepped onto the high platform and nodded towards Wang Wudong before turning to look at the crowd. 
Hello everyone, I'm Qin Ming, I don't have so many great principles as Master Wang, nor do I have such great love as he does, I only live for myself under the end of the world. So for all of you, I just have one sentence, migration is imperative, if you want to live and live well, then go, otherwise stay here and wait for death. This is the end of the world, no one will be responsible for your life and death, whether you want to desperately live or not lies in yourselves. Stay I don't dare to say must die, but also nine deaths, walk out dare not say must live, but at least then stay the odds are greater. So all of you, walk and cherish. Qin Ming did not say any more after he finished speaking, and after returning the speaker to Wang Guodong, he walked down, but the crowd's eyes were always accompanied by his body. There were those who revered, those who envied, those who were jealous, and those who were disdainful. But it was undeniable that his powerful strength, as well as the formidable prestige that had been built up by the undead natural disaster campaign, was undeniable. I'll listen to big brother Qin Ming, I'll follow you to Gaoning City. Being able to come out alive from the secret realm of the newcomers was all thanks to big brother Qin Ming killing the final boss, I believe in you too. That's right, with big brother Qin Ming personally scouting the way, what else do we have to fear? Go! Let's go to Gao Ning City together. Actually, Master Wang and big brother Qin Ming are right, times have changed, and if we want to survive, we have to conform to the changes of the times. Go go go! Thinking about what? It's definitely right to follow big brother. The heads of many forces did not expect that the crowd that Wang Wudong had failed to convince after talking for half a day would just be convinced by Qin Ming in a few words. Many people's faces changed slightly, this speech alone could be said to have completely determined the status of Wang Wudong and Qin Ming in the hearts of the crowd, and when the time came to relocate to Gaonin City, there would be even less of a foothold for them. The good thing is that the people with this kind of mindset are only a few, and many of them are still aiming to survive. Moreover, Wang Guodong looked like he was the one who coordinated the big picture, and the division of their respective forces still belonged to them, it was just like before, with an extra country in law on top. Division Commander Wang is right, we, Lian Ing Group, will actively cooperate with this relocation operation and assist everyone in transferring to Gaoning City. Zhang Xizhou walked to Wang Guodong's side and loudly supported. Some bigwigs of the forces also reacted one after another and voiced their support. Nowadays, it was the general trend that dominating the entire Xian Jiang County was not to be thought of, but at least one could stabilize their position and reputation among their own forces and prepare for the future. We, the Xian Jiang County government, will definitely support Division Commander Wang's proposal unswervingly as well. Unable to do so, Duro Sun could only make the same affirmation with a sullen face. With the county's official endorsement, the credibility of Wang Wudong's proposal had once again risen quite a bit, and more than 80% of the entire county had already agreed to relocate. The remaining ones were the elderly in the county, who had mobility problems and could not follow them out. Wang Guodong could only create a temporary shelter for them and leave enough food to ensure their safety. Fortunately, there were quite a number of young people who had obtained player status among the young people who stayed together, and they were all unable to let go of their elderly elders and had to stay in the county to take care of them for the time being. With them around, safety in a short period of time is definitely not a problem anymore. As for what will happen, later on who can say? They, at this time, Qin Ming who came to Fatty's side was frowning slightly, the team of three had doubled in size and turned into six people? He he he, Qin Ming, you can do it. After not seeing you for a few days, you've become the number one person. We've heard about your great name even before we entered the secret realm. The only boy among the three hooked Qin Ming's shoulder and laughed. What first person? It's just a little bit of fame. Qin Ming laughed helplessly, and his dusty memories gradually came back to him. The boy in front of him was named Huang Lei, a classmate of his and Fatty's, a famous rich second generation in the county. If it wasn't for the fact that their family's industry wasn't in the county and they hadn't entered the company to sharpen their skills, they should have become a powerful bigwig on one side by now, just like Zhang Xizhe. Hey, you're still a false name here? I don't care. You're a thigh I'm holding on to ha. Huang Lei laughed with a familiar face. They had a pretty good relationship in school, and because of Fatty, they often had to ask him for help, so they played together over and over again. That's right, Qin Ming, we can rely on you to cover us in the future. A female voice following next to Huang Lei delicately shouted. Qin Ming turned his head to look, it was Huang Lei's girlfriend, Zhang Rou, who was also considered a class flower level beauty. And standing beside her was the real class flower of their class, Fu Shitong, who made the fat man almost die on the road to weight loss. The two women are considered inseparable good girlfriends, which is also the reason why they would have crossed paths with Huang Lei before, wanting to pass through Zhang Rou to bridge the gap between Fatty and Fu Shitong. It was just a pity that Fatty hadn't lost this fat, and had almost given his life away. Do your best, I'm not as strong as you guys think. Qin Ming laughed bitterly. Huang Lei was extremely righteous and had a good relationship with them, and most importantly, he had helped himself in his previous life, so Qin Ming was very happy to give him a hand. 
However, these two women beside him made Qin Ming feel a bit of a headache. Take Zhang Rou for example, in order to survive in her previous life, not only did she put a forgiveness-colored hat on her boyfriend to his face, but also publicly humiliated him and forced him to flee to the wilderness, and her whereabouts were ultimately unknown. As for Fu Shitong, in fact, it is not much better, with their own good girlfriends in public tearing, but also share a husband, staged a thrilling palace heart trick. Keeping these two by his side was undoubtedly two huge time bombs, even for a born-again person like him, it was inevitable that he would not be able to control them. However, before he could think of how to respond, Wang Xiezhe's voice came from behind him. Qin Ming, you should be heading to Gaoning City early, right? Can you let my sister follow you on your way? I have to assist Division Commander Wang in coordinating the people on my side, so what I think about it, you're the safest place to be. No? What makes you think that my place is the safest? Qin Ming looked at Zhang Xiezhe with a helpless expression. He he he. You're the number one player, if you're not safe here, then I really can't think of anywhere else that's safe? Zhang Xiezhe hemmed and hawed, and next to him, Zhang Xiyu even waved her hand towards him. Little brother Qin Ming, just take people with you. Brother Qin Ming, who is she? Next to her, and Yun Meng couldn't stand to watch and immediately hugged Qin Ming's arm and asked. A look of swearing sovereignty looked at Zhang Xiezhe's siblings froze, or Zhang Xiyu reacted faster, immediately smiled towards in Yun Meng. Yo, what a cute little sister, what's your name? What? Brother Qin Ming you didn't even introduce me to this and ah, how excessive. The two short sentences made Qin Ming hear a sense of crisis like gunfire. One shouted little sister saying you're young, one shouted old auntie disliking old age, and by the way had to pull on Qin Ming to show off a wave of sovereignty. The tit for tat killing aura made the nearby Huan Lei couldn't help but move his feet to the side. That. Ha ha ha. Qin Ming laughed awkwardly as he pulled over Zhang Xiezhe introducing, this is Zhang Xiezhe, the son of Lian Ing group, and this is his younger sister Zhang Xiyu. These are my teachers and classmates. After the introduction, he looked at Zhang Xiezhe with a helpless face. As you can see, I have so many people here, how can I bring your sister? I can't take care of it alone. After experiencing the undead natural disaster, my sister has at least level 9 full experience. Completing the advancement quest is level 1, the strength is still strong. You're heading to Gaonin City to explore the road, there's also a helper isn't it? Wouldn't it be safer to follow you? Traveling in a large group, with so many players acting together, isn't it much safer than me? Who said that? It's chaotic when there's a lot of people, and who knows if we'll encounter greater dangers? We can't put all our eggs in one basket, right? So a few more places to break them? A gold level skill upgrade scroll. Just tell me if you'll take it or not. Deal. Qin Ming immediately agreed, a gold level skill upgrade scroll with a person, where to find such a good thing? Only a powerful bigwig like Wang Xiezhe could take it. But you still have to do me a favor. Qin Ming suddenly spoke out, pointing at Fu Yutong and the others. These three are my classmates, but they've all only just gained player status, so I don't think they'll be able to upgrade by following me, so take them to Gaoning City, and on the way, take them to upgrade. No? Qin Ming, what do you mean? Can't we follow you? Huang Lei, who was next to him, immediately spoke out, his face carrying a hint of disquiet. Don't get excited. Qin Ming patted his shoulder and laughed. Several of us are already rank 1, you guys just got your professions, so you won't be able to upgrade by following along. Why don't you join with Mr. Zheng first, he will arrange for a few zero ranked players to team up with you, and level up so that we can team up together, right? Hearing Qin Ming's words, the expression on Huang Lei's face calmed down, these days when he followed Fatty and the others to practice leveling together, he already found out that the monsters killed by the other side have no experience value for them, they have to go up and kill the monsters on their own to be able to do so. But fatty they have all been one rank, kill all the monsters above one rank, even if they are beaten into blood and let them to mend, they all have no way to break the defense, upgrading efficiency can be said to be extremely low. You're right. Huang Lei immediately wanted to respond down, but the result was that Fu Yutong next to him spoke out. It's okay to upgrade slower, we're not familiar with young master Zhang, so it's better to follow you. Right. It's fine if it's slower. There are quite a few monsters along the way anyway. Fatty was a bit reluctant and wanted to keep Fu Yutong in the group. Qin Ming frowned slightly, his gaze unpleasantly toward this woman, but he firmly chose to refuse. I'm sorry, it's not a matter of slowing down, it's a matter of me not being able to guarantee your safety, it's hard to believe that we'll have to set aside a few people to protect you when we're fighting a boss in the wilderness? When the time comes, I'm afraid I won't even know how to die. After saying that, he glared at Fatty and no longer paid attention to Fu Yutong, but looked at Huang Lei. Lei Zi, if you believe in me, follow Big Xiao Zhang. We'll be together when your level comes up, if you don't believe in me, then there's nothing more to say. Eh? What are you saying? We're all brothers, how can we not believe you? We'll just go with young master Zhang. Just wait for the next time we need to scare you. Huang Lei said immediately. 
Xin Ming's words were sincere and he didn't have any doubts, he just thought that the two girls were afraid of the unfamiliar environment, and immediately wrapped his arms around his girlfriend to comfort her. Don't be afraid, I'm not with you guys, the level did not raise up really inconvenient, we can't give people drag their feet is not it? But, Zhang Rou did not want to miss this thigh, but looked at Fu Yutong did not say anything, but also know that things have been finalized, say what is also useless. Ha ha ha, looks like I'm still disliked here. You guys don't worry, you are Qin Ming's classmates, that means my classmates, I guarantee that I will arrange things properly for you. Zhang Xijia, who was next to him, laughed out loud, but Qin Ming beckoned towards him. Come over here, let's talk about the migration, it's just as well that there are some words that you can help me bring to Division Commander Wang. Qin Ming said, and the two of them came together to the side where no one was. What words? Still have to come out and say it alone? Zheng Xijia asked with a smile. These three people are given to you, mainly because it's a bit tricky for me. Huan Lei is a good person, but those two females are not oil saving lights, you have to be careful. Yo, it looks like I gave back this skill upgrade scroll early? Zheng Xijia flirted. Early what early? Since your sister has come to me, can she still be treated badly? Qin Ming said without any good humor. But these two females, you have to pay more attention to them, if necessary, find a way to get rid of them, after all, under the doomsday, it's the key that you can survive. Don't worry, we are not an ungraduated college student. Oh, you are really an ungraduated college student? Rest assured. I know how to deal with it, what does that brother of yours say? Is it together or? He is good, and he is kind to me, it's better not to involve him, but if we can make him recognize and give up voluntarily is the best. With your words that is, I know how to do it and I'll definitely take care of it for you before I get to Gaonan City. Thanks then. Xin Ming patted his shoulder thanked, but you guys this big migration, you have to be more careful, especially Sun Bureau those people. There's really something serious ah? Zhang Xijia faced surprised color. Of course, your trip is the entire county moving together, there will definitely be a lot of tricky issues in there, you must pay more attention. Xin Ming pulled him to talk for quite some time, some of the problems he encountered during his previous life's relocation were basically mentioned in addition to people in power like Sun Bureau stirring up trouble. Zhang Xijia this person is not bad, he still wants to save the person if he can, lest the other party die as in his previous life. This child is still young, although has taken over the family's company, but in the collusion in this area is not as good as those who were mixed with the officialdom of the old oil, or have to be more to mention a little bit of it. Sufficient to wrestle for more than an hour, the fat man and other people have been waiting for the flowers are thankful, Qin Ming this and Zhang Xijia together back over. You follow Qin Ming well, don't get into trouble, see if you can contact your family when you arrive in Gaonin City, then wait for me to come over. Zhang Xijia looked at his sister and urged. Don't worry, brother, I know it. Zhang Xiyu nodded her head with slight reluctance, at least she was her own brother, it was inevitable that she would be reluctant to part suddenly. Yu Tong, when you get to Gaonin City, you must remember to come and find me. On the other hand, the fat man followed Fu Yu Tong's side and shouted reluctantly, but the cold goddess had a helpless look on her face, I know, I will. Obviously perfunctory words but let the fat man listen to very satisfied, but cannot suppress the worry in the bottom of his heart, once again repeatedly reminded. Huang Lei and Zhang Rou had a helpless look on their faces as they looked at Qin Ming Gaonining city is waiting for me, this thigh of yours is not allowed to run away. Definitely not. Qin Ming smiled, for Huang Lei he really wanted to take him under his wing, but the prerequisite was that he could get rid of the two women. As the parting ended, Zhang Xijia left with the three of them, patting Qin Ming on the shoulder before he left. I'll take the people with me. I'll pay attention to what you said. See you in Gaoning City. See you in Gaoning City. Qin Ming nodded his head and watched the four people leave. This goodbye and meeting again would no longer be in this small county, but the city of Gaoning, which was thousands of miles away. Brother Qin Ming, are we going to Gaoning City? And Yun Meng asked as she grabbed Qin Ming's hand, a hint of uneasiness in her tone. Well, it's time to go to Gaoning City. Xin Ming responded, looking down at the little girl beside him and smiled, so if there's anything else you want to bring with you, you have to hurry, I'm afraid this trip won't come back for many years. And Yun Meng froze, her eyes slightly reddened then I'm going to make a trip home to bring my mom and dad with me, there are still some old objects at home that I won't be able to find in the future. Aha! I'll go with you, we'll leave tomorrow, we can still look for them slowly today. Good. The conversation between the two was heard in the ears of the crowd, Xin Yu Ro and Fatty also fell silent. Brother Ming, I also want to take a trip back to see if I can find some relics or something. Qin Ming, I. Go. I'll go back and take a look, and bring whatever you want to bring with you. Going out this time, it's hard to say if there's a chance to come back in the future, I'm afraid that this parting will be forever, so I hope that all of you won't have any regrets. Qin Ming nodded his head and looked at the several people and said, this county where he had lived for decades, it was finally time to leave. It was already nighttime when they came out from the secret realm, leaving Qin Ming and the others actually not much time. 
The good thing is that fatty, they have been practicing outside the secret world these days, and usually do not go home to see, and now it's just that they are reluctant to say goodbye. In order to each person's home to take a look, are more or less brought some remembrance of things, including Qin Ming himself also took a few family photos. He didn't have the chance in his previous life, but in this life, he could at least keep his family's appearance in his memory. After strolling around, several people finally stopped at An Yun Ming's home to spend the night, her home is considered to be one of the best kept among several people. Taking advantage of this time, Qin Ming also finally had the time to organize the harvest of this trip. The first and foremost was the Secret Realm Badge after the upgrade. The Secret Realm Badge that was originally only Epic Grade became Legendary Grade, and the name and attributes also showed some changes. Morning Glory Village, Guardian Badge, Legendary Grade. Luck plus 5, Gnosis plus 5, 10% increase in all attributes in the Morning Glory Village Secret Realm. The Guardian Badge belonging to Morning Glory Village, with it you can travel to and from Morning Glory Village's Secret Realm without restriction, not available at the moment. The power of the Secret Realm will be gathered in the badge, and with the ability to connect to the Secret Realm of Morning Glory Village, it will gain the respect of all residents of Morning Glory Village, not available at this time. The power of the Secret Realm can be borrowed, so that their own strength has been greatly enhanced, the full attributes of the 100% increase, lasting 1 minute, cooldown of 72 hours, the highest level with the growth of the village of Morning Glory and powerful, the highest level of 2, temporarily unavailable. Can summon villagers from Morning Glory Village to assist in battle, duration varies with villagers strength, cooldown varies with villagers strength, not available at the moment. Doesn't take up the character's equipment bar, never wears out, cannot be looted, dissipates upon death. Guardian Badge? Other than attribute bonuses, all other effects are unavailable, it seems that Morning Glory Village is truly self-enclosed. Qin Ming's eyes glazed over, remembering the words spoken by Mr. Li when he was saying goodbye. But the status boosts and villagers summoning behind this are truly powerful, if we wait for Morning Glory Village to reopen, it might really be a great help. Putting the Guardian Badge away, his gaze went to the other things, and a ghostly black and broken iron sword was taken out by him. It was the Black Demon Sword that had been crafted by the King Blacksmith, and it already had only 3 points of durability left. A bronze level weapon, yet it had managed to achieve the power of Godslayer, and spreading the word would be enough to make putting this sword famous. Luckily, the release crystal was able to free the black demon sword of the chance of immediate death, or else I'm afraid that I would have to fall into his hands. Qin Ming sighed in his heart. At that time, when he obtained the release crystal, he went to find Master Li and Blacksmith Wang, originally thinking that he would be able to use it to wear more advanced equipment and unlock more high-level skills. But in reality, this was not the case, what the release crystal really unlocked was the potential power contained in the equipment, not the restrictions on the rules. That's why it was able to amplify the imminent death trait, but couldn't unlock the equipment's usage requirements. After knowing this news, Qin Ming found Wang Blacksmith at the first opportunity and asked him to create a weapon with the imminent death attribute for himself, the quality didn't matter, but it had to have such an attribute. This was also the reason why Wang Blacksmith didn't participate in the final battle, when the crowd was fighting the death projection, he was still on the furnace for the final finishing action of the Black Demon Sword. It's good that we finally caught up, Wang Blacksmith is indeed still trustworthy. Qin Ming smiled faintly and put away the Black Demon Sword. All of these special items had extremely important roles and were uniformly placed in a corner of his item bar, and only after they were all packed up did he have the time to sort out the drops from the death projection. However, without waiting for him to take a closer look, the conspicuous red glow amongst the pile of items was the first to attract his attention, a luster that only god-tier items could have. Crap? A radiant-grade divine projection can have a divine-grade drop? Qin Ming was shocked in his heart and took the scroll out. Dual Profession Scroll, Divine Grade, enables the player to obtain an additional profession and awaken the corresponding profession core. Note, only for lifetime professions, to be used in conjunction with a profession scroll, and will not be able to obtain the corresponding attribute growth when upgrading, Dual Profession Scroll, Divine. Seeing the attributes of the scroll, Qin Ming finally realized that this was a special item, and although it was also god tier, the chances of it dropping were rather random, and it mainly depended on the type of boss. The divine projection at least contained the true divine power of the god of death, so it wasn't surprising that it was able to coalesce to drop such a divine grade special item. But the effects of this scroll are definitely worthy of a divine item. Sighing briefly, Qin Ming quickly became excited once again. Every player can only have one profession, but this scroll allows players to master dual professions, even if it's just a life class, it's still heaven defying enough. Qin Ming's heart stirred slightly as he found the previous breeder's life profession scroll, and suddenly thought that perhaps it wouldn't be bad to become a breeder yourself without having to find someone else? The pairing of breeder and summoner is indeed good, but it still needs to be meticulously planned. This can't be rushed, it's just time to think about it on the way to Gaoning City, maybe there will be a better choice? 
Putting down this dual profession scroll, the rest of the drops were much more normal, with the epic level, Deathcloak, being particularly eye-catching and the most valuable drop besides the dual profession scroll. Cloak of Death, Epic Grade. Grade, first level, requirement, hunt down 100,000 second level monsters. Full attribute plus 50. 20% reduction in damage from spells, 20% reduction in damage from spells, 20% reduction in damage from spells. Undead spell power increased by 100%, undead spell power increased by 100%. Special effect, concealment, able to hide itself perfectly, and will not be detected by those within second rank to find out their information and appearance. Special effect, shadow, perfectly blends into the darkness, and will not be detected by those with less than 20 points of perception. Special effect, soul suppression, increases damage to spectral type creatures by 100%, and is immune to mind control type skills by 50%. Special effect, death's descent, all necromantic spells level up by 1, lasts for 10 minutes, cooldown 24 hours. First time equipping requires passing the artifact spirit examination, passed. Recognized, personally bound, non-abandonable, non-tradable. This is a black cloak that wraps around the entire body, in addition to its powerful attributes, it can also hide the user's appearance, which can be said to be a good thing that is essential for home travel, and several special effect attributes are equally powerful. And the epic great equipment's unique master recognition examination function allowed Qin Ming to not even have to worry about the possibility of losing it and stealing it. No wonder people in his previous life said that you wouldn't necessarily be able to use equipment above the epic level even if you got it, who the hell can fuck over a divine projection in single combat? Qin Ming couldn't help but be staggered. However, equipment above epic level recognizes its owner in a myriad of ways, the hard ones are like the death cloak which faces the god's head on, the easy ones might be as simple as eating and drinking water, depending on both the equipment and the person. In addition most of the first time to obtain equipment players, are automatically default through the equipment test, because the dropped equipment must be hunting boss to get, also is considered to rely on the force of strong suppression. But there's a saying that's true, getting an epic level equipment will allow you to live your whole life without having to worry about equipment, this unique progression ability is really good. Hunting 100,000 second rank creatures, really at that level, it's not that difficult instead, and if I can hunt ahead of time, I'm really using high rank equipment ahead of time here. Qin Ming's heart was slightly moved, all the equipment above epic level could be raised with the player's strength, and this was the most powerful part of epic level equipment. If you could really fulfill the equipment's advancement conditions at rank 1 and advance it to a higher grade, then you could really experience what was meant by a descending blow. However, epic level equipment is so rare that very few people can get it, let alone get it all together and upgrade it to a higher level. If one had the time, strength and luck, one's own level and occupation level would have been raised long ago. Changing into this cloak without hesitation, Qin Ming's entire body was shrouded in black robes, and a faint black mist filled the hood, gradually hiding his face. Not bad. Looking at the appearance in the mirror, Qin Ming nodded with satisfaction I'm a sunny summoned beast, why is it getting more and more like a necromancer? In his heart, he couldn't help but spit out the words, yet he had to admit that the attributes of the death cloak really smelled good. The full attributes were increased by 60 points, which was not only an increase to his own attributes, but the strength of all the summoned beasts would be strengthened as well. Crap! There's a monster! A cry of alarm came from behind, but it was met by Fatty who had come out to go to the toilet, instantly waking up from his dazed state, and even summoning a weapon to charge at Qin Ming. Not only that, with this loud roar from him, the several women who were sleeping also woke up, and Qin Ming had even sensed a hot fireball flying towards the restroom. Good vigilance, but next time, it's better to figure out the target before making a move. Raising his hand and summoning a platinum shield to block an Yunling's fireball, Qin Ming removed his hood with a bitter smile on his face. Sweeping the remaining shield value, it unexpectedly removed nearly half of it, seeing how terrifying this casual strike from an Yunmeng was? Brother Qin Ming? An Yunmeng appeared behind Fatty, and a look of surprise hung on everyone's faces. Brother Ming? What are you doing here this late at night? It's scaring the hell out of me. Seeing that it was Qin Ming, Fatty let out a sigh of relief and put back the weapon in his hand, saying with a grumbling face, It's nothing, trying out the new equipment, who would have thought that I would be bumped into by you? Still in a state of shock. Qin Ming shrugged helplessly and signaled the cloak on his body. What's so pretty about a black and unattractive cloak? It's also so tattered. Fatty yawned helplessly and waved his hand towards the few women behind him, It's fine, it's fine. Go back to sleep. Fatty I still have to go to the restroom, Ming you let go or together? You do it. I'm going to bed. Qin Ming bristled. A group of no eyesight, this is epic level equipment, the general public want to see cannot see it, you girls still think it is broken? Without going to try the equipment again, sweeping the rest of the stuff roughly, Qin Ming also collapsed beside Fatty and went to sleep. Three days of fighting in a row, even if the body can carry it, mentally it must be exhausted. 
After leaving the death night to keep watch, several people slept in one breath until the next day's sunrise, and only then did everyone's essence completely recover. Brother Qin Ming, when you say that this blue star has been magnified tenfold, is that blue star still in the solar system? If it's there, then is the blue star attracting the sun or the sun attracting the blue star now? If it's not there, then where did this sun come from now? Not long after washing up, and Yun Ming pointed at the sun in the sky and asked a question full of science and philosophy. Qin Ming froze and silently released her grip on her finger. Pointing at the sun with your finger is disrespectful to the gods, beware of the sun god coming after you. As for whether it's still in the solar system? This I don't know, you can wait until later when you are strong enough to go and see for yourself, after all, flying through the sky is no longer a dream now. Hearing this, and Yun Meng immediately brightened up. It makes sense, but if we secretly scold it in our hearts, wouldn't it just not know? This idea of yours is very dangerous, gods are not to be looked at directly, gods are not to be blasphemed, remember not to bring your name when cursing, it will be perceived. Okay, got it. Also, I've heard that phases are born from the heart, gods will have the phases of all beings, so it's not always necessary to curse, you can imagine him as an ugly monster, as long as your faith is pious enough, maybe it will really turn into the ugly monster in your imagination. Wow this is amazing, I want to try it, which god do you think is better for me to believe in? The god of death, right? This guy is with the dead every day and is prone to depression, it's just the right time to have some anger to add some color to his god's kingdom. Makes sense. From today onwards, I am a believer of the god of death. Zhang Siyu, who had packed up her things, walked over and just happened to hear the conversation between the two, and was suddenly winded. You just took out the death god projection, is it really good to discuss the god of death like this? And you want to visualize an ugly mass of beings for him? Are you really not afraid that he will come after you? Thinking of this, Zhang Siyu immediately came over. Speaking of which, isn't it more probable to visualize the same face? I've learned to draw, why don't we study a portrait for everyone to visualize together? This is a very good suggestion of yours. And Yun Meng nodded, but realized that Fatty had also come over. I don't think let's draw ugly, right? Being scary is also a form of strength, why don't we draw him as Patrick Star? From now on, the god of death is Patrick Star? It also saves wasting time to draw it. Yes I think it's okay. This proposal was unanimously approved, and even when they met Wang Guodong and the others who had come over to see them off before they departed, Zhang Siyu had all of their men believe in the Grim Reaper and visualize Pai De Xing's beings. It could be imagined that the power of faith in the god of death was going to be entrained with some strange and weird things in it next. Aren't we going to Gao Ning City? This direction is a bit off, isn't it? Walking through the jungle, Fatty looked up at the sky and asked suspiciously. It's a bit, but the general direction is right on the line. I remember that there used to be a Guanyin temple in this direction, there might be some good things left inside. Qin Ming hemmed and hawed. As the world changes, the heavens drop divine objects, although most of them have been collected by the monsters in the wild, there will always be some left, especially some temples or divine places in the previous world. Makes sense, we can't just rush along the way. Fatty's eyes lit up, suddenly remembering something, he came to Qin Ming's side and took out a bunch of things and handed them to him. Brother Ming, this is the things we found before according to the location you said, we basically used everything that can be used, these are either not usable or too expensive, you see to it. Qin Ming nodded, and without any politeness, he directly put all these things into the ring of platinum, not even letting Zheng Siyu see much. Sweeping his eyes over, the items were not many, but they were all of the very best quality, there was even a talent stone in there, although it was only of the absolute best quality, it was also an almost extinct treasure when placed in the later generations. Say, Brother Ming, Aren't you a bit prejudiced against Tong Tong? I don't think it would matter if I brought her along on the journey, right? Fatty looked at Qin Ming and scratched his head as he asked. He he. Hearing this, Qin Ming looked at him and laughed not bad, able to hold back until now to ask, I thought you'd open your mouth in the county and then insist I bring Fu Yutong along. Ha! What are you talking about? Fat Master I this point of eyesight or have, is the feeling that you seem to have some prejudice against her, this is not good. After all, Fat Master also intends to marry her over the door in the future. Wait until she arrived in Gao Nining City to say it, after all, something C to believe, did not do it is not a crime well, but I still hope that you want to consider a new person? Well masters you thaw. Alright, under this end of the world, as long as you have the strength, you can have a whole forest, there is no need to hang on a tree. You don't understand, Master Fatty wants to hang from every tree once. You're so hard to die. After simply saying a few words, Fatty did not continue to pursue the matter. After experiencing life and death afflictions, he could be said to have unconditional trust in Qin Ming, and even the goddess of dog licking wasn't something that couldn't be given up. What's more, wasn't there another chance? Maybe when Fu Yutong arrived in Gao Ning City, the situation Qin Ming imagined did not occur? Then wouldn't he, the licking dog, be able to continue to go up and lick? 
What hanging from every tree once? Zheng Siyu came over with a curious face, and the two of them were silenced. Fatty, here comes the monster, pull the monster. Okay. Fatty rushed up at the sound of his voice. Zheng Siyu looked at the two with a suspicious face, always feeling like she was talking about something bad. Strange, with the death knight around, what kind of monsters do you want him to pull? Zheng Siyu muttered, and Qin Ming ignored it all. The monsters in the wild hadn't really grown up yet and weren't as terrifying as one would imagine, basically they were only around first rank strength, so Qin Ming's journey was still relatively easy for them, which was also the reason why he had hurriedly urged Wang Guodong to bring people to migrate. The monsters on the blue star will continue to get stronger as time goes by, right now they are still only of first order strength, when they move from Gaonin city to Jiangnan city, second order monsters will start to proliferate, at that time, one must be careful when walking in the wilderness. The good thing is that these monsters basically have their own territory and fixed range of activities, which is equivalent to a brand new set of ecological chain, as long as they don't rashly intrude into it, there won't be too much danger. After traveling for about three days, the crowd finally arrived at the Goddess of Mercy temple that Qin Ming had mentioned, but unfortunately, the temple was already empty, and even the once majestic Goddess of Mercy statue had collapsed. Let's go! There's nothing left here! Shaking his head regretfully, there were no too strong traces of fighting over here, the stuff should have been obtained by the wild monsters guarding the treasures, and the crowd made an empty trip. Brother Ming, there seems to be a small village up ahead, I don't know if there are still people there, let's land over there tonight? Fatty asked as he looked at the map. This was still an old map from once, they all looked at it directly by magnifying the map ten times, although it was not accurate but they could still determine the general direction. The village that Fatty was talking about was right next to the Guanin Temple, once the Guanin Temple would have been an attraction belonging to this village, theoretically it wouldn't be too far apart. This. Qin Ming frowned slightly, he actually wasn't too willing to get in touch with people, the hearts of people under the doomsday were unreliable. Go go go. We've been living in the wilderness for many days now, I feel like I'm becoming a savage. And Yun Meng grabbed Qin Ming's hand and shook it. Me too, I haven't even bathed in three days. Zheng Siyu had a sultry look on her face, feeling like she was about to stink. Although Qin Yuro didn't say anything, her eyes similarly carried a hint of longing. Alright then, let's go take a break, but everyone must be vigilant ha. Huh? Qin Ming had no choice but to respond. Good yeah. Go go go. And Yun Meng cheered and immediately pushed and pulled Qin Ming towards the direction of the village. Feeling the joy of the crowd, Qin Ming smiled. After all, people were still creatures that lived in groups, and after spending a long time in the wilderness, they would still look forward to gathering places that belonged to humans. This was also one of the reasons why in his previous life, when the conditions of survival in the city were obviously very harsh and difficult, everyone was never willing to leave. Fortunately, the village wasn't far away, and soon the crowd saw a quiet village, where a short, privately constructed building appeared in the crowd's line of sight, and many of them had even been covered by thick, newly grown vegetation. Here? It shouldn't be deserted already, right? Fatty frowned slightly, walking on the deserted dirt ground, the surroundings didn't look like there were people in any way. The village should be deserted, but there should still be people there. Xin Ming said as he pointed to a distant hill. The old signboard of Hope Primary School was very eye-catching, and the walls of the dilapidated school building were not covered with vegetation. Seems to be eh. Shall we go over and take a look then? And Yun Meng looked at Qin Ming and asked. Of course we should. In case there's someone, maybe we can still give a hand and take along to the city of Gaoning? Zheng Siyu immediately said, lifting her leg. She wanted to walk in the direction of the school, but she realized that the few people hadn't moved at all. Go ah? What's wrong? Qin Ming glanced at her indifferently. I think your brother is trying to screw me over by putting you here. Haven't you learned your lesson from what happened in the mine? I. Zheng Siyu froze, her gaze incredulously looking in the direction of Hope Primary School. Will it be dangerous? Qin Yuro leaned over and looked at Qin Ming with a worried face as she asked. The three of them had been mingling outside Xian Jiang County for most of a month, and in between, they had rescued quite a few people, and had also been pitted and cheated quite a few times. If they hadn't kept Qin Ming's reminder in mind plus the fact that the current strength of the players wasn't strong yet, they were afraid that they wouldn't even be able to wait for Qin Ming to come out of the secret realm of the newcomers. Because of this, they had developed the habit of being vigilant and were able to attack the first time they realized something was wrong. And this kind of vigilance was something that Zheng Siyu didn't possess, even if she really almost got first what after what. It's not that there will be danger. Rather, the danger is already here. Qin Ming's gaze swept from the surroundings, and Wang Kai by his side had already rushed in towards a small tall building next to him. Boom! The old abandoned house collapsed with a loud bang, and two silhouettes leapt out of the house in a sorry state, with stunned looks on their faces. Nima, this dog, its nose is too good. Finish it off first. Fuck you sister. Can you finish it off with this size? Hurry up and run, go get the boss. 
Several people immediately wanted to run in the direction of Hope Primary School, but Wang Kai had already rushed out from the collapsed house and blocked in front of several people. Oh with an aggrieved face, he shook the dust from his body and let out a vigilant low growl towards the several people. There's really someone? This. Zhang Siyu had a surprised look on her face, while Qin Yuro and the others had already taken the lead in entering a state of readiness. How? What to do? The two men turned to look at Qin Ming and the others, and one of the shorter men sidled up to ask. The other man, however, took a deep breath and a hint of greed flashed in his gaze towards Qin Ming and the others, especially when he saw a few women, there was a stunning splendor that was hard to hide. Several people, who are you? What are you doing here in our Feng family village? The tall and thin man asked towards Qin Ming. And at this moment, Qin Ming had already brought a few people towards them, stopping 10 meters away, his gaze playfully looking towards the two men with a hint of flirtation in his tone. What do you guys say, if I hadn't found them? What kind of posture would they be in now to talk to us? Talk? Not just kill them directly? Fatty raised his head with a matter-of-fact look. Not necessarily, right? Maybe they feel that they can't beat us and will quietly go back to find someone first? And Yun Meng shook her head. I rather think that they've already called out for someone to come out, only that this time the backup hasn't arrived yet. Qin Yuro gestured down the hill leading to the Hope Primary School, and there were already footsteps sounding one after another in the forest. Zhang Siyu looked at the several people with a dumbfounded expression, feeling that this was clearly a scene that should only appear in a novel, how could it be taken for granted by the several people who said it? Did they all dare to break the law so blatantly? Qin Ming faintly swept a glance at him, knowing that this girl was obviously still unable to accept such a fact, and his tone turned grave. Actually, your brother put you here with me, not really expecting me to keep you safe, but wanting you to go and reacquaint yourself with the world while you are out of protection. When you go out, monsters aren't the most dangerous because they're predictable dangers, the real danger comes from the human heart. The companions around you, the pedestrians you happen to meet, the suffering people you kindly save. These dangers are the most unpredictable, and you can only rely on your own vigilance and experience. Speaking here, Xin Ming pointed to the two people in front of him. It's like these two, believe it or not, if you were the one who showed up here alone, it would be you who would be trapped right now. Of course, we are not much better now, after all, they have reinforcements. Before the words fell, there were already people walking out from the distant mountains and forests, each holding a weapon and looking fierce. Xin Ming's gaze swept over the several people once again, his footsteps slightly backed up to stand behind them. You guys handle this today, I won't interfere. I only have one request, tonight we will spend the night in the village. Ha! Don't make it so serious. Look at me, Fatty. After a short period of silence, Fatty heatedly laughed out, walking towards the two with a six-fold pace. Tell me, what's going on in this village of yours? What's the ambush there for? Fatty asked with an arrogant face. What ambush? We're just on sentry duty here, we haven't asked you yet, what do you want by sneaking around our village? The tall and thin man asked back with a fierce face. Yo, still a vicious corner ah? Do you think your accomplices are coming? And you're not afraid? The fat man laughed, but was in no hurry, the crowd in the distance was almost there. Leave someone under the knife. Leave someone under the knife. A middle-aged man shouted as he ran, looking like a simple and unassuming old man of the village, precisely worrying about the safety of the villagers. Third master, this group of people forced their way into our village and trapped us here, you guys came just in time to clean them up. Seeing the visitors, the tall and thin man from earlier immediately shouted. Woo! Wang Kai turned around and let out a low roar towards the comers, causing the crowd to stop in their tracks. Wang Kai! Come back! Qin Ming shouted, and Wang Kai instantly turned from a wolf into a dog, obediently slinking back to Qin Ming's side. Thanks a lot! The Han Yu thanked towards the crowd, and then walked towards those two men, raising his hand and slapping one of them down. Letting you guys keep a lookout, you can also cause trouble here. Also cleaned up, if it wasn't for people being merciful, you guys would have been eaten by that. By now, Hansi said and glanced at Wang Kai, the powerful aura of the forest wolf king made the crowd a little frightened. The two were scolded by the Hansi, lowered their heads and did not dare to speak, silently retreated back to the crowd, at this time the fat man was looking at a few people frowned. I said let them go? A large age is still squatting at the entrance of the village to engage in an ambush, just like this without saying a word and want to uncover the past? The crowd froze, and immediately someone pointed at the fat man and snapped out. What's wrong with you doll? What did the adults at home teach you? Rashly intruding into someone else's village, and here you are accusing the elders? Pfft, just you guys? Elders? I'm sorry, our elders were all eaten by foreign beasts, do you want to go feed two of them too? You uneducated thing, I'll educate you on behalf of your parents today. The man said and walked towards the fat man, the crowd behind him pointed but no one stopped them, including the Hanyu who was previously known as the third uncle 
who was just continuously reprimanding the two people who had started it, as if he didn't realize the change of events over here in the slightest. Interesting. On behalf of my parents? Are you qualified? The fat man's face changed slightly, his parents' safety was also the thing he had been most worried about, and now that he was being brought up, there was an inexplicable anger rising in his heart. Boom! Didn't even take out a weapon, just a shield strike knocked the other party to the ground, the physical quality of the first rank was just too much stronger for these ordinary people. However, Fatty had stirred up a hornet's nest with this blow, the crowd that was originally watching the show saw one of their own being knocked over, they all revealed a look of anger and surrounded towards Fatty. Kid, you're looking for death. Dare to hit someone from our village? That's right, the brat is not big or small, how dare you hit someone? Boom. The muffled sound reached the ears of the crowd, the fat man stood his shield on the ground, and his expression was ice cold as he swept past the crowd. All of you uncles and grandparents, is this not wanting to be reasonable? Or do you want to come and try if this shield of mine is hard enough? Hearing these words, the crowd that was just clamoring instantly calmed down, although they were still muttering under their breath, at least no one dared to point at him and curse him, at least no one wanted to be like the man just now, lying on the ground without knowing whether he was alive or dead. You doll! What a big temper! Beating people with your hands you still have a reason. Look at what you've done to him. If you don't give an explanation today, don't even think about leaving. The old man pointed at the unconscious person on the ground and said with a heartbroken face. Fine. If you don't leave, don't leave, prepare a few rooms for us, we'll sleep here tonight. Fatty unexpectedly said, hearing the crowd froze. All this situation is still prepared to stay here? Are you really not afraid of death or do you have ulterior motives? Moreover, why is this tone of voice so beaten? Here is the Fong family village, UTM when he came to the hotel? You think you're in a hotel and you're getting a room? We don't have a room here. You guys hurry up and leave, I won't bother with you kids today. The old man had already sensed that something was wrong and had the idea of kicking people out. But now it was no longer the case that they could drive people away just because they wanted to, there were some troubles that couldn't be easily gotten rid of when they got into them. Fatty snorted out a laugh at his words. You're not going to bother with us? It's alright. We want to deal with you. If we don't have an explanation for this today, I'll be staying in your village, so you guys can do it yourselves. After the fat man finished speaking, he picked up his shield and unexpectedly walked directly towards the front, not caring in the slightest about the wall of people congesting in front of him. This? Little fatty will be fine, right? Zheng Siyu froze and asked softly towards An Yunmeng and the others beside her. Don't worry. Master Fatty is reliable, and there's still us. And Yun Meng said with a disinterested face as she held Qin Ming's hand in a dignified manner. Fatty at least already won rank, if even this group of ordinary people cannot deal with, it would be better to find a block of tofu to die. As expected, someone tried to come forward to stop Fatty, but was swept away by him with a shield, and as more people were injured, the conflict between the two sides was once again intensified. You guys are here for a bad reason. What exactly is the purpose of coming to our Fong family village? The old man stopped at Fatty's what, asking with a grave expression on his face. There were quite a few people standing around him, but all of them had a powerful aura about them and were no longer ordinary people, but players who had gained professions. Purpose? Said Ah. Ask for a statement. If you can be satisfied, then you can stay for one night and leave first thing in the morning, if you're not satisfied, then you won't know how long you'll be staying. Fatty said with a cold face. His words, the crowd naturally do not believe, can they these people's strength, obviously do not have the grasp with the fat man hands. The old man clenched his teeth after a little contemplation good. Arrange a place for them to stay, but you are only allowed to stay for one night, you have to leave first thing in the morning. As for today's incident, it's the fault of our Fung family village, I'm sorry. Third uncle. As soon as the old man's words fell, the faces of the few people behind him changed slightly, pulling at him to say something, but he raised his hand to organize it. That's it, I'll go talk to the village chief, you guys go find an unoccupied house for them to live in. The old man said towards a few people, then looked towards Fatty, is this okay? Hey! Fatty grinned you've apologized, how can I say no? That's it, remember to pick a better place to stay. We're just going to stay here? Following the group of people to a self-constructed building covered in greenery, Wang Siyu still felt a bit unbelievable. Obviously, it was such a big battle that she thought there was going to be a fight, but in the end, there was a free shelter just like this? Hey! Brother Ming said, just stay here for one night, the rest is none of our business. Fatty laughed hey, looking towards Qin Ming with a smug face. Not bad, knowing that your strength is an advantage, just crush your way through in front of absolute power. Qin Ming nodded, still satisfied with Fatty's performance. But are you sure you can sleep soundly tonight? Eh? Fatty froze, then bitterly grimaced not sure, and odds are that I shouldn't be able to. Why? Wang Siyu was puzzled, what's wrong with this house? Aya, why are you so stupid? There is no problem with the house, there is a problem with the people. 
Would people let you sleep here for a night with such peace of mind? And Yun Meng said without a good mood, she was very uncomfortable with this old aunt. You, Wang Siyu was furious, but she didn't know how to retort in half a day? This village obviously has problems, but we just need to spend a night here. What problems they have has nothing to do with us, but since we've created a conflict with them, it's impossible for them to just let us go so easily, they're definitely going to come looking for us at night. Xin Yuro looked at the two of them and smiled helplessly, holding Wang Siyu's arm as she explained. All right, Wang Siyu was a bit demoralized so they will come at night to finish us off? A dark moon and windy killing night? Yes, and it's still X before X, guaranteeing that you'll die in extreme pleasure. Xin Ming suddenly voiced out, and at some point he even put on the hood of his cloak, looking extremely oozy. Ah, to die ah, then what to do? Not sleep at night? Wang Siyu cried out, somewhat bewildered and at a loss. What should we do? Pack up and have a good night's sleep. Xin Ming laughed and changed into the goblin dharma ring, summoning this little goblin once again to clean up the room for the crowd. It had to be admitted that although the goblins were dirty in the colony, if they were to clean up the room, they were a good hand, at least a lot better than the average domestic worker. Unfortunately, this was only a rank 0 bronze level ring, so it could only be used in normal times, and could not even be considered cannon fodder in times of battle. This? Wang Siyu froze didn't you say they would come looking for trouble at night? Right. But didn't I say that I'll leave this to you guys to handle, I'm just responsible for a good night's sleep, so you guys go for it. Auntie, your brain is not useful, do some physical work, you can do the night watch, remember not to let those villagers disturb us, otherwise it will affect the road tomorrow. Me? What's wrong with me? You're smart? Still not a middle schooler? Stinky fart. Wang see you froze, then angrily cursed. Well I'm sorry, I'm a genius from the first middle school, I've already skipped a grade to high school, I'm not a middle schooler. Wang Siyu looked towards Fatty and Xin Yuro, who silently nodded with an expression of love. There was no way around it, and Yun Meng was indeed a genius, not to mention the peace era, even now, her innate 15 points of enlightenment value was already far beyond the 10 point limit for ordinary people. A genius is a genius wherever he goes. Wang Siyu wanted to cry without tears, and silently found a corner to draw circles. The building is still well preserved, it's just that there are some leaks, it's not a big problem, that old man didn't pit us. Check the house inside and out the fat man said towards the crowd. No problem on the line, the stove has been set up, just waiting for you guys to build a fire to cook. And Yun Meng nodded and said. She didn't know how to cook, but she could light a fire, so she was usually the one to build the stove and light the fire, and then Qin Yuro would do the cooking, while the others worked together to set up the traps and sleeping in resting places. The people had a clear division of labor, and had already developed a certain tacit understanding after a few days. Soon, as night fell, there were also bursts of food scents coming from the self-built building. Third uncle, they're cooking and eating, it smells so good. In the distant woods, a few villagers squatted inside and couldn't help but drool at the smell of the meal. Like Xian Jiang County is okay, with the granary and official regulation, there is no food crisis in a short period of time. But this kind of small village is different, once the regulation is lost, the distribution of food will soon be out of balance, many people are already starving. Suddenly smelling the aroma of rice, it instantly aroused everyone's cravings. MD, these youngsters are really loaded, they can't be some high-level players, right? The old man he had seen during the day was among them, a hint of caution in his greedy gaze. What are you afraid of? We have more than a dozen players, the boss has even reached level 8, is it not easy to clean up 5 of them? The other person beside him said. The old man thought about it, but it is also true that this is the reason, the other side is only 5 people, but also can withstand their dozen players not? Go back and report this news, the strength of these five people doesn't look weak, find someone to try to see if they can put some poison, I seem to remember that there is still the spirit of ecstasy incense that was left behind before, right? Yes there is, I'll go back and talk to the boss, let him take out the previous stock, these ones look like big fat sheep. Several people slowly retreated, leaving only one or two people in charge of guarding. Soon, the crowd ate their dinner and began to prepare for their rest. Just like what Qin Ming said he requested, their purpose was just to spend a night here, as for what about this village? It had nothing to do with them. If at first Zhang Siyu still had the desire to save these villagers, at this time, after being tossed around a bit, she instead began to worry about whether or not she would be able to get a good night's sleep. Don't worry too much, although there will be some dangers, but we are all already rank 1, we have enough strength to cope and bear the consequences. In the darkness, sensing Zhang Siyu's uneasiness, Qin Yuro hugged her and comforted her. Aha! Zhang Siyu softly responded, I just feel that the world seems to have suddenly become somewhat strange. In fact, the world has always been changing, the phrase survival of the fittest is always applicable, only this time the change is too big, we do not have the time to adapt. What about Qin Ming? It feels like he adapted just fine, and you guys, you're also way better than me. 
There's no need to compare yourself to anyone, the path is made by yourself, and having someone to protect you isn't a bad thing. Do you want to be born in Rome, or spend your life chasing Rome? This? But, it's not the same. Nothing is different, strength, luck, family history. All of it boils down to only one thing, to make you live better. But I still want to, like you guys. Then you can work hard, the years are quiet but someone is carrying the weight forward, you wanna go to be the person who carries the weight forward? I don't know, but I wanna stand by his side, don't want to always be the one who is protected. He's ah, so unlike a child. Exactly. The sound of talking grew smaller and smaller, and the entire self-built house fell into silence. Several figures groped the darkness and carefully approached towards the house, eventually stopping outside the leaky door and windows. Sure there are only five people? One warrior, four mages? A big man with a sturdy physique and fierce face asked softly. Sure, everyone saw it, four of them are wearing vestments, and one of them should be a summoner who can summon a big wolf dog out. The old man next to him replied. Alright, assassin type professions go in first and see if they can get one or two killed, the rest of us will kill in together when we hear the commotion. The big man nodded and immediately waved his hand, several assassins rolled over the window and entered the room. This method was tried and true, and they had already pitted and killed quite a few passing travelers over the past month. And as the number of their players grew, it became easier and easier to deal with them, and the occasional pricks they encountered were able to be easily resolved, with very few being able to deal with the siege of a dozen or so players. Unfortunately, today was destined to disappoint them. The assassin who entered the self-built room was slow to move out, as if a stone had sunk into the sea, making the crowd look puzzled. After a while, finally heard a thud, the crowd looked at each other, finally decided to touch in to see. Creek slowly pushed open the door, the dark and gloomy first floor hall is empty, the big man with a flashlight, signaling the people around him, towards the upstairs, told you to keep the commotion down? Why are you so careless? Wu. Wang Kai was lying on the ground with an aggrieved face, receiving an Yunling's reprimand. It had discovered those people as soon as they appeared, but it had kept in mind an Yunling's instructions not to make too much noise, and had to introduce the rest of the people. As a result, it ended up accidentally dropping one downstairs when dragging the corpse, which caused such a big commotion. Shu, someone's coming in. Shin Yuro softly reminded, and the people were instantly silenced and rehidden in the darkness. The Fong Clan village's people slowly walked towards the upper floors, they had already snooped around and several people were sleeping on the third floor. However, as they walked, several people felt a gust of coolness coming from behind them, the flashlight swept towards the surroundings, but it was still empty, the door of the room that was slightly open swayed in the cold wind, which was the main reason why they were sure that several people would not sleep on the second floor. Few the big man let out a slight sigh of relief, signaling for the crowd to follow, and continued walking towards the third floor, however, he was pulled by the little brother next to him. Turning his head, he only saw that he was already drenched in cold sweat as he pointed at the room on the second floor next to him, as if he had seen some kind of horrifying sight. What is it? Doubtful in his heart, the big man looked towards that room, only to see that in the originally empty room, there was actually a person wrapped in armor standing, with a ghostly blue soul fire shining in his helmet, staring at them silently. Who? The big man exclaimed out in shock, and his entire being couldn't help but lean towards the back, against the wall behind him. Ghosts! With his sudden shout, everyone got scared and looked towards the big man's direction, and many of the timid ones had already cried out in shock. Although the figure in the room appeared to be a person, the ghostly blue soul fire was clearly not a normal being. Still some superstitious villagers have been alarmed shouted, some timid even already on the ground. Or the big man is the fastest to wake up, toward the sight of a few people force a shot. Calling ghost ah. The game has descended, what's wrong with running into a ghost? This is obviously an undead type creature, or simply that summoners summon beast. Hearing his words, the hearts of the group settled down a little, although they still felt scared, but at least they wouldn't be as confused as before. Out with it. Your summoned beast is here, you must have found us already. The big man raised his head and shouted towards the third floor. Regardless of whether or not this was their summoned beast in front of them, based on the movement just now alone, he and the others had definitely been discovered. Ch it's so pointless, I told you that you can't let the death knights go to ambush, they're too wooden, they'll definitely be discovered. And Yunling's disgruntled voice rang out, and several people came out from the room on the third floor in a line. The big scary dog from the daytime blocked in front of the crowd, emitting a threatening low growl as if it would pounce on them in the next second. Below the crowd, the death knights weren't hiding either, seven death knights came out from each room successively, blocking behind the crowd. With the forest wolf king above and the death knights below, everyone in Fongjia village was stopped in the middle of the second and third floor hallways. What can I do about this? I can only have so many summoned beasts, you can't go as far as the jungle giant ape, right? It's lucky if it doesn't tear this house apart. The pro said with a helpless face, saying that he had agreed to have a good night's sleep, but it turned out that he still had to make a move. 
Of course, being a member of the team himself, it was only right to contribute, a few summoned beasts to keep watch. Hey, you guys are all the remaining combatants in Fong Clan Village, right? Tell us about it? What do you want to do by running to us? Fatty walked to the stairway and sat down directly beside Wang Kai, looking down at the crowd below and asked. We, we. The crowd looked at each other, for a moment they didn't know how to answer, it's hard not to come to a big night to ask someone to go bouncing? Humph, what are you afraid of? We have this dozen, the big guys together to kill out, first take out that summoner of theirs. The big man crossed his heart and pointed at Qin Ming and said loudly, already carrying a knife in his hand to kill. Boss is right, we have more than a dozen people, what are we afraid of? Kill. I've seen summoners before, these summon beasts are just a bunch of gimmicks, no need to be afraid everyone, charge. Quite a number of believers suppressed the fear in their hearts and followed behind the big man and rushed towards Qin Ming, however, Fatty and Wang Kai were not the ones to get along with. Boom. The long blade was blocked by Fatty's shield, the sturdy defense made it seem as if he had cleaved on a rock. Get out of the way. Unbelievingly, the big man slammed towards the fat man, trying to knock him away, but he felt as if he had slammed into a large mountain, his bones ached from the impact, but the other party did not move at all. The big man's face suddenly changed greatly, and at this time, the minions behind him had already rushed up, wanting to rush past him, but crashed into Wang Kai who was next to him. Wu Wang. Wang Kai roared, revealing a ferocity that he hadn't had before, looking extremely oozy, and the few players in front of him were instantly somewhat startled. And Wang Kai wouldn't be as gentle as Fatty, seeing that someone dared to rush up, he immediately pounced towards the crowd, his big mouth opened directly biting the neck of a person in front of him, blood splattered in all directions, and the surrounding people were immediately showered with it. Not waiting for them to feel the fear, Wang Kai had already rushed into the crowd, its huge size knocked down several people, grunting and rolling towards the downstairs, only to knock down more people. And with its powerful attacks, it hunted down these people one bite at a time, no one could even block its blows. Although the Forest Wolf King's attack wasn't as terrifying as Gabriel's and the Fire Elemental Elves, it was more than enough to kill these rank 0 players. Without having entered the secret realm of the newcomers, the upgrade speed in the outside world was extremely slow, most of the people were only level 4 or 5, and their blood quantity was only 2 or 300. You guys? Not ordinary people? Who the hell are you guys? The big man's face revealed a shocked look, this strength was not at all on the same power level as them, and he immediately understood that he had kicked the iron plate. Boom! The fat man slammed his shield over and staggered the man. How are we not ordinary people? We're just ordinary, not yet graduated college students, okay? Fatty said without a good mood, raising his hand and smashing another shield. Boom! We're just passing by your fangs village and want to stay overnight. What do you want to do with all the commotion at night? I think you guys are the ones who are not ordinary people, right? Boom! I can't see a single person in the entire village, let alone a woman. Tell me, what have you done to hurt the world? Where did you get all the people? Boo! I see you're all from Hope School. Is that your den? You wouldn't be preying on miners, would you? Boo! You bunch of animals, QIN beasts. The big man was a bit dazed by the smashing, and if it wasn't for his death grip on the railing next to him, I'm afraid he would have rolled down with a grunt like his little brother. But now actually not much better, all by a breath of air to hold on, the whole person dizziness, blood loss is even more half. Even if the fat man did not use much force, but the level is there, so smash down one after another, did not smash people to death is also to some skill. Nest. Nest. Nest is not an ordinary person. The big man almost cried out, but Fatty clearly had no intention of letting him off easily. Boom. Another shield slammed over. You're not an ordinary person? Tell me, how are you not an ordinary person? Where is it not ordinary? Nest? Nest? I don't know. Boo. Then how dare you say you're not ordinary? Are you fooling me? Nope. Nest. Nest. Don't knock. Don't knock. The big man cried and begged, feeling his brain buzzing a pulp. Seems like a bit of a knock high? The fat man looked at the shield in his hand and scratched his head awkwardly and said. Alright, what to ask hurry up and ask, those minions of his have been dealt with cleanly. And Yun Meng clapped her hands and said said. Looking down, the rich smell of blood came from the gang of minions that followed the big man had all fallen into a pool of blood, and the knights of death rode through on their war horses and retreated back to the rooms that they were originally stationed in. Vomit even after experiencing the great battle of the undead heavenly tribulation, Zhang Siyu had difficulty accepting such a scene, and immediately held onto the wall and vomited. In comparison, Qin Yuro and the others behaved quite normally despite their discomfort, showing that their life for the majority of the month after leaving the secret realm of the newcomers was not as calm as they had imagined. Alright. Fatty skimmed his lips and once again looked at the big man who was already in a trance, and asked in a loud voice tell me, how many more people do you have here? What's at the Hope School? What has happened in Fang's village recently? I'll give the fat master a clear explanation. 
After some interrogation, the crowd finally clarified the situation of Feng's village. Like most villages, this is a village that was destroyed under the attack of the mutated beasts, leaving only a few villagers clinging to the Hope Elementary School high above, waiting for rescue. However, instead of help, the only thing that came was evil and disaster. A group of escaped convicts who had gained the status of players came here, took them down and took over the mountain, wanting to make a career out of this chaotic world. The women and children in the school have become their trophies, and are kept in the school to be bullied and abused at will. All those who dared to refuse to resist were killed, and those who survived became their subordinates, not only enjoying the spoils of war, but also the opportunity to obtain the player's identity. These Qin beasts, Zheng Siyu spoke out angrily, and could imagine what a hellish scene it was in Hope Elementary School. Fatty and the others had the same look of anger on their faces. They had seen all sorts of crimes in Xian Zhang County, but this was the first time they had done it on such a large scale, especially when the location was still in an elementary school. Not to mention the adults, how many of those ignorant children were victimized? Anger flared up in everyone's hearts. Go and take a look if you want to. How can you sleep at night when you make this place smell so heavily of blood? At some point, Qin Ming had already walked out of the room, leaning against the doorframe and looking at the crowd. His expression was calm, as if he had expected such a thing and did not feel the slightest surprise. Brother Qin Ming. The crowd turned around, and Yun Meng softly shouted, the others wanted to say something, but none of the words that came to their mouths could be uttered. You, have known this for a long time, right? Qin Yuro asked softly. I don't know, but as long as you think of human nature in the worst direction, such an outcome is not difficult to guess, reality will only be more cruel than fiction. The crowd fell into silence, including Fatty who thought he had read a lot of apocalyptic novels couldn't make a sound, seeing it was one thing, experiencing it firsthand was another. But under such circumstances, boys are always easier to adapt than girls, Fatty took a deep breath and smiled easily towards the crowd. Ha! The end of the world, it's lucky that we can survive, at least we haven't seen any zombies here. Let's go! Let's also be the savior, and save those suffering people in the Hope Primary School, it can be considered a merit. With Fatty leading the way, a group of people followed behind him and walked in the direction of the Hope Primary School. They didn't cover up, they just walked over in a dignified manner, so they were soon discovered by the villagers who stayed there. However, no one dared to come forward to engage them, and even when they arrived, a bunch of people had already greeted them at the entrance of the school, bowing down to Qin Ming and the others. The fact that you guys are able to appear here means that the player team has been completely wiped out, and naturally, we are even less likely to be your opponents, so I only ask that we can be left alive. The man known as Third Uncle during the day said with a sad face. Ha! A way out? Did you guys leave them a way out? Fatty pointed to a withered bone in the grass next to him that had not yet had time to be buried and laughed coldly. We were also forced to do so. They are players with great power, if we didn't listen to them, we would be that pile of withered bones right now. Uncle San said with tears streaming down his face, and those who didn't know thought that he was really crying bitterly in repentance. Alright, save those words for later, open the door and let us in, enjoy your palace. Qin Ming said indifferently, not really bothering to talk to them here. The death knights opened the way, no one dared to stop them at all, and when the crowd walked in, there were two more death knights who stayed behind to keep an eye on them. Fatty and the others who walked into the school, finally felt what is called heavy in hell. There was not a single living person in the entire school, the air emitted an unpleasant odor, and from time to time, dried bloodstains could be seen on the walls. It wasn't until the crowd arrived in the classroom that they finally saw a single woman and girl who were lifeless, lying on the floor or on a table. Quite a few of them already had only a faint breath left, and not a few were even dead. Inside the school there is no shortage of classrooms, this group of people are also too lazy to clean up, directly thrown in the classroom, change a classroom is. Open the door that disgusting corpse stench and all kinds of strange smell is simply difficult to breathe, even Qin Yu Rowan and Yun Meng cannot help, lying on the wall to vomit for a while. This bunch of animals. Qin Ming angrily cursed, even though he was used to seeing life and death in his later life, he still found it hard to endure such a scene. Brother Ming. I want to go and kill them all. Fatty said in a muffled voice, a month down the line, he already had quite a few lives on his hands, but they were all incurred by others, this was the first time he actively wanted to kill someone. Hu Qin Ming took a deep breath there's no rush, let's first see if there are any more that can be saved. In such a situation, even he had moved to kill, not to mention Fatty and the others, the gang that was targeted by the Death Knights were doomed to not be able to see the sun tomorrow morning. The crowd walked through all the classrooms in turn, most of the people in the classrooms were hopeless, among them. The girls who died after being tortured amounted to hundreds, the countless crimes were simply too numerous to mention. It was only when the door of the classroom on the last floor was opened that the crowd finally saw some living people, among them there were girls who had already passed out, and there were also a number of adult females, and the most important thing was that they still had a conscious mind. Who are you guys? 
Suddenly, an alarming voice sounded, and a woman in the classroom with revealing clothes stood up, her gaze vigilant as she looked at Qin Ming and the others. She was still holding a whip and other objects in her hands, and in front of her was a naked woman covered in bruises tied to the wall, being abused by her. Looks like it's not just those people outside. You guys go to the other classrooms and see if there are any similar cases, if there are, arrest them together and save the people. Qin Ming said, taking a step towards the classroom. Hey, who are you guys? How come I haven't seen you guys before? It's not allowed to come in here. Aren't you guys afraid that Brother Long will kill you? Seeing Qin Ming's actions, the woman shouted out, and even raised the whip in her hand to lash at him, but she was given a handful of Qin Ming. Unsurprisingly, the Brother Long you're talking about should already be dead, if you move faster you might still be able to touch the hot corpse. Qin Ming said in an icy tone, throwing the woman towards the door. This kind of people are very common in both peaceful and war-torn times, once they lose their shelter they can't live long on their own, and there's no need to dirty their hands. Carefully put the woman on the wall down, Qin Ming took out a piece of clothing to cover her body, pretty face with a sickly weakness, puffy eyes slowly opened. Who are you? Why did you save me? A weak voice like a mosquito's shriek rang in her ears. Qin Ming just swept her a glance and lowered his head to continue untangling the ropes on her body. Just passing by, just putting you down, it's up to you whether you can live or not. There should be a large number of people migrating through here in a few days, if you guys can meet up, you can hitch a ride to Gaoning City. After saying that, Qin Ming put down some compressed cookies on the ground and got up to walk towards the outside of the classroom. Wait, wait. A weak voice rang out, and Qin Ming stopped his steps and turned his head towards her. Take me with you. From now on, this life of mine is yours. The woman leaned against the wall, her color weak and lips dry and cracked, her long messy hair falling down, with an indescribable morbid beauty. However, when he heard this, Qin Ming's mouth was slightly hooked and a disdainful smile appeared on his face. Is this life of yours worth a lot? Or do you think that swearing can be useful? Swearing doesn't work. But enslavement scrolls can. A slavery scroll? It's a bit interesting. You have a slavery scroll? A trace of surprise flashed through Qin Ming's eyes, how the other party looked like just an ordinary person, he could still keep something in his hand. There. Is I. Got it at a. Land temple. It cannot be seized. Only I can voluntarily deliver. It. The woman replied weakly. Hearing this, Qin Ming nodded, unsurprisingly this was also a product of the game's descent, possessing characteristics such as host binding and not being able to be plundered, which was also the reason why that boss dragon was unable to take it away from her. Most of the special items could only be delivered voluntarily and could not be plundered unless the host died. Looking at you, you don't look like a person who was willing to be a host, why are you thinking of following me? With the servitude scroll, you can completely make your own separate world. Qin Ming looked at the other party and asked. No one was born wanting to be a slave, although Qin Ming had the grace of saving her life, there were many ways to repay the favor, very few people would want to sell their bodies, especially or in the other party's case. You, saved me, this life of mine, is yours, and, even if I, can become a player, can fall behind, so much, how can it be so easy, to catch up with, others, instead of that, it would be better, to follow you, at least, have, strength visible to the naked eye. And, a, good heart, ha, a good heart, do you know, under this post-apocalyptic world, a good heart that won't live long, Qin Ming sneered, but at least, it won't be too bad for your own people, the woman revealed an ugly weak smile, it's a bit interesting, where is the enslavement scroll, this, here, the woman said, raising her left hand, with a yellowish scroll suddenly appearing in her palm, for those who hadn't obtained player status, Bound items were stored in a special private space and would appear in front of them with a thought. Qin Ming was about to take the scroll when the woman's palms suddenly tightened. You, promised, it, right? You don't have a choice, either give me the enslavement scroll or I'll leave now. Qin Ming said with interest. The woman quietly looked at him for a moment, a hint of helplessness flashing in her eyes before she slowly respread her palm. Enslavement scroll, epic grade, can sign an enslavement contract with the target, after signing it will completely control everything about the other party. Maximum of 100 people, not valid for units of rank 7 and above. Each time you enslave a target, 100 points of your own mana will be blocked, cannot be dropped or traded. Qin Ming took the scroll and the attributes appeared in his eyes, since he needed to sign a slavery contract with the target, this was something that required the other party's consent and thus could not be forced. However, precisely because there was no compulsion, the number of people that could be enslaved by this enslavement scroll scroll had also been greatly increased. The maximum number of enslaved people is 100 which is several times more than the number of enslavement scrolls dropped in the duplicates. Most of the scrolls dropped in the copy are only the lowest level of slavery contract, one can only enslave one person. 
As for the sealing of one's mana, this was a negative effect that existed in most epic level items, and it was a cost that needed to be borne by using the item, and only items of legendary level or above could completely avoid the cost of using them. After reading the attributes of the enslavement scroll, Xin Ming stood up and put it into the ring of platinum. Finish eating and recover some strength first, you still have a chance to back out before I finish up here, and when you've really thought it through and can move, come out and find me again. After Qin Ming finished speaking, he left again, the woman looked at Qin Ming's departing back and froze, only after a while did she turn her gaze to the food placed on the ground. After a brief moment of hesitation, she frantically ate. At this time from the classroom walked out of Qin Ming once again will be enslavement scroll to take out, did not expect their own walk for a few days did not come across a thing, surprisingly here in nosy time to get. Although the enslavement scroll did not help much in the improvement of strength, it could be used in the construction of forces, at least it could have a group of subordinates that could be absolutely trusted. Even if they had any complaints in their hearts, they would have to listen to their own orders under the effect of the enslavement scroll, and would not be able to harm themselves, or else the host would die, and the slaves on the enslavement scroll would be annihilated as well. Walking along this last floor of the classroom, the scene that I saw was shocking. There were quite a few people who had survived in the classroom, but all of them had suffered in human torture, collapsing on the mattresses covered in scars, lifeless. The most infuriating thing was that there were many other female administrators like the ones before, who were relatively better off, but their behavior was infuriating. Some discovered Qin Ming's arrival and wanted to run away, some just thought they were sneaking in and wanted to show off, and some were smart enough to submit. But without exception, Qin Ming sent them all to heaven to meet the gods. Among these people, there might be the so-called forced, but what they did already had nothing to do with being forced, and all sorts of cruelty only proved the darkness in their hearts more and more. Brother Ming, there are a total of 12 people who are still alive, most of them are adult women, and there are two children among them. Fatty came to Qin Ming's side and said in a heavy tone. Boom! Slapping hard on the fence, Qin Ming's face had a rage that was hard to suppress. It's only been a month, how many people are inside a Hope Primary School? Not to mention the teachers, the number of students alone was more than three, right? By now the ones who survived are surprisingly only left in the middle of 12, of which there are still only two children. By the way, inside the 12, there is still a boy. Nima can really play. Gather all the people together, leave them some food and water, and I'll have Ching Sang Dai and Gabriel treat their injuries, said after a slight silence. The injuries were good to treat, but the wounds inside were hard to heal. The classroom was filled with a depressing aura of dead silence. Some people's first reaction after waking up was even to want to go to Zisha, but fortunately in time they were pulled back by Fatty and the others. There is no need to stop them, they can die anytime they want, we can save them today, tomorrow? What about the day after tomorrow? Those who save themselves are saved by others, if they don't even want to live, no one can save them. Qin Ming said as he looked at the person who was still making a scene, the only male among the twelve. And hearing his words, the man gave up struggling, leaning against the wall and slowly sat down, letting out a loud cry. Wu why did you guys save me? Wouldn't it be better to just let me die like this? What's the point of me living? There's no point in living in the first place, so no one will stop you again if you want to die, but you have to think about it, there's more than a dozen people here, but you're the only male, and you're the only one who's going to seek death. What? Not even as good as a bunch of women? Don't you mind being ashamed? I. Xin Ming stood up and didn't pay any more attention to him, instead looking at the others in the classroom. Such a big commotion did not attract the attention of a few people, most of them were just sitting on the floor with numb complexions, lifeless to say the least, as if there was nothing that could appeal to them. Qin Ming frowned slightly and walked over to the podium, lifting his right hand and slapping it down with force. Boom! The wooden podium shattered in response, and the loud noise caused the crowd to raise their heads slightly, but that was all. What is each and every one of you doing here? Don't you want to take revenge? Don't you want to kill those enemies who bullied you? They're at the school entrance right now, take a knife and you can chop them up like pigs and chickens. Or are you guys born so cheap, like being trashed that much? Don't even dare to take revenge? Other than those two little girls, everyone else was slightly moved, and the only man had even stopped crying. Qin Ming pointed out the window and spoke out again. Just jump directly from here if you want to die, I will never stop you once and for all. It's easy to find death, if you can't get down yourself, I don't mind throwing you down. But your lives were saved by me, I don't want the ones I saved up to be a bunch of losers, so if you don't want to die, give your laborers something to live up to, do it yourselves, and go get your revenge. Qin Ming finished speaking and took out a few blank slate swords from his package and threw them on the ground, the sound of metal clashing made everyone's heart flutter, give me a sword, I'm going to take revenge, not waiting for the crowd to make a sound, there was suddenly a female voice outside the door, Qin Ming turned her head, it was the first girl she saved, at this time, she had eaten and recovered some of her spirit, draped in Qin Ming's loose coat, although still weak but already much better, ding, 
Xin Ming didn't talk nonsense and directly threw a dagger over, he didn't have much low-level equipment in his hands, and even less of the short blade type. Thank you, my name is Zhang Shui. From now on, this life of mine is yours. The woman picked up the dagger on the ground after she finished speaking and turned towards the school entrance. I'm also going to take revenge. My name is Xiao Ran, from now on, this life of mine is also yours. The boy who was directly saved stood up and walked over to Qin Ming's body to pick up a long sword, saying in a firm tone before running out of the classroom. My name is Wang Shurhan, thank you. This life of mine is also yours. A tall female teacher stood up, picked up a long sword and said, turning around and walking towards the outside of the classroom. Qin Ming froze, how come all your lives are mine? What do I need your lives for? But it seemed that they were stimulated by Jiang Shui and Xiao Ran, the rest of the people all made this a condition for revenge, but anyone who picked up a weapon to take revenge said that they had become his people. Big brother, my name is Zhong Xiao Xiao, my mom and dad also, died, but I also want to go to revenge, will you take me in? A little girl walked over and looked at Qin Ming and asked, her clean and innocent gaze touched people's hearts when they looked at her. Of course you can, if you can't do it yourself, you can get help from those knights in armor. Qin Ming smiled, and similarly handed her a dagger. Thank you big brother, from now on Xiao Xiao will follow you, there's not much I can do, but I can learn, what do you want me to do? I'll do what? Zhong Xiao Xiao nodded, her little face full of seriousness and determination. Good. Go. Xin Ming touched her head and watched her walk out of the classroom. Seeing that even such a small little girl dared to take revenge, the rest of the people stood up one after another, even if revenge in their eyes had conditions, no one wanted to give up so easily. My daughter is still young, is it okay if I take her place? A young woman holding one of the little girls walked over and asked towards Qin Ming. No one would have expected that there was even a mother and daughter within this group of people? Qin Ming also froze, but still shook his head firmly. Can you kill on her behalf and also bring her to suffer? This time is the best answer. The world changing doesn't care if you're an adult or a child, those who can't grow up quickly will eventually be left behind by the times. Of course, background is also a form of strength, so I'll allow you to help her, but the road needs to be walked by herself, and some things need to be experienced by her. Hearing Qin Ming's words, the young woman fell silent as she held her daughter in her arms, and only after a while did she tremblingly pick up a long knife on the ground. My name is Chao Xian, her name is Yang Xiaoqin, her father left early and tragically, this revenge is something we must avenge, from now on, this life of ours is yours. After Chao Xian finished speaking, she gripped the long knife in her hand tightly and walked out of the classroom with her own daughter in her arms. The screams soon came from outside Hope Primary School, sounding especially horrible in this dark night. However, Qin Ming did not go out to disturb them, but instead found a relatively clean classroom and rested with Fatty and the others. Brother Qin Ming, are we going to take them on the road together next? And Yun Meng leaned in Qin Ming's arms and asked in a low mood. Let's see again. Rest first, you guys are also tired from this night today. Qin Ming touched her head and said. Brother Ming, do you think there are more places like this? Aren't there many more people, living a life even more miserable than theirs? Waiting for someone to be able to go and get them out? Fatty asked. The shock of today's events to the crowd was just too great. Originally thought that it was just a lord who occupied the mountain, but did not expect it to be a group of Qin beasts, what they did was really shocking to these people who lived in the peaceful era. What? You want to go and become a holy mother? Save the whole world? No, just ask, feel this more than half a month, although an XI in Jiang County has seen a lot of darkness of human nature, but like this situation, have always thought that will only appear inside the novel, never thought that there is really a day to see with their own eyes. Stories come from life, human nature will only be darker than you can imagine. After a pause, Qin Ming spoke out again. Of course, humanity will also be brighter and greater than you can imagine. The crowd fell into silence, or rather, they were thinking about the future. Qin Ming had experienced the 50 years of the end times and had seen too much darkness, and it could even be said that he was one of those living in the darkness. But even so, the 50 years of apocalyptic career had also allowed him to see a lot of light, even if it was just as fleeting as a shooting star. If I can, I want to choose to live in the light, I hate the darkness, Zhang Siyu suddenly said. Today's events had arguably hit her the hardest. Unlike Fatty and the others who had gone through half a month of trials and tribulations, she had grown up under her own brother's protection from the beginning to the end, except for that one time in the mines. This also made tonight's events a huge shock to her, even enough to subvert her outlook and imagination. Who wouldn't want to live under the sun? Who would want to crawl in the darkness like a maggot? Just like them, is there a choice? Xin Ming said sternly, a look of pain couldn't help but flash through his eyes as all the things from his previous life surfaced in his mind. Taking a deep breath, this calmed him down. You should be thankful that you have a good brother, so that you can have a choice, but what if your brother is also gone? For most people, not to mention living in the light, there is no chance of even being a candle that illuminates the darkness. The only thing we can do, perhaps, is...
to turn our hearts to the light. The early morning sunrise illuminated the blood red earth. School playground, plus Jiang Shui totaled 13 people appeared in front of Qin Ming, not a single person left. Although each of them looked tired and physically weak, they looked a lot more relaxed than before. Have you all thought this through? This is your last chance, I will never stop those who want to leave. Qin Ming looked at the crowd and asked. The crowd all defaulted that they had followed Qin Ming, and even though he had explained the situation, there was still no one willing to leave. But allegiance to follow was not a child's play, and he didn't want a group of people whose hearts were in Xiao Ying's camp, if they really intended to follow him, they had to be absolutely loyal. The world has become like this, where else can we go? I'm afraid that even getting out of this village will be a problem. The only male, Xiao Ran, said in a muffled voice. Don't worry, other people dare not say, you saved me, this life of mine is yours, it's not just a slavery scroll, you bring it, I'll be the first one to sign it. In order to scare people away, Qin Ming even took out the enslavement scroll, and showed that once signed, from then on life and death would be in his hands. However, he didn't expect that first Jiang Shui, and then Xiao Ran, both signed their names on the enslavement scroll without hesitation. After that, the little girl Zhong Xiaoxiao even took the lead and signed her name crookedly. The others just walked over one after another in his astonished gaze, signed and then retreated without the slightest hesitation, not even giving him much time to react. After signing they stood in a neat line again, including the two little girls who stood properly, waiting for Qin Ming's instructions. He he, don't look at brother Qin Ming looking so calm, look at his eyes, old surprise. Not far away, and Yun Meng and the others stood together and laughed lightly when they saw Qin Ming's dumbfounded appearance. Ha ha ha, I noticed it too, he definitely didn't expect this outcome. Fatty similarly laughed out loud, but a few people were whispering and didn't make a sound. Tisk, suddenly collecting a large wave of harem, it seems that the pressure of competition between the two of us has increased again. Zhang Siyu said with interest, unexpectedly and inexplicably having the urge to get high on CP, and even searching for someone. Go go go. What harem? Who do you take brother Qin Ming for? And who's a rival with you? Blah blah blah. Mud Zokai. And Yun Meng bristled and leaned towards Qin Yuro's side to get away from this old woman. However, Zhang Siyu not only didn't leave, but instead, she also stuck to her side, and the two of them scuffled again. Qin Yuro looked at the trio with a soft gaze and spoke out to calm them down in turn. At this moment, Qin Ming was skimming his lips and silently put away the slavery scroll, although he originally did not intend to let anyone sign it, but since he had signed it then so be it. Alright, since you guys intend to follow me, then I'll also give you a guarantee that if there's a mouthful of rice for me, Qin Ming, there's a mouthful of porridge for you guys. If you guys treat me with all your heart, I will absolutely treat you well as well, and won't give up, not to mention that there won't be any doggone incidents of betrayal, oppression, or treachery. I don't say that I can definitely guarantee you all great wealth and prosperity, but I will definitely do my best to bring you all to live and live well. Qin Ming looked at the crowd and said, then took out a stack of scrolls from the Ring of Platinum. There are a total of 13 of you, except for Chiao Xian and the remaining two little girls, the others will form a team of five and elect their respective temporary captains, now start grouping. Hearing his words, the crowd moved very quickly, they didn't know each other in the first place, so it was the same with whoever they were grouped with. As for the captains, the four women in one of the teams gazed at Xiao Ran, the only male among the crowd, the captain naturally fell on him. The other team, on the other hand, hadn't even had time to choose yet, and Zhang Shui had already taken the lead. I'll be the captain of my team, it's only temporary anyway, after that we'll each rely on our strength. Several people looked at each other after hearing this, and finally agreed to this proposal. Alright then, I have two team formation scrolls here, a bronze level 1 and a silver level 1, you each pick one, if you choose the silver level 1, you need to bring Xiao Xian and the two little girls with you. Qin Ming said. He had dropped quite a few things like team scrolls, but most of them had been sold to Wang Guodong and the others, and it was useless to keep this thing on hand. Therefore, he couldn't even get two silver grade team scrolls at one time, so he could only let one of their teams take a bronze grade 1 first to make do. I'll go with silver grade. Both of them spoke out almost at the same time, although they didn't know the effect, they thought they knew that the silver level one was definitely better. There's no need to grab them, they'll all be available later, but bringing Xiao Xian and the others with you will definitely slow down your upgrading speed, so you guys have to think it over. Qin Ming said as he looked at the two. Who knew that the two people simply ignored Qin Ming's words, Xiao Ran directly turned his head to look at Zhang Shui. Rock, paper, scissors, one game to decide the winner. Yes, it's mine. Zhang Shui turned her head with a bland expression her gaze calmly looking towards Qin Ming. You, are so provincial. Qin Ming uttered with emotion, silently handing Jiang Shui the silver rank teaming scroll. To finalize it so quickly and casually made him feel somewhat? No sense of ceremony? Of course, Xiao Ran's expression could still be seen as somewhat chagrined, giving Qin Ming somewhat some comfort. This is 10 occupation scrolls, except for Chao Xian and the two little girls, you each picked one to learn, 
pay attention to the occupation matching in your own team. After distributing the team scrolls, Xin Ming once again took out a stack of occupation scrolls and said, this was what he had accumulated this month, all of them were silver level occupation scrolls, and all of them were combat class occupations. Since these people had signed a slavery contract, they were also considered to be his most trustworthy squad apart from Fatty and in Yunmeng, and it was only natural that good things should be used on his own people, and he definitely wouldn't be stingy in this regard. Taking damage, healing, and output, these are the three elements of the group, and after that, the extras are scouting, controlling, assisting, logistics, and so on, which can be chosen and matched according to the existing conditions and needs. Xin Ming looked at the two and reminded. Don't worry, I've played online games. Xiao Ran raised his head and said. And next to him, Jiang Shui didn't even raise her head and said in an indifferent tone I've played it too. Xin Ming was dumbfounded, come on, said in vain, you guys take your time to pick. Although the ten occupation scrolls he had brought were different, he was barely able to assemble two teams, especially the most important MT and healer, both had warrior and knight as well as priest and healer respectively. However, the professions chosen by Xiao Ran and Jiang Shui caused him to feel a hint of surprise. Xiao Ran chose the rare mechanic, while Jiang Shui chose the most common assassin. However, this wasn't what surprised him the most, after the two completed their career choices and obtained their player status, Qin Ming couldn't even sit there calmly anymore, his gaze looking at the two in surprise. My profession core is the absolute quality mechanical hand, in addition I seem to have awakened a talent called mechanical heart, a holy quality one. I haven't awakened a talent, but my career core has a holy grade choice, death executioner. Crap. Qin Ming's expression remained unchanged, but his heart had already turned over. Nima should it be so bullish? A saint grade talent, a saint grade profession core? ITM just casually saved a few people and I have two future greats? Not to say anything else, on this talent, on this career core, in the later life as long as it did not fall, basically can reach the sixth order or more, this is properly the township level of the strong awe. In his previous life, he just died in this hope primary school in a remote village? This bunch of animals. In his heart, he couldn't help but curse those people for another round. If it wasn't for them, how many more strong people could have been produced in the future of China? Not to mention Xiao Ran and Jiang Shui, even out of the remaining eight people, nearly half of them had awakened the occupational core of absolute grade, and the others were all in the grade of super grade. Once such two squads grew up, they would definitely not be weaker than those famous squads in their previous lives, possessing the powerful strength to hold down a side. Very well. You guys adapt first and familiarize yourselves with your powers. Xin Ming took a deep breath for a while before calming his inner excitement and released the two of them. He then beckoned towards the fidgety Chiao Xian and had her bring the two little girls to his body. They're still young, it's not suitable for them to open their professions so early, and I don't have that many profession scrolls, so I'm afraid I still need you to take care of them. Therefore I'm going to let you open the profession of engaging in the life support category, as their logistical support, what do you think? The two little girls were about the same age as in Yunmeng, but in Yunmeng had gotten her player status by gaining experience from killing monsters, so her age would have some impact if she used the profession scroll. The big data from the previous life showed that 16 years old or above was the best age to use a profession scroll, and using it too early would result in one's profession core grade being low. Of course, this was not absolute, but rather a probability event. There was no shortage of one or two players anyway, so it was better to let them grow for another two years. I can. I was originally a biology teacher at this school, so it's no better to take care of them. Chao Xian nodded and said with slight gratitude. Although they weren't players yet, they were well aware of the value of the profession scrolls, especially at a time like this when the end had just come not long ago. If it wasn't for Qin Ming, it would be questionable if they could survive, not to mention obtaining player status. Qin Ming smiled with slight surprise after hearing her words, and after thinking about it, he put back the profession scroll in his hand and took out another one. Biology teacher? That's quite a coincidence, take it, a gold level breeding teacher, it's a higher level than any of their scrolls. I was originally planning to keep it for my own use, but suddenly thought it might be more appropriate to give it to you. Giving the breeder's profession scroll to Chao Xian wasn't entirely on impulse. Life class professions had always just served as an icing on the cake for him. He could have had other more options, but Chao Xian didn't, and for her it would be a profession that would accompany her for the rest of her life. And the breeder fit extremely well with her status as a biology teacher, so maybe it would really help her grow up. Facts prove that his choice wasn't wrong, after inaugurating as a breeder, Xiao Xian not only awakened the sacred grade's occupational core affinity for all things, but also the absolute grade's talent mystic growth. The former allowed her to easily sign a contract with any creature, while the latter accelerated the growth rate of the living creatures she bred, and even boosted their corresponding qualifications. If we raise another imperial beast master, it might really be heaven defying. Xin Ming thought in his heart, and even had the urge to give her a dual career to use. 
An outstandingly gifted breeder coupled with a royal beast master would really be even more heaven defying than him, a destiny summoner. Of course, he was just thinking about it, although there was the restriction of the enslavement scroll, improving his own strength was always the first priority. We didn't get much sleep last night, so rest here for one more day before setting off for Downing City tomorrow. After arranging all the people, Qin Ming said towards Fatty and the others. Okay, then I'll just go and catch up on my sleep, I'm sleepy. Fatty said with a yawn, and the faces of the others similarly wore a tired look. At this time, Zhang Shui, who heard him speak, came over and looked at Qin Ming and asked we're going to Gaoning City. Yes. Qin Ming nodded. From here to Gaoning City, the next village is Jailing Village, where? There are monsters. Monsters? Right right right. There are indeed monsters in that direction. At this time Xiao Ran walked over and said with slight excitement. Compared to Zhang Shui's coolness and detachment, the recovered man appeared much more energized. I was also planning to head towards Gaoning City, but when I arrived at a village, I saw a group of zombie-like people lying on the ground and gnawing on the corpses. I was so scared that I turned around and ran, who knew that panicking would bring me to this damn thing's village. Xiao Ran said, his emotions couldn't help but sink again. Zombies? Gao Ling Village? Xin Ming opened the offline map and looked at it. There was indeed a place called Gao Ling Village in the middle of Gao Ning City in Fengjia Village, and it wasn't far away from each other, probably just two or three days travel. Xin Ming and the others hadn't traveled along the route of their last life, much less come to Fong Family Village and High Ridge Village, and if they hadn't wanted to look for more chances and explore some safer routes this time around, they wouldn't have come this way either. Now that he had heard Zhang Shui and Xiao Ran's words, it seemed that there had been some changes in this side of the village that he was unaware of. That's not right, I remember that there was a rumor of a burial site in Gaoning City, saying that an undead village had appeared outside the city, maybe it's the current jailing village? Qin Ming suddenly thought. The memories from 50 years ago were no longer very clear, he only vaguely remembered that there was such a thing, and he seemed to have gone to participate in it, but the specific details were completely out of his mind. Right. This is it, when I came here I saw quite a few zombie-like monsters there, it's scary. Xiao Ran pointed to the location of Gao Ling village on the map and said. That's not a zombie, it's a villager from Jailing Village. Jiang Shui suddenly spoke out, and the two of them suddenly looked up towards her. I'm the person from Jailing Village, I was working in Gaoning City before, and when communication was cut off after the game descended, I rushed towards home. About half a month ago, it was hard to reach the village, and then I realized that the villagers had all become like that. Everyone had turned into monsters that only knew how to devour blood and flesh, no one recognized me, and all those who found me rushed towards me in a frenzy. I had no choice but to escape and ended up here. After listening to Zhang Shui's words, Xiao Ran also can't help but be silent, although the final result is similar to him, but people have witnessed their whole village turn into monsters, how to look at it is she is a little more miserable. That's not a monster, nor is it a zombie, no surprise, it should be a group of undead type creatures. Some undead type items should have appeared in your village, and no one knew what to do with them, instead they were corrupted by the escaping undead aura and turned into unconscious undead creatures. Let's go over there tomorrow and take a look, if we can, it's just the right time to give your folks a supernatural burial. Qin Ming thought about it and said, monsters or zombies, they were all just experience values after the game descended. Moreover, a treasure that could infect a village would not be ordinary to think of, they had traveled so far around and searched for so many days for a strange object, wasn't it just for this? Since they had come across it, naturally they couldn't miss it. Thank you. Hearing Qin Ming's words, Zhang Shui thanked gratefully. There were still a lot of her relatives and friends in the village, as well as her parents and family, and being able to bury them was also considered a piece of her own mind. Alright, go and get used to adapting to your own power, if you can't master it, the price you'll have to pay tomorrow could be your life. At that time, I won't be able to save you guys anymore. Xin Ming said, and the two nodded, each returning to their own teams and leading the way to familiarize themselves with their professions. He, on the other hand, followed Fatty and the others and began a short rest. He hadn't slept much overnight yesterday, so the first thing he had to do today was to catch up on his sleep, and in the afternoon, he instructed Jiang Shui and the others on their training, even letting the Death Knights capture a few low-level monsters for them to practice on. Unfortunately, he didn't have that many skill books, and he couldn't even get weapons together, so he could only let them use what they had, which was also a necessary path for new players. It was Chao Xian who was a bit surprising, actually contracting a small golden fur near the school on the first day. It was said that it was raised by a certain teacher at the school, and usually had a better relationship with her. And since it was a puppy, it hadn't fully grown up yet, so the impact of the world mutation on it was relatively small, so it had been hiding and living near the school. After Chao Xian obtained the profession of a tamer she searched for a small animal in the neighborhood that she could contract, and just happened to find this small golden hair that was close to her, and signed a contract with it in the process. A first level tamer could only contract one animal at a time, and through their own taming skills, 
they would help this pet continue to grow stronger, thus gaining experience value. Of course, mixing pet food, training pets, and other methods were also able to gain experience value. It was only that tamers were unable to master various combat skills, so their actual combat ability was far inferior to that of a regular beast master. Qin Ming looked at it, this little golden hair was just an ordinary basic template, it was up to Chao Xian to raise its qualification under her cultivation. It didn't need to be too high, even if it was just raised to silver level, Xiao Xian would be able to have strength not weaker than a regular player as a living profession player. After a good night's rest, early the next morning, the group once again hit the road. However, this time, the team was a lot bigger than before, into 20 people divided into 3 teams and killed their way into the jungle. This time, Qin Ming did not kill the monsters, encountered some low-level monsters or handed over to Xiao Ran and Zhang Shui two teams to deal with. Only when they encountered an enemy they couldn't defeat would they let the death knights following beside them step in to save them. You guys don't have skills, so if you want to kill monsters, you can only rely on skills, none of us have properly learned how to fight, we can only rely on ourselves to figure it out in constant battles. Regardless of men, women, and children, regardless of occupation, only by daring to kill and fight can we survive this natural disaster. All of you are people who have almost died once, don't tell me that you're still afraid of these monsters. Xin Ming looked at the battle between the several people and scolded them in a stern voice. The crowd's attacks grew a few points more violent, a small team of 5 level 0 players, who didn't even have any equipment, were hard pressed to tangle with a level 2 forest python. Brother Ming, won't it be a bit tough? Nothing, coming up with a level 2 monster? Fatty asked as he stood by his side with an intolerant heart. All of them were a group of delicate sisters, and even their physical and mental weaknesses hadn't fully recovered yet, and they had to face such a powerful enemy as soon as they came up. However, seeing Qin Ming's cold gaze, Fatty could not help but shiver. Don't worry. They will be able to hold out, at times like this, they precisely need high-intensity battles to vent their anger, unwillingness, and grief. Surprisingly, Qin Ming's voice was not so icy, causing Fatty to let out a slight sigh of relief. That's good. Fatty said in a muffled voice, but he didn't dare to ask anything else. He felt that the aura on Qin Ming's body was a little different from usual, yet he couldn't tell where it was different, it just made him feel a little intimidated. Or in awe. And Yun Meng and the girls were even chatting, as if they had come into the forest to play, and could only look forward to some high-level monsters to give them some experience value. In fact, it was also true that as Qin Ming had said, although it was difficult, they were strong enough to hunt these two or three level monsters. They possessed at least a super great profession core, their strength was already far beyond that of ordinary players, and they also had the weapons Qin Ming had given them in their hands. If such a configuration couldn't kill monsters over level, Qin Ming would really have to think about whether this group of people was worth cultivating or not. One day down the line, everyone's level was raised to level 1, and the upgrading speed slowed down significantly. Two days later, Xiao Ran's group was the first to level up to level 2, and the group had finally arrived at the outskirts of High Ridge Village. It seems like the Blue Star's continued size change is starting to slow down. Qin Ming thought in his mind as Xiao Ran had already arrived in front of him. The High Ridge Village is up ahead, should we go in now? Or should we rest for the night? After two days of brushing monsters, Xiao Ran's face carried a hint of fatigue. Rest for the night, and by the way, explore the situation near the village, it's best to determine the strength of the monsters. Qin Ming immediately ordered. After two days of continuous fighting, he and Fatty and the others were fine, but if they just pushed through flat out, it would be a bit too much of a waste, it was better to let this group of newcomers hone their skills. Moreover, the night has a certain effect on the undead creatures, it is not a wise choice to rush up to fight them at this point. Anyway, they weren't in a hurry, they would enter the village again tomorrow. At night, Jiang Shui and the others went to the village to briefly explore, but the news they got was alarming. I've seen it, the zombies they're talking about are actually the carrion corpses we've seen in the land of the undead, but the level isn't low, the ones on the edges are all level 8 or 9, and the ones on the inside are estimated to be around rank 1, Fatty said when he returned. Monsters in the wild, they grow fast. Xin Ming sighed. In just a month's time, the carrion corpses in the village had already grown to the level of rank 1, giving them some more time would definitely be a scourge. After a night of cultivation, early the next morning Qin Ming led the crowd to the High Ridge Village, but Xiao Ran and Zhang Shui could only stand guard outside, the rank 1 monsters weren't something they could deal with yet. Roar! Before they even approached the village, they had already spotted the disgusting rotting corpses. Smelling the fresh human flesh, these carrion corpses immediately roared and rushed up. Boom! And Yun Ming's fireball smashed out nonchalantly, and the thousands of points of damage easily killed a carrion in seconds. While Fatty took the shield and caught the other carrion, Zhang Siyu was outputting from the side, but it was obviously not a bit worse than in Yun Meng, both spells failed to finish it off, or Fatty went up and made up for it. With Zhang Siyu as her backing, her equipment wasn't really too much worse, 
but the gap in the professional core and even talent, it wasn't a point and a half. Let's go. Go in and take a look. What the hell is it? It's actually polluted the entire village. Xin Ming glanced at the two corpses on the ground and led the crowd to continue walking towards the village. Compared to Fengjia village, Jialing village was much richer, whether it was self-built houses or concrete roads, it was not something that could be compared to a mountain lump like Fengjia village. The village has developed very well in the past two years, and it is said that it is already going to apply to become a town, I didn't expect. Zhang Shui said as she followed Qin Ming's side, her tone becoming more and more downcast. She is a villager of this village, so Qin Ming will bring her over, on the one hand can be more than a guide, on the other hand is also considered to be the regret of her heart. Qin Ming didn't say anything, his eyes swept from both sides of the road, and there were constantly carrying corpses rushing out from the houses on both sides, which were then cut down by Fatty and the others. Anti Fu. Jiang Shua suddenly shuddered, looking towards the carrion in front of her and crying out in a low voice, her entire body stood there in a daze, obviously seeing her acquaintance. However, Fatty and the others wouldn't have the slightest bit of retention, this was a level 9 carrion, and they killed it without hesitation. Jiang Shua didn't say anything about wanting to collect the corpse or anything like that, and silently followed Qin Ming's lead as she crossed over Anti Fu's corpse, only for the whole person to become even more silent. Boom! And Yun Ming threw a fireball to burn all of these carrion corpses, which was also Qin Ming's arrangement. In the wild, the easiest way to dispose of corpses is to burn them, no matter if they are thrown there no matter what or buried, there will be great consequences. The most common ones are necrophilia and puppets, just like these carrion corpses, even after death, they can't get any peace. So for the deceased, a truly generous burial is not earth burial, but cremation, which can largely prevent them from being disturbed after death. Qin Ming explained towards the crowd as he walked. Of course, if one really needed to be powerful, even cremation would be useless. Just like Gabriel, wasn't it the same that he had summoned him out of the river of fate? This was the same disturbance of the dead. Of course, it was hard to say whether Gabrielle was dead or not, according to her own words, it was more like a being living in another world, crossing time and space to make a contract with Qin Ming. Although the village is called a village, the actual area is not small, after all, the city cannot be plowed, the fields are inside the village and town, the land area is also large, but also everywhere you can see the farmhouse. The crowd walked for 10 minutes before they finally met the first rank 1 carrion, and from a long way away they could smell the putrid odor coming from it. To be honest, I really quite dislike this kind of monster, it feels weirdly disgusting. Fatty frowned and said, yet Zhang Shui spoke out icily from the side. That's my third uncle. Sorry, no offense intended. Fatty said awkwardly, carrying his shield and rushing up. Actually, Zhang Shui had calmed down a lot, and wasn't as out of sorts as she was when she saw Auntie Fu before. At this moment, she was more like an emotionless robot, numbly following behind Qin Ming, silently watching an Yun Meng and Zhang Siyu incinerate corpse after corpse. Soon, Zhang Shui stopped and stood outside a self-built house. This is my home, I want to go back and take a look. Qin Ming was slightly stunned, then nodded. Then go in and take a look. The houses in the village were all pretty much the same, but in the small courtyard of Jiang Shui's house there was a swing chair and several pots of greenery, which looked quite a bit more cozy. The door to the room was closed tightly, so one couldn't see what was going on inside, and no rotting corpses rushed out from inside. Jiang Shui stopped in front of the door of the room and could even see claw marks covering the security door. This should be left by other carrion corpses, there are still some traces of decay on it, do you still have the key? Go in and take a look, but you have to be more careful. Qin Ming said as he looked at the black marks on the door. Zhang Shui nodded and fished out a key from her storage bag, her hands trembled slightly and she tried several times before aligning the keyhole. Ta! The door lock wasn't broken, and the security door slowly opened. Roar the familiar low roar made the hearts of the crowd sink slightly, and Fatty directly pulled Zhang Shui behind him, holding his shield in front of the door. Boom! A muffled sound came from the shield, and looking through Fatty's figure, it was none other than Zhang Shui's familiar face. Can! Let me come? Zhang Shui said with a trembling voice. Qin Ming looked at the rotting corpse and nodded towards in Yun Meng and the others. Perhaps it was because it had been locked in the house, the level of this carrion wasn't high, only level 3, and it was just unable to waste some time after Fatty pulled the hate. Soon after, this carrion was killed by Zhang Shui's hands, and a rare bronze level necklace was dropped. However, when she saw this necklace, Zhang Shui could no longer hold herself together and cried out in pain as she knelt beside the corpse. Dad! Ugh! Fatty and the others looked at each other and sighed softly, taking the lead and walking into the room. At this time, the village was definitely not electrified anymore, so naturally there was no light, and an Yun Meng held up a fireball to illuminate the room. Everything in the room had been smashed to pieces, obviously done by Jiang Shui's parents after their necromorphization, at that time, they were no longer considered human, but monsters. Roar! Another carrion rushed down from the upper floor, looking at the figure it was a female, no surprise it should be Jiang Shui's mother. 
Qin Ming still didn't kill it, instead he let the Death Knight's nightmare trample it under its hooves and waited for Jiang Shui to chop it up. The group headed towards the upper floors, in addition to her parents she had a younger brother who was found on the third floor, and was similarly thrown down by the Death Knight, waiting for Jiang Shui to finish them off with her own hands. As for the two rooms on the third floor, one was Jiang Shui's brother and the other was Jiang Shui's. What surprised Qin Ming was that Jiang Shui's room had a zippy tall princess rabbit doll that was emitting a faint glow. This is? Qin Ming was slightly stunned as he stepped over and the attributes of the princess rabbit doll appeared in his eyes. Princess rabbit doll, epic grade. Introduction, a special item, a beautiful rabbit doll that unites the beliefs of the family, wishing for the well-being of the daughter who is far away from home. Capable of giving life to it, giving it the same attributes, equipment and skills as the user, sharing consciousness, lasts for occupation level asterisk 1 hour, cooldown 24 hours. When the bound person is fatally injured, it can die instead of the user and randomly teleport the user to 100 kilometers away, this effect is only triggered once, the doll is damaged after use. Binding requirements, exclusive equipment, daughter of head of household, both parents dead, cannot be traded, cannot be stolen, and does not occupy the item bar after binding, his seeing the attributes of the equipment, Qin Ming couldn't help but suck in a breath of cool air. This Nemo went back home and fetched an epic level equipment? And it's also a heaven-defying item capable of taking the place of the dead? What was the most worrying thing for players after the game descended? It's death. This wasn't just any game. If you died, you really died. So any item that can resurrect or replace a dead person is priced at heavenly levels, and it's unattainable. Don't look at this doll that didn't have any attributes added to it, but just the item of being able to take the place of a dead person was enough to make people go crazy if they spread the word. Nothing was as important as one's own life. As for attributes, equipment skills and all that, instead, it didn't matter, the span of epic level equipment was originally very large, and it was dominated by special items. 